Chapter 376 Interrogation Yang Xinxin told Zhang Yi that through the conversations between Gao Yuan and others, it can be seen that their attitude towards the snow worship cult is very poor. Therefore, I think the contradiction between them is quite acute. Zhang Yi thought for a while and asked, So what? Do you mean that if we are attacked by Yang Sheng base, we can consider enlisting the snow worship cult as a helper? Yang Xinxin blinked and said with a smile, Who knows? But if there is one more helper, it is better than one more enemy. Right? Zhang Yi shook his head. Helpers with unknown origins are sometimes more terrifying than enemies. He changed the topic. But if there is any use value, I wouldn't mind squeezing them. It's hard to have any friends in the last days. Everyone is just exchanging interests. Anyone with value can become a partner. But when interests conflict, they will immediately switch sides and become enemies. Zhang Yi didn't know it at this time. But a small team had already set off from the Snow Worship Cult headquarters and headed in the direction of Yunk Manor. Dong Hu left Xujia town with Wu Qingyu and others and rushed back to Yansheng base overnight. With these tongues, he could already practice intercourse with Xiao Hong. At this time, Wu Qingyu and others were all uneasy, facing these strong men whose origins they did not know. They were very worried that they would be killed. It would have been better if we had listened to Teacher Liang's advice. If you hide honestly, you won't be caught. Although Zhang Yi is selfish and ruthless, at least he will not kill us and will give us food for Teacher Liang's sake. No, that's not right. All this is Liang Yu's fault. If she hadn't left us in Xujia town, how could we have encountered this situation? Even if she stays to protect us, she can buy us time to escape. Despair, hatred and regret. All kinds of emotions filled the hearts of the students. R. But the cold-looking Yangsheng Bei soldiers around them didn't care what they were thinking. As long as it falls into their hands, they will have 10,000 ways to pry open the mouths of these immature students and get the information they want. Dong Hu and his team returned to Yangsheng base. It was already very late at this time. But Dong Hu still went to find Xiao Honglian. He knew that Xiao Honglian slept very little every day. Only about five hours. Sure enough, when she arrived at Xiao Honglian's office, she was still checking the documents reported by her subordinates. After Dong Hu knocked on the door and entered the office, Xiao Honglian asked without raising his head what was the result of the investigation. Dong Hu immediately described everything he saw. We found Gao Yuan's lost mobile phone in Xiuzha town and captured a group of students who claimed to be from Tianqing College and their teacher was next to Zhang Yi. As for Zhang Yi, I haven't seen him, but a thick ice and snow barrier was discovered in Yunk Manor across the river from Xiuzha town. If my guess is correct, Zhang Yi and his men live behind that barrier. It was also relying on that barrier that blocked the attack from the Shishan base. Dong Hu expressed his judgment. Xiao Honglian frowned slightly, put down the document in her hand, and looked at Dong Hu with her deep eyes. Where are those students? Dong Hu replied that it was just outside. Do you want to interrogate him personally? Xiao Honglian stood up from the chair. Let's go and have a look. The stakes are high. The outcome of the interrogation will determine whether Xiao Honglian launches an attack on Zhang Yi. So she had to listen to these students' narratives herself. At this time, Wu Qingyu and others were thrown into a workshop of the oil refinery. The surrounding machines were still rumbling, and the temperature was much higher than the outside world. This alleviated the coldness of the students' bodies, but it did not make them feel warmer inside. All the people guarding them were armed soldiers. Such a depressing environment is no better than when riding a bicycle at the Shishan base. No one dared to speak. They knelt on the cold ground and felt that their legs were going to give out. After a long time, they heard a flurry of footsteps coming from outside the workshop. The door of the workshop was opened by two soldiers. And what greeted Wu Qingyu and others was the face of a cold and domineering woman. She was wearing red clothes and a special combat uniform, which was very different from the others. Especially the three fire emblems on her shoulders mark her unique identity. She was followed by Zhuge Qingting and Dong Hu. When Wu Qingyu saw their captor Dong Hu standing behind the woman, he immediately understood her identity. After Xiao Honglian came to the workshop, he saw that the captured people were weak and weak. The girls all turned pale and were frightened to the core. All the boys have fair skin and look like they have no fighting ability. You can tell at a glance that they are all well-protected students in the ivory tower. Without anyone to protect them, they would have been the first to die in the apocalypse. Dong Hu said to Xiao Honglian that there was another person who had passed out. He should have some connection with Shishan base because I discovered the human body modification technology of Shishan base in him. Xiao Honglian suddenly became interested. The human body modification technology in Shishan base is something that even makes her envious. 
although the death rate is relatively high. A semi-aliens team can be created once and for all, greatly improving the base's armed strength. Unlike them, they can only temporarily enhance the strength of soldiers through drugs. That person will be left to study it later, Xiao Honglian said lightly. A soldier brought a chair over and placed it respectfully behind Xiao Honglian. She sat down generously, crossed her legs and looked down at the captured students in front of her. The amber eyes glowed with a cold red light. And there was a domineering air of looking down at everything. The fiery red lips spit out chilling words. Tell me everything you know. Otherwise, you would not want to experience the interrogation methods at Yansheng base for yourself. Wu Qingyu was very smart and quickly knelt down and touched his head to the ground. Please rest assured that I will tell you everything you need to know. I just ask you to spare my life. When the other students saw this, they immediately came to their senses. At this time, they must show their role in order to avoid being killed. I'll tell you everything I know. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Who do you want to know about? Whether it's Teacher Zhang Yi or Teacher Liang Yu. I can tell you about their situations. They were so frightened that even before Xiao Honglian started to ask questions, they all poured out all the information they knew. Chapter 377 Isn't there really someone who is the virgin? Xiao Honglian looked at their humble appearance and felt a little disgusted in his heart because she understood that it was impossible for such a useless and cowardly person to have access to Zhang Yi's core information. But she doesn't know much about Zhang Yi herself. So she can learn as much as she can from their mouths. First of all, tell me, where did you get this satellite phone? Liang Yu took out Plateau's satellite phone and showed it to them. But how do these students know where it comes from? If it hadn't been for Dong who digging it out from under their bed, they wouldn't have had the chance to see it. We don't know this thing either. We've never seen it. Xiao Hongyan's eyes already flashed with an unhappy look. Wu Qingyu's heart skipped a beat. And when he realized something was wrong, his mind raced rapidly. And he suddenly had an idea. This thing. It was left by Zhang Yi. In short, no matter what the problem is, just blame it on Zhang Yi and Liang Yu. They are students who are powerless. So they should let people with more ability take on the responsibility. Zhang Yi and Liang Yi brought them to Xujia Town and should be responsible for their safety. Zhang Yi? Was it really him? Murderous intent began to emerge in Xiao Honglian's eyes. Killing Gao Yuan would be equivalent to declaring war on her and Yangsheng base. As the leader of Yangsheng base, she must make Zhang Yi pay the price with blood. Otherwise, her majesty and the Yangsheng base will be shaken in the future. Tell me how many people Zhang Yi and his men have in total. What abilities each person has. Also, how many weapons and supplies they have in their hands. Xiao Honglian looked at Wu Qingyu and asked the most critical question. This topic caused Wu Qingyu and others to have their brains shut down again. Although they have lived in Xujia town for a long time, they have never been to the other side of the river. Their life and their life in the shelter are two completely unrelated parallel lines. They had no idea how strong Zhang Yi was, what his powers were, or the abilities of his subordinates. Although they still had contact with Liang Yu. At that time they were thinking about how to gain Liang Yu's sympathy, get more food, and even enter the shelter. They never asked about people like Zhang Yi. Of course, even if they ask, Liang Yu may not tell them. A group of students hesitated and told every detail of the information they had learned. I seem to have heard that Zhang Yi's ability is space. The people under him are pretty awesome. One of them, Yang Xinxin, is a top hacker. There is also a man named Lu Karen, who is quite good at mechanics. Oh, there is a woman named Yang Mi next to him. The big star Yang Mi. Also, our teacher Liang Yu is with him now. Teacher Liang is very skilled. She is a national martial arts master. She once served as a high-level bodyguard. She is very powerful. A group of people talked all over the place. And what they said was fragmented information. Xiao Honglian asked Zhuge Qingting to record all this information. But they say a lot. But very little is useful. For example, although they said that Zhang Yi was a space superpower, they couldn't explain the specific ability. As for Liang Yu, her ability is a relatively common strengthening ability, which uses supernatural powers to enhance her already strong physique and martial arts. This information is somewhat useful. When the two sides have a war in the future, they will know how to deal with Liang Yu. However, these students have no idea about the military defense of the shelter and the abilities of other people. From this information alone, it is difficult to judge how strong Zhang Yi's team is. Zhuge Qingting shook his head at Xiao Honglian. Xiao Honglian tapped her long white fingers on the edge of the chair. Of course she understands this. Limited intelligence is not enough to start a war. But she had to fight this battle. Do you have any other information? Think about it again. 
These words alone are not enough for me to keep your lives. Xiao Honglian said to them calmly. The students felt their heads spinning. Are they going to die here? Don't want. We have other values. Don't kill us. You keep us. Teacher Liang is very soft-hearted. When the time comes, you can use us to exchange with Teacher Liang. No matter what conditions you put forward, she will agree. Yes, Teacher Liang cares about us the most. She will not just watch us die. If you want to fight Zhang Yi, we can also show you the way. Hearing what the student said, a mocking smile appeared on Xiao Hongyan's lips. And she stood up without much interest. She waved her hand and locked them up. Give them some time to think about their role. If you really can't think of anything, just wait until you go to war and cut down their flags. What her refinery needs are workers who can do the work. There is no need to keep these students who look weak and look like dying people. They can only waste food. Shuga Qingting came over and said to her, Maybe we can give it a try. Try what? Xiao Honglian asked lightly. Shuga Qingting said that these people were Liang Yu's students. And Liang Yu is now Zhang Yi's subordinate. Maybe the relationship between them is really good. We don't know yet what Zhang Yi's strength is. You can use these students as bargaining chips to pretend to negotiate with him first. In this way, you can judge how strong Zhang Yi's trump card is. Xiao Honglian looked at him in surprise. Do you think threatening Zhang Yi or Liang Yi with these useless students is effective? The corners of her mouth were full of sarcasm. Don't be stupid. What is this now? This is the end of the world. Everyone is doing their best to stay alive. Only people with value are worthy of being paid in exchange. They look like waste at first glance. Who will pay for them? Even their teacher Liang Yi could not be so stupid. Zhuge Qingting lowered his head and smiled. My great leader, you have to understand that not every woman in this world is as sensible as you. Maybe their teacher Liang Yu is a soft-hearted woman? And in my opinion, since they can live near Zhang Yi's shelter, this shows that Liang Yu still can't let go of them. After listening to Zhuge Qingting's words, Xiao Honglian also felt that there was some truth. She cannot judge others by herself. After all, there are only a few strong women like her. Are you saying that their teacher Liang Yu might be a virgin? Xuge Qingting smiled and said, I only wish her the best. That way, we have a chance. Chapter 378 I Zhang Yi will never give up on them. Zhao Honglian listened to Zhuge Qingting's suggestion and decided to contact Zhang Yi to test it out. However, she did not believe in her heart that Zhang Yi and Liang Yi would behave like the virgin. Because if the other person is that kind of person, it is impossible to survive for such a long time in the apocalypse. But she was still very interested in taking the opportunity to test the opponent's strength. It would be best if they care about these people. Then the advantage of negotiation will be in our hands. Xiao Honglian asked Zhuge Qingting to find a way to contact Zhang Yi. At this time, Zhang Yi and others no longer use their original mobile phone numbers. Each of their mobile phones has been transformed into an encrypted communicator, which can easily make internal calls without being monitored. The advantage is that you don't need to pay phone bills. Okay, this is a bad joke. As a result, Shuga Chi Ting had no good way to contact the people in the shelter. He had no choice but to tell Xiao Honglian that he could send someone to report to Zhang Yi and leave a communication ban so that Zhang Yi could contact Yang Sheng base on his own initiative. Xiao Honglian nodded and had no objection to this. Having already grasped Zhang Yi's geographical location and captured Liang Yu's students, she did not need to rush for revenge. You must collect enough intelligence and understand the opponent's strength before taking action. Otherwise you may be the one who suffers. Therefore, Shuge Qingting sent several members of Dong Hu's investigation team to deliver a message to Zhang Yi. As for Wu Qingyu and others, they were imprisoned in an underground cell. Improved explosive collars were tied around their necks. Even if they want to escape or someone comes to rescue them, Yang Sheng Bei's can remotely detonate and blow their heads off. After the jailer guarding the cell warned them once, he left the cell expressionlessly. A dozen students gathered together, looking at the explosive collar around their necks that looked like a reminder. With despair on their faces. They couldn't even cry because their tear ducts were frozen. Teacher Liang, you must come to save us. The next day, the sky was bright and bright. But the sky was already covered by dark clouds. And it was still difficult to see the sun through the clouds. Only occasionally when the weather is good, you can vaguely see the icy circular silhouette. The sun is always high. But people on this planet can no longer feel its temperature. Zhang Yi and others sat around the long table and finished breakfast. Liang Yi stood up and said to Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi, I'll go to the other side. Zhang Yi raised his head. Okay, go early and come back early. It's quite cold outside. Don't freeze yourself. 
This gentle concern made Liang Yu bite her lips lightly, and her face turned a little rosy. She didn't dare to look at Yang Mi and Zhou Ke next to her, because she knew without looking that their eyes must be a bit jealous. In recent times, the relationship between her and Zhang Yi has developed rapidly. Although Zhang Yi didn't say any intimate words to her, but that kind of occasional concern is always there. When practicing together, physical contact becomes more frequent. After a long time, she herself couldn't figure out whether she had feelings for Zhang Yi or what Zhang Yi thought of her. She took the food from Zhang Yi, put on her cold clothes and left the shelter. Zhang Yi didn't look at her back, but still slowly picked up a small octopus ball with a fork, stuffed it into his mouth and chewed it slowly. What will Liang Yi do when she discovers that all her students are missing? Zhang Yi was a little curious. From the bottom of his heart, he hoped that Liang Yi would simply give up on those students and become his obedient helper. But judging from Zhang Yi's understanding of her, it was impossible for her to remain indifferent to the student's disappearance. There may even be drastic actions. I hope it won't cause me too much trouble. Otherwise, I will have no choice but to ask you to leave the shelter. Zhang Yi thought so in his heart. This is a test for Liang Yu. Liang Yu came to Xujia town with food. She walked into the igloo where the students lived as usual. But when she opened the door curtain, she found that it was empty. Ding! Her heartbeat suddenly accelerated, and she suddenly had a bad feeling in her heart. She knew those students very well. They were lazy and unwilling to leave the igloo except when they went fishing. Even going to the toilet is done behind a curtain. The cold is so severe that even the ladies, who used to be rich in wealth, no longer care about their image. But now, there is no one here. Something must have happened. Where have all the people gone? Liang Yu swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Very nervous. I didn't see them when I came from the other side of the river. So they couldn't be out fishing. Liang Yu put the food on the table. Then turned around and went out to look for their traces. Xu Jia town is now in deathly silence. Although there are still very few living villagers left. They will not leave their homes except to get food. Liang Yu couldn't care less and went from house to house to search. Asking the villagers if they had seen where her students were but the result is naturally nothing. Liang Yu's mood became increasingly depressed, and that ominous premonition slowly enveloped her. Her students disappeared, disappeared so suddenly. In today's environment, they would only die if they left Xu Jia town. Was he kidnapped? Liang Yu thought of the surrounding forces mentioned by Zhang Yi before, and thought of the worst outcome. Could it be that they were kidnapped by some big force? But why? A barren place like Xu Jia town has no resources to plunder. Are there targets people? But other villagers were not kidnapped either. Liang Yu's head hurt when he thought about it. She couldn't figure it out. And the worry in her heart became more and more serious. She was disappointed with these students. But since the end of the world, these students have been with her until now. Even she knew that these students did not appreciate her. But there is always an obsession in people's hearts. For example, she can't just watch the students she has taught for many years die. Liang Yu looked at the dead ice fields around her. With a cold wind howling. She was like a headless fly, unable to find even the students who wanted to find her. I could only ask Zhang Yi to help me. A look of struggle flashed across Liang Yu's face. She didn't want to cause trouble to Zhang Yi. After all, he was very kind by willing to take her in. And Zhang Yi was also very kind to her. Perhaps in her heart, she also has some special feelings for Zhang Yi. But now, she really can't think of any other way to find those missing students. Their disappearance cannot be accidental. If someone really takes action against them, the target must be me. Liang Yu raised his head and blew out a line of white smoke. The white smoke condensed like an arrow and never dispersed. I can't let them die because of me. Chapter 379 Acting Explodes Liang Yu hurried back to the shelter. Her anxious look attracted everyone's attention. Zhang Yi also looked at her curiously. What's wrong with you? Liang Yu ran to Zhang Yi and said breathlessly, Zhang Yi, no good. Something big happened. My students, they're all gone. Everyone was surprised when they heard this. What? Disappeared. How could this happen? Are all a dozen of them missing? Could it be that he went out to look for wood and food? Everyone's faces were full of concern. But their eyes were full of indifference. In the entire shelter, only Leon Yu cared about those people. Others didn't have any good feelings toward her students. Leon Yu shook his head. I have searched everywhere I can. Not a single person was found. John Yi. I wonder if those forces have already extended their tentacles here. Zhang Yi crossed his hands and frowned. It is indeed very possible. But I don't understand why they want to take away your students. Could it be that you had some enemies before? Liang Yi was also very confused at this time. I... I have no idea. 
I have taught at Tianqin College for three years and have not made enemies with anyone. Zhang Yi advised you not to worry about this matter for the time being. There is no use in being anxious. We need to calm down and think of a solution. Zhang Yi winked at Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen next to him. The two girls came to Liang Yu, pulled her to sit on the sofa, and comforted her. Zhang Yi looked at Liang Yu's eyes seriously and said sincerely, Liang Yu, I want to explain something to you first. Their disappearance was definitely not caused by me. If you don't believe it, I can show you the shelter surveillance. I was in the shelter all day yesterday and didn't go out at all. When Liang Yu heard this, her eyes widened and she said anxiously, No! Zhang Yi, how could I suspect that you did it? Zhang Yi is now a gentle and kind man in her heart. Naturally, she would not doubt Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi shook his head, and it was best to figure out some things. In this way, no one will have any grudges in their hearts. Your students disappeared, and those of us in the asylum were all suspects. When Yang Xinxin saw this, she also said yes. Although none of us would do such a thing, it's best to make each other feel at ease. Liang Yi was very embarrassed about this. Isn't that bad? I know Zhang Yi is not that kind of person. Although she said so, she actually still had a little doubt in her heart. After all, not everyone has the ability to make people disappear silently. It doesn't matter. Let's check the surrounding surveillance to make sure no strangers appear nearby. Zhang Yi called up the shelter's artificial intelligence Xiao AI and asked it to call up all the surveillance videos around the shelter from yesterday to now. Soon, the 100-inch screen on the living room wall played more than 100 surveillance footage. After fast playback at high magnification, it didn't take long for everyone to finish watching the monitored content. Yesterday, the area around the shelter was quiet as usual, and no one was seen coming or going. This also eliminates everyone's suspicion at least the disappearance of the students was not their own hands. Liang Yi breathed a sigh of relief. The result she was most afraid of did not happen. Zhang Yi folded his hands and held his chin, and said with a serious face that he would be in trouble now. We don't know who did it or what their purpose was. This puts us into complete passivity. Although it is currently known that there are four major organizations in Tianhai City, the actions of other unknown small forces cannot be completely ruled out. It is almost impossible for us to do anything proactively. But if the other party kidnapped Liang Yu's students, they must have some conspiracy. So I think we should wait. Maybe the other party will contact us. Liang Yu clenched her fists. But what do I have that is worthy of others' plans? I don't remember anyone I've offended. Zhang Yi smiled and said that this issue is very complicated. But since it is your student who is being arrested, who else could he be targeting if not you? Of course, I'm just raising a possibility. Liang Yi frowned tightly. There was something she particularly wanted to do now. But she was stunned to find that she couldn't do anything, not knowing who the enemy was or what they wanted. She could only stay here in a daze. At this moment, her cold hand was held by Zhang Yi's warm hand. Liang Yu's heart trembled, and she raised her head. Zhang Yi looked at her with gentle eyes. Liang Yu, don't worry. Your business is my business. I promised you that I would help you take care of those students. So I won't break my promise. As soon as there is news, I will act immediately. Liang Yu felt warm in her heart. But now she was helpless and could only follow Zhang Yi's arrangements. Zhang Yi smiled and narrowed his eyes. But his heart was filled with joy. Finally those troubles were solved. They will die soon. Even if the people at Yansheng base don't kill them. The poison Zhang Yi put in their food again and again will have an effect. The key thing is that Liang Yu will not find out that he did it and fall out with him. Everyone comforted Liang Yu. And she felt a little better. But she still couldn't completely let go. Zhang Yi asked Lu Karen and Yang Xinxin to take Liang Yu back and have a good rest. After they left, Zhou Kier came to Zhang Yi with a worried look on his face, leaned against him, and asked Zhang Yi, Could one of those forces be coming to attack us? Well, that's it. Zhang Yi nodded and admitted the matter without hesitation. He didn't tell anyone about killing Gao Yuan and others. But he knew that there would eventually be conflicts with several major forces. Only a fight that proves their strength will completely stop the forces that covet the territory of the Shishan base. This is inevitable. Yang Mi sighed softly. She had not lived a peaceful life for a few days. Why did she start fighting again? Zhang Yi smiled disapprovingly. You are wrong. It is not the war that disrupts our peaceful lives. But we use war to buy short-term tranquility. In the end of the world, war and killing are the norm. But peace is not. Zhang Yi leaned on the sofa thinking about how to deal with the subsequent war. If only two forces attack at the same time, they should be defensive. But, 
Is there any possibility for the four of them to join forces? Zhang Yi's brows wrinkled slightly. If that were the case, it might be a little more troublesome. Chapter 380 Messenger Zhang Yi is already ready for a battle. In this battle, he must make a name for himself in Tianhai City, so that no force dares to provoke him again. Only in this way can he achieve a long and stable life. Although Lian Yu is in anxiety, women are all emotional animals. Let's all try to comfort him. It won't take long for everything to be fine. After all, those students wouldn't be able to live for more than a few days. As soon as they died, the obsession in Lian Yu's heart disappeared, and everything was settled. For the next day, Lian Yu didn't eat anything. Zhou Kier is inevitably worried that if she continues like this, her body will be broken down? It's okay. Her body is strong, and she will be fine even if she is hungry for three days. If she likes to torture herself in exchange for relief, then so be it. Zhang Yi had an indifferent attitude. Liang Yu is a martial arts practitioner and is not that fragile. She just blamed herself and used physical pain to relieve her inner pain. When Zhou Kier heard this, she couldn't help but asked with a smile. Don't you feel bad? Feeling distressed? What are you feeling distressed about? Zhang Yi asked with a smile. Zhou Kier blinked. You don't have any thoughts about Liang Yu? In other words, you have never had any feelings for her. Zhang Yi smiled lightly, and I admired her very much. It would be best if you can become a reliable friend. But before that, she had to get through this. Emotions are the spice of life for Zhang Yi today. Life will be more enjoyable with it. But without it, you can live well just eating staple food. After his rebirth, the longer he spent in the apocalypse, the less he viewed so-called love and affection. In life, the happiest person is to be a person who thinks more about himself. For Lian Yu, he will give all support except practical actions. He doesn't get emotional easily, because once they have feelings, people will become soft-hearted and hesitant to do things. Now he can make Lian Yu his friend, but not his lover. In the afternoon, Zhang Yi called Uncle Yu and Fatty Su over and informed them to be ready to fight at any time, because the people from Yansheng base have invaded the area around the shelter. They found Xujia town so naturally they would not find the shelter not far away. And the reason why they did not launch an attack was simply because they were not prepared. Uncle Yu's reaction was relatively calm. Ever since we killed the aliens at Chaoyu base, I knew this battle was inevitable. Fatty Su sighed. What a trouble. Those guys can't just stay still. Isn't it good to live in the apocalypse? What territory do we have to fight for? Zhang Yi calmly explained that no matter what time, there will be careerists who want to gain higher power. When the goal of survival is achieved, their desires will inevitably expand infinitely. Not everyone has as many desires as we do. And from a security perspective, only by eradicating all threats around you can you be absolutely safe. Don't talk about them. Even if I find there are small armed groups around, I will kill them. Speaking of this, Zhang Yi smiled and encouraged Fatty Su. But you don't need to worry too much. Everything is according to my plan. As long as we let them see our strength, and let them understand that we are a tough nut to crack. They will naturally not dare to invade again. Zhang Yi has no deep grudges with the four major forces in Tianhai City. Just killing one of their strangers and a few soldiers was a big or small matter. As long as his strength makes the other party fearful, the problem will be easily solved. It's very difficult to get him to take the initiative and hit the next base. But just defending the shelter, he was still very confident. Uncle Yu crossed his arms and laughed loudly and said, In short, it's done. Our good days are all made with fists. If anyone dares to disturb us, then defeat them. Fatty Su sighed and held his fat face with one hand. At this point, he had no choice but to get beaten. This was not the first time they had experienced battle, so they were not particularly resistant. After all, defense is always easier than offense. Not to mention, they still have the stable final line of defense in the shelter. At this moment, a faint sound of an engine suddenly came from outside the shelter. The eyes of the three people suddenly became sharp. Someone is coming. It's a car. Zhang Yi instinctively jumped up from the sofa and rushed to the second floor window. Looking through the one-way glass, he found a modified snowmobile on the road a few hundred meters outside Yunk Manor. It felt very familiar. Similar to the snowmobile he had seen before from Yansheng Base. People from Yansheng Base? Why is there only one car? Is it a scout or a messenger? Zhang Yi took out a big sniper from another space while thinking. The snowmobile was heading this way very quickly. And it seemed that it had no intention of stopping. Just when passing the front of Yunk Manor, a fine steel crossbow suddenly appeared from the window. And then a black arrow shot into the ice wall. 
After completing this step, the snowmobile quickly moved away. Want to leave? A sneer appeared at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth. He opened the window, set up a sniper, and aimed at the tracks of the snowmobile. Boom! After a gunshot, 800 meters away, the tracks of the snowmobile were broken up. The car skidded on the road, then fell to the ground and slid towards the river. Zhang Yi hugged the big sniper and jumped out of the window. The falling snow on the ground had been trampled very firmly. But the moment he landed, the power of space wrapped around his body, greatly reducing the impact and allowing him to land as steadily as a feather. The longer he had the power, the more skillful he became at using it. In the room behind him, Uncle Yu and Hua Hua also quickly followed. Zhang Yi and Uncle Yu rode on Hua Hua's body and caught up with the snowmobile in a few jumps. When they arrived, they saw two soldiers wearing Fire Emblem combat uniforms crawling out from inside. One man's leg was crushed, and the other man wanted to take him with him. But after seeing Zhang Yi and others, he decisively gave up on his teammates and ran back. Zhang Yi raised his gun, pointed it at his calf and shot him. Puff! The soldier's calf was pierced, and he screamed and fell to the snow. Another soldier wanted to draw his gun to resist, but Uncle Yu held his neck directly, preventing him from moving. He doesn't look like a stranger either. Zhang Yi tied up the two soldiers and found that they were just ordinary soldiers without any special powers. Therefore, it is impossible for them to come with a combat mission. He didn't take the lives of these two people, but he managed to catch two tongues, so naturally he had to find out more information. But these two soldiers were ruthless enough, and they also knew that there was no way to survive after being caught. So they gritted their teeth. Their faces quickly turned purple, and black blood flowed from the corners of their mouths. And they died. Suicide? Zhang Yi frowned. When Uncle Yu saw this, he reached out and broke their chins, and told Zhang Yi that the poison was a capsule hidden between the teeth, which many scouts would do, just to avoid being captured and leaking information. Zhang Yi took a helpless breath. They were actually smart. Even if Zhang Yi promised to let them live, he would still kill them after exploring useful information. These people don't have too many illusions, but they died just like that. I still don't know what their purpose is here. At this moment, Fatty Sue ran over panting from behind. In his hand, he held a black crossbow arrow with a white cloth tied to it. Boss, they left something behind. Take a look. Seeing this, Zhang Yi's pupil shrank and he immediately yelled at Fatty Sue. Stop! Don't move! Chapter 381 Negotiation When Fatty Sue was scolded by Zhang Yi, he was so frightened that he stood still and did not dare to move. He looked at the crossbow in his hand and then he realized something and his face turned pale. He only came here to claim credit from Zhang Yi. But he forgot that there might be poison on it, or even a micro-bomb inside. In this era when human life is at stake, your enemies will not be morally loyal to you. If they want to kill you, they will do whatever they can to kill you. Slowly, put down the crossbow in your hand. Zhang Yi reminded Fatty Su cautiously. Fatty Su trembled, squatted down slowly, and carefully placed the crossbow arrow on the ice. Back off. Zhang Yi made a gesture to Fatty Su then quickly expanded the different space and took the crossbow arrow in. His different space can be divided into separate areas. Even if there is a bomb inside the crossbow, it can be detonated internally. Zhang Yi opened the white cloth on it in a different space. No bomb was found. Just a handwritten letter. War letter? Or do you want to negotiate with me? Zhang Yi didn't dare to be careless. He raised his head and glanced at Fatty Su. He wore thick gloves, so even the poison on the crossbow arrows could not penetrate. Zhang Yi reminded, throw away your gloves and get a new pair. Fatty Su understood what Zhang Yi meant. And regardless of the cold, he hurriedly took off his gloves and threw them away as if avoiding snakes and scorpions. Zhang Yi took Uncle Yu and Fatty Su back to the shelter. He first called Zhou Kur and came to her infirmary, asking Zhou Kur to check the crossbow arrows and cloth strips. Check to see if there is any poison on it. Zhang Yi said with a serious face. Seeing Zhang Yi being so careful, Zhou Kier couldn't help but ask since they were here to deliver letters. Shouldn't they use this method? Caution is the boat. When you are most relaxed, it is often when the enemy is most likely to succeed. Zhang Yi said calmly. Uncle Yu also nodded beside him and said in agreement that on the battlefield, any careless move may cost one's life. We suffered a lot from this loss back then. Zhou Kier blinked. Although he understood in his heart, he still felt that Zhang Yi and the others were a little too careful when facing a crossbow. However, she still put on gloves and inspected the crossbow arrows and white cloth very professionally. As a result, after dripping test chemicals on it, 
Zhou Kier clearly saw a color change on it. Her expression also changed instantly. Really poisonous. Fatty Su's face turned pale with fright. When he thought about how careless he had just been, if he hadn't been wearing gloves, he might have lost his life. His legs felt a little weak. Zhang Yi, however, behaved calmly. There must be no slack for the enemy. They are thinking of taking our lives all the time. The reason why I can guess this is because if I were them, I would use this method too. After all, if you can kill one, then that's one. Zhou Kier took a glass cover from the side and covered the crossbow arrows and white cloth. There is writing on it. Would you like to come over and take a look? Zhang Yi walked over cautiously and saw a strange code written on the unfolded white cloth. What is this? He originally thought it was something like a letter of challenge. But he didn't expect it to be a string of characters. None of the people present recognized him. So Zhang Yi had no choice but to call over Yang Xinxin, who was proficient in computer technology. He didn't hide it from Liang Yu and called her over. After all, those students must die. The outcome is decided. If Zhang Yi hides something from Liang Yu, it will arouse her suspicion. Hearing that there were things sent from Yansheng base, Liang Yu was also very concerned and hurried to the infirmary with Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen. The first time Yang Xinxin saw the string of characters, she immediately recognized it. This is an address. If I guess correctly, you can contact Yang Sheng base through this address. Zhang Yi calmly asked if it was safe. Yang Xinxin raised a confident smile at the corner of her mouth. Brother, do you think there will be any danger with me here? Zhang Yi smiled and nodded. That's good. I knew Xinxin you were the best. Yang Xinxin's face turned slightly red and her smile grew stronger. Liang Yu took a deep breath and asked nervously. In other words, it is now certain that people from Yansheng base kidnap my students. Right? Zhang Yi said that if there were no accidents, it would be them. There are so many coincidences in this world. Liang Yu said okay. Contact them quickly. See what they are trying to do. Zhang Yi did not speak, but folded his arms and lowered his head to think for a while. If the other party takes the initiative to send contact information, there are only two possibilities. The first is to use the chips in hand to negotiate with Zhang Yi to obtain the maximum benefit. In that case, Zhang Yi's killing of Gao Yuan and others will also be liquidated. Moreover, since they have Liang Yu's students in their hands, they might tentatively consider their value in exchange for something. Second, I want to test Zhang Yi through communication and see how much energy Zhang Yi has in his hands. Yang Sheng base can now confirm that Zhang Yi is the murderer who killed Gao Yuan and others. But they didn't rush to attack because they didn't understand Zhang Yi's trump card. So they didn't dare to act rashly. After Zhang Yi thought about it, he came to the conclusion that he could communicate with Yang Sheng base. The other party hopes to test him through communication. Why doesn't he want to test the other party's attitude? And he needs to act for Liang Yu to make her think that he worked hard to rescue Wu Qingyu and others. After thinking about it, Zhang Yi raised his head and said okay. Let's talk to them. Liang Yu looked happy, thinking that there was hope for rescuing the students. However, Zhang Yi said to her seriously, Liang Yu, there is one thing I must tell you clearly in advance. I understand your desire to save people, but communicating with them is not child's play. It is very dangerous. Once we reveal any flaws, they will attack without hesitation. So you can watch from the side, but you can't show that you care too much about the students. Otherwise, they will definitely make the lion open his mouth. Do you understand? Liang Yu lowered his head and pondered for a moment, then nodded firmly. Okay, I promise you. Ah, oh, that's good. Zhang Yi looked at Yang Xinxin. Xinxin, please arrange to contact him. The negotiation process does not require many people. But since Liang Yu is allowed to watch from the side, there is no need for others to avoid suspicion. Zhang Yi asked them to listen to the conversation between the two, but not to make a sound. No one has any comments. Zhang Yi decided to communicate with the people at Yangsheng base in the living room. Others were sitting on both sides, slightly nervously waiting for the conversation to begin. Yang Xinxin opened her laptop, sent a call request through the network address, and then placed the laptop on the coffee table, facing Zhang Yi. The call request passed through for a long time, and it took a full three minutes before there was any movement. Hello. A deep man's voice came. A sneer appeared at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth. Hey, I'm Dong Yi. There was silence for a moment. Wait a moment. The call continued. And not long after, a cold woman's voice appeared again. Are you Zhang Yi? The leader of the organization surrounding Xu Jia Town and Yunk Manor? Zhang Yi asked who are you? Oh, 
I am the leader of the Yangsheng District Shelter Organization, Xiao Honglian. Were you the ones who killed the people I sent to Hongyuan Materials Factory? The satellite phone was discovered, and there was no need to deny it. And whether Zhang Yi admits it or not. When it comes to turf wars, Yangsheng base will fight sooner or later. So Zhang Yi did not deny it. He just asked in reply, the people who were arrested from Xujia town yesterday were your people. Right? Xiao Honglian. Then you admit it? Zhang Yi meant that it was really you who did it. Neither one answered the other's question directly. But this was the most obvious answer. In the office of Yangsheng base, Xiao Honglian's eyes revealed murderous intent. Those who dare to kill me. You are so brave. No one in the entire Tianhai city dares to take action against our Yangsheng base. Zhang Yi. You have a way to die. Zhang Yi just smiled disdainfully. This sentence sounds familiar. The last person who said it to me has turned to ashes. Oh, by the way, you may have heard of his name. His name is Qin Xinyan. Xiao Honglian's eyes narrowed. Sure enough, the demise of Shishan base is related to this mysterious force. Zhang Yi, how strong are you? In terms of force, Shishan base is the strongest in Tianhai city. If Zhang Yi can even eliminate the Shishan base, then naturally he can also eliminate their Yangsheng base. However, Xiao Honglian was not completely intimidated by Zhang Yi. Do you think I am a three-year-old child? The Shishan base was destroyed because of that missile. You are too arrogant to take all the achievements on yourself. Ha ha ha. Do you think you know it well? Zhang Yi sneered and said, Why don't you think about it? Why did a missile attack the Shishan base? Xiao Honglian's tone was stagnant, and his expression became more serious. That's right. That night, all the forces in Tianhai City were frightened by the missile flying from the north. They had no channels to communicate with the upper-level organization. And they couldn't figure out the ins and outs of this matter. So when Zhang Yi said this, she immediately felt that the missile might be Zhang Yi's way to ask for help. Just you as a warehouse manager? Zhang Yi said calmly, don't bother testing anymore. Do you think I would tell you? I just hope that you can recognize the reality clearly in the future and stay away from me obediently. If I can kill one group of your men, I can kill the second group. Having said this, he glanced at Leon Yu, who had an anxious face. And those students you captured were all brought to me honestly. Otherwise, I will not spare you. Chapter 382 You are not allowed to touch my beloved student. Zhang Yi's words directly angered Xiao Honglian. After all, she is also the leader of one of the largest organizations in Tianhai City. It is impossible for a timid person to sit in this position. Zhang Yi's threat made her slam the table. Arrogant! Destroy us? Do you have this strength? I don't believe you really have the ability to mobilize missiles. If you were that powerful, the entire Tianhai city would have been your territory for a long time. Believe it or not, I will chop down all those students right now and send their bodies back to you. Liang Yu on the side heard this with her heart in her throat and gave Zhang Yi a crazy look. Zhang Yi also showed a stern expression and said in a deep voice, Don't do such stupid things. Those Pui have no value to us. Even if you kill them, it won't affect us. Xiao Honglian sneered. But it doesn't sound like it. I think you seem a little nervous about their lives. It looks like I really got a good deck of cards. Zhang Yi frowned, looking embarrassed. This made Liang Yi feel guilty. She knew that the reason why Zhang Yi was so entangled was to help her. Originally, he didn't need to care about the life and death of those students. Thank you. Zhang Yi, you are a good person. Liang Yu said to Zhang Yi in her heart. Zhang Yi said that those students are very important to my friends, but they have no effect on you. Well, let's talk. How do you want to let them go? The smile on Xiao Honglian's lips grew stronger. She was convinced that she had caught Zhang Yi's weakness. I haven't thought about this yet. Just let me think about it. Xiao Honglian put his long legs on the mahogany table and began to think about how to negotiate the price with Zhang Yi. Want Zhang Yi to pay for his life? That's impossible. It's tantamount to breaking up. And the only end result is a direct war. It's better to test it out first and see where Zhang Yi's bottom line is. Xiao Honglian opened his mouth and made a condition Zhang Yi. You kill my cousin and his soldiers. Now your people are in my hands again. If you want people, use the materials in your hand to exchange them. I know that all the materials in the South China warehouse were in your hands. I don't want more. Half. If you give me half of the supplies, I will return the people to you. And the matter of killing my cousin can be written off in one go. From now on, how about we keep the same from the river? Xiao Hongyan's eyes were filled with amusement. If Zhang Yi agrees to this condition, it means that Zhang Yi is a stupid guy. At the same time, it also proved that after the battle with Shishan base, 
He did not have much strength left. So he did not have the courage to compete with Yan Sheng base. Faced with this kind of lion's big mouth, Zhang Yi directly rejected the impossible. You don't even have to think about it. Xiao Hong said in a cold voice that if you don't agree, then the only way is war. Do you think I'm playing house with you? Zhang Yi smiled and said, Do you think Yan Sheng base is better than Shishan base? Xiao Hong Lian sneered and said, But after the fight with Shishan base, your vitality has been greatly damaged. Right? What's more? As far as I know, the people you killed were not just our Yangsheng base. And the people from Chao Yu base? I can join forces with Chao Yu base to attack you. At that time, do you think you have the strength to compete with the coalition forces from the two bases? Xiao Honglian looked arrogant, and his tone was full of scorn. I only want half of the supplies in your hand. This is a very conscientious price. Don't wait until things get out of hand. By then it will be too late for you to regret. Zhang Yi's tone was very calm. Uh-huh. So that's what you think? But I want to tell you. You know nothing about our strength. If you really plan to come and die, then come here. I will kill you to pieces and crush your ridiculous arrogance. Zhang Yi changed the topic. But there is no need to target those students. They are of little use. I hope you can return them to me. The more Zhang Yi said this, the more suspicious Xiao Honglian became. Are those students really important? Otherwise, how could Zhang Yi never leave important people? If you pay it back as you say, wouldn't that make me lose face? Xiao Honglian sneered and said, Unless you accept my conditions, there is no need to discuss this matter. Zhang Yi frowned and Xiao Honglian, Don't bully others too much. Those students are all innocent. If you have anything to do with me, come to me. Kill. Kill. Kill those students. Do you know how troublesome it is for me to act? Please. You idiot. Don't give me face. Ha uh ha. -huh. It seems they are very important to you. The more you say this, the more I won't let him go. And I will torture them so hard that they can neither survive nor die. And all this is because of you Zhang Yi. Xiao Honglian thought he had grasped Zhang Yi's weakness. And felt very proud. Just sink in pain and regret. Zhang Yi. Don't go too far. Those students are the students of a woman I cherish very much. You are not allowed to hurt them. If you dare to torture them and make them suffer, I will make you pay a heavy price. Xiao Honglian's eyes darkened. He he. Are you threatening me? Okay. Then just wait for me. And I'll show you if I dare. The call ended abruptly here. Xiao Honglian cut off the call. And judging from her last tone, she will definitely torture Wu Qingyu and other students. Zhang Yi slammed the table angrily. It was just too much bullying. If you have anything to do with me, come to me. Don't take it out on those innocent students. After saying that, he stood up and could no longer remain so passive. Now we set off immediately to rescue people at Yangsheng base. He looked at Fatty Su, Uncle Yu and others. This time they went to Yangsheng base. Unlike the last time, they attacked Shishan base. The time, place and people were not on our side. So don't go there. This matter has nothing to do with you in the first place. And I don't want you to get involved. Everyone present was shocked when they heard what Zhang Yi said. Only those who know Zhang Yi well feel that it is a bit strange. But at this time, Zhang Yi made a gesture of going to Shishan base to die. So of course they had to stop him. So a group of people hurried over to stop Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi, don't be impulsive. Now, not only can't you save anyone in the past, you may even get involved yourself. That is a force that is not much weaker than the Shishan base. And if people are on guard, you will only die if you go. Fatty Su said in a voice that only two people could hear. Boss, it's almost done. Just try again. Zhang Yi pretended to struggle for a few times, and then sighed in vain. They deceive people too much. They don't take us seriously at all. They actually captured Liang Yu's students right under our noses. He punched the sofa hard. I promised Liang Yu that I would help her take care of these students. Liang Yu was deeply moved as she looked at Zhang Yi who was working so hard for her. She walked over and gently placed her right hand on Zhang Yi's shoulder. Zhang Yi, don't be impulsive. This matter is not your problem. If you want to blame me, I can only blame myself for not protecting them well. Chapter 383 Convincing Liang Yu Liang Yu's eyes revealed a look of relief. She watched helplessly as Zhang Yi tried his best. But the enemy he faced this time was too powerful. It is no longer a situation where a few strangers can rush over and save people. If they really had a head-to-head -head confrontation with Yang Sheng base, they would still have an advantage in defending. But if they attacked, they would be at a disadvantage. Because Zhang Yi invested almost all his resources in the defense of Yang Manor from the beginning. You've tried your best. 
Thank you for still being willing to help me. But this matter has nothing to do with you. And I don't want to drag you down. A slight smile appeared on Leon Yu's lips. But her expression made John Yi feel that something was wrong. Leon Yu. What do you want to do? To find a home for my own soul. Leon Yu smiled calmly. After saying that, she turned and walked towards her room regardless of the other people present. The living room was very quiet. And everyone felt that something was wrong with Leon Yu's mood. After Leon Yu left, Zhou Kier said with some worry that Leon Yu wanted to save people by herself. Right? Johnny touched his chin and asked puzzledly, Didn't I impress her just now? Fatty Sue chuckled, came over and said, Boss, your acting skills are really good, but it looks too fake. A black line hung from Zhang Yi's forehead. False? I won the third prize in the Springfield Flower Kindergarten Performance Competition. Fatty Sue sighed, But the point is, who would believe such upright words from your mouth? Zhang Yi glanced around, and everyone nodded silently. Zhang Yi spread his hands speechlessly. Well, at least I express my support for her. Uncle Yu said that I can't blame you for this matter. Among all of us. Except Leon Yu. No one has anything to do with those students. And they don't know how to support themselves. So they are all a bunch of slackers. Keeping them will not only not help, but will cause trouble. Even a kind-hearted person like Uncle Yu can say such things. Which shows how unpopular those students are. Of course, this is also related to the previous encounter between Lu Karen and Yang Xinxin. Zhang Yi sat on the sofa, propped up his chin with his hands and said, In short, everyone knows it in their hearts. And it's okay to know that we are very likely to face a war. All defensive measures have been prepared a few days ago, so there is no need to be particularly worried. The attitude of Xiao Honglian just now was very arrogant. And it can be seen that they do not have a clear understanding of our strength. Everyone nodded, feeling a little nervous, but not much. After all, they had experience repelling the Shishan base, and then re-strengthened the defense line and added helpers. Lu Karen looked at the direction Liang Yi was leaving, but said with some worry, But what should teacher Liang do? Zhang Yi said to her and Yang Xinxin, You two should go over and persuade her. Don't let her do stupid things. Lu Karen sighed. He was afraid he couldn't persuade her. Teacher Liang has a very gentle personality. But when he becomes stubborn, even nine cows can't pull him back. Try your best. We can only go so far, Zhang Yi said. Lu Karen nodded helplessly, then pushed Yang Xinxin to find Liang Yu. Zhang Yi's face was surprisingly calm. He has already taken care of Liang Yu's matter. Those students are still alive, and out of her own beliefs, she will save them at all costs. However, as long as those students died, Liang Yu's obsession would disappear. It will be dull for a while at most, and you will naturally be able to come out of the shadows, and without much concern. She would transfer her bond to Zhang Yi and others. Single-minded people can sometimes cause trouble. But as long as you use it properly, she will become the best and most trustworthy helper. At that time, Zhang Yi will be able to own the sharpest knife. After Liang Yi returned to the room, he took out a tang knife from the knife rest. Ever since her dragon cry was taken away by Zhang Yi, she had no intention of returning it to her. Liang Yi accepted her fate and did not ask for it. However, she also got a good sword at the Shishan base which she can use instead of Long Ming. Liang Yu stood in front of the window, slowly pulled out the Tang sword, then picked up the white towel next to it, and slowly wiped the blade. Boom boom. There was a knock on the door outside. Liang Yu didn't close the door. When she looked back, she saw Lu Karen pushing Yang Xinxin over. The eyes of her two students were filled with worry. Teacher Liang, are you okay? Yang Xinxin asked. Yes. Looking at you. We are so worried. Lu Karen also looked worried. Liang Yu took a deep breath. I'm fine. I just suddenly figured it out and knew what I should do. Yang Xinxin's eyes narrowed. Teacher Liang, do you want to go alone to rescue others? The calmer Liang Yu acted, the more worried Yang Xinxin became. Lu Karen said in surprise. Teacher Liang, the other party is a huge Al-Qaeda organization. You can't save people by yourself. You can only die in vain. Why didn't Liang Yu know? She looked up at the ceiling helplessly. I understand the reason. But I also know that I can only do this on my own. Lu Karen hurriedly said. Don't worry yet. Didn't Zhang Yi say he would help you solve the problem? Liang Yu suddenly laughed when he heard this. She walked gently to the two students and touched their faces. Don't think that the teacher is really a fool. Zhang Yi has helped me a lot. And I am very grateful to him in my heart. But I understand that it is impossible for a cautious person like him to take risks for me. Lu Karen's expression was a little embarrassed. Sure enough, 
Zhang Yi's acting skills did not fool Liang Yu. Liang Yu blinked and smiled happily. But, although I know that most of what he said is false, I am still very happy that he is willing to do that. At least it proves that he still cares about me. A strange light flashed in Yang Xinxin's eyes. But even so, are you still going to die? Liang Yu closed her eyes and was silent for a moment before saying, I know you can't understand this approach and think I'm a stupid woman. But you don't understand that if I let them be killed by people from Yansheng base and did nothing, I would be immersed in endless regret and guilt for the rest of my life. This kind of mental torture is worse than killing me. Therefore, I would rather die in order to gain spiritual salvation than live on carrying my sins. Lu Karen didn't know how to refute Liang Yu's words. She knew Liang Yu as a person. And Liang Yu's explanation does fit her style. Think about it carefully. If she had abandoned Yang Xinxin at Tianqing College and lived alone, she would probably have lived with endless guilt. That feeling is more painful than death. Liang Yu's eyes softened. As warm as the March sun melting ice and snow, she touched the faces of the two students and said, Okay, you are alive and well now. At least in the end. My efforts were not in vain. I hope you can live a good life with the hope of all of us. Although that guy Zhang Yi sometimes seems quite inhumane. I can tell that he treats you very well. Follow him, and you can live well in the last days. After Liang Yi finished speaking, he turned around and picked up the Tang Dao. A firm look flashed in his eyes. But just when she was about to leave, Yang Xinxin suddenly lowered her head and said in a low tone, No, that's not the case. If teacher Liang leaves, maybe Xinxin is not far from death. These words made Liang Yu's steps suddenly stagnant. She looked at Yang Xinxin in astonishment. Xinxin, you? What does it mean? Yang Xinxin slowly raised her head. Her childish and cute face looked pitiful at this moment, with two lines of clear tears hanging on both sides of her cheeks. If teacher Liang leaves, Xinxin and Karen will also be punished. Lu Karen's expression was a little surprised. Punishment? What punishment? Liang Yu is a protective woman. Seeing Yang Xinxin's charming expression, her heart suddenly couldn't bear it. She knelt down distressly and gently held her arm with both hands. Xinxin, tell teacher Liang what's going on. If anyone dares to bully me, I will never spare him. Yang Xinxin cried and rubbed her eyes. Because she is polio, she has been unable to move her legs. So she looks frail and vulnerable to the teacher's care. When she cried again, Liang Yu was in chaos. Yang Xinxin said that brother Zhang Yi gave me and Karen a task. And we must keep teacher Liang here. In my brother's heart, teacher Liang is a very important woman. If we hadn't kept teacher Liang, even if brother Zhang Yi wouldn't do anything to us, we wouldn't have the face to stay in the shelter. So, Teacher Liang, if you want to leave, then take Xinxin and Karen with you. At least we can die together. She looked at Liang Yu eagerly. Even if you die in the battle, we will leave with you immediately. You will no longer have to worry about it. Yang Xinxin cried and then revealed a lot of information to Liang Yu, which immediately made Liang Yu fawn confused. What? This? How so? The amount of information was too much, causing her brain to shut down. When she heard that Zhang Yi cared about her, her face suddenly turned red. But she had to try her best to hide her inner fluctuations in front of the students. Not everyone has experienced life and death like Zhang Yi, and is very indifferent to emotions. Women are emotional creatures. After spending so long with Zhang Yi, her heart was affected by various factors, which inevitably made her a little ambiguous. She had only had some doubts before. But now that Yang Xinxin said it herself, she was convinced that Zhang Yi liked her. Although she didn't want to admit it, Liang Yu was indeed very happy inside at this time. The old girl's heart, which had been silent for 27 years, could not stop once it started trembling. Chapter 384 Preparing for War Liang Yu had mixed emotions in her heart. At first, she was quite happy to know that Zhang Yi had special feelings for her. Secondly, the problem Yang Xinxin mentioned worried her again. She can give up her own life, but she cannot abandon her students. What's more, they are two top students that she likes very much. I, I can't live selfishly alone. Liang Yu sighed, feeling a little shaken in her heart. But what he said just now sounded so nice. And he had to fight for his true feelings. It was hard to take back what he said now. Yang Xinxin understood Liang Yu very well. So she said that you can die for them. Why can't you live for me and Karen? Teacher Liang, we need you. Yang Xinxin held Liang Yu's hand eagerly. Her eyes full of pleading. Lu Karen also hurriedly said, Teacher Liang, we can't do without you. Think about it. Xinxin and I are ordinary people without special powers. 
in case of any danger in the future. We need your protection. Yang Yu's heart was shaken even more. But? I can't just watch other people die. Yang Xinqin said. Aren't they still alive now? The whole value of their survival lies in you. So you can't die? Next. We still have room to discuss with Yan Sheng Base. Just wait a moment. After the two students tried their best to persuade him, Liang Yu temporarily gave up his plan to find the Yan Sheng Base. She sighed lightly. Okay. That's all I can do now. Yang Xinqin nodded obediently and finally broke her tears into a smile. After stabilizing Liang Yu, Lu Karen pushed Yang Xinqin out of her room. After going out, all the expressions on Yang Xinqin's face disappeared in an instant and she returned to a calm and rational state. Xinqin, brother, does he really like teacher Liang? Lu Karen asked in Yang Xinqin's ear gossipingly. It's fake. I just lied to her. Yang Xinqin raised a playful smile on her lips. The most difficult thing for an old girl like teacher Liang to deal with is feelings. As long as she knows someone likes her, her heart will be in chaos. Otherwise, how can you convince her to stay? Lu Karen's eyes widened. Good guy. You are playing tricks with teacher Liang here. Yang Xinqin said disapprovingly that I was doing this for her own good. This silly woman would die if she disagreed with her. After a pause, she said in a deeper tone, but it would definitely be a good thing for you and me if she could stay in the shelter. Brother Zhang Yi doesn't know how to raise idle people. These words made Lu Karen's heart tremble. In her impression, Zhang Yi has always been a gentle big brother. But in an instant, she thought of the first time the two met. It was underground at Tianqing Academy buried in ice and snow. At that time, Zhang Yi's eyes looked at her without any warmth. Then make yourself more useful. Lu Karen thought secretly in his heart. And I think that the eldest brother actually likes me a little bit. She pursed her lips slightly. But the girl still had some other thoughts in her mind. After all, who's a girl who doesn't have a child? They always like to think about things in a beautiful direction. Especially when it comes to men they like. And they are more likely to fall in love. Soon, Zhang Yi learned that they had comforted Liang Yu. Zhang Yi felt a little more relaxed. He couldn't lose Liang Yu. There may be a big battle between Sanctuary and Yan Sheng Bei's Chao Yu Bei soon. Liang Yu, a powerful stranger, is a good helper. I understand. Thank you for your hard work. Zhang Yi said to the two girls with a smile. He looked out the window and saw heavy snow falling one after another. The courtyard was completely white, and a tall ice and snow barrier stood on the outside of Yonk Manor like a city wall that could not be broken. It's almost time for the medicine to take effect. Yan Sheng Base. After Xiao Honglian ended the call with Zhang Yi, the smile on his lips became stronger. Because Zhang Yi tried his best to show strength. But she saw a hint of helplessness. Especially when talking about Liang Yu's students. His tone immediately softened. What does this mean? First, it shows that Zhang Yi's sanctuary was severely weakened after the battle with the Shishan base. So Zhang Yi did not dare to conflict with the two major Yan Sheng Xiaoyu bases again. Second, explain that those students are very important to Zhang Yi. This means that Xiao Honglian has a handle on Zhang Yi and can use this to rob Zhang Yi ruthlessly. The best result is naturally to pull out the nail directly. And then she will occupy most of the original territory of the Shishan base. In this way, her Yan Sheng base can become the most powerful force in the entire Tianhai city. According to what those students said, Zhang Yi had several strangers under his command. If I take them all under my command, the strength of the entire Yan Sheng base will be greatly enhanced. The more Xiao Honglian thought about it, the more excited he became. Xu Ge Qingting congratulated from the side and said that judging from the current situation, it would only be a matter of time before they compromise. I think we must take action as soon as possible to capture Zhang Yi's power. If it were later, maybe other organizations would take action. Xiao Honglian waved her hands and said, don't worry. She said cautiously that it was better to do the investigation first and then decide when to take action. You know, there are more than one enemies around us. Once we deploy troops to attack Zhang Yi's sanctuary, the other three families may launch an attack on our headquarters. They all really want our refinery, Xu Ge Qingting said. But the opportunity is fleeting. If you miss it, others may come over to share this piece of fat. Xiao Honglian glanced at him. I would rather do nothing than make a mistake. Nowadays, Everyone is worried about Yan Sheng base. If anything goes wrong, we will all die. Don't pick up the sesame seeds and lose the watermelon. Xu Ge Qingting hurriedly bowed his head and said, I will obey your order. So what do we do next? Xiao Honglian put his hands behind his back, with a confident expression on his face. Since Zhang Yi cares so much about those students, 
Let's add fuel to his heart. Send someone over to teach them a lesson. And then take a video and send it to Zhang Yi. In addition, focus on collecting information about everything around Zhang Yi. We need to understand their specific defense capabilities before taking action. Never underestimate the enemy. We cannot afford to lose. Xu Ching nodded yes. Leader. He bowed deeply to Xiao Honglian. Then slowly took three steps back. And then quickly headed towards the dungeon. Chapter 385 Poisonous Hair After Zhu Ching Ting came to the dungeon, he found the students with explosive collars hanging around their necks and expressions of despair. A cruel smile appeared on his lips. And he asked the jailer next to him for a whip. It's time to entertain our guests. In the desperate eyes of Wu Qingyu and others, the jailers dragged them out. Xu Qing Ting took matters into his own hands and tortured them. Execution is a technical job. If one accidentally hits a vital part, the person who is hit will die. Xu Qing Ting is an expert in executions. He knew how to make people miserable without killing them. The main purpose this time is to show Zhang Yi and break Zhang Yi's heart. So as to facilitate subsequent negotiations. Therefore, the nature of the performance is deeper and requires more tricks. For example, throw them into an iron bucket full of earthworms. Or a damp cave full of cockroaches. Under the dungeon, screams kept coming. Which was not only physical torture, but also mental. Shuga Cheating proudly held up the video equipment and recorded the wonderful footage. But as he patted, he suddenly realized something was wrong. One student suddenly fell to the ground. His mouth twitched. And a lot of foam came out of his mouth. Um, what happened? These students are important chess pieces and cannot just die like this. Shuga Ching Ting was very measured in his methods and would not let them die. He stopped what he was doing and went over to check. After the student finished vomiting, he suddenly vomited a large amount of vomit. And at the same time a foul smell came from his body. This is. Shuga Ching Ting came too close and was so dizzy that he quickly took a few steps back. The student was lying on the ground. His body twitching more and more violently. His pants were soaked all over. And his feces and urine were seeping out. Poisoned. Shuga Ching Ting instantly understood that this student was a typical sign of poisoning and was already poisoned. Given the current medical conditions, there is simply no way to treat him. The student was still twitching. And not far away. Another student, whose hands were tied and hung, kept making vomiting movements. Her expression was twisted in pain. And she swallowed hard. Not wanting to spit it out. But after smelling the disgusting smell, I couldn't help but spit out a lot of paste. How could they be poisoned? Shuga Chingting's eyes were full of confusion. This is not a reaction to food poisoning. Food poisoning does not react so violently. Someone has obviously drugged them. Shuga Chingting was still thinking. And soon several students had poisoning reactions. Shuga Chingting's scalp felt numb. If these people died in his hands, it would be difficult to explain to Xiao Honglian. He quickly took out his communicator and reported the incident to Xiao Honglian. What? Poisoned? Xiao Honglian frowned slightly. These students were still of some use to her, and they couldn't just die like this. Can you still be saved? It seemed hopeless. They were deeply poisoned, and two of them were already dead. Flush their stomachs. Everyone who can be saved is one. Xiao Honglian ordered. Xu Qing Ting had no choice but to have people rush to prepare the materials for gastric lavage. Go directly to the toilet and bring me a few buckets of excrement. Soon, several large buckets of foul-smelling excrement were carried to the dungeon. The students who had not yet had an attack looked pale. No, I don't want it. I'm not poisoned. I don't want to drink this stuff. They would rather die than drink dumb water. But how can they do this? The jailers trapped them against the wall, inserted a funnel into their mouths, and poured a large bucket of excrement directly into their mouths. Wu Qingyu and others rolled their eyes with expressions of despair. At this moment, their hearts were already dead. After several buckets of excrement were poured down, although the remaining students were not dead, they looked no better than the dead. Shuga Ching Ting did not dare to continue the execution for fear of torturing them to death. He called the doctor at the base and asked him to examine the students. After the doctor came over, he couldn't help but pinch his nose and said, Oh! There was a sound. So stinky. Even though he has been a doctor for many years, he has never experienced such a scene. After all, serious gastric lavage has a special liquid who uses fecal water that has been fermented for who knows how long in the cesspool. Ahem. Conditions are limited and we are in a hurry. So we have to deal with it first with excrement. Zhuge Qingting coughed. Dr. Li, get over it and show them. Dr. Li looked at Zhuge Qingting who was standing far away. Speechless. Let me get over it. 
you ran that far on your own. But Zhuge Qingting is the second in command of the base after all. And Dr. Li must obey his orders. He put on several layers of masks, and then went over to check on several people. When Wu Qingyu opened his eyelids, he shook his head helplessly. The poisoning is already deep. And this is no longer a problem that gastric lavage can solve. Out of professionalism, he still checked each student's body. Then he concluded to Zhuge Qingting that the toxins in these people's bodies had been deposited for a long time. And someone had given them chronic poison. If it was in the past, with good medical conditions, a life could be saved. But I can't save them now. Zhuge Qingting's heart slowly sank. The people they worked so hard to capture were all dying? So why did they put so much effort into it? And a mystery gradually enlarged in his heart. That is, why was Plateau's satellite phone found in their house? Obviously, they do not have the strength to kill the Plateau team. Could it be that someone deliberately wanted to kill them? But it was inconvenient to do so. And then borrowed our knife? When Juga Cheating thought of this, his pupils shrank sharply. Oops. I fell into a trap. Now it really became someone else's knife. Juga Cheating hurriedly went to Xiao Honglian and told her his guess. These people were poisoned by chronic drugs and then deliberately placed them in Xijia town, using satellite phones on the plateau as bait to lure us there. Although I don't know what the other party's purpose is. All this was planned by others. After Xiao Honglian finished listening, his eyes became sharp. But why do they do this? Relying on a bunch of poison trash to plot against us? This has nothing to do with us. Or is it that Zhang Yi and his own people want to kill these students? But it is not convenient for them to do it themselves. Xuge Qingting adjusted his glasses. In short, these people will not survive tomorrow. I thought I could use them to blackmail Zhang Yi and obtain enough value. Now this idea is unrealistic. Of course Xiao Honglian and Zhuge Qingting didn't know that this plan was not aimed at them from the beginning but only use them as swordsmen. But Xiao Honglian, based on the principle of using waste, said that before they were dead, he would record the video and send it to Zhang Yi. If the poison on these people was not caused by him, he would take the opportunity to make a profit. Chapter 386 The hostages are all gone. What are you talking to me about? This side of the shelter. After Yang Xinxin and Liu Karen's persuasion, Liang Yu's excitement slowly calmed down. She did not go to Yangsheng base with her Tang Dao to fight on impulse, but chose to discuss with Zhang Yi to see how she could get the person back. Zhang Yi immediately generously expressed that he was willing to use the resources in his hands to exchange for her students. There is no use keeping your students at Yangsheng base. I think they will accept my conditions. Zhang Yi said to Liang Yu. Liang Yu was sitting on the sofa. When she saw Zhang Yi's turned eyes, she quickly moved her eyes away, not daring to look at him. Ever since Yang Qingqin said those words to Liang Yu, a strange emotion arose in her heart. Even if Zhang Yi simply said a word to her, she would have many reveries. That would be the best. I was worried that they would torture my students crazily. Liang Yu sighed softly, her tone still full of worry. Zhang Yi curled his lips quietly, knowing that those students would definitely not live to see Liang Yu again. However, what will be Liang Yu's reaction after those students are confirmed to be dead? Zhang Yi could not understand Liang Yu's heart but he used himself to save others. He thought this was a great relief for Liang Yu. At the very least, she could let go of her baggage with peace of mind and without any moral burden. After chatting with Liang Yu, Zhang Yi began to wait silently for Yang Sheng Base to take the initiative to contact him. Sure enough, not long after, he received a call request from Yang Sheng Base. This time it was a video call. After Yang Xinxin called Zhang Yi to the control room, Zhang Yi closed the door and only the two of them participated in the call. After Zhang Yi got through, he saw the other party's appearance for the first time. The person who appeared in front of him was not Xiao Honglian, the leader of Yangsheng base, but a tall, thin, long-haired man with cold eyes. Zhang Yi, one day has passed. I wonder how you are thinking. I am contacting you today because I want to give you a gift to help you make a decision as soon as possible. Xu Ge Qingting finished speaking with a sneer, and then inserted a video into the call. Apparently it was recorded when he tortured Wu Qingyu and others. Zhang Yi sat on the sofa and watched quietly, without any movement on his face. After reading it, he calmly asked if they were all still alive. This indifferent attitude surprised even Zhuge Qingting. After all, when the two sides talked on the phone yesterday, Zhang Yi's attitude was completely different from today. At that time, Zhang Yi was very concerned about the life and death of these students. But today his tone and expression revealed a kind of straightforward indifference. Shuga Qingting said in a deep voice that they are still alive now. But there is no telling how long they can last. Zhang Yi, 
the leader of my family has changed his mind. Keeping these losers will only waste rice. So I'd better give it back to you. But you need to use materials in exchange. We need one ton of food per person. Facing the other lion's mouth. Zhang Yi still had a hint of amusement on his expression. It's not impossible. However, I have to confirm that those people are still alive. Otherwise, wouldn't it be too cost effective if I handed over the supplies to you? Only to get back a bunch of corpses? According to Zhou Kier, the amount of medicine he added to the food would cause the disease to take effect within a week. But to be on the safe side, he had to personally confirm that all those people were dead before he could rest assured. Shuga Qingting's eyes darkened. Many of those students had died, and the remaining ones only had one breath left. If Zhang Yi saw him, he would definitely not accept the exchange conditions. You have seen people, and they are still alive and well. This is just a video. I want to see a live person. Now, take me over to see them right away. Zhang Yi narrowed his eyes, and there was an undeniable toughness in his voice. Just let me confirm that they are all alive, and I will arrange to give you food right away. Xu Ve Qingting stared at Zhang Yi across the screen and said quietly that Yan Sheng Base would not play boring tricks. We want these people's lives to be useless. How can we kill them? Your worries are unnecessary. Since Zhang Yi spread his hands like this, why not let me take a look? Just take a look. I just take a look. But how could Zhu Ve Qingting let him see it? Because it only takes one look. Mr. Zhang, I don't feel the slightest sincerity from you. Zhu Ve Qingting wanted to say something else. But Zhang Yi had already reached out and pressed the button to end the call. He leaned on the chair and told Yang Xinxin next to him that they were dead. Xu Ge Qingting's actions proved this. Yang Xinxin asked her brother curiously, How did you do it? Zhang Yi said frankly that I added some technology and hard work to their food. Yang Xinxin breathed a sigh of relief. Her sunny smile was great. Now, no one will be dragged down. Zhang Yi touched her head and spent the past two days doing some mental building work for Liang Yu. Don't let this silly woman get confused. Women, just give me more coaxing. Yang Xinxin tilted her head and looked at Zhang Yi playfully. Actually, brother, you are more effective than me in taking action yourself. Zhang Yi raised her eyebrows. Do you mean you want me to enlighten her? Yang Xinxin said with a smile that this will definitely be useful. Kill with an emotional knife. Zhang Yi just replied humorously. But I am worried that the next generation will become stupid. By the way, Remember to keep this call confidential and don't tell anyone. Yang Xinxin nodded and felt relieved. I know it very well. Over the next few days, the shelter remained as quiet and peaceful as ever. The women played mahjong and chatted. But now they would deliberately pull Liang Yu to talk to her to relieve her inner depression. The men, on the other hand, are waiting for the war to come in a seemingly relaxed way. But in fact they are not slacking off. As a defensive side, their preparations have already been sufficient and there is not much room for improvement. If a war really breaks out, they can use their tactics according to their opponent's attack methods. Until more information is obtained, conservative tactics are best. Here at Yangsheng Base, the toxins in the students' bodies finally broke out, and each one of them ended their lives in a very painful way. Xu Ge Qi Ting found Xiao Hongli in helplessly and reported the matter to her. Now that everyone is dead, we have lost the bargaining chip to blackmail Zhang Yi. Xiao Hongli frowned. Although he guessed that there was a high probability of such an ending, he was still a little depressed. She slowly raised her head, staring at Zhuge Qi Ting with her beautiful and intimidating eyes. Then, there is no other option except war. Chapter 387 Face the Cruel Reality Two days later, Zhang Yi received another message from Yangsheng Base. This time it was not a call request, but a video. He and Yang Xinxin were naturally the first to see it. After opening the video, a depressing scene appeared in front of me. The background is a large factory iron frame in the snow. A dozen cold human heads were hung on ropes. Xiao Honglian stood in front of the execution platform, stared at the camera with indifferent eyes, and said coldly, Blood for blood. Tooth for tooth. Zhang Yi. This is just the beginning. Soon I will have your and your friends' heads hanging on the execution platform at Yangsheng Base. The video ends here. The one-minute video expresses only two words a declaration of war. Xiao Honglian cut off the heads of all the students to sacrifice the flag and declare that the war has begun. After watching this video, Zhang Yi was silent for a moment before taking a sip of the hot coffee at his hand. Finally dead? It can be considered clean. Yang Xinxin sighed softly. After all, this was the ending. Zhang Yi looked at her and asked with a smile, Didn't you hate these people the most before? Are you unhappy now that they are dead? 
Yang Xinxin shook her head. Neither happy nor sad. I really hate them, and wish they would disappear from this world. Only, when I really see them all dead, I still feel a little sad. She lowered her head, and clenched her pale little hands tightly. I am very worried that one day in the future, my head will be hung up. A flash of astonishment flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. But he soon understood. No matter how smart and sinister Yang Xinxin is, she is only an 18-year-old girl after all. It is natural for her to feel fear when she sees a peer she has been with for many years die like this. Zhang Yi leaned over and stretched out his strong arms to hug her. Don't worry. I'm here. Brother will not let Xinxin die. Because I will not die. You will definitely live well. Yang Xinxin is his important logistical support. Zhang Yi will protect her well and prevent her from any harm. Zhang Yi's warm embrace allowed Yang Xinxin to regain some of her body temperature. She put her hands on Zhang Yi's back. And her eyes slowly became moist. Brother, it's great to have you here. Xinxin will definitely not hold you back and become a useful person to you. So, please don't abandon Xinxin no matter what. Okay? If Xinxin becomes a burden to you one day, she will solve it herself. After comforting Yang Xinxin, Zhang Yi decided to make the video public for everyone, especially Liang Yu, to see with their own eyes. She must give up completely before she can give up her obsession. But seeing the scene, Teacher Liang might collapse. Yang Xinxin reminded Zhang Yi Dao that you need to be mentally prepared. Zhang Yi said, Don't worry. I am not only mentally prepared, but also physically prepared. If Liang Yi really collapsed and wanted to go to Yangsheng base to risk her life, Zhang Yi would directly control her and use sedatives to let her rest at home for a while. All acts of devotion come from impulse. No matter how noble and great an ideal may be, it can be changed. In the end, I will let her know clearly that living is everything. The purpose of living is just to live. No other reasons are needed. Yang Xinxi nodded. And we will try our best to persuade her. Zhang Yi took out a small bag of medicine from his pocket and handed it to Yang Xinxi. Put this in the coffee and let Liang Yu drink it. Yang Xinxi took it with a suspicious look on her face and asked what it was? Medications that calm the mind. Zhang Yi said. Yang Xinxi followed Zhang Yi's instructions. Liang Yu had no doubts about the hot coffee that Yang Xinxin handed her and drank it happily. Zhang Yi counted the time in his heart and only called everyone over after confirming that the medicine had taken effect. Before watching this video, he did not forget to remind everyone that the content of this video may be a bit cruel. I hope everyone can be mentally prepared and not get too excited. When he heard Zhang Yi say this, Liang Yu felt something was wrong in his heart because the video was sent from Yangsheng base. So, about her students? Zhang Yi took a deep look at Liang Yu and then opened the video. The result was a dozen heads hanging high on the screen. The first time Liang Yu saw it, he felt something exploded in his head, and his whole brain went blank. Her students, all of them died? For a moment, the world in front of Liang Yu was spinning. She swayed a few times unsteadily, and the voices of other people could be heard vaguely in her ears. Teacher Liang, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Then her eyes darkened, and she collapsed to the ground. Lu Karen's face was filled with nervousness. Teacher Liang, are you okay? Zhang Yi walked over slowly and said calmly, It's okay. I just gave her some sedative drugs. Just rest for a while. Uncle Yu couldn't help but shook his head and sighed. Teacher Liang is a good teacher who does his duty. This incident was a big blow to her. I hope she can look away and not get into trouble. Time will heal the pain. And so will love. Zhang Yi helped Liang Yu up. Carried her to her room. And then put her on the bed. He told Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen that you should take good care of her these two days and help her resolve her emotions. He then told Zhou Kier to inject her with a sedative to stabilize her mood. And if it didn't work, increase the dose. I would rather let her lie in bed for a few more days than let her mess around. Zhou Kier nodded. Understanding. After settling Liang Yu, everyone returned to the living room. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Yi began to discuss with everyone the matter of facing the battle. The battle with Yangsheng base is inevitable. Maybe Chaoyu base will come with him. If you have to face two major bases at the same time, the defensive pressure will not be small. According to the original plan, rely on the first line of defense to fight, and wait until the first line of defense is breached before retreating to the shelter. However, these two bases are not the Shishan base. I haven't killed many of their people, and they have no reason to fight with me. Basically, as long as they suffer a certain amount of casualties, they will withdraw their troops. So overall, it won't be too difficult to deal with. What's more, 
Our armed forces have also been greatly improved compared to before. This is also the reason why Zhang Yi is not panicked. He has no mortal grudge against Yan Sheng Bei's Chao Yu base. Even if he killed Xiao Hongyan's cousin and Wei Dinghai's confidant. The death of one or two people did not necessarily escalate to a life or death situation. The real purpose of this battle is to compete for territory. If you are strong, they will respect you and fear you. If you are weak, they will beat you and kill you. What Zhang Yi has to do is to prove his strength so that other organizations in Tianhai City will not dare to invade. Chapter 388 God's Right Hand After Xiao Hongyan's video was sent, the shelter went on alert. The more obvious point is that Zhang Yi and others wear combat uniforms when they sleep every day. Whenever an enemy attacks, they will get up and fight back immediately. However, in a short period of time, neither Xiao Hongyan nor Wei Dinghai had any plans to attack directly. Planning a large-scale war is not easy. In particular, Yan Sheng base and Chao Yu base are far away from the shelter. If you want to go to war, you have to consider various issues such as logistical support and intelligence collection. The key is that they have to guard their base camp to prevent other forces from stealing their home. At the shelter, Liang Yu couldn't eat for several days because of the student's death. Zhang Yi asked Zhou Kier to give her nutritional solution. A war is about to break out. And as one of the main combatants, she can't just lie down all the time. But judging from her mental state, it would obviously take a long time for her to get out of this incident. Zhang Yi didn't deliberately try to persuade her. Just let her keep this regret and hatred for Yan Sheng base. After the war breaks out in a few days, let her go out and kill to her heart's content to vent her inner emotions. If the accumulated negative energy is vented, people will be fine. At this moment, an old man wearing a white cloak appeared from the white snow in the distance, walking step by step towards the direction of the shelter. His steps were not fast, but very steady. Although he looked old, his footprints were deeply imprinted on the snow, leaving two lines of marks. He is a clergyman of the snow worship sect, the great eunuch Xiao Jianhua, braving the wind and snow. He arrived step by step not far from the shelter, across a thick barrier of ice and snow. He looked up at the black shelter standing in the wind and snow. The wind and snow made it difficult for him to open his eyes. But when he stood upright, a golden brilliance flashed through his weathered gray eyes. And in his eyes, the whole world changed color. The world is like an unfolding picture scroll, with colorful ink on it. Suddenly, his body trembled slightly. In his eyes, there was an incomparably vast aura hovering over the sanctuary, so powerful that it even covered the sky above the entire sanctuary. Apart from that one, there are actually such powerful strangers in the world. Could it be said that he is the right-hand man of the god? Zhao Jianhua, the great edict of the Shui cult. Ability to look forward to Qi. He could see the aura on everyone. Qi exists in all living people. The stronger the vitality of a person, the stronger the Qi. Especially the aliens. Their auras are even more intense. The more brilliant and vast this color is, the more powerful the stranger is and his potential is endless. It is because of this ability that Zhao Jianhua was able to preach on behalf of Yuan Konya, the leader of the Snow sect, and recruit many followers. He can see gifted aliens and unawakened people. It can be said that the rapid expansion of the Snow Worship sect today is inseparable from his ability. The power of the Great Decree disappeared in an instant. He took a deep breath and walked back step by step on crutches. He must report such a major discovery to the leader and high priest, Yan Sheng Base. Xiao Honglian has made the decision to use troops against Zhang Yi's shelter. In name, he avenges his cousin and subordinates. The actual purpose is naturally to march into Shishan District and Lujiang District in the name of this, and seize the rich resources there. However, she also knew not to do it rashly. Surrounded by powerful enemies, it is very risky to separate your troops. And how strong Zhang Yi's background is, she doesn't have a definite answer in her heart. She needs time to prepare and make sure she succeeds in one battle. Soon after, Deputy Zhu Chi Ting brought someone to her. It was a middle-aged man with a strong build and a fierce face. I have met the leader. My name is Wu Huiren, former manager of Zhanlong Security Company. I was involved in the shelter project at Yunk Manor, and that man named Zhang Yi. I once took care of and built a safe house for him. If Zhang Yi sees him again, he will definitely recognize the manager Wu Huiren. As the manager of Zhanlong Security Company, he once joined the army and worked as a professional mercenary and full-time bodyguard. After the end of the world came, he relied on his powerful force and ruthless behavior to survive until now. Now he has joined the Yan Sheng base and has become the leader among ordinary soldiers. Xu Ting found Zhang Yi when he was investigating him. So he brought him over. 
When Xiao Honglian heard what Wu Huiren said, he curiously asked, Are you familiar with that Zhang Yi? Wu Huiren said that he was not familiar with him. It was just a simple relationship between the employer and the company. However, the place where he currently lives is familiar to me. Xiao Honglian didn't know much about Yonk Manor 101. Oh, is there anything different? Wu Huiren explained the situation of the shelter to her in detail. After listening, Xiao Honglian suddenly realized. No wonder they were able to hold off the Shishan base's attack for more than a month. And ended up safe and sound. It turned out to be the shelter you built. That makes sense. Wu Huiren said that Shishan base has nothing to do with that shelter. But our Yangsheng base can break it. Chief, please leave this matter to me. Wu Huiren naturally would not miss this opportunity to make meritorious deeds. Yansheng base also has a strict hierarchy. The higher the level, the better the food, shelter and various supplies you can enjoy. Xiao Honglian looked at him. Do you know the weakness of that shelter? Wu Huiren Dao Zhanlong Security Company, as the leading brand in the country, cannot possibly tamper with customers' houses. But since we built the house, we know the structure and materials of the house relatively well. As long as we have access to the house, we can completely cut the wall with our large work trucks. It is very difficult to drive a large operation vehicle from Yangsheng Base to Lujiang District. However, Yangsheng Base has no shortage of fuel and can fully afford this consumption. In addition, Wu Huiren, who understands the structure of the shelter, is able to cut through the outer wall of the shelter. Xiao Honglian nodded. Okay, you can follow us for this operation. As long as things are done well, I will promote you to lead a team. Wu Huiren's face showed excitement when he heard this. Thank you for your cultivation. Chief. However, I still have a question that I can't figure out. Xiao Honglian held his cheek with one hand, a trace of doubt appearing on his face. No matter how strong the shelter is, and no matter how special the materials used, the gap can still be opened with professional tools. In this case, Shishan base can be destroyed even with explosives. Why didn't they do it? Chapter 389 Xing Tian. The appearance of Wu Huiren made Xiao Honglian very happy, and she obtained more information through Wu Huiren's introduction. But at the same time, she also had some doubts in her heart. Although the Shishan base cannot use large operation vehicles, they have a large amount of weapons and equipment, and there is no reason to have nothing to do with a the shelter. There is no fortress that cannot be conquered in this world. But why is Zhang Yi's shelter still safe and sound? Could it be said that Zhang Yi and his partners are so powerful that it would be difficult for the Shishan base to get close to them? Xiao Honglian had to be cautious. Without understanding the opponent's strength, any careless move will bring fatal crisis. She waved her hand and asked Wu Huiren to go down and prepare. After thinking about it alone for a long time, she slowly made up her mind. If there is really a risk, we cannot let Yanxing base and my family bear it. We must drag several other forces into the water. In this way, we can not only share the risk, but also prevent them from sneak attacks on the base while I am in action. Although it is possible to monopolize all the results of acting alone. Truly savvy businessmen will only gain limited benefits. People who like to play high-risk and high-yield games are gamblers, and betting on dogs will not end well. Immediately, Xiao Honglian found her old friend, Wei Dinghai, the leader of Chaoyu Base. The two parties have a strategic partnership, and they have the closest relationship among the major forces in Tianhai City. The key is that their stranger Wang Ruishuan also died in Zhang Yi's hands. So there was a reason to send troops against Zhang Yi. After the call was connected, and after a few polite words between the two, Xiao Honglian directly explained the purpose. That guy named Zhang Yi is not simple. He was able to compete with the Shishan base for so long. In the end, the Shishan base was destroyed. I even suspected that it had something to do with them. Neither of our two families dares to deal with them alone. Otherwise, we should cooperate. What do you think? Wei Dinghai had actually sent spies to investigate the details of Zhang Yi and the shelter. He also didn't find out the reason and he didn't dare to attack the shelter. Upon hearing Xiao Honglian's suggestion, Wei Dinghai just smiled. I'm afraid it won't be enough for our two families to take action. Right? If you want to fight, drag everyone down. The smile on Xiao Honglian's face became even brighter. We both wanted to go somewhere. Snow Worship Cult and Qingui Base. One seems to be a chaotic cult, and the other is a conservative force composed of steel workers. The strength of these two families cannot be underestimated. If they carry out a sneak attack while they are dividing their forces to attack Shang Yi, they will not be able to bear it at all. The snow worshipping sect, in particular, has been ostracized by other forces in Tianhai City and has long standing grievances. Even though they usually pretend to be cool, 
They don't dare to offend anyone. But no one can trust dogs that bite but don't bark. Therefore, the best thing to do is to bundle them all into the chariot. Xiao Honglian said that as long as our two families join forces, it will be easy to persuade them to follow suit. I'll go over to the Chipei base and tell you that the snow-worshipping cult will be left to you. Is that okay? Wei Dinghai's eyes wandered. If the four families took action together, how to divide the territory would be another big problem. Xiao Honglian snorted coldly and said with a smile that the territory of Shishan base is so big that no one has the ability to eat it all. Nowadays, we have to spend a lot of effort just to stabilize our territory. I don't care about anything else. But those material factories and machinery factories in Lujiang district must be given to me. Wei Dinghai laughed and said it was easy to talk about. We operate at sea all year round. And those things have no effect on us. It's just that we need to get more food from the warehouse. Moreover, I hope you can supply more fuel by then. After some bargaining, the leaders of the two forces reached a consensus. So, both parties followed their agreement and asked the other two families to send troops to jointly attack Shang'i. Chipei District is located in the northwest of Tianhai City. There used to be a huge forest farm here, as well as the famous Chikei Steel Mill in Tianhai City. One of the four major shelters, Green Creeping Shelter, is located under the steelworks. The people inside the base are mainly loggers in forest farms and steel workers in steel plants, although they are not professional soldiers or bodyguards. No one dares to underestimate the fighting power of this group of brothers. In a workshop of a steelmaking plant, sitting on the lathe was a man who looked to be in his thirties. However, steelmaking workers generally appear older, and it is difficult to determine his specific age. He was wearing gray work clothes, and his hair looked messy because he hadn't taken care of it for a long time, which made his high hairline even more obvious. There is sparse stubble on his dark face. And there are many acne marks caused by irregular work and rest. Such a man can be seen on the assembly line of any factory in Tianhai City. He is ordinary and unremarkable. At this time, he put one leg on the lathe, holding a steamed bun in his hand, and threw it on the ground piece by piece. There were two dogs lying on the ground. If you look carefully, there are two people. A skinny Mediterranean. A long-haired four-eyed dog. The two men had heavy iron chains tied around their necks. And they were sticking out their tongues like dogs, wagging their tails and begging for mercy from the man in front of them. Every time a man dropped a piece of steamed bun, they would quickly fall to the ground to fight over it, and even fight with each other salivating. When the man sees the scene, a happy smile will appear on his face. Outside the workshop, several people wearing white combat uniforms came in. Their combat uniforms have a clear green leaf logo tattooed on their chests which represents their status as members of Qingui base. Several people came behind the man who was feeding him and took a look at the funny scene on the ground, with uncontrollable smiles on their faces. Boss, the girls from Yangsheng base are looking for you. The man who was feeding the dog raised his head when he heard this. Oh, Xiao Honglian, that bitch is looking for me. What is she looking for me for? A subordinate reported that I have something very important to discuss with you. As for the specific content, we are not qualified to know. Xing Tian, the boss of Chipei Base, jumped off the lathe. Well, let's go see what she's up to. He turned around to leave. But the two canine men on the ground suddenly became anxious and crawled forward regardless of the restraints of the chains behind them. Woof. Woof woof woof. The two people stuck out their tongues and looked at Xing Tian with flattering eyes, eager for more food from him. Xing Tian turned around and was happy to see their funny looks. Factory Director Lu. Director Sun. You are really good at being dogs. I was really wrong to treat you as human beings before. He threw the steamed bun in his hand to a subordinate. They haven't eaten for three days. Please help me feed them. It's rare to have two good dogs to play with. Don't get them killed. The two subordinates were smiling happily. Okay. Just leave this to us. Don't worry. Shang Tian walked out of the workshop. And soon there was a sound of dog barking. Which later turned into a scream. Chapter 390 Allied Forces Xing Tian put his hands in his pockets and walked out of the workshop slowly. It was freezing cold outside, and the snow was horribly thick, but he didn't notice much of the coldness. There were workers wearing combat uniforms standing guard around them, and they would salute Xing Tian when they saw him. Xing Tian smiled and waved to his brothers, then slowly walked all the way to the factory office. The temperature inside the house is very high, and there is no shortage of coal in the steelmaking plant. Now there is no need to continue making steel. They use these to boil hot water for heating, which is very easy for heating. At the door of the office, a girl wearing a small combat uniform squatted there, 
holding a wooden stick in her hand and writing and drawing on the snow. In front of her squatted a huge snow-white wolf dog. Its size was more than ten times the size of ordinary dogs. And it was almost the same as a giant hua-hua. But at this time, the giant dog was lying on the snow obediently, watching the girl writing, with a low eyebrow and no trace of ferocity. Instead, there was a hint of cuteness in his eyes. Seeing Xing Tian coming over, the big dog raised his neck and howled. The little girl on the snow also raised her head. And when she saw Xing Tian, a sweet smile appeared on her fair and round face. Dad, Xing Tian smiled and strode over, hugged the little girl, and then tightened the hair around her neck to protect her cheek. Didn't I tell you? Don't come out. It's too cold outside. If you really want to go out, put on a hat and scarf. The girl's name is Zhou Lingling, and she is Xing Tian's goddaughter. Her father was Xing Tian's co-worker. He died in an accident a few years ago. So Xing Tian adopted her. Zhou Lingling smiled sweetly and said, It won't be very cold. It's very warm inside the steel factory. Xing Tian pinched her little cheek. If you catch a cold by then, you will suffer the same consequences. He put Zhou Lingling in front of the big dog. You play with Lei Lei for a while. Dad went over to do some errands and will accompany you later. Zhou Lingling nodded obediently. Then continued to squat down, riding on the ground while saying in a milky voice Lei Lei. This is one. This is two. The big dog Lei Lei lowered his eyebrows and looked embarrassed. It really can't learn this thing. Xing Tian walked into the office, which was the former factory director's territory. The decoration inside was very gorgeous. And it was a kind of low-key luxury. It doesn't look splendid. But the mahogany table, the rosewood coffee table, and the complete set of blue and white palace tea sets all make people feel what it means to be high class. Xing Tian walked in loudly, and the communication staff was waiting for him here. Boss, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Xing Tian walked over and sat on the sofa seat. She asked me to do something. So what happened to asking her to wait? Even so, he still reached out and pressed the connect button. Xiao Hongyan's delicate face was immediately displayed on the communicator's screen. She held her cheek in one hand, looking a little impatient. Xing Tian, it's really not easy to find you. It made me wait for so long. Look what you said. Xing Tian smiled disapprovingly, with a hint of scorn on his face. No one can guard the communicator all day. I was busy just now. Just tell me what you want from me. Xiao Hongyan curled his lips. She knew that Xing Tian's character was like this. After all, before the end of the world, he was just an ordinary team leader at Chipei Steel Plant. Most of these workers have a straightforward personality. Xiao Honglian told him his purpose straightforwardly. The Shishan base has been destroyed. I wonder what your Chipei base thinks. Xing Tian smacked his teeth and said casually that the northeastern part of Shishan district borders us. I don't think you are interested in that area. Anyway, their territory is so big that no one can occupy it for a while. So why don't we all discuss how to divide it up? Xiao Honglian smiled. This is easy to say. But now there is still a problem before us. There is still a very powerful force entrenched in the original territory of Shishan base. If we don't get rid of it, we are all at risk in the past. My people and Wei Dinghai's people were all killed by him. When Xing Tian heard this, his eyes narrowed. There are really such awesome people in Tianhai City. Not only can you bite off a piece of meat from the Shishan base, but you dare to attack two of your bases at the same time? Xiao Honglian nodded. There are indeed such awesome people out there. We have investigated and found that they are not a big force like us, but a relatively small but elite team. There are many strangers inside, and they are very powerful. They were backed by a shelter comparable to a military fortress, and even the Shishan base could not do anything to them. Xing Tian touched his chin. This was the first time he heard this news. Chipei base is the most low-key among the major forces. It has never had contact with Zhang Yi before so it naturally does not know about Zhang Yi's existence. After receiving the information at this time, he also secretly speculated in his heart. He cautiously said to Xiao Honglian that if their strength is strong enough, we cannot rush over to attack. You have to understand that traveling a long distance to fight in an area that is not your own territory is equivalent to losing 30% of your own strength. Xiao Honglian persuaded. So this time we invite you to fight against them together. Our Yangsheng base and Chao Yu base have already made an appointment. If you just nod here, we will launch an attack together. When the time comes for the three of us to reach an agreement, those who worship the snow cult will also have to go to war. The four families joined forces, and after capturing them, they divided up the entire Shishan district and Lujiang district. What do you think? 
Shang Tian felt a little relieved when he heard that the four families were joining forces to attack. Was it the force you were talking about that caused the uproar with the Shishan base? The armed forces of Shishan base are so powerful. But they cannot break through their defenses. Can we do it? Xiao Honglian knew that Xing Tian would definitely ask this question. She replied that the person who built the shelter was at Yansheng base. By then, I will naturally be able to break through their defenses and get in. Xing Tian raised his eyebrows, feeling that this matter was very interesting. When the four major forces in Tianhai City join forces, is there any place that cannot be conquered? He immediately thought that the reason why Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai invited him over was because they could not afford the territory left by the Shishan base. And they were worried that the Chipei base was making small moves behind their backs. This deal is guaranteed to make a profit. So you can definitely do it. I need to think about this again. Xing Tian rubbed his stubble-covered chin. And I need you to provide me with information about that shelter. Xiao Honglian nodded. It's no problem. You can think about it carefully. This will be a huge benefit to your Chipe base. You will definitely not regret it. Chapter 391 The Snow Worship Cult's Plan Xing Tian did not give an answer on the spot. Now, as the leader of Chipei base, his every move will affect the life and death of thousands of worker brothers in Chipei base. He is not a resourceful wise man, but he is better than self-aware. Therefore, if you think twice before doing anything, you will never go wrong. Shortly after ending the call, Xiao Honglian sent him the promised information about the shelter. Xing Tian clicked on the information and took a look. It was this look that made him startled slightly. And then he sat up straight and stared at the screen carefully. Among the information, the one placed at the front is Zhang Yi's personal information. It can't be such a coincidence. Right? He said in a daze. Tianfeng District. Wei Dinghai also contacted Zhang Yixian of the Shue sect and asked them to jointly send troops to attack Zhang Yi. Compared to the Qi Pei base, Wei Dinghai was much more polite to the Snow Worship cult. Among the four major forces in Tianhai City, the Snow Worship sect has the weakest foundation and the weakest strength, except for the large number of people. All other aspects are far from being comparable to other forces. In addition, they have been preaching to foreign countries and attracting people from other forces. So the attitude of each family towards them is not very friendly. If the Snow Worship cult hadn't paid a huge price for this, it would have been wiped out by several other groups. Therefore, Waiting High's attitude towards Zheng Yixian was very tough. It was more of giving orders than soliciting opinions. Our three major bases will send personnel there. And I hope you will also send a team of personnel to assist. We don't want someone to covet us behind our back while we are working hard. Zheng Yixian frowned. He knew that with the current strength of the Snow Worship sect, it was impossible to refuse Waiting High's suggestion. Otherwise, the three families may clear them out first when the time comes. Okay. I understand. We will send someone there then. Zhang Yixian had no choice but to agree to Wei Dihai. Wei Dihai smiled and said you are a smart man. After ending the call, murderous intent began to fill crazily in Zhang Yixian's cold eyes. His right hand creaked, and he punched to the side. The powerful telekinesis directly destroyed a wall. Wei Dihai. Xiao Honglian. Xing Tian. I will let you be arrogant for a while now. When the day comes when I worship the snow cult, I will definitely kill you all. The affairs of the Snow Worship sect are all presided over by the High Priest Zheng Yixian. As a spiritual leader, the leader Yuan Kongye usually does not interfere in other affairs. But this matter was of great importance. So Zheng Yixian went to report it to Yuan Kongye. After hearing this, Yuan Kongye's calm face did not show the slightest fluctuation. Is there another war? How many people will die this time? She clasped her hands together and looked devoutly at the statue of Snow God directly above the church. May the benevolent gods have mercy on everyone and take them to bliss as soon as possible and away from the sufferings of this world. Zheng Yixian was behind her and said with some helplessness that the three of them should join forces to act together. We can't do it unless we send troops. I'm afraid that they will use them as spearmen and let our people go first. Yuan Yidao death is not very scary. Everything will return to the embrace of the snow god. Zheng Yixian said. I'm afraid that after we build that shelter this time, we won't get anything. And after the three of them become more powerful, they will attack us sooner or later. A dark light flashed in Yuan Kongya's eyes. She slowly turned around and looked at Zhang Yixian. Maybe this can also be an opportunity. Let's send people over. Okay. But we have to get a piece of the pie. Zhang Yixian took a deep breath and shook his head. Turf is not important to us. Then we need people. Yuan Kongya said that we have laid down the shelter. And we can do without all the territory. 
but they have to promise to allow the snow worship cult to preach in their territory. Moreover, those who defected will no longer be pursued. They are already God's people. Zheng Yixian held his chin and thought for a while. Missionary matters would be a bit difficult. But we could talk about it. At this moment, there was a sudden knock on the church door. Zheng Yixian frowned. Who dared to disturb him while he was talking to Yuan Kongya? Who? A familiar and experienced voice came from outside the door. Your Excellency. High Priest. This is me. Zhao Jianhua. There is something very important that I want to report to the leader and you. Hearing that the person who came was Dafa Zhao Jianhua, Zhang Yixian suppressed the cold light in his eyes. In the entire snow worship sect, Dafa's status is very special. He does not hold any position within the sect, but his importance is second only to Zhang Yixian. All this is due to his special, hopeful, ability. Without him, the snow worship sect would not be able to gather so many powerful strangers now. It turns out that Dafa is back. Please come in. As soon as Zhang Yixian finished speaking, the church door was pushed open. Dafa walked in on crutches and bowed to Yuan Kongya first. Zhang Yixian asked. The decree asked you to check Zhang Yi's details this time. How did your investigation go? The snow worship cult's intelligence system cannot be said to be very bad. It can only be said to be almost non-existent. They do not have advanced network systems and professional investigators like other Al-Qaeda organizations. Therefore, we can only let Dafa go and see the strength of Zhang Yi's team through the ability of looking at Qi. Dafa walked to Zhang Yixian, bowed and said to Yuan Kongya and Zhang Yixian, I have made a very important discovery this time, so I have the temerity to interrupt your conversation. But I believe that after listening to my words, you too will not be disappointed. Yuan Kongya and Zhang Yixian's eyes couldn't help but become more solemn. What have you found? Da Ling raised his head, his cloudy old eyes showing a glint of light. I discovered an extremely vast chi in that place. This surging power may be second only to you. The leader? As soon as these words came out, Yuan Kongya's face that looked like ice for thousands of years finally showed a trace of fluctuation. Even Zheng Yixian's eyes widened, as if he couldn't believe everything he heard. Big decree. What were you just talking about? Yuan Kongya asked in a cold voice. Grand decree. Raise your hands high. Lord cult leader. I am loyal to you and to the snow worship cult. Please believe every word I say. In that mysterious sanctuary, there is a strong man with powers comparable to yours. Maybe he is God's right-hand man and can help you achieve great things. Yuan Kongya's eyes fluctuated violently. Zheng Yixian lowered his head and thought. The words of the Dafa shocked him too much. Yuan Kongya's blessing ability can help people awaken supernatural powers at no cost. This ability can be called a miracle. And does Zhang Yi or someone around him actually have powers powerful enough to be blessed? You know. Even when meeting Ling Feng, Xiao Honglian, Wei Dinghai and others, Dafa had never given such a high evaluation. Doesn't this mean that the mysterious Zhang Yi and his team are extremely powerful? In that case, can this attack really be as easy as Wei Dinghai said? I'm afraid that Wei Dinghai and Xiao Honglian don't know this information. They misjudged the strength of Zhang Yi's team. The fluctuations in Yuan Kongya's eyes quickly returned to normal. I see. Thank you for your hard work. Dafa. You go down and rest first. I prepared a few new squires for you that you should like. She said this and clapped her hands. The church door slowly opened. And a nun led two little boys with delicate faces over. They had just undergone an exorcism ceremony a few days ago. And now their faces were pale and they looked feminine and sickly. A fiery light burst out from Deling's cloudy eyes. Thank you, master, for your gift. After he finished speaking, he turned around ran to the two little boys like an old rabbit, hugged them with a smile and left. The nun slowly closed the door. Inside the church, Yuan Kongya looked at Zhang Yixian and the situation had changed. Zhang Yixian frowned and said in a deep voice that it seemed that everyone underestimated the strength of Zhang Yi and his team. If this is the case, even if all four of us join forces to attack the shelter, considering the inconveniences of long-distance combat, it really may not be possible to capture that shelter that easily. Having said this, Zhang Yixian fell into a brief silence. His eyebrows stood up like sharp swords. And his tone became a little more serious. However, if we can change the partners of cooperation, we can join forces with Zhang Yi to deal with others. That would be wonderful. Chapter 392 Old Classmate Zhang Yixian proposed a very bold idea. There seemed to be fire burning in his eyes. That is the anger of revenge that has been accumulated for a long time. Since the end of the world, the snow worship sect has been trying to survive in the cracks. From that weak sect in the beginning, 
It has grown to a large sect with thousands of members today. But even so, when they face Al-Qaeda, which has powerful armed forces, they are often suppressed by the other party. Therefore, Zhang Yixian is always waiting for the opportunity to take revenge on them severely. The appearance of Zhang Yi made him see the possibility of revenge. Yuan Kongya walked slowly beside him, his eyes calm and scrutinizing. Cooperate with Zhang Yi and join forces to fight against the other three Al-Qaeda organizations? Whether this thing is too risky, we don't know how strong Zhang Yi's team is. If we make a wrong bet, it will only plunge us into war with the other three major forces in advance. This is not what we want to see. Yuan Kongya took a slow breath and said quietly. After all, we still need time. Lots and lots of time. Zhang Yixian doesn't think so. He said that this can be used as an attempt. After all, if we miss this opportunity, it will be difficult for us to find a force like Zhang Yi's team that is both powerful and hostile to Al-Qaeda. Once Shishan is divided up by them again, the situation we face will only become more and more dangerous. Zhang Yixian couldn't help but frown deeply when he thought about the attack on the snow worship sect by Yangsheng base and Chaoyu base a few days ago. Now, they can no longer face attacks from powerful enemies. They still need time. Lots and lots of time to develop the power of the snow worship cult. Try! Yuan Kongya looked at him with bright eyes. But what if the attempt fails? A mysterious smile appeared on Zhang Yixian's lips. And he whispered a few words into Yuan Kongya's ear. Light slowly appeared in Yuan Kongya's eyes. And then he nodded happily. If that's the case, it's not a bad plan. We can minimize the risk. The next day, Chief Minister Zhao Jianhua was called to the church by Yuan Kongya. She took out a small wooden box from her arms and handed it to Zhao Jianhua. Grand Decree. This time, there is a task for you regarding the future of the Snow Worship Sect. I hope you will not disappoint the Snow God. Yuan Kongya said calmly. Da Ling took the wooden box, and he knew what was inside without even looking. But the weight in his hand is obviously not one. R. His expression was a little stunned. This kind of thing would cause a lot of physical burden to Yuan Kongya. Even the human form of the snow god cannot be created forever. But this time, Yuan Kongya gave him two copies at once. What kind of task was this? The great decree bows to Yuan Kongya and salutes. I will definitely live up to the high expectations of the snow god and the leader. I just don't know. What do I need to do this time? Yuan Kongya looked down at the little old man in gray robe. I'm going to go to your young manor and give these two things to Zhang Yi and tell him our sincerity in worshipping the snow cult. The storm is about to come and the wind is filling the building. The waiting process is undoubtedly a bit anxious. Zhang Yi and the others knew that people from Shishan base and Chaoyu base would come over sooner or later. But they didn't know exactly when they would come and how the opponent would attack. Fortunately, they have prepared all means of defense. And everyone has been assigned combat tasks. In this way, even if a war breaks out, they will not be in a hurry. But just waiting like this will inevitably make you feel a little anxious and impetuous. In order to stabilize his mind, Zhang Yi goes to the stadium on the third underground floor every day to practice martial arts. After studying with Liang Yi for a period of time, Zhang Yi also mastered some fighting skills. Coupled with his own abilities, even if he is fighting in close combat, it is difficult to pose a threat to Zhang Yi unless he encounters a powerful melee alien. After all, his acceleration ability is too abnormal. In martial arts, there is a saying that the only martial arts in the world that cannot be broken is fast. As for Liang Yu himself, he slowly recovered from the heavy blow. Although his mental condition didn't look very good and he was still very depressed, he no longer had the urge to take a knife and go to Yansheng base for revenge. Instead, after learning that Yansheng base was about to attack with troops, she wiped her tang down in her room every day. Everyone can see that Liang Yu had to use a cruel killing to soothe his inner emotions. This is a good thing for Zhang Yi. In his eyes, Liang Yu was a good sword. Now that it had been tempered, it was just waiting to be sharpened with the enemy's blood. And on this night, an unexpected news broke the current tranquility. A message popped up on Zhang Yi's phone. And a penguin pop-up popped up from the top of the phone. This made Zhang Yi extremely stunned. Although penguin is always on his phone, he hasn't used it for a long time. Since the end of the world, no one has used this thing to send him messages. After all, in the adult world, it is rarely used to chat. In 2050, Penguin, like WeChat, will become state-owned assets and will be the most important civilian communication software in China. Therefore, even if the end of the world comes, their servers are well protected and will not be paralyzed. This is a means for ordinary people to connect. Zhang Yi was very curious. 
This pop-up window couldn't be Penguin's junk advertisement now. Right? His mobile phone has been transformed into a satellite phone. And the confidentiality method is very high. He is not worried about someone releasing the virus through it. So Zhang Yi turned on his phone. He didn't directly click on the message to view it. Instead, he entered Penguin's main interface to see who had sent the message. It turned out to be a friend whom I had not contacted for many years. Xing Wei on. When these three words came into view, Zhang Yi couldn't help but frown and recall. This was his classmate in elementary school and junior high school. The two of them used to live in an old community. The relationship between them is not very good. But they have been classmates for three years in junior high school and often play together. But Xing Wenan's junior high school grades were not ideal. After failing to get into a key high school in the high school entrance examination, he transferred to a third-rate high school in Tianhai City. Later, Zhang Yi moved to his new home in Yuelu community with his parents and never saw him again. I just heard that he seemed to have taken over his father's job and became a steelworker in a factory. He's not dead yet. It seems that there are some tricks. Zhang Yi took a closer look and saw that the message from Xing Wenan was from an old classmate. Long time no see. Zhang Yi was pacing back and forth in the living room with his mobile phone. Now in this tense moment, an old classmate whom I haven't seen for a long time suddenly appears. I don't know what it means. But this is not the beginning of the end. Xing Wenan's appearance must have some special meaning. Rather than simply coming to catch the autumn wind and borrow supplies. Perhaps I have been living in the apocalypse for too long. And suddenly meeting an old friend made me feel a little emotional. Zhang Yi thought for a moment and finally replied to him. Fine. How are you doing? Ha ha ha. Sure enough. It's you. You're still alive. Xing Wenan suddenly laughed. I didn't expect you to become so powerful. Yeah but I'm not bad either. Now I am also the director of the largest steel factory in Tianhai City. How are you? Old classmate? I'm not bad at it. Between the lines of Xing Wenan's words, there was an indescribable excitement. It's like discovering a new continent. But after Zhang Yi saw what he said, he suddenly felt something was wrong. Isn't the largest steel plant in Tianhai City Qingwei steel plant? Xing Wenan became the factory director there? His pupils shrank. And his gaze was as sharp as a sword. Are you the boss of Chipei Base now? After a while, Xing Wenan sent a message. It was too troublesome to type. You know my cultural level is not high. Let's chat by a voice. After that, Xing Wenan's voice call request came over. Zhang Yi's eyebrows stood upright. He has no contact with Chipei Base, let alone any grudges. Xing Wenan is really the boss of the Chipei Base. What is his purpose in contacting him? No matter what, we still have to finish the conversation to find out. Zhang Yi sat on the sofa and reached out to press the green call button. Xing went on. Long time no see. Hearty laughter immediately came from there. Ha 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 ha. Zhang Yi. Long time no see. Long time no see. It's really you boy. I didn't expect that you would be so capable now. Even the Shishan base was killed by you. But I'm not bad either. The Chipei steelmaking plant is now under my control. It was really rare that we two Crouching Dragon and Phoenix Chicks appeared at the same time in Jinxiao community back then. Xing Wenan said a lot, which showed that he was indeed a little excited. This made Zhang Yi couldn't help but recall him. In the past, Xing Wenan had no characteristics. He was ordinary looking, not tall, and his face was always covered with acne, because my academic performance was not ideal. I sat in the back row of the classroom all year round. The relationship between Zhang Yi and him was pretty good at that time. The boys would go out to play ball together after class. And the two met at that time. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, Zhang Yi would never have imagined that that honest and honest guy could actually become the overlord of Tianhai City. Zhang Yi held his mobile phone and said with a smile, Isn't the boss of Chipei Base named Xing Tian? What? You changed your name? Xing Weinan smiled and said, I thought the name Xing Weinan was not domineering enough and could not intimidate people. So I changed my name. Listen. Isn't the name Xing Tian very prestigious? Zhang Yi's lips curved into a smile. When a person changes his name to gain confidence, it often only shows that he is very unconfident in his heart. According to the information obtained by Zhang Yi, Xing Tian possesses very powerful powers, which is the basis for his success in seizing power. He can understand the mentality of a nouveau riche like Xing Wenan. Tell me. You contacted me suddenly. What do you want to talk about? Chapter 393 Things are different now. Zhang Yi's attitude caused Xing Wenan's voice on the other end of the phone to pause. Oh, it's better to call him Xing Tian. After all, he is a big shot now. 
Big men always don't like others to mention everything about him when he was down. Including his name. Sheng Tian chuckled. I originally wanted to catch up with you, and catch up on old times. You see, I wasn't doing very well in school at that time. Unlike you, he is handsome, popular with girls, and has good academic performance. At this point, he let out a long sigh and said with emotion, Who would have thought that I would have such a prosperous day? Are you right, old classmate? Zhang Yi smiled and didn't care about Xing Tian's attitude. The poor have this mentality when they suddenly become rich. When he didn't know the other party's intention, Zhang Yi didn't try to expose the other party. He just said to Xing Tian to reminisce about the past. We can talk about it slowly in the future. But you must not have found me today just to reminisce about old times. Right? I'm a very curious person. So you might as well tell me what your purpose is. How about it? Xing Tian on the other end of the phone raised his eyebrows. Zhang Yi's attitude did not make Xing Tian feel satisfied. What he expected to hear was Zhang Yi's extremely shocked voice. For example, Holy shit. You actually became the director of Chi Pei Steel Plant? Or maybe I didn't see it. You didn't see any ability in our class at the beginning. So why did you take off all of a sudden? Zhang Yi didn't do what he thought. But he didn't say anything to make him unhappy. But Xing Tian was still in a good mood after putting on a show in front of his old classmates. Well, let's talk about business. Xing Tian picked his ears, and his tone became serious. Zhang Yi, didn't you kill people from Yansheng base and Chaoyu base before? Now they've decided to mess with you. And it wasn't the two of them who took action. For safety reasons, they called me and the people from the Snow Worship cult. Uh-huh. If the four of us really attack you together, I'm afraid you will suffer the same consequences. A sharp light flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. Four, he has no grudge against the Chipei base of the Snow Worship sect. He was not surprised that Yansheng base and Chaoyu base would join forces. I just didn't expect that the forces joining forces this time would be all the top forces in Tianhai City. If that's the case, the pressure they need to face will double. Zhang Yi had this worst scenario in his mind. If we really face that situation, the possibility of the shelter being breached will be as high as 20%. At that time, they will have no choice but to abandon all the surrounding villas and the two-story buildings on the surface and live underground. Exaggeration? Not an exaggeration. Even if four companies join forces, it does not mean that the ability to fight tough battles has been quadrupled. Even the Shishan base, which has the largest ammunition depot, did not destroy the two-story above-ground building of the shelter. The amount of explosives possessed by these four forces may not be as much as that of Shishan base even if combined. Zhang Yi asked calmly, So you came to me this time to declare war? Xing Tian sneered. Old classmates, how old is this? How can there be any declaration of war? If I really wanted to go with them and beat you, I would definitely catch you by surprise. I came to see you this time. Firstly, I wanted to catch up with you. And secondly, I wanted to talk to you about my past relationship. On the other end of the phone, Xing Tian's face showed a touch of warmth. He recalled that when he was in school, his academic performance was not good and he was not popular with women. He is like a gangster among many classmates. Zhang Yi didn't dislike him at first, and helped him explain the ideas for solving the problem. Now that he is prosperous, he also wants to help his old classmates to show his success. Zhang Yi, what do you want to talk about? Tell me the story. Xing Tian's thoughts were interrupted by Zhang Yi. He said, Our Chipei base has no grudges against you. I don't have to fight this battle. But you have to give enough conditions. The Chipei base is not warlike. And all workers in the Chipei steel plant like a stable life. Their life is not bad now. And if there is a war, people will die, which is something they are unwilling to face. The passionate workers are not afraid of death, but they do not want to die worthless. So Xing Tian contacted Zhang Yi. If you can gain benefits without losing any blood or killing a brother, that is the best choice. As for whether Xing Tian takes care of his old classmates, there should be a little, but not much. Zhang Yi fell silent. He couldn't tell whether what Xing Tian said was true or false. He couldn't even tell whether the person on the other end of the phone was really Xing Tian. However, he remembered that Xing Wenan did work in Chi Pei's steel factory. And since the other person was able to survive until now, he was probably that Xing Tian. Seeing Zhang Yi's hesitation, Xing Tian smiled and said you better make up your mind quickly. Because you don't have much time left. They'll be attacking your sanctuary soon. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. When? Ha ha ha. I can't tell you this. Unless you agree to exchange with me. Zhang Yi thought for a while and asked how much do you want? Xing Tian said. 
I want 10,000 kilograms of food. Zhang Yi frowned. 10,000 kilograms of food? Xing Tian Dao is right. If you want us not to join this war, you must at least provide this much food. Zhang Yi fell into silence. He thought that Xing Tian's grades had never been very satisfactory, especially in mathematics. It was rare for a 150 point test paper to score more than 60 points. 10,000 kilograms is 10 tons of food. Does he think that 10 tons is a lot? It's not that John he looks down on him. But in his warehouse, there are more than 10 tons of food on just a few shelves. John he said, Please let me think about this matter again. After all, you want too much food. So you have to give me some time. Shang Tian said, Okay. Yes. I'll give you one day to think about it. No more. Give me a reply before noon tomorrow. He took a deep breath. Old classmate, you'd better say yes. Otherwise, I really don't want to meet you on the battlefield. I understand. So let's just say that first. Zhang Yi and Xing Tian ended the call. He leaned on the soft sofa. And the crystal lamp above his head emitted a warm and soft yellow light. Covering his body. Zhang Yi slowly put his hands behind his head. Ten tons of food is not much to me. You can give him the cans you got back from the Shishan base. Oh. Right. There was also the pile of uneaten canned food in Wang Siming's warehouse. That thing weighed the most. There was a lot of soup and water in it. It is not difficult at all to collect 10 tons. But, can you trust him? The material problem is easy to solve for Zhang Yi. He doesn't even need to use the good stuff in his warehouse. If it wasn't for danger outside, he could always take Fatty Su with him to dig out and move a few supermarkets buried deep in the snow. But Zhang Yi doesn't want to draw water from a bamboo basket and come up empty-handed. He and Xing Tian haven't seen each other for many years. And people are always easy to change. You can agree to this matter but you can only pay part of the deposit first. After the battle is over and the performance of Chi Pei Bei satisfies me, I will pay the remaining part. Zhang Yi had a countermeasure in mind. Chapter 394 Old Man This call with Xing Tian was an accident, but it allowed Zhang Yi to gain very important information. First, Sanctuary may face a joint attack by the four largest forces in Tianhai City. Second, their offense will be in the short term. Zhang Yi is quite confident about the shelter's defense capabilities. These four companies don't have people like Chin Xinian, and they can't acquire large-yield ground-penetrating missiles to destroy the three-layer underground space at the core of the shelter. Moreover, the conflict between them and Zhang Yi is not too deep, and it is not a matter of life and death. Once the investment is not proportional to the gains, they will choose to give up the attack, be prepared for the worst, and then fight the hardest fight. Only by frightening all the forces in Tianhai City can peace be achieved. Zhang Yi sorted out the logic. He decided to cooperate with Chi Pei Base. He used 10 tons of food in exchange for them not to sell anything. But he would only pay a deposit in advance. With one less big force as an enemy, their chances of holding on to their sanctuary go up significantly. Zhang Yi immediately called everyone over. Have a meeting. He explained the basic situation to everyone. When they learned that they might face a joint attack by the four major forces, everyone had very serious expressions on their faces. This pressure is even more terrifying than when we fought against the Shishan base. But at this time, Yang Xinxin said calmly, I don't think the situation is as bad as imagined. These four major forces seem to be united. But in fact they are wary of each other. The only two bases that have conflicts with us are Yangsheng and Chaoyu. Both the snow-worshipping sect and the Qipei base were attracted by them. Since there is no fundamental contradiction, they are in a state of swing when attacking. There is a high probability that they will not work hard and will not really fight us to the death. If we can convince Chi Pei Base not to send troops, then our pressure will be even less. Everyone nodded, thinking that what Yang Xinxin said made sense. Uncle Yu crossed his arms, and said that our biggest weakness is that there are too few people. If there are too many opponents, we will be at a great disadvantage in dividing our forces. Zhang Yi said that we can rely on the defense line to fight the first wave. He looked out the window, and saw that the area around the shelter was not empty. Behind it are two low mountains, forming a natural barrier, coupled with the heavy snow and slippery roads. It was impossible for them to rush down from the mountains and attack. So the main thing you face is the enemies right in front, within a wide angle of about 120 degrees. Zhang Yi knocked on the table and drew an arc with his fingers dipped in water. And our firepower is mainly distributed in this area. As I said, our goal is not to defeat them, but to repel them. Just let them recognize that we have the ability to dominate. Zhang Yi smiled and said that after the fight, I would negotiate with them to turn the area around the shelter into a restricted area and not allow them to enter. 
At this time, Fatty Sue frowned and said, Even if we are facing three attacks at the same time, the pressure is still quite high. It felt like our first line of defense would soon be breached, and we would have to retreat to the shelter to defend. The problem now is that one of our strongest defenses is the shelter itself. And the second is your dimensional door. Boss. However, with so many people from the three opposing forces attacking at the same time, the methods of attack are also diverse. What if they have the means to break into the shelter? Fatty Su spread his hands. After all, Yan Sheng Base holds a large amount of fuel resources. They can use a lot of large equipment and have the ability to transport the equipment. There may even be strangers with special abilities on the other side. Fatty Su's speech made everyone feel nervous. Strangers are always the most unstable factor. But after Zhang Yi heard these words, he just smiled lightly. You don't need to worry about these issues. If it really happens, I will solve it. Zhang Yi is a pacifist and doesn't like war. But that doesn't mean he's not strong enough. After the battle at Shishan base, he absorbed the supernatural energy of four strangers, including Ling Feng. No one knows how strong he is at this time. Anyway, it's still the same sentence. If Zhang Yi's offensive data is 100, then his defensive data must be at least 1,000. Then when fighting on his territory, his strength will be brought into full play. Just because he's stable doesn't mean he's not really strong enough in a fight. As soon as Zhang Yi spoke, everyone's faces showed relaxed expressions. Because everyone knows that Zhang Yi is an extremely stable man. When he says this, he must be very confident that he can perfectly deal with the upcoming problems. Just as everyone was talking about it, Hua Hua, who was sitting cross-legged on the sofa next to Zhang Yi, suddenly raised her head warily. Its two colored pupils looked out the window. Meow. This sound was full of vigilance. Everyone couldn't help but feel nervous when they saw Huawa's serious look and quickly looked outside the room. As a mutated creature, Huawa's intuition is many times stronger than that of humans. Its intuition has always been very accurate and it can detect things that humans cannot. It was pitch black outside the window with only a faint glow on the white snow. The snow was falling heavily. The wind was howling and something strange seemed to be approaching step by step from the snow. Go check it out. Zhang Yi said nothing, and the golden sand eagle appeared in his right hand. He skillfully opened the safety, then walked towards the window with Hua Hua in his arms. Seeing this, the others quickly followed. No one dared to be careless at this moment. They came to the window. Zhang Yi took out his telescope and looked forward. Finally, he saw a figure in gray robes in the wind and snow. It seemed like an old man in his dying years, holding a cane in his hand, was walking towards here with difficulty step by step but no matter who it is, it is impossible to regard him as an ordinary old man, because on such a cold winter night, not to mention the elderly, even men in their prime dare not travel at will. It must be a stranger. Zhang Yi made a judgment. I just don't know which force he comes from and what purpose he comes from. Zhang Yi was a little unsure because no second person was found nearby. In other words, the old man came alone. Or, he is confident enough in his own strength. Or, he thought Zhang Yi and others would not take action against him. No matter what the possibility is, he must have enough cards. At this time, Zhang Yi heard Uncle Yu's surprised voice next to him. I recognize him. He is the great edict of the snow worship cult that I saw in Yuelu community. Worship the snow cult. Everyone couldn't help but read this name. One of the four major forces in Tianhai City. It is also the most mysterious and evil organization. What do they want to do by sending people here now? Zhou Kier said vigilantly. Zhang Yi's eyes were stern. And he couldn't help but think of Xing Tian, who was talking to him today. The Qi Pei base and the snow worshipping sect had no direct grudges with him. They were coerced by Yang Sheng base and Chao Yu base to participate in the attack on the shelter. But everyone is too late to benefit. No one wants to do anything if it is not beneficial. So Xing Tian contacted Zhang Yi privately, hoping to avoid a war as long as he could get enough benefits. Then worshipped Shui for this trip. Maybe it's the same purpose. While Zhang Yi was thinking, Yang Xinxin's cold voice also came from the side. As far as I know, the relationship between the Snow Worship sect and the other major forces in Tianhai City has always been at odds. If you want to disintegrate their alliance from within, then the Snow Worship cult is the best way to break through. Zhang Yi put down the telescope in his hand and said in a deep voice, But I also have no good impression of this sect. The predecessor of the Snow Worship sect was the Neon Divine Theory sect. In that country where there are no restrictions on religion, there are too many organizations that are considered cults by China. Their greedy blood-sucking has caused the death of many members of the church. 
Such a thing suddenly becomes the savior in the end of the world? Just think about it with your toes, and you'll know it's impossible. Even the four major Al-Qaeda organizations dislike them. And it is difficult for Zhang Yi to have any good feelings about them. Yang Xinqin smiled and said to Zhang Yi, But if they have value, they can contact them. Zhang Yi nodded. He agreed very much with what Yang Xinqin said. Cooperation depends on mutual value, not personal preferences. So he patted Fatty Sue next to him on the shoulder. Fatty, go out and talk to him. Turn on the mic, and I'll tell you how to talk to him. Facing the weird old man who dared to come alone. Zhang Yi didn't know his powers, so he wouldn't take the risk himself. Fatty Sue was startled and quickly begged for mercy. Boss, I am the weakest among us. Isn't it appropriate for me to go? Zhang Yi glanced at him. Your abilities are best used in ice and snow environments. Don't worry. As long as we are here, we won't give him a chance to touch you. Zhang Yi said, raising the golden sand eagle in his hand. If he makes any strange move, I will kill him in an instant. Seeing Zhang Yi's irresistible look, Fatty Su had no choice but to grimace, went over to put on his combat uniform, and then walked out of the shelter's door. Zhang Yi turned on the communication device so that he could hear the conversation between the two and also told Fatty Su how to talk to the other party. Go out there and don't let him get close to the defensive line, lest he discover our arrangement. There are a lot of weapons hidden inside the thick ice wall, although it was difficult to see clearly due to the wind and snow. Zhang Yi was unwilling to take any risks. Fatty Su had no choice but to walk outside the defense line step by step and wait for the old man on the opposite side to come over step by step. And Dafa, who was approaching the shelter step by step in the snow, also saw the figure walking out of the ice and snow barrier. There was a dark golden light in his gray eyes. Within his line of sight, he saw the impressive aura of Fatty Su. Chapter 395 Winning Cooperation Stop! Don't come any closer! Fatty Su followed Zhang Yi's instructions and stopped the approach. Dafa smiled slightly, bowed and said humbly, Hello! Your Excellency! I see the brilliance of strength in you. You must be a powerful stranger. This rainbow fart made Fatty Su a little happy. In the shelter, his strength was counted backwards. And this was the first time someone praised him for his strength. But soon the smile on his face disappeared because Zhang Yi asked him to ask about the other party's identity and origin. Ahem. Who are you and why do you come to this place? Da Ling still maintained a humble posture, like an ordinary rickety old man. I am Zhao Jianhua, the great edict of the Shui cult. This time, I came to meet Mr. Zhang Yi according to the will of our lord. He smiled slightly. You must not be Mr. Zhang Yi. Right? As he spoke, his eyes seemed to travel through space and saw Zhang Yi inside the shelter. The aura that made him tremble was clearly visible, shining as brightly as the sun in his eyes. Zhang Yi frowned slightly. Came here to find him? Uncle you reminded that this old man seemed to be able to see through people's talents. He once approached me, but I rejected him. However, he helped Li Jian awaken his powers. Zhang Yi nodded. This is indeed a very useful ability, especially with their leader Yuan Kongya. Bless. It's a perfect match to use. He asked Fatty Su what he wanted to do when he saw me. Fatty Su looked at Dafa and said, Our boss is not someone you can just meet if you want. If you have anything to say, just say it here, and he can hear our conversation. The big decree was a bit surprising. He didn't expect that Zhang Yi was so steady, and didn't even give him a chance to meet him. In fact, he is not a stranger from the martial arts sect, and he will not be a threat even in front of Zhang Yi. However, he admired Zhang Yi's approach. In the apocalypse, strangers are running rampant, and caution is always the first rule of survival. Dafa said that I came here under the order of the leader. And I have a particularly important message to give to Mr. Zhang Yi. Three days later, the three major bases of Yansheng, Chao Yu, and Qi Pei will join forces to attack your shelter. Zhang Yi was not surprised when he heard the news. It's just that he confirmed the opponent's agreed attack time. In this way, it is understandable why Xing Tian and people from the Snow Worship sect would contact him today. Because there is not much time left for them to discuss. Once the negotiation with Zhang Yi breaks down, they may have to sharpen their knives overnight and prepare to fight with Yan Sheng Bei's Chao Yu base. Dafa suddenly stood up straight, opened his arms in excitement and said, These cruel and shameless warlords are trying to destroy such a beautiful home. They even want to seduce my lord into attacking you together. I, the Snow Cult, have always served the gods devoutly, and spread love and peace to the world. So I am very resistant to their suggestions. Therefore, Dafa looked at the shelter with a faint look, and we hope to cooperate with Mr. Zhang Yi. 
after listening to the words of the big decree. Zhang Yi's smile gradually became abnormal. It's here. It's exactly what we thought. The four major forces in Tianhai City are also at odds with each other. How can there be any unity and cooperation? As long as the benefits are in place. The backstab can be betrayed at any time. Whether it's the Qinpei base or the snow-worshipping sect. They are both selling goods. Now it depends on who can give them more benefits. Who they will help. Zhang Yi felt more and more at ease in his heart. The more they are divided. The greater Zhang Yi's confidence will be in winning the next battle. After he gave Fatty Su instructions. Fatty Su asked. Do you mean that you can withdraw from this operation and not join the attack on us? Unexpectedly. Dafa shook his head. If it's just that. How can it be considered cooperation? The purpose of my Shui cult is love and peace. And I will resolutely fight against all evil forces. So what my leader means is that I hope to cooperate with you to deal with the other forces. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. This snow worship cult has a huge appetite. He actually wanted to unite with himself to attack several other forces. However, he also heard from Yang Xinxin that the snow worship sect had always been at odds with several other forces and had constant conflicts. If there is an opportunity to attack other forces, they will naturally not miss it. However, why do they think that by cooperating with them, they can deal with the other three forces? They didn't know that Xing Tian from Chipei base had already discussed cooperation with Zhang Yi. So Zhang Yi said with some disbelief. Ask him why he chose to cooperate with me. Who is weaker? That is who told De Ling exactly what Zhang Yi said. The Great Decree says it is because of the Lord's guidance. I see love and peace in you. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Fatty Sue. There is no need to talk about the situation. It is better for us to be candid. Dafa was stunned for a moment. Then smiled and said, I understand. The reason is that our snow worship sect, like you, is a force with no background. There used to be four major Al-Qaeda organizations in Tianhai City. And they were all powerful forces with strong backgrounds. At the beginning of the end of the world, they had the best weapons and equipment, the best living environment, and the best talents. These people take it for granted that Tianhai City should be theirs. But later, the rise of our snow cult and your excellency stung them. Make them feel that their interests have been harmed. They cannot sit back and watch the rise of new forces. Especially since both of us are grassroots forces with no background. Dafa took a deep breath and lamented that this made them feel afraid and jealous. For example, hasn't your power been suppressed by the Shishan base? Our snow worship cult has always been suppressed by several major forces and we have to survive in the cracks. So from this perspective, we are the same type of organization. We should unite to resist the hegemony of Al-Qaeda. The great law was spoken with great passion. Johnny listened indifferently. To put it bluntly, the snow worship sect has been severely suppressed. So they just want revenge. What kind of community of interests? I am not in the same league as you. These called liars who deceive people. It's hard to impress John E with the big decree. Because from the beginning, Zhang Yi didn't care about things like power and territory. He just wants to live comfortably in the apocalypse. However, since everyone wants to kill Yan Sheng base and Chao Yu base, there is a prerequisite for cooperation. Zhang Yi said lightly. Chapter 396 I Soul. Sheng Tian came to discuss cooperation before. And then, there was a decree from the snow worship sect to join forces with Zhang Yi to fight against other forces. The current situation is very good for Zhang Yi. But the vigilance in his heart did not weaken at all. These people are just a group of bloodthirsty beasts. And only food can feed them. Once they find someone weak, they will pounce on them and bite them. When it comes to cooperation, there is no such thing as trust. Zhang Yi asked Fatty Su, If they want to cooperate, what can they use to prove their sincerity? Fatty Su followed the instructions and asked about the big decree. Dafa just smiled slightly when he heard this. The leader knows that Mr. Zhang Yi is a cautious person. If you don't have enough sincerity, you won't be able to believe in the sincerity of our snow worship cult. So this time, I brought you the sacred objects of the snow worship cult. I believe you will understand our sincerity. After saying the decree, he took out the small wooden box from his body and handed it to Fatty Sue. This is the sacred object of the snow worship cult I Soul. Dafa said, I Soul. The name sounds a bit deceiving. But no one knows what this thing does. Fatty Sue was afraid of danger and did not dare to pick him up. Johnny said to ask him what this thing is for. After Fatty Sue asked, Dafa chuckled. The function of I Soul is very simple. It can help people open up their spiritual essence and become a different person. And for Yiren, it can deeply tap the potential and make Yiren more powerful. Mr. Johnny, 
I think you have been in Tianhai City for so long. It is impossible that you have not heard anything about this matter. Right? A strange color flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. Is this the magical ability of Yuan Kongye? He thought of what Li Jian once said. That the so-called eye soul is a white soft tissue similar to a snowball. After being implanted into a person's forehead, it can inspire people to gain supernatural powers. Dafa also tried to persuade Uncle Yu. But he refused. The dangerous aura in Zhang Yi's eyes became stronger and stronger. There was also a sneer on the corner of his mouth. Ha uh ha. -huh. Come here and scare me with something like this. Zhang Yi never believed that there is a free lunch in the world. This kind of superpower obtained by implanting some kind of object is absolutely abnormal. Do you think I will believe your lies? Is there something shameful about this so-called Bingpa? Fatty Su. Tell him the exact words. Fatty Su quickly conveyed Zhang Yi's message. Dafa's expression was still indifferent and smiling. He seemed to have guessed that Zhang Yi would have such doubts. However, he smiled and said that the eye soul is a sacred object and has absolutely no side effects. I can assure you of this. Because you are not the first person to get eye soul. Before this, the four major shelters in Tianhai City had all requested it from us. Aren't you willing to believe even what they have verified? This sentence surprised Zhang Yi. What? Have you used all four major bases? The four major bases have more intelligent sources than him. And they also have scientific research equipment. If this ice soul really has side effects, it will definitely be found out. Zhang Yi didn't know whether what the decree said was true or false. So he quickly asked Yang Xinxin next to him. Yang Xinxin pulled out her laptop from under the wheelchair and quickly investigated. Sure enough, she found records related to Bingpa. There are indeed records of this. Among the first batch of aliens in the Shishan base. Two of them had powers awakened through Ai's soul. It was precisely because of this implantable method of activating superpowers that they began to study the matter of transforming people. Yang Xinxin's voice suddenly paused, and she said with some surprise that it was based on the report from the Shishan base. This thing called Ai's soul should be cells separated from the human body. Zhang Yi suddenly understood. The so-called Ai's soul is Yuan Kongya's own cells. No wonder Shishan base later transplanted Ling Feng's cells into other people creating something like modified humans. Does this kind of thing have any side effects? Zhang Yi asked cautiously. Yang Xinxin replied that according to records, the four major bases had asked for ice souls from the Snow Worship cult to create aliens. They have conducted research on this type of cells, and they do not contain any harmful substances, nor can the implanted person be manipulated through the cells. The reason why the Snow Worship cult has been able to develop to its current scale is largely due to the living space gained by using ice souls. Yang Xinxin sighed and said that if what is recorded here is true, then Bingpa is undoubtedly a good thing. Zhang Yi looked out the window and didn't speak for a long time. Nice one. Can people become aliens without experiencing a near-death experience? Or can aliens unleash their potential? No. He didn't believe in such a good thing. Even if it does, there will definitely be side effects. Even if there are no side effects, he doesn't dare to use it because he has never been afraid to use the deepest malice to speculate on anyone who doesn't understand. Zhang Yi squinted his eyes and asked him coldly, Can this thing be used by ordinary people? After Fatty Su asked, Dafa gave his answer. Its effects will vary depending on the person's potential. We have tried it before, but it only had weak effects on ordinary people. But you can indeed possess some extraordinary abilities. Therefore, it is best to use it on aliens. Zhang Yi didn't beep too much and replied directly, Okay. You sent this thing all the way here. Then I will accept it. Fatty Sue. Take it. Get it first and then talk about it. As for whether to use it and how to use it. We will think about it later. Dafa did not hesitate at all and handed the things directly to Fatty Sue. Fatty Sue saw the happy look of the big decree and couldn't help but ask. Aren't you afraid that we will refuse to cooperate with the snow worship cult? I mean, did you give it too happily? A wily smile appeared on Dafa's lips. No matter what. The result of several major forces joining forces to attack you cannot be changed. Even if we can't reach cooperation, if you become stronger and kill more people from other forces, it will be a sure profit for us. Fatty Su cursed in his heart that the old man was quite calculating. Zhang Yi then asked, I can understand that you want to use us to weaken the power of several major bases. But what are you going to do with this collaboration? It can be seen that you are not just here to seek benefits. Zhang Yi sneered and said that your ambitions are even greater. Dafa bowed slightly, but an icy chill burst out from his cloudy eyes. When the time comes, we will pretend to join them in attacking your sanctuary. Of course, we did not work hard and pretended to attack nearby. And once they reveal their flaws, 
Daffa suddenly smiles like an old duck. And we will stab them in the back. Chapter 397 An Experiment After listening to the words of the big decree, John E. secretly cursed in his heart. What a bunch of old yandras. Why Shwe taught these people how to make their own plans. These words are equivalent to them sitting back and watching, waiting until Zhang Yi and several other major bases fight to the death, and then rush out to collect people. Moreover, whether they take action at that time depends on the strength shown by Zhang Yi and others. If Zhang Yi and the others are quickly defeated by the coalition forces, then the snow worship cult will pretend that nothing happened. This is tantamount to a conspiracy. As for Zhang Yi, he still had no way to refuse. Because compared to a determined enemy and a possible helper, he would definitely choose the latter. I see. If what you give me really works, then I will agree to your proposal. Zhang Yi decided to take a look at the effect of the eye soul before making a decision. Dafa smiled and said, I believe you will not be disappointed. By the way, now that we have shown our sincerity, Mr. Zhang Yi, should you also express your sincerity? Zhang Yi sneered and asked, We are fighting the most difficult battle. What else do you want? Dafa quickly waved his hand. You have misunderstood us. We don't need any supplies from you. We just hope that you can nod and allow the Snow Worship Cult to preach in your territory after winning this battle. For the Snow Worship Cult, it is our lifelong wish to have more people fall under the glory of the Snow God. Zhang Yi murmured to himself, Preaching? It really fits the style of a cult. Isn't it just pulling people's heads? Zhang Yi doesn't have any opinion on this point. As long as it doesn't harm his interests, he doesn't bother to ask what others do. If people want to live a relaxed life, the most important thing is to mind their own business. And with his character, he has no time to take care of everyone in Shishan and Lujiang districts. So he said that as long as we can successfully repel the enemy, there is no problem with the conditions you proposed. Dafa was very happy and returned happily after saying some polite words. At this time, Zhang Yi also had a little more understanding in his heart. He originally thought that after defeating the Shishan base, he would easily become a target and be considered for attack by other forces. But now it seems that a scheming power struggle has started with him as the center. However, this also allowed him to master some of the operating styles of the four major forces. The Qingwei base is stable and cautious, and is not keen on expansion. This is related to the fact that their leader is a conservative steel worker. The Snow Worship sect may seem weak, but it has great potential for growth and great ambitions. Chao Yu and Yan Sheng bases are the most enthusiastic about expansion, and the others are unknown for the time being. Nowadays, the Chi Pei base remains neutral, and there is a chance that they will not take action. The snow worshipping sect wants to cooperate with me and stab several other forces in the back. The situation is getting more and more interesting. A meaningful smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. Although he cannot completely trust these two forces, as long as the interests are appropriate, it is easy for them to betray Chao Yu Yongsheng. At that time, it will not be the four parties joining forces to encircle and suppress Zhang Yi. Instead, Zhang Yi waited for work, and cooperated with the undercover inside and outside to give them a heavy blow. But now, what Zhang Yi is most interested in is the two eyes souls. Fatty Su said, Boss, what should I do with this thing? Fatty Su held the small wooden box and felt a little nervous. He was afraid that there was a bomb inside. Zhang Yi said, Don't worry, just come to the door. Fatty Su carefully carried the small wooden box to the door. Zhang Yi directly put it into the different space. Even if it is a spy device or explosive, it can be handled well in a different space. Zhang Yi opened the wooden box and took a look, but found nothing strange. He only saw two white spherical crystals, exuding wisps of white cold air, and squirming slightly from time to time. Is this Bingpa? Zhang Yi looked at it and fell into thought. It has been used by the four major bases, which means that its stability is guaranteed. The four major bases are not fools. If it has any abnormal effects, they will not use it at all. Zhang Yi also saw that nothing unusual happened after Li Jian used it. Could it be that Yuan Kongye's eye soul is really the key to helping people unlock supernatural powers? After Zhang Yi muttered to himself, he suddenly couldn't help laughing. What a joke. I don't believe there is such a good thing in this world. It would be fine if only people from the four major bases had used it. But the problem is that the big decree used it on Li Jian. In the end of the world, everyone is in danger and everyone is thinking about how to make themselves stronger so that they can protect themselves. Who is selfless enough to help others? There may really be selfless people in this world, but Zhang Yi would never believe it due to the nature of the Snow Worship sect. Even if you are really selfless and want to educate the world, I don't believe it. Zhang Yi's thinking principle is very simple. 
he will remain suspicious of anyone and anything except himself. He was never willing to do anything risky. However, with two ice souls, there is a chance to create two strangers. It was hard for him to remain indifferent to such a great temptation. While Zhang Yi was thinking, several blazing eyes fell on him. Zhang Yi felt the change in the surrounding atmosphere and couldn't help but raise his head. He saw Zhou Kier, Yang Mi and Lu Karen, all looking at him with great expectation. Everyone heard the conversation between Zhang Yi and Fatty Su. And they all knew that there was such a good thing as Bingpa. These three women don't have any special powers. So they can only work as support staff in the shelter. Especially Yang Mi. The desire in her eyes is the strongest. She has the lowest role compared to other women. Now she basically becomes a nani in the shelter. Responsible for doing housework and helping Zhang Yi relieve stress. She is most eager to obtain the eye soul and become a stranger. As for the same ordinary person, Yang Xinxin's performance was relatively calm, and no change could be seen in her eyes. With Yang Xinxin's intelligence, she could naturally imagine that Bingpa might have unknown side effects. Several people couldn't restrain themselves. Yang Mi was the first to speak and said to Shang Yi, Those two eyes souls. Do you want to use it? There was caution and humility in her inquiry. She was worried that she was not qualified to use such a good thing. Lu Karen pursed his lips, looking a little embarrassed to speak but his eyes were still fiery. Zhang Yi looked at them and actually had an idea in his heart. Now that I got this thing, it would be a shame not to use it. But he didn't feel comfortable using it on important partners. So someone needs to do an experiment. Chapter 398 Candidate Zhang Yi turned back to the sofa and sat down slowly. Everyone also came over and sat down, wanting to see what Zhang Yi had planned. The first is how to deal with Bingpa, and the second is the next battle plan. After all, According to the Great Decree, the coalition forces will attack in three days. Zhang Yi saw the fiery gazes of several women and decided to solve Bingpa's problem first. He said lightly that you just heard about this ice soul. It can help people awaken their supernatural powers. It was used by the four Al-Qaeda groups in the beginning. So far, no side effects have been found. But I'm not sure about it. I never believe in pie in the sky. As Zhang Yi spoke, his eyes swept over everyone in the room. A few strangers would be fine. They already have abilities themselves. And their lives in the shelter are relatively stable. In fact, they don't have much desire to become stronger. Therefore, they are not very interested in this kind of eye soul that may have negative effects. Except for Yang Xinxin. All ordinary people showed strong desire. As ordinary people, why don't they expect to become strangers and gain extraordinary abilities? The more strength you have in the last days, the more guarantee you will have for survival. Zhang Yi looked at them. You need to think carefully. Of these two ice souls, I can only use one at most. To put it bluntly, the first person to use it must act as a guinea pig. If anyone wants to use it, just raise your hand. Hearing what Zhang Yi said, a hint of hesitation appeared on the faces of several women. It's true that they long for superpowers, but they don't want to face unknown risks. But Yang Mi still raised her hand decisively. I'm willing to give it a try. Her eyes sparkled with determination. As a strong woman, she does not allow herself to be just a vase. Seeing Yang Mi raising her hand, Zhou Kier quickly raised her hand as well. Next to her, Zhou Haime frowned and weakly raised her hand. Zhang Yi smiled and nodded, and said to Yang Mi, You have the strongest will. So I decided to give you an ice soul to use. Yang Mi's eyes were full of surprise. And she excitedly rushed over and hugged Zhang Yi's neck tightly. Great. Thank you. Zhang Yi. Zhou Haime smiled faintly. Although she was a little disappointed, she quickly calmed down. After all, her relationship with Zhang Yi was relatively normal. So it was normal for such good things not to happen to her. After reaching a certain age, she is no longer the competitive person. However, Zhou Kier was obviously a little depressed. He hit his leg with a small fist, seeming to blame himself for raising his hand too late. But none of them knew that Zhang Yi's so-called show of hands vote was just a formality. He already knew in his heart that the truly suitable candidate must be Yang Mi. First, since it is an experimental subject, it must be the person with the least role. Even if an accident occurs, his loss will not affect the shelter's normal operations. In line with this, Yang Mi and Zhou Haime are the only ones in the entire team. Zhou Kier is a doctor and Lu Karen is an important technician. It is impossible for them to do experiments. Second, this person must be easy to control. Because Zhang Yi doesn't know what effect Bingso will have after using it. If there are no side effects, it is equivalent to creating an alien in vain. Then, 
This person must be his. Taking these two aspects into consideration, Yang Mi is definitely the most suitable candidate. At this time, Yang Mi's excited eyes filled with tears, and she lay on Zhang Yi's body and trembled with joy. Zhang Yi, thank you. Thank you for giving me such a good opportunity. Zhang Yi said gently, Fool! My love for you is as deep as the sea. If I don't take care of you, who else can I take care of? He asked Yang Mi to sit down first, and everyone wanted to discuss the next battle plan. After all, the situation has changed now. Both the Chipei base and the snow-worshipping sect have the opportunity to take advantage of it. Zhang Yi said, My opinion is to forget for the time being that these two forces may become helpers. No one can be trusted. They may just come here to deceive us. And there is a high possibility that they may betray us temporarily. Therefore, we still need to be prepared to face the four forces. However, if anything happens on sight at that time, a devilish smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. He crossed his hands in front of him and said quietly, Let our shelter become the H, L where they are buried. The battle plan did not change much. It's just one more improvisation. Two forces must be considered as uncertain factors. Any carelessness is absolutely unacceptable. After the discussion is over, what follows is a scene that everyone is looking forward to. Use eye soul on Yangmi. People are curious. They also wanted to see with their own eyes how to use a magical thing like eye soul and what magical effects it had. The method of use is relatively simple. As mentioned before the big decree left, just place it in the middle of the frontal bone and it will automatically fuse with the host. For safety reasons, Zhang Yi found a sturdy room and tied Yang Mi to the bed with restraints. Yang Mi's expression was both expectant and nervous. And she was so excited that her body was trembling slightly. She is waiting for her fate to change. But she didn't know that for Zhang Yi. It would be better if Yang Mi didn't behave strangely after getting the superpower. Once she shows strange changes, such as being controlled by others, or having a tendency to attack others, what will Zhang Yi do to her? I really can't think about this kind of thing. Because once you think about it, it will become cruel. In front of everyone, Zhang Yi slowly opened the small wooden box. Wisps of white cold air emanated from inside. Everyone looked over with wide eyes. Sure enough, I saw two shiny white spherical crystals, which were irregular spherical, and squirming as if they were alive. Zhang Yi wore gloves, picked up a piece of eye sole with a pair of tweezers, and slowly placed it on Yang Mi's forehead. Everyone held their breath, nervously and expectantly looking at the scene in front of them. The eye sole landed on her forehead and touched her skin. Suddenly, extremely thin lines emerged from the little flesh ball, sticking to her head like many tentacles. Immediately afterwards, everyone saw with their own eyes that the snow-white flesh ball melted little by little and sank into Yang Mi's head. That's a fusion phenomenon. This cell can be perfectly integrated with the human body. Yang Mi's eyes also became hollow, and her eyes lost focus. The whole process was very fast. In less than two seconds, Bing Pa completely disappeared into her mind. There was only a trace of Snow White left behind, which flickered with light in the middle of her forehead and then disappeared. A tired look appeared in Yang Mi's eyes, and she fell into a deep sleep soon. Zhang Yi told everyone that they would have to observe her changes for a while. Let's go first. There is surveillance in the room. And the walls of the house are made of alloy. Any accidents can be dealt with in time. Chapter 399 Farewell As for the so-called ice soul effect, Zhang Yi will soon get the answer. Zhang Yi dismissed everyone and told them to stay vigilant in the past few days. After all, the big decree said that someone would attack in three days. This news may also be false. Nowadays, no one is worthy of trust. Maybe tonight, a large force will attack. Everyone also knew that this war was no small matter. So they went back to prepare. It can be said that preparation is nothing more than going through the things that have been arranged in the mind. After the others left, Zhang Yi called Zhou Kier aside. Kier, you are responsible for watching over Yang Mi. In order to prevent her from acting strangely, she was first injected with a certain dose of muscle relaxants and sedatives. Zhou Kier nodded. Yes, I understand. I'll go get the medicine right away. Her little mouth was pouted as if she could hang a soy sauce bottle, and she looked a little jealous and dissatisfied. Zhang Yi couldn't help but laugh. Of course he knew why Zhou Kier was unhappy. Because he chose to give the eye soul to Yang Mi instead of letting her use it. He took Zhou Kier's hand and gently stretched out his hand to rub her fair and tender face. Fool, do you really think I didn't let you use Bing so because I care about her more? On the contrary, it is precisely because I care about you more. My feelings for you are as long as the Great Wall. I was afraid that Bingpa would have side effects. 
so I didn't let you use it. Don't you understand my painstaking efforts? Zhou Kier looked at Zhang Yi in surprise. Turn out to be. Is that what you think? But didn't Xin Qin say that Bingfa has been tested by several major bases and has no negative effects? Zhang Yi said lightly that theoretically one can survive by drinking urine. But when there is water to drink, no one would choose to drink urine. Right? Zhou Kier's mouth twitched. What kind of metaphor are you talking about? Zhang Yi pulled her and said with a smile. Never trust something given by a stranger. Any carelessness in the last days may lead to death. Kerr, you are a very important doctor in our team. With this ability, you are even more important than other people. But Yang Mi is different. She has to work hard to prove her worth. That's why I chose to give her the ice soul. Do you understand? After listening to Zhang Yi's explanation, Zhou Kier understood his painstaking efforts. At the same time, a sense of warmth suddenly arose in my heart. It turns out that Zhang Yi didn't let her use Bingso because he recognized her ability and protected her. Zhou Kier pursed her lips, accepted Zhang Yi's statement, and went to the infirmary to prepare medicine. After she left, Zhang Yi suppressed the smile on his face and returned to the bedroom silently. The situation now becomes complicated. The four major forces in Tianhai City are in conflict with each other and are not harmonious. The two families had a grudge against Zhang Yi and coveted this territory. So they were determined to destroy the shelter. The other two companies are on the fence and are in a wait and see state. No one wants to suffer losses in this war. But everyone is willing to seek the greatest benefits. No one can be trusted. Anyone may betray. And anyone may become a helper. Zhang Yi even believed that if he told Yan Sheng base and Chao Yu base about the snow worship sex plan, there would be a fight between them. But does that make sense to Zhang Yi? The snow worshipping sect of Chi Pei base has no grudge against him. His biggest opponents have to be Yan Sheng base and Chao Yu base. So for now, the main goal is still to attack these two parties. Zhang Yi lay on the bed and thought for a long time, and finally made a decision in his heart. Since war is inevitable, choose the method that is most beneficial to you. He picked up his cell phone and made a voice call to Xing Tian. Hey, Zhang Yi, have you figured it out? Zhang Yi nodded and I figured it out. We can cooperate, but I want to change the cooperation method. A flash of curiosity flashed in Xing Tian's eyes. Oh, how do you want to collaborate? Zhang Yi according to the portion of food you mentioned. I will give you twice as much, but you have to win this battle. Xing Tian sneered and said, You want me to help you? This is absolutely impossible. The Chi Pei base has always avoided trouble. I don't want to fight with you, let alone offend the other three forces at the same time. Zhang Yi shook his head. No, I don't need you to fight anyone. I just need you to bring people over and pretend to attack. That's it. Xing Tian looked suspicious and asked me to bring someone over to act? Zhang Yi, what kind of medicine are you selling in your gourd? Zhang Yi smiled and said, you don't have to worry about what I want to do. But there is no conflict of interest between us. Let alone any grudges. As long as you bring someone over to perform a play, I can give you double portions of food. Will you accept this job or not? Xing Tian's eyes flickered. There was no reason not to accept such a good thing. But he couldn't figure out Zhang Yi's purpose. But thinking about it carefully, he just went over to play a show. And his people would not suffer any loss. Zhang Yi had no reason to design him. So he smiled heartily and said ha ha ha. Good. I have no reason not to agree to such a good thing. But before that, you have to send the food to show your sincerity. Zhang Yi said, I will give you one third as a deposit first. I'll give you the rest after it's done. Xing Tian thought about it and felt that it made sense. Well, at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon, we will trade at the original site of Shishan base. Okay, it's a deal. The two ended the call and Zhang Yi's plan was almost taking shape. He could obviously choose to ask Chi Pei Base not to send troops. But he still chose to pay more and ask Chi Pei Base to be a qualified actor. This approach serves two important purposes. First, if the Chi Pei Base does not send troops, then the Chaoyu and Yan Sheng Bases will be more cautious and be on guard against the Snow Worship Cult. In this way, if the Shui Cult backstabs as promised, the effect may not be that good. And if Chi Pei Base is here, it will make Chaoyu and Yan Sheng bases more confident. When people are overconfident, they tend to swell and expose various flaws. Second, Zhang Yi is confident enough to use the shelter to block several joint attacks. Once the opponent's attack fails, the Bai Shu occult will stab from the side. Coupled with Zhang Yi's proactive attack, it will cause a major blow to the two major bases of Chao Yu and Yan Sheng. When the time comes, 
Chi Pei Base will definitely not miss this opportunity to beat up the lost dog and join the battle group. Help them destroy the two major bases Chao Yu and Yan Sheng more effectively. Xing Tian just has no ambition. But it doesn't mean that he is pedantic and stupid. Who would turn down a good opportunity to pick the fruits of victory? Chapter 400 Everything is Unknown Everything is unknown. Zhang Yi is very smart. But he is never blindly confident. In the last days, there are only pure interests and no faith at all. People and forces use each other. One moment, they can work closely together. The next moment, they can stab each other in the back. He doesn't trust anyone. So he has to figure everyone out. The ideal situation for this battle is what he expected. But even if faced with the worst situation, if Chi Pei base and Bai Xiu sec turn against each other and join forces with Yang Sheng base and Chao Yu base to attack the shelter, Zhang Yi will not be surprised. The worst case scenario is to simply abandon the two-story building on the surface and go underground where the defenses are stronger. This is the worst possible outcome. But in that case, I will definitely cause you heavy casualties. Zhang Yi said with stern eyes. If you think about it carefully, he is definitely the top alien in Tianhai City now. He may not necessarily be the strongest one, but there may be very few, or even no, people who can compete with him. When he chooses to defend and counterattack cautiously, the destructive power he can cause is unimaginable to others. In the middle of the night, Zhang Yi's door was suddenly knocked hurriedly. Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi. Yang Mi has changed. Outside the door was Zhou Qi's anxious voice. Zhang Yi suddenly got up from the bed. Hua Hua was also awakened in her sleep. And her eyes were as wide as bells. Zhang Yi walked over and opened the door. And at the same time turned on his mobile phone to check the surveillance of that house. Sure enough, he saw Yang Mi tied up on the bed with a restraint belt. Her face was red, and she was covered in sweat. There was a white light in the center of her forehead that kept flickering. As if something was about to burst out. Let's go and have a look. Zhang Yi's voice was serious. Once he discovers that Yang Mi is being controlled by others, he will not hesitate to take action to destroy her ability to move. Even in a state of loss of control, the possibility of a fatal blow is not ruled out. After all, the existence of aliens is inherently full of uncertainty. Zhou Kier followed Zhang Yi and felt something was wrong in Zhang Yi's aura. So she didn't dare to express her anger. Zhang Yi came to this room with Hua Hua. But at this time, the abnormal sweating and flushing on Yang Mi's body had faded. She lay on the bed panting, unable to move at all due to the drugs injected into her body. Yang Mi. Yang Mi? Zhang Yi shouted softly without approaching. Yang Mi slowly opened her eyes. And when she saw Zhang Yi coming, she forced a smile of joy. Zhang Yi. I'm done. At this time, Hua Hua suddenly jumped on the bed, walked a few steps on Yang Mi with her tail raised, and then looked at Zhang Yi calmly with her eyes. Seeing this scene, Zhang Yi finally relaxed inside. The intuition of demon cats is hundreds of times more powerful than that of humans. If there is anything abnormal about Yang Mi, even if it is just a slight change in breath, it can detect it. Hua Hua was telling Zhang Yi that there was nothing wrong with Yang Mi in front of him. And she was still the same woman he was familiar with from head to toe. Am I worrying too much? Even the four major bases have verified that there is no problem with Bingpa. Does it really have no side effects? Zhang Yi couldn't help but be a little confused. But he soon gave up this idea. Question before you believe. And it never hurts to be a little more cautious. Zhang Yi did not untie Yang Mi's restraints. But asked how do you feel now? What kind of abilities have been awakened? After a foreigner awakens his superpower, he will immediately know what his power is. It's like a person has an extra hand. He can clearly feel its existence and understand how to use it. Yang Mi closed her eyes and felt her abilities. She suddenly smiled and said, Sure enough, my only life is to do housework at home. There was no trace of disappointment on her face. It seemed like she was very satisfied with her abilities. Yang Mi introduced Zhang Yi that my ability is. Feast. The food produced can help others restore their consumed powers. She smiled and said that it was indeed an auxiliary ability. That's fine. I'm not very good at fighting originally. Zhang Yi's expression relaxed. He leaned against the door and smiled lightly. It is indeed a very useful ability. So that when we fight, we don't need to worry about excessive power consumption. He looked at Zhou Kur and said, Kur, help her untie her belt. Zhou Kir's eyes were full of envy. And she walked over and helped Yang Mi untie her restraints. However, Yang Mi is still unable to move because of the medicine. When you recover tomorrow, show everyone your abilities. Zhang Yi said with a smile. Okay. All right. Although Yang Mi's face was dripping with sweat. Her eyes were bright. 
she can finally do something for everyone and prove that she is not dispensable. Zhang Yi left here and asked Zhou Kier to take care of Yang Mi. You can enchant food so that the food can supplement your superpower. This superpower cannot be said to be very strong. But it is very useful. It just so happens that we are about to face a big battle next. And having one more assistant is a good thing after all. That big law is right. The effect of this thing still depends on the individual's potential. Yang Mi's potential is only so great. Even if she awakens her powers. They are only auxiliary. It feels somewhat similar to Li Jin. Zhang Yi couldn't help but think that he still had an ice soul in his hand. After thinking carefully for a while, he decided not to use it for the time being. Don't rush to create aliens. He had to observe Yang Mi carefully for a while. Wait until he completely eliminates all potential dangers before letting Zhou Care or Lu Karen use it. The time came the next day. In the morning, Zhang Yi called Xing Tian. Come over now. The trading location has changed to Xuja Town. Lujiang District. After hearing this, Xing Tian frowned and asked, Your territory? Zhang Yi smiled and said now that I am going to be surrounded and attacked. Not you. It's never wrong for me to be careful. You don't suspect that I have ulterior motives for you. Do you? The agreed time was 2.30 in the afternoon. But Zhang Yi had no intention of abiding by it from the beginning. Because the time and place are determined. The other party will have the possibility of leading someone to ambush. Zhang Yi likes to eliminate all uncertain factors. Xing Tian snorted coldly. Okay. Then it's up to you. Right in Xuja town. He also obtained part of the information about Zhang Yi and others. Although he had no way of knowing everyone's abilities. He also knew that Zhang Yi had few people under his command. As long as Zhang Yi does not rely on shelter. It will be difficult for Zhang Yi to compete head-on with base-level forces. Chi Pei Steel Plant is about 100 kilometers away from Yonk Manor. Xing Tian and the others rarely left their territory. So they couldn't decide the time. The two parties agreed to contact each other after they arrived in Xuja Town. Chapter 401 Xing Tian Legion It was not until noon that Xing Tsai led a group of his men to Xuja Town. The speed was so slow that Zhang Yi suspected that they were not very convenient in terms of transportation. But since he was operating on his own territory, he had nothing to fear. Zhang Yi called Uncle Yu and Fatty Su, took Hua Hua, and got ready to go out. As for Liang Yu, she is still immersed in her own world and has not been freed. However, her state became very strange. She no longer complained to anyone, but stayed in her room alone every day, holding a Tang Dao and thinking quietly. Zhang Yi didn't know whether her state was good or bad. He didn't want to disturb her for the time being. So he didn't ask her to join him. The group of people rode snowmobiles and carefully set out towards the other side of the river. At this time, Xing Tian had brought dozens of people to Xuja town. As Zhang Yi expected, their means of transportation were relatively crude. It turned out to be all dog sledding. It's no wonder. You can't expect a group of steelmaking workers to all be able to modify vehicles. Not to mention, they don't have as much fuel as Yangsheng base and Chaoyu base. However, the dogs they raise are very large. The dogs that can survive the apocalypse to this day are very cold resistant. And the larger they are, the easier they are to feed. The dogs raised by workers are not delicate. And they are good at fighting or pulling sleds. Dogs are omnivores. They can eat any food. And they are relatively easy to feed. And no one can ignore the silver gray giant dog at the front of the dog group that is as huge as a house. There was a cute little girl sitting on its back, humming a familiar nursery rhyme in the wind. Xing Tian didn't wear combat uniforms. He was still wearing the gray-blue work clothes. And he didn't even wear a cotton coat. But no matter how cold the weather was, it couldn't make him frown or shrink. His short and lean body seemed to be made of steel, with tendons all over his body. Of course, the other workers around them were also the same. Working in steel mills all year round makes them look like they are made of iron. No one wants to fight against such a steely team. Xing Tian stood in a cold wind, rolled up his sleeves and glanced at the Patek Philippe on his wrist. This watch was snatched from the owner of the dog factory. It can keep running in extremely cold temperatures. It is said that the price is as high as more than 10 million. Although money has no meaning now, Xing Tian likes such luxuries. Because before the end of the world, he could not afford this kind of thing in his life. So he likes this kind of thing that can bring him satisfaction. Zhang Yi is so slow, Xing Tian complained then carefully wiped the frost on the surface and carefully stuffed it into his sleeve. At this time, several workers came over and said to Xing Tian, Boss, I've looked around here. There are still some residents alive. Xing Tian asked what their relationship was with Zhang Yi. The workers said it didn't seem to matter. But when Zhang Yi was mentioned, 
they were quite scared. Xing Tian thought for a while, and said that this was reasonable. If these people were protected by Zhang Yi, he would not be able to lure us here. Forget it. Ignore them. At this time, several workers had ambiguous smiles on their faces. Boss. Hey hey. Hey hey hey. Seeing their weird smiles, Xing Tian couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. What do you mean? The workers rubbed their hands. There are many women in this town. And they are all relatively young. We would like. Thousands of workers at the Chi Pei Steelworks are still alive. 99.9% .9 of them are men. And there are only a few women who work in civilian logistics. And they have long been divided up by the managers. The remaining thousands of men also hope to have women of their own. However, in the deserted countryside of Chi Pei Steel Mill, there were only a few living women around. No wonder they can't control themselves. The corners of Xing Tian's mouth curled up. And after thinking for a while, he said that I would discuss it with him when Zhang Yi comes. After all, we were on his territory. So we had to give him some face. At this point, he said, Of course, I have spoken in person. So he has to give me face. The workers around him nodded excitedly. That is required. The boss is so powerful. Not long after, the sound of an engine was heard in the distance. Zhang Yi drove people over on a snowmobile. Xing Tian's eyes also became sharp. With a sneer on his lips, he stood in the middle of the road with his arms crossed looking straight ahead. The collar was swaying constantly in the cold wind, but it could not shake his figure. Zhang Yi stopped the car, cautiously opened the door, and walked out. The atmosphere between the two parties is somewhat tense. Although cooperation has been agreed upon, neither party can fully trust the other. I'm afraid that if anything goes wrong at all, there will be a fight on the spot. The two have not seen each other for almost ten years. When we met again, the two of them had changed a lot. Zhang Yi is much calmer than before. His eyes are less sunny and innocent, and more cold and ruthless. As soon as he walked out, Xing Tian and the workers present felt like they were facing a formidable enemy. Zhang Yi didn't do anything deliberately. It's just that he has killed too many people, and that murderous aura has penetrated into his bones. As long as he becomes serious, this murderous aura will escape from every movement and every look in his eyes. This is a ruthless character who cannot be offended. Everyone in the Qi Pei base thought so. Even Xing Tian who became the leader of Qingwei base, did not dare to look down on Zhang Yi in front of him. However, he had to maintain his dignity. So the corners of his mouth were still tilted in disdain. While they were sizing up Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi was also sizing them up. Xing Tian has changed a lot since then. His body is stronger, and he can still wear ordinary work clothes in the ice and snow. It is obvious that his ability has a strong blessing on his body. The workers around are all fierce, and they don't seem to be easy to mess with. He couldn't help but think of the introduction to Xing Tian in the Shishan base's information. His ability is very special. It seems to be a group buff ability, which can give himself and everyone around him a huge boost. Of course, the huge mutant dog is also hard to ignore. After Hua Hua appeared, the demon dog and Hua Hua quickly stared at each other, letting out dangerous whimpers. Their sounds ruined the atmosphere. Zhou Lingling, the girl on the demon dog's back, quickly touched its head. Lei Lei. Dear, don't whine. After being comforted by Zhou Lingling, the devil dog narrowed its eyes and surprisingly stopped whining. Hua Hua seemed too lazy to pay attention to it, standing quietly beside Zhang Yi's legs, but her eyes were still sharp. Ha ha ha. Long time no see. Old classmate. Xing Tian suddenly laughed. Unexpectedly, we had not seen each other for more than ten years, but we would meet again in such an environment. Zhang Yi also said with a smile. Yes. I thought I would have a good drink at the class reunion. But looking at you now, you're doing pretty well. They have all become prominent figures in Tian High City. Zhang Yi's compliment was very helpful to Xing Tian. Because Zhang Yi saw the slightly raised corners of his mouth. It's easy to say, you're not bad now. Although he is not in charge of such a large territory as me, he can still be regarded as the number one person in Tian High City. Xing Tian let out a long sigh. Who could have imagined that I, who was inconspicuous in school, would be where I am today. It looks like a sigh, but it's actually showing off. Zhang Yi secretly smiled in his heart and did not expose it. He knew what people like Xing Tian cared about. What Xing Tian wants is the compliment and admiration of others to make up for his low self-esteem and inconspicuousness in the previous decades. Chapter 402 Yang Mi's Superpower According to the agreement between the two parties, Zhang Yi took out one-third of the food and handed it to Xing Tian as a deposit. Xing Tian brought enough people and enough sleds to pull all the food back. 
Sheng Tian was very happy when he saw the food he had obtained without any effort. And Zhang Yi also appropriately showed a hint of pain, which made Sheng Tian feel even more happy. Zhang Yi, don't feel bad about these foods. It is absolutely worth it to cooperate with our Qi Pei base. Sheng Tian said to Zhang Yi with a smile. The corners of Zhang Yi's mouth raised slightly. He squinted his eyes and said this to Sheng Tian. I don't know if you still remember when I was in junior high school. I had a fight with a few people from the next class. Sheng Tian recalled it, nodded and said that there was indeed such a thing. It seems that some gangsters from the next class are chasing Fan Xing San from our class. But Fan Xing San has always had a crush on you. Zhang Yi said that five of them beat one of me. I knew I couldn't beat them. So I caught the kid calling people and knocked out three of his teeth. Zhang Yi pointed his index finger at Sheng Tian. His eyes gradually becoming fierce. This time I gave you food. I hope you can abide by our agreement. But if you betray me, even if you all come to attack, I would rather ignore the other companies and I will fight to the death to drag you into the water. When the time comes, we will fight to the death and see if your Chi Pei base can survive in Tian High City. Xing Tian was a little frightened by what Zhang Yi said, and subconsciously swallowed his saliva. Ha uh ha. -huh. Zhang Yi. Are you looking down on me too much? Let me tell you. What I, Xing Tian, rely on when I come out to work is two words loyalty. Ha. Huh. Just wait and see then. Of course, it would be best if Zhang Yi smiled like that. I don't want our old classmates blood to splatter on the streets either. Xing Tian asked his people to bring the food and left Xujia town. Before leaving. He looked back at Zhang Yi warily from time to time. He even forgot about asking if he could take some women from Xuzhou Town back. Zhang Yi waited until they left and called Uncle Yu and others back to the shelter. Let's go. Get ready to fight. Uncle Yu said that he hopes our food will not be wasted. Otherwise, you will lose both your wife and your troops. Zhang Yi said disapprovingly that the supplies given to them were cans collected from Shishan base. And those things were not tasty. As long as there is peace in the future. Relying on the abilities of Fatty Sue and I. We can have as many of these things as we want. No need to be sorry. Uncle Yu smiled and said I was just worried about feeding the white-eyed wolf with food. If they betray us, we will suffer a big loss. It will definitely make people very unhappy if someone eats the food you gave them and hits you in turn. No. They most likely won't dare. Zhang Yi's tone was gentle. But there was a sense of confidence. Although more than ten years have passed. Xing Weinan's character has not changed much. A person's nature is difficult to change. Going from an unknown little person to a leader who suddenly possesses powerful abilities and huge power does not allow him to possess the ability and wisdom of a commander. Therefore, his work style is very conservative and he does not dare to start a fight with others easily. He was extremely afraid of losing everything he had. There is more than enough defense, but not enough offense. I have given him a taste of the sweetness. Rather than risking a fight with us, he will choose to do nothing and gain the most from the fight. In fact, most ordinary people have this mentality. Even Zhang Yi is no exception. He put himself in Xingqian's shoes and thought that if he were in Xingqian's position, he would happily take the food and leave without being sure of the opponent's strength. After all, ten birds in the forest are not as good as one in a hand. Of course, the possibility of their betrayal cannot be completely ruled out. In short, we just need to be prepared for all possibilities. Zhang Yi and his party returned to the shelter. As soon as they entered the living room, everyone smelled the familiar aroma of food. But today, the smell was even stronger, making everyone feel refreshed after smelling it. Zhang Yi's eyes flashed, and he guessed who was cooking. When I came to the island kitchen, I saw Yang Mi who had recovered and was cooking. Several women were surrounding her, looking intoxicated, already fascinated by the aroma of the food. Seeing Zhang Yi back, Yang Mi's eyes lit up, and she happily said to Zhang Yi, I have mastered the skills of using supernatural powers. Come and try my cooking. Zhang Yi's eyes flashed and he smiled and said, Oh, I became very proficient in using it so quickly. Good for you. He changed his clothes slowly and walked towards the island kitchen. Zhang Yi smiled and asked everyone, It seems that you have all tasted Master Yang's cuisine. Lu Karen nodded wildly. Yes, brother. The food cooked by Sister Yang is delicious and it seems to have a kind of magic power, which makes people energetic and full of energy after eating it. Zhang Yi secretly thought that it seemed that the dishes made by her powers were not only effective on strangers, but also on ordinary people. It's quite convenient, because eating can only restore one's strength, but it's so difficult to restore people's energy. Zhang Yi saw Liang Yu in front of the kitchen table. She looked very good at this time, 
and was more energetic than before. Zhang Yi was very curious and asked Yang Mi teacher Dao Yang didn't become a modicum after eating your food? Yang Mi proudly waved the cooking spoon in her hand. Of course. Eating the food I cooked will refresh your mind and make you feel more energetic. It can even eliminate negative states of the body. Zhang Yi was shocked. Good guy. This is equivalent to bringing his own corruption potion and mercury ribbon. Yang Yi picked up a bowl of chestnut porridge and handed it to Zhang Yi with anticipation. Zhang Yi. Come and try it too. Looking at Yang Mi's clear eyes, Zhang Yi was embarrassed to reject her in front of everyone. He took it with a smile, then reached out and hugged Hua Hua aside. It smells delicious. It must be delicious. As Zhang Yi spoke, he quietly took a mouthful with a spoon and handed it to its mouth. Hua Hua sniffed it. Then her little eyes suddenly became wise. And she ate it. Zhang Yi felt a little relieved after seeing this and took a sip. After taking the chestnut porridge, he immediately felt a strange energy begin to pour into his body. All the fatigue was swept away, and I felt energetic. I wish I could lie down on the ground and do a hundred push-ups for him. Nice one. Yi couldn't help but admired. Then, Hua Hua pounced on her and grabbed the bowl. Yangmi happily filled a bowl for Hua Hua. Yangmi awakened her superpower. Although it was more of an auxiliary type. The effect was remarkable and everyone was happy. After all, the war is about to begin and having a little more help is a good thing after all. Even Joe Kerr and Luke Karen were very greedy, and hoped that Zhang Yi could use the remaining ice soul as soon as possible. Zhang Yi dealt with them perfunctorily, and prepared to wait, and see for a while. Only Yang Xinxin disdained the so-called Bingpa. She thinks her brain is the best superpower. On the contrary, if after using Bingso, she gets some abilities similar to cooking, it will only add unnecessary burden to her. Everyone has tasted the food cooked by Yang Yi, and expressed their admiration for her ability. At first, Zhang Yi only tasted it briefly. But later he found no difference, and was completely relieved. Then he went to ask for specific information about Yang Mi's abilities. Yang Mi had no reservations about Zhang Yi. In order to prove her role, she told Zhang Yi in detail about her abilities. Since she has just awakened her powers, the amount of food she can enchant at a time is limited. You can probably only prepare it for five people at a time. The advantage is that it can quickly restore a person's state, including alien powers. After Zhang Yi listened, he asked Yang Mi, Can the food you made with your powers be stored? I mean, does it lose its effectiveness over time? Hearing this, Yang Mi said this with some uncertainty. I haven't tried it yet, but I have tried it. And it is true that freshly prepared food is better. Zhang Yi waved his hand. It was not important. In short, from today onwards, Prepare a large amount of this kind of food. Preferably something convenient. Like an energy bar. As for the storage problem, I will solve it. As long as you put the food made from Yang Mi into a different space. You don't need to worry about the loss of efficacy. In this way, Zhang Yi can obtain a large amount of military ration through this method. In the future, aliens will definitely become the mainstream combat force on the battlefield. And this kind of military ration will also become a strategic material. Chapter 403 The battle is about to begin. According to the information provided by the Snow Worship Sect and Xing Tian, several major forces will join forces to launch an attack on Zhang Yi's sanctuary in three days. This war is nominally to avenge the two base members who were killed by Zhang Yi. In fact, everyone knows that this is just a war to carve up territory and clean up the sphere of influence. However, each of the four families has their own agenda, and each family hopes to maximize its own interests. However, with the help of all forces, this battle will definitely begin. Three days later, the four major forces left part of their armed forces to defend their headquarters, while the rest of the armed forces, led by their leaders, headed towards Yonk Manor next to Lujiang River. The four parties agreed that the time to launch the attack would be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, because they had no way of knowing what was happening inside the ice and snow barrier. Even if they planned to conduct a night attack, they will fall into the passive position of fighting in a remote place and are easily ambushed by traps. Anyway, they have an absolute advantage in terms of military strength. So launching an attack from the front in an upright manner is the best choice. At the Yangshan base, the team dispatched was the most powerful because they dispatched 15 vehicles at one time, including engineering vehicles for attacking fortresses and modified armored vehicles. Looking at the entire Tianhai city, Yangshan base is the only one with such a fleet. On the third armored vehicle, Xiao Honglian, the leader of Yangsheng base, was sitting there wearing a red combat uniform, his eyes as sharp as an eagle. Her ability is very special. She named it. 
Infernal Forge. Not only can she strengthen her body through flames, but she can also melt everything by releasing high temperature flames. In terms of the classification of superpowers, she has both strengthening and releasing abilities, and her combat ability is very powerful. It is precisely because the characteristics of flames are so obvious that her combat uniform is also red. After all, she is so eye-catching no matter where she is. There is no need to hide herself. The convoy moved forward slowly towards Yunk Manor. Xiao Honglian picked up the communication device and contacted the leaders of the other three major forces one by one, asking them to arrive near Yunk Manor at the agreed time. After getting a positive answer, I felt relieved. But Xiao Honglian's deputy Zhuge Qingting always looked worried. When we set out in the morning, a flagpole suddenly fell down at the door. He spoke. Xiao Honglian looked at him and sneered. You are quite superstitious. No, this is not superstition. Zhuge Qingting shook his head. I'm just a little worried. And this worry is getting stronger and stronger now. This is the first time since the end of the world that such a large-scale war has occurred. We have never assembled so many troops in the past to fight a war that could affect the fate of Yansheng base. If we lose this battle, I don't dare to think about the consequences. Zhuge Qingting only thought about this sentence in his heart and did not dare to say it in front of Xiao Honglian. Xiao Honglian did not hesitate at all and said in an unquestionable tone that we will definitely win. The most critical factor in the destruction of the Xishan base was the missile from the Jiangan region. Not him Zhang Yi. A small shelter with less than 10 people. Even if they are all strangers. So what? What's more? This time our four families act together. It will be easy to kill them. Xiao Honglian said calmly. If I weren't worried about the danger of taking action rashly, I wouldn't even need to call the other three. Don't worry. There won't be any accidents this time. There is no force in Tianhai City that can withstand the attacks of four of us at the same time. Xiao Honglian was cautious enough. Because she didn't know the true strength of Zhang Yi and others. She would rather give up some of her interests and summon the four major forces to join forces. Zhuge Qingting was silent for a moment. And then said that he was afraid that the other companies were unreliable. Xiao Honglian suddenly laughed. Ha 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 ha. Of course they are unreliable. Those guys are all bloodthirsty scum. And they will swarm as soon as they smell blood. She suppressed her smile. Her eyes as sharp as knives. That's why they are reliable. At least trustworthy in this battle. Because Zhang Yi is a piece of fat meat. They will rush over. Eager to grab the fattest bite. We are all the same and enjoy bullying the weak. Especially fat and weak prey. Who can resist its temptation? Xiao Honglian didn't even feel that there were any uncertainties in this operation. Even if it was a sturdy shelter that Zhang Yi was proud of. She would take professionals like Wu Huiren there to dismantle it. Just as Zhang Yi said. Although the Shishan base was destroyed by them. No one knows how they did it. Therefore, almost everyone believes that Zhang Yi's team did not play a key role in this incident. It was just a fluke and I got a big deal. Xiao Honglian. Wei Dinghai and others had this idea in mind and treated him like a fat sheep. Xu Be Qingting nodded. And I thought so too. After all, from the perspective of strength, we have no possibility of failure. Xiao Honglian patted his shoulder. You are just too nervous. After we win, let's have a good drink. Then you will understand the joy of victory. Xu Ge Qingting had a smile on his face. You said it. Maybe I was just too nervous. Braving the wind and snow. The convoy continued to drive towards Yunk Manor. On the other side, Zhang Yi learned early that the time they agreed to attack was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But for safety reasons, everyone got up early in the morning to prepare for this big battle. The Feng Shui geography of Yunk Manor is close to mountains and rivers. Behind him are two low mountains connected in the shape of a Taishar chair, with the Lujiang River in front of him. Therefore, if you want to attack Yunk Manor, the rear is not convenient at all. And you can only pass through the vast area in front. Zhang Yi arranged for everyone to first guard on the first line of defense. Uncle Liang Yu Yu, Fatty Su, and Hua Hua were all sent to the front line. And he himself stayed in the asylum. The reason Zhang Yi gave was that I am not a martial artist. And close combat is not my strong point. But using the dimensional gate and sniper ability support from the rear can better utilize my strengths. Although Zhang Yi never claimed to be the boss of the shelter, he was actually the leader of everyone. Everyone must obey his orders. Even Fatty Su, who is most afraid of death, must go to the front line to fight honestly. The war is coming. And Liang Yu's mental state is obviously different from the previous few days. She didn't speak much that day. But she kept holding the tank down tightly in her hand. And there was an irrepressible killing intent in her eyes. She always thought that her students died at the hands of Yansheng base. Therefore, 
She is extremely eager to find a suitable opportunity to kill more people in Yansheng base and avenge the students. When she was about to turn around and leave, Zhang Yi called her from behind. Lian Yu, I'll lend you this thing temporarily. Lian Yu turned around, and Zhang Yi threw a tang knife at him. Lian Yu won. As soon as Lian Yu got her hands on it, her eyes suddenly flashed with excitement, because that sword was none other than her most beloved sword. Long Ming, Lian Yu too, remember to pay me back after this battle. Zhang Yi said lightly, he will not join the frontline fighting ranks. So it is more effective to leave the sword to Lian Yu. The expression on Lian Yu's face suddenly froze and he stamped his feet angrily. Chapter 404 The Best Sniper Spot After dispatching several frontline personnel, Zhang Yi turned around and began to assign tasks to several logistics personnel. They were just words repeated many times, and he emphasized them again before going into battle. Kur was ready to treat the wounded. Yang Mi, just have a good rest and make as many superpower foods as possible to restore our superpowers. Yang Mi and Zhou Kier nodded seriously. Zhang Yi looked at Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen. Xin Xin, I leave all the firepower devices on the front line to you to control. We have many firepower output points. And ordinary people cannot control them all at the same time. And among those people, there may be our helpers. Or at least they are neutral forces. You need to shoot according to my orders. The smile on Yang Xin Xin's mouth couldn't be stopped. She was so excited that her face turned red. She covered her red face with her hands and said, I can finally kill the enemy with my own hands. What a wonderful battle. Brother Zhang Yi, Xin Xin will be your best helper. As for Lu Karen, she has no mission for the time being, because her main ability is to debug weapons and equipment for everyone before the war, and to inspect the entire firepower system. Zhang Yi asked her to stay with Yang Xin Xin and would make other arrangements for her if necessary. After allocating the work, Zhang Yi said to them, Now go back to their respective posts. The enemy may come at any time. Don't be too nervous. This battle may end quickly or it may be very long. If the string is stretched too tight, problems may occur. After finishing speaking, Zhang Yi turned around and walked up to the second floor of the shelter alone. Just like before, Zhang Yi collected all the important things on the first and second floors. He was prepared for the surface of the shelter to be compromised. Even if the probability was no more than 5%, several women looked at the back of Zhang Yi climbing the stairs alone, and they all longed to follow him and fight with him but they also knew that Zhang Yi didn't like others messing around against the plan. So everyone returned to their positions and began to wait for the enemy's arrival. Zhang Yi arrived at the second floor, but for the first time, he climbed up to the small attic above the second floor. The space here is not very large, only about 50 square meters, which is the size of a bathroom in a shelter. The meaning of its existence may be a study room, a music room, or just to climb up and take a look at the distant scenery. Zhang Yi came here just because it is the highest point of the shelter and can see far away. And there are skylights all around the loft, giving you a wide view. There is no doubt that this is an excellent sniper spot for him. Zhang Yi walked to the window and looked into the distance through the floor-to-ceiling windows. After the battle with the Shishan base, almost the entire front of Yonk Manor was leveled. So the front is very open at this time. Not far away is the Long Lujong River. And opposite there are snow houses one after another in Xuja Town. Looking to the east and west, there is a large snow-white plain. There used to be buildings or forests there too. But after the end of the world, the blizzard destroyed everything around it and buried it with snow, creating an empty white area. This is a great place for a charge. And because it is too open, it is also very suitable for sniping. Zhang Yi took out a metal box from another space and then silently took out a heavy sniper rifle from inside. He unhurriedly set up his gun at the window and took out several boxes of sniper rifle bullets and placed them next to him. Then he moved a chair so that his performance would not be affected by weak legs when sniping. After all, this battle may last for a long time. And he also needs to rest. After getting ready, he said Xiao Ai and opened the window in front of him. The dimensional door sealed the position in front of the window, eliminating any possibility of shooting from the outside. What Zhang Yi has to do next is to wait for the enemy to appear in his sight. Zhang Yi is not a martial artist. Even though he killed Ling Feng one-on-one, -on -one, he firmly believed that he was not good at close combat. Even though he had the ability to accelerate, and even though he had learned Kung Fu from Liang Yu for a while, he still instinctively resisted close combat, because that's not his strong suit. If a person wants to win all the time, he must bully the weak and avoid the strong and choose the right opponent. The second is to maximize your strengths and avoid your weaknesses, and never touch your own shortcomings. 
Therefore, he will not go out and engage in close combat with the enemy. After devouring Ling Feng's supernatural energy, Zhang Yi's supernatural powers were greatly improved. In addition to the ability to gain divine power, other abilities have also been significantly improved. The first is the ability to shoot accurately, which allows him to have an effective range of 3.5 kilometers and a maximum range of 5 kilometers under the condition of holding a heavy sniper. This means that he can shoot unsuspecting ordinary people within a distance of 5 kilometers. But within 3.5 kilometers, he can also shoot soldiers who only wear ordinary body armor or bulletproof helmets. As for soldiers wearing specially made battle uniforms, they are slightly more difficult to kill. But within 1500 meters, it can also kill with one hit. After all, the defense capabilities of ordinary soldiers' combat uniforms and captain-level combat uniforms are not on the same level. Enemies above captain level are basically either protected or cannot be killed by firearms. He would ignore it. Leave those people to Lian Yu and others to deal with. Otherwise, why should I give it to Lian Yu? Next is Zhang Yi's dimensional gate, which now has a larger expansion area and can withstand a higher energy load. These two aspects have been greatly improved. And in a sense, it is simply terrifying. But if I meet Ling Feng again, there is no prerequisite preparation for the encounter. He still has more than 50% chance of being killed by Ling Feng. This is where the weakness of ability lies. However, as long as I can use my strengths to avoid weaknesses and maximize my abilities, I will become a nightmare for my enemies. Zhang Yi slowly narrowed his eyes. Today, there are only two things he has to do. First, try to kill the opponent's ordinary warriors before the war begins. Strangers are more difficult to kill and do not need to be deliberately controlled. An ordinary soldier, on the other hand, shoots one gun at a time and has the ability to lock and aim for precise shooting. So the bullets will not miss. If those ordinary soldiers die too much, it will definitely affect the morale of the opponent. What's more, although they are ordinary soldiers, they are also valuable armed forces of various major forces. Maybe the other side gave up the offensive early and chose to retreat when the losses of soldiers were too great. If he can defeat others without fighting, it would be the best outcome for Zhang Yi. Second, Zhang Yi must rely on the ability of the Dimension Gate to help Uncle Liang Yu Yu and others defend to the maximum extent. There are only two things he has to do today. Once these two tasks are completed, he will decisively choose to abandon the first line of defense and let everyone retreat to the shelter. No matter what, he won't give anyone the chance to get close to him. Chapter 405 Sniper At the shelter, a group of people have been waiting for the arrival of the enemy since the morning and do not dare to neglect for a moment. When you're hungry, eat some energy bars to replenish your energy. The superpower food that Yang Mi prepared for them will only be eaten after the war begins. It is an important strategic material to replenish superpowers. Finally, when the time came to about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Zhang Yi's tactical eyepiece captured a trace of movement on the snowfield. Attention everyone! The enemy appears. Zhang Yi said in the communication device. Everyone's eyes erupted with caution. And then, they quickly prepared for battle especially Lian Yu, whose fighting spirit was almost unbearable. But Zhang Yi's next sentence was that the distance was still five kilometers away. Big guy. Although they were a little speechless, everyone did not dare to slack off and had no choice but to wait for the opponent's attack. At this time, Zhang Yi is fighting alone. On Zhang Yi's side, the battle is about to begin. The first group to come over were the people from Chao Yu base. Compared to other forces, they have fewer scruples. After all, the most important supplies at Chaoyu Base are seaports and ships. And these things are completely incapable of being controlled by laymen who don't know how to do it. So they brought their team here early in order to seize the best attack position. The four families fight on their own. And no one can order others. But whether Wei Dinghai or Xiao Honglian, they are almost certain that they have too much advantage and can crush Zhang Yi simply by relying on strength. Therefore, there is no need to pay attention to coordination and strategy when facing a small shelter. The convoy drove slowly from the snowfield. There were also a dozen modified cars, each filled with soldiers from Chaoyu base who were armed with live ammunition. They were wearing white combat uniforms with a wave logo on their chests. The cars are also painted with white paint, making it difficult to spot them without looking carefully. When they arrived not far from Yunk Manor, they immediately saw the 20-meter high thick ice and snow barrier. Wei Dinghai said that it seemed that the others hadn't arrived yet. Just stop here. Occupy the favorable terrain first. Then our artillery can hit the front of the shelter. Deputy Chen Jingwan took a telescope and observed the ice and snow barrier through the window. And couldn't help but let out a laugh. 
Using ice cubes to build defenses is a bit clever. But it can be embarrassing. How could such a thing withstand artillery fire? And the existence of this kind of thing will become an environmental advantage for you. They would never have imagined this. But Wei Dinghai didn't smile. On the contrary, he said calmly, first of all, you have to understand something. With so few manpower, they were able to build such a majestic fortress. It shows that there are powerful strangers among them, Chen Jingwan said with a smile. But no matter how powerful the alien is, he can't stop the four of us from jointly attacking. Wei Dinghai raised the corners of his mouth easily. He twisted his thick wrist and said with a smile that this was a conquest without any suspense. Not even a war. However, I was interested in the people inside that asylum. If they are not dead by then, I can consider letting them work for me. Chen Jingwan complimented and said that would be their greatest honor. It is still far away from Yunk Manor, and only a little shadow can be seen. The convoy slowed down and stopped a few kilometers away instead of continuing. The vehicle carried artillery, and they were preparing to launch a long-range attack to blast away the thick ice and snow defense line. So the vehicle stopped, and the soldiers prepared to aim the several artillery guns on the vehicle in the direction of the defense line. But suddenly, the windshield of the car at the front of the convoy shattered. Also broken at the same time was the driver's head. Not penetrated, but like a watermelon being smashed boom. It exploded immediately. Enemy attack. The soldier on the co-pilot lowered his head immediately. And then informed everyone through the communication device. But just a second later, a bullet penetrated the front of the car in front of him and opened a big hole in his chest. The soldiers were still preparing to adjust their artillery. But they were startled by the sudden attack. In a car in the middle of the convoy, Wei Dinghai and Chen Jingwan were still chatting. And they were a little surprised after receiving the news of the enemy attack. The surroundings were clearly a vast expanse of snowfield, with no hiding place at all. Where did the enemy appear from? And according to intelligence, there were less than 10 people in that shelter. Now they actually dared to come out and ambush the elite troops in a base? What is the difference between this and committing suicide? Although he didn't quite understand the current situation, Wei Dinghai issued the order immediately. Everyone is on alert immediately to find the enemy. The soldiers at Chaoyu base are also professionally trained although it is not as good as the professional soldiers at Shishan base. There are many mercenary professional bodyguards and thugs inside. After receiving the order, they quickly loaded their bullets, then relied on the car body as cover while carefully looking for enemies hiding in the dark. Boom! A soldier next to the car was shot in the head again. A real headshot. Zhang Yi uses an anti-equipment heavy sniper, which can be used to defeat armored vehicles. And when it hits someone, even if it just touches someone, it will explode. At this time, many soldiers got out of their vehicles. They were preparing for an artillery attack on the defense line, without guarding against the enemy coming from three kilometers away. So for a while, they became living targets on the snowfield. Those who didn't dodge in time were killed one by one by Zhang Yi. Boom! 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 The three soldiers didn't have time to move. They were still standing there, and the upper half of their bodies turned into blood mist. Large caliber anti-material sniper rifles are so violent. Human flesh and blood is more fragile than soil. The soldiers at Chaoyu base are not professional soldiers. Most of them are just people who have been temporarily recruited for training for a period of time. Faced with this horrific way of death, he turned pale with fright and even forgot to run away. And the ending waiting for them is naturally one cold bullet after another. Soon, clouds of blood mist burst out on the white snowfield. This kind of death is very bloody. But it also has a kind of eerie beauty. The deaths of many soldiers caught Chao Yu base off guard and completely defenseless. Although it is common for people to die on the battlefield. But they were not professional soldiers after all. And they did not expect to encounter the enemy's long-range sniper attack in the wilderness. It was precisely because there was insufficient information on Zhang Yi's abilities that Chao Yu base fell into panic. They didn't realize what kind of opponent they were facing. They just thought there were snipers. There are snipers. Find him quickly and kill him. A commander shouted to everyone through the communicator. At the same time, there were also snipers at Chaoyu base holding sniper rifles. And the muzzles of the sniper rifles were pointed in Zhang Yi's direction. As veterans, they were able to confirm Zhang Yi's position through those few shots. However, their scopes could not see the scene 3.5 kilometers away. As far as the eye can see there is only a vast expanse of white snow. They were momentarily at a loss. Where did this bullet come from? A sniper said to himself in confusion. The next moment, his head and neck also made a colorful farewell. Every shot fired will take away a life without exception. And that's even when they take precautions. 
This finally made everyone in Chaoyu base feel something was wrong. What's going on? Why can't I find the sniper? Judging from the power. It is definitely a heavy sniper. He can shoot continuously. He must be an alien. That's right. Zhongyi can use space powers to offset the recoil of heavy snipers. Otherwise, if this kind of gun is fired three times, an ordinary person's shoulder will be seriously injured. Zhongyi said nothing and continued to shoot silently. Shooting distance is not an issue. Accuracy, again, is not an issue. As long as those soldiers reveal any part of their bodies, he will pull the trigger. The head is exposed. Head. The feet are exposed. Kick them. At this temperature. Just rubbing it is a death. In the ice and snow. The sound of gunfire never stopped. Soldiers fell one after another. And their deaths were extremely miserable. There were even people hiding behind the car. And even the people and the car were penetrated. And they didn't even find where the enemy was from beginning to end. Faced with this situation. Wei Dinghai finally couldn't sit still. You use my people as targets. What an arrogant guy. Chapter 406 The Invisible Enemy After Zhang he killed 15 soldiers in a row. Bursts of white snow mist suddenly surged around the convoy. Then the flying snow covered the entire convoy. And the entire convoy disappeared from Zhang Yi's sight. Zhang Yi paused his movements. An alien from the ice and snow system? It seems to be somewhat similar to Fatty Su's ability. The corners of his mouth raised slightly. And then he continued to stare into the tactical eyepiece. How long can you maintain this ability? If you are coming to attack me, I don't believe you won't move. All he needs is for the other party to show a little flaw. That's all. In the center of the motorcade, waiting high unfolded. Ice Lord. Ability to summon a blizzard to temporarily protect the convoy. But this is not a long-term solution. Because they are still far away from Yunk Manor. There were snowfields nearby. And it was impossible to find a suitable bunker. Maintaining the superpower for a long time will consume his superpower and affect subsequent battles. The top priority now is to find the sniper lurking in the dark. Wei Dinghai issued the order. Why can't he find his location? He asked a little angrily. But no one could give him a reasonable explanation. There is no suitable sniping point on this kind of snowfield. And judging from the positions where more than a dozen soldiers died, it was a sniper attack from a high position. But there was only sky high up near them. Not even a tree. Chin Jingwan said. I think there must be a very powerful alien sniper in Zhang Yi's team. He pointed in the direction of the shelter. The sniper's position should be in that direction. So these bullets were fired from the shelter. Waiting High's pupils shrank sharply. But it was still more than three kilometers away from the shelter. He fired more than a dozen bullets in one breath. And it seemed that he still had some energy left. But not the ability to snipe our cadres. Through this information, both Wei Dinghai and Qin Jingwan came to a terrifying conclusion, the sniper's strength was extremely terrifying. Not only is the superpower powerful, but the superpower reserves in the body are also very impressive. So much so that he could waste it on ordinary soldiers at will. After just a moment, Wei Dinghai made a decisive decision. Let the convoy retreat immediately. The other forces haven't arrived yet. So we don't need to make unnecessary sacrifices. Just get out of his shooting range. Wei Dinghai's order was immediately conveyed to the ears of every soldier. Everyone immediately got back into the car. And then the cars began to retreat one after another. Wei Dinghai maintained the snow fog to block Zhang Yi's sight. But if a dozen cars want to turn around on the snow, it is destined to be a big move. It is inevitable that vehicles will be exposed. Zhang Yi knew that they might make a retreat. So he waited until the other party was about three kilometers away from the shelter in a straight line before taking action. The effective range of 500 meters is enough for his heavy sniper to penetrate armored vehicles. Not to mention this low-profile armored vehicle transformed from a car. Boom! A bullet accurately hit the front wheel of a car. The tire was flat. The track hanging on it was also greatly affected. And the car body immediately began to tilt. Zhang Yi calmly changed the ammunition. And then fired again. The front and rear wheels of a car were penetrated. Making it completely unable to drive. The soldiers in the car sounded anxious. The car broke down. What to do? Don't abandon us. Find a way to save us. Once we leave the snow and fog, we will become a living target. They knew that the person who was secretly attacking was an alien with super long-range attacks. So they were extremely fearful in their hearts. This is more terrifying than a sniper. At least ordinary human snipers have many limitations and can be counter-killed. And this kind of confrontation, where they don't even have a chance to fight back and can only be beaten passively and die if they make a mistake will only bring them endless fear. There were nearly 20 soldiers in a car, and Wei Dinghai could not abandon them. 
he had no choice but to order to slow down and let the soldiers in the car move over. They don't have such ultra-long-range attack methods. There are also powerful aliens in Chaoyu base. But before other forces arrive, Wei Dinghai cannot allow his important alien combat force to rush over and risk his life for Zhang Yi in a shelter. War is for profit, not for conflicts of temper. The convoy slowed down. But Wei Dinghai increased the coverage of the blizzard, preventing Zhang Yi from continuing to shoot. At such a long distance, the infrared function has no way to work. But for Zhang Yi, accurate shooting is the best. It's not impossible to shoot accurately, but it's not impossible. After all, as long as his bullet hits him once, he is basically dead. The convoy is driving in wind and snow. In order to weaken the resistance of wind and snow, it adopts a dense formation. And the distance between vehicles is relatively close. Although Zhang Yi's line of sight was covered, he could still judge the range where they were located. And with the power of the heavy sniper in his hand, it is not difficult to penetrate the simple armor and kill the soldiers in the car. If you can hit the key parts of the vehicle, you can stop the vehicle directly. So Zhang Yi simply aimed at the area covered by the wind and snow and activated the blind sniper mode. Precision shooting relies on the performance of the sniper rifle itself, so it does not consume much power. With the current energy reserves in Zhang Yi's body, this level of consumption is almost nothing. In addition, he asked Yang Mi to prepare a lot of supernatural food in advance, which made him even more unscrupulous. There is enough ammunition. Even if you only get one shot out of ten shots, it is still valuable. What he has to do is to weaken the invading enemy's effective strength to the greatest extent before the war. In the wind and snow, Chao Yu base was nervously transferring soldiers. But the soldiers heard the sharp scream of bullets again. Whoosh! 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 The shooting frequency of the sniper rifle is not high. But when you hear the sharp sound, you can feel its terrifying power. Boom! The back door of a car was shot. And a big hole was punched through the 3mm steel plate. One of the soldiers inside was hit in the thigh. And blood flowed profusely. And a large amount of flesh and blood disappeared. Damn it! Our armor is too weak to stop this kind of anti-material sniper rifle. A veteran yelled angrily. He has fought all his life and has never felt so aggrieved. But they were aggrieved. And they could only endure it. After all, they did not have such powerful abilities. Bullets continued to fire hitting the car and making a terrifying sound. The soldiers inside the car did not dare to trust the armor of the car and laid down in the car in fear to avoid bullets. But even so, people were still shot by bullets. The soldiers who were smashed to pieces on the spot were all lucky. But the injured were the most miserable. The wailing sound was like a ghost crying in the wind and snow, spreading fear throughout the entire convoy at Chao Yu base. That sniper is simply too terrifying. They still don't know that the person they are facing is the most powerful sniper in Tianhai City. Wei Dinghai was sitting in the middle car, listening to the screams outside. His face gradually became gloomy. Get out of here quickly. Speed up and ignore any wounded soldiers. It's hard for them to survive anyway. On the attic, after Zhang Yi finished shooting two magazines, he would replace it with a new sniper rifle. If the shooting frequency is too high, the gun must be cooled down. In the air. Only the sound of sniper rifles rang out one after another. Zhang Yi was so focused that he didn't even say a word to his companions. But at this time, Fatty Su, Uncle Yu, Liang Yu and others could all hear the shooting sound through the common channel. The sound of heavy sniping is obvious. But they didn't even feel like they were on a battlefield. Instead, it felt like I was at a shooting range watching others shoot. The steady and rhythmic gunshots took away one life after another. Killing, sometimes like this, is as simple as a game. Chapter 407 One Person One Gun Zhang Yi With one man and one gun Beat the entire Chao Yu base to the point where they were unable to fight back and could only choose to retreat temporarily. Gunshots continued to ring out on the snowy field and every bullet fired made the people at Chao Yu base tremble with fear. Through the layers of snow and fog even a modified car would be hard to stop being shot. Chen Jingwan couldn't sit still. If he continues like this he doesn't know how many people he will kill. I'll go over there. After that, he opened the door and jumped out of the car, braving the freezing ice and snow. He climbed onto the car body as nimbly as an ape, and then jumped to block the back of the two cars at the back. The next moment, his body was stretched and widened, like a huge cowhide blocking the rear of the last few cars. Boom! A sniper bullet hit his body directly, but it was not broken. But the bullet's residual power made the steel plate behind the car deeply dented, and then it fell powerlessly on the snow. 
A painful expression appeared on Qin Jingwen's face. The power of this kind of bullet is too great. Even though his superpower can resist most physical attacks, the pain is still hard to go away. This also proves that the stranger who fired the shot is absolutely terrifyingly powerful. Zhang Yi didn't know that someone on the other side blocked the bullet. He just kept shooting in that direction. He had no shortage of bullets. And once he found that the muzzle of the gun was overheating, he would replace it with another. Anyway, after confiscating the weapon's arsenal at Shishan base, he has a total of five such heavy snipers. After five or six minutes, the people at Chao Yu base completely disappeared from Zhang Yi's sight and disappeared from the horizon. Ran? It seemed that they were waiting for everyone to arrive before trying to find a way to get closer and launch an attack. Zhang Yi raised the corners of his mouth. But no matter who comes, be prepared to face my sniper. In the communication equipment, everyone noticed that the gunfire had stopped and quickly asked about Zhang Yi's condition. Zhang Yi, what's going on with him? Zhang Yi replied calmly, I killed dozens of people. And then they all retreated. They were probably preparing to wait for the other forces to arrive before attacking together. Everyone was shocked. Have you killed dozens of people? My god, you are worthy of being the boss. You are too fierce. Fatty Sue said in shock. It took less than 10 minutes in total from the time the gunfire rang out to now. Zhang Yi repelled the convoy from Chao Yu base with just his own strength, killing dozens of people almost at no cost. Only now did he understand that it was not them who were guarding the first line of defense. Zhang Yi. The shooting range of his heavy sniper is the real first line of defense for the shelter. Zhang Yi said very calmly. What's so strange about this? It's just basic operations. If he couldn't even achieve this level, he would have absorbed so many alien powers in vain. If powers were divided into different levels, Zhang Yi might be unmatched in the entire Tianhai city. After all, the Ling Feng he devoured was the top alien master in Tianhai city before. Long-range sniping and defense are my strengths. If they break through my gun attack and get outside the defense line, it will be up to you to resist them. When necessary, it won't be a problem for me to kill several strangers with my divine power. Divine power combined with precise shooting although it consumes a lot of energy, is equivalent to a headlock attack within a combat range of 300 meters. The power is many times more powerful than a sniper rifle. Unless you are a foreigner with super strong defense ability, you will not be able to defend against his attack. Fatty Su smiled. Let's see if they have the ability to survive your sniper attack. Boss! Zhang Yi didn't look proud at all, because it's just a trivial matter to him. If at any time, he could kill a powerful alien like Ling Feng with one shot from five kilometers away. Then he would be called a true pervert. At this time, retreating to Chaoyu base at a safe distance, Wei Dinghai asked people to immediately count the number of casualties. The data reported are not optimistic. One car has been completely destroyed, and three other cars have been seriously damaged. It is estimated that it will be very difficult to drive back. Two captains were slightly injured, and 35 ordinary soldiers were killed. Waiting Hai's face looked extremely ugly. The total number of elite soldiers they brought out this time was only 300. As a result, before even getting close to Zhang Yi's shelter, the number of people was reduced by one-tenth. How could this happen? It's a bad start. It's very unreasonable that there is such a powerful alien in Zhang Yi's team. As both top foreigners, Wei Ding Hai has some understanding of the strength of foreigners' abilities. He had never seen or even imagined that someone could shoot from 3.5 kilometers away and penetrate 3 millimeters thick steel plates and body armor. Could it be said that there is an Epsilon level alien in Tianhai City? No. It's not that scary. It's just that long range attacks are powerful. So his melee combat must be a weakness. Wei Dinghai made a quick judgment. If you want to practice a certain field to the extreme, you must have shortcomings in your ability. No one can be a flawless hexagon warrior. Therefore, as long as we get close to the shelter, we can use the blind spots to avoid his shooting. After breaking the shelter, the death sniper is no longer a big threat. Chin Jing Wan opened the car door and walked up. His expression was a little painful. He had to endure a heavy attack when he resisted Zhang Yi's bullets. Leader, the enemy snipers are too scary. We can no longer attack directly from the front. I think it would be better to take a long detour to avoid him. Wei Ding Hai touched the stubble on his chin. Taking a long detour? If calculated based on Zhang Yi's effective shooting radius of 3.5 kilometers then they would have to make a big circle. Chin Jingwan took out the satellite phone and opened a map on it. He pointed to the location of Xujia Town and said it would be a good idea to launch an attack from here. There is plenty of cover here to avoid being sniped. Wei Dinghai nodded. It's a good idea. 
But let's not act in a hurry and find a place to hide. Hidden? Chen Jingguan didn't understand. Haven't we already been discovered? What's the use of being hidden now? Wei Dinghai laughed coldly. There was a hint of cruelty in his eyes. Our family cannot experience the suffering of snipers. They must also feel what it feels like to be hunted as prey. Chen Jingguan suddenly realized. The four forces are only cooperating temporarily. Maybe not long after this battle is over. They will have another dispute over the division of territory. Therefore, Wei Dinghai was happy to see that he could use the power of that sniper to let other companies experience heavy losses. Chapter 408 Full Counterattack Wei Dinghai was in a bad mood after dozens of his men were killed. But this also allowed him to get an important piece of information the sniper's lethality against aliens was limited. At least with Qin Jingwan's defensive power. The opponent's sniper rifle could not defeat him. The role that ordinary soldiers can play on the battlefield is getting weaker and weaker. Sure enough. Will the future still be an era where aliens dominate the battlefield? Wei Dinghai realized this deeply. He chose to stand still and not inform the other three houses that there was a powerful sniper in the shelter. Not long after, Yanshan base, which also had a fleet, arrived from another direction. The same unfolding awaited them. After they entered Zhang Yi's effective shooting range, Zhang Yi's hunting officially began, this time with experience. He also learned a lesson. Blow out the car's tires first, then shoot the driver. As several cars broke down one after another, the same commotion occurred in the convoy at Yangsheng base. Their first move was to rely on their cars to find the snipers lurking in the dark. Even the scripts are exactly the same. Without waiting High's reminder, the tactics of this encounter would not be much different. After all, they believed that they had the strength in numbers and sophisticated weapons. So they could not retreat immediately after being sniped. Instead, they thought of killing the snipers in the dark. It was because of this mistake that Zhang Yi was able to kill one by one in an orderly manner. The heads turned into blood mist one after another. And the arms, hands and feet exposed from the gaps in the car were also smashed. Ah! My hand! My hand! The dead are the lucky ones. But the crippled people are in the most pain. They lie on the ground and wail crazily in pain. And Zhang Yi had no intention of finishing the attack. Because these people were already dead. So it was better to let them scream for a while longer to affect the opponent's military morale. Xiao Honglian quickly organized his soldiers to fight back. Quick! Find that damn sniper for me and kill him! He dared to ambush in such a place. He was tired of living. But no matter how hard the people in Yan Sheng Bay searched, they could not find the lurking sniper. No one can imagine that someone can snipe from 3,500 meters away. Even if they can find it. Looking at the entire Tianai city, it is impossible for anyone or a sniper to effectively counterattack Zhang Yi from 3,500 meters away. Sometimes, if Zhang Yi gets used to it, he will forget how strong he is. But if there was a fight, he would always give his opponent a splitting headache. In the convoy, a white shadow suddenly flashed to the front. A bullet hit the front of the convoy, and the white figure actually faced it directly. There were flames in midair, and the bullet fired by Zhang Yi was directly deflected. But the white shadow was also shaken back several steps. Oh! Finally a decent guy shows up. A smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. He saw clearly what that person looked like. He is a tall and thin man with a head like a wolf and a dog, and a layer of silver-gray hair on his body. This is an orc-type alien. No wonder he has such agile speed and strength, and can catch the bullets shot by Zhang Yi. When Zhang Yi discovered him, he also saw Zhang Yi. Dog eyes can always see things that human eyes cannot. Such a long distance? Mad dog Lucien's pupil shrank sharply, and even he felt that it was very difficult. With his skill and speed, if it was one-on-one, -on -one, he could reach the opponent and fight within dozens of seconds. But now, the opponent is in the shelter, and he cannot attack rashly. Before he could think clearly, Zhang Yi's bullet came again. Lu Xian bared his sharp fangs and looked like a ghost, using his body to block bullets. Zhang Yi took his time and continued to attack. Anyway, all he consumes are bullets and some supernatural powers. And Lu Xian may die if he makes one mistake. He likes to do this kind of business that is sure to make a profit without losing any money. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. Mad dog Lu Xian finally felt the difficulty. And his sharp claws began to tremble. Even if he is a powerful orc-type alien, the load he needs to deflect three heavy sniper bullets in a row is really too much for him. However, as he trembled backwards, he did not show any anger. Instead, he raised the corners of his mouth. The preparation is complete. At this moment, the window of an armored vehicle in the convoy was opened. 
and a dark green gun barrel poked out of it. The artilleryman inside aimed at Zhang Yi's direction. And a S.H. L roared out of the barrel, flying close to Zhang Yi a moment later. Zhang Yi frowned slightly. The other party was carrying heavy firearms, which was indeed interesting. But the S.H. L seemed to submerge into the water, destroying no one or destroying any buildings. He just disappeared behind the dimensional gate very calmly. The artillerymen on the car were waiting expectantly for the familiar explosion to appear. But after waiting for a few seconds, they saw nothing. R. Dud? An artilleryman looked puzzled. The next moment, a bullet came, cutting his body in the middle, and he fell heavily into the carriage. Ah! An extremely miserable wailing sound sounded from the carriage. The other artillerymen in the carriage were so frightened that they felt nauseous and struggled to swallow the food in their throats. Then they roared and prepared to continue firing back. The more you fear death on the battlefield, the easier it is to die. Attack is the best means of defense. But, that is only under the condition that the strength gap between the two sides is not too large. Several more sh. Ls roared towards the attic where Zhang Yi was. But a moment later, those sh. Ls flew back where they had gone. Not good. Everyone's color changed suddenly. Their convoy was too dense. If the sh. Ls fell, I don't know how many people would be killed. This time, even Xiao Holian's expression became serious. Because there is no alien among them who is good at defense. Mad Dog Lucien roared angrily. His eyes were bloodshot. And his size grew again. It jumped into the air quickly. And actually used its body to change the trajectory of the cannonball. However, the power of artillery SH. LS was not comparable to that of sniper rifle bullets. He tried his best but only slightly affected the trajectory. Boom. 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 For artillery SH. LS deviated from their original trajectory and exploded near the convoy causing a snowstorm to rise into the sky. The violent tremors caused all the cars to sway. But fortunately, there were no major casualties. However, Lu Xian himself was knocked away, and a stream of blood spilled from his mouth. Xiao Hong raised her eyebrows while practicing her sword, and said decisively to retreat. Chapter 409 Everyone has their own agenda. In the convoy at Yangshan base, many soldiers threw smoke bombs. Soon thick smoke billowed out, obscuring the surrounding view. Zhang Yi hummed a song relaxedly, and then started shooting casually. The losses at Yansheng base were worse than those at Chaoyu base, because Zhang Yi damaged the tires and tracks of several vehicles from the beginning, making them unable to move. In addition, Yansheng base wanted to fight back, so a lot of time was wasted in the middle. During this time, Zhang Yi wounded Lu Xian and killed more than 40 soldiers. But even if the loss was not small, Xiao Honglian would never choose to attack the shelter. Like Chao Yu base, they cannot devote all their efforts to the attack alone. Since it is a joint attack by four families, it must be equally affected. Each family must contribute, and each family must also bear the firepower of the shelter. After leaving behind four cars and more than 40 lives, Yan Sheng base retreated to a safe area, a super powerful sniper, and the opponent also has the ability to rebound artillery attacks. Not sure if it's the ability of one person or two people, but either of these two abilities is terrifying. Xiao Honglian had a very serious expression on his face. The loss of some vehicles and ordinary soldiers is not the most terrible thing. The scariest thing is not knowing the strength of the other party. But once they met, Zhang Yi gave them all a huge shock. The elite troops of such a huge Yansheng base were beaten to the point where they were unable to fight back and had no choice but to retreat. She said leisurely. Now I finally understand why they can block the Shishan base's month-long attack with just a few people. There are some things she cannot say in front of her subordinates. But according to her judgment, the ability of the sniper in the shelter is definitely not inferior to hers. Shuga Qingting ordered everyone to stay put and asked Lu Xian to take medicine to treat his injuries first. Fortunately, although many people died, the core combat power was still there, and the morale of the military was not shaken too much. He came to Xiao Honglian's car and asked the Taoist leader for instructions. What should we do next? Although a frontal attack can force a breakthrough, it is still seven kilometers away from Yunk Manor. We have no effective means to block the opponent's sniper attacks along the way. And if the opponent can rebound the attack, we may not be able to use firearms and artillery easily. Xiao Honglian glanced at him, his eyes calm and not worried at all. What are you afraid of? They only have a few strangers. And it is impossible to maintain a long-term battle. Our four forces combined have thousands of warriors. And even a war of attrition can bring them down. But let's not move on. 
it's best to let the others go over first to attract the sniper's firepower and consume his powers. Xu Ching nodded and took the order to let everyone rest first. But Xiao Honglian picked up the satellite phone and called Wei Dinghai at Chao Yu base. Hey, Wei Dinghai. Where are you now? On the other end of the phone, Wei Dinghai said. Oh, we'll be there in a while. Have you arrived? Xiao Honglian curled his lips. Not yet. We have a long way to go and should be the last to arrive. But it won't delay the agreed time. Wei Dinghai smiled and said. Hey, I thought you were already here. I plan to ask about the situation over there. Xiao Honglian also smiled and said it was a coincidence. We both thought of going together. Well, let's talk about it when we meet. After the two hung up the phone, they both thought at the same time. Hurry up and have a taste of that sniper bullet. In Zhang Yi's sight, after two convoys arrived, he killed some people and ran away. Only so many people died. Why are you running away? Do you want to do some fancy things again? The opponent is in the open snowfield which is most conducive to Zhang Yi's performance. However, Zhang Yi also understood that they were not fools. After suffering losses, they would definitely choose other routes and no longer give Zhang Yi a chance to snipe. But that's not important. As long as they attack from the front of the shelter, they will definitely be within Zhang Yi's shooting range. I want everyone to know that all the miscellaneous soldiers on the battlefield today are contracted by me. An evil smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. The others had speechless expressions on their faces. Lian Yu shook her head. If she hadn't seen it with her own eyes, she would never have believed that this man could kill Ling Feng. The captain, who was almost invincible in close combat. You are obviously so strong. Why are you so stubborn? Fatty Su hurriedly shouted to the boss. If there is a chance to kill the foreigner, he should kill the foreigner first. After all, we are on the front line. Take some pressure off us. When it comes to the real fight, the aliens are the most difficult to deal with. Zhang Yi said lightly. I'll try my best. But you better not have your hopes too high. For the aliens who have survived until now, especially the enhanced and orc-type aliens, the role of firearms is already very low. He shrugged. As you all know, my strength will only double against the opponent I marked as a colored pin. But I think when the opponent is relatively strong, he will automatically become invisible. Fatty Su's mouth twitched. I would like to call you the strongest golden left hand. Zhang Yi, I usually use my right hand. Or both hands. Although Zhang Yi said this, everyone understood that he was just being modest on purpose. Zhang Yi never exaggerates his own strength. So as to make his opponents look down on him and his teammates not to rely too much on him. But when he really wants to kill someone, his cruel and despicable methods can simply exceed the lower limit of human imagination. Zhang Yi looked into the distance through the tactical eyepiece. And there was deathly silence in his field of vision. It is full of the sense of sight that the storm is coming and the building is full of wind. He whispered in a low voice that I had deliberately let the other party discover my ability to rebound attacks. So that they would be wary of using large firearms. In this way, the first line of defense can last longer. After all, it would be difficult to break through a 10 meter thick ice and snow wall without using large firearms. Zhang Yi's dimensional door has a limited area. It essentially opens a door in space. So it is not easy to move. Therefore, it is impossible to use it to cover an entire line of defense thousands of meters long. And Zhang Yi showed this ability in advance. And as a deterrent, he could maximize its effect. Who will be the next group to come? Zhang Yi murmured to himself while holding the big gun. The Snow Worship Sect, or the Chipei Base, was ostensibly the target of his cooperation this time. But if you don't take action, you may miss an excellent sniping opportunity. But soon, Zhang Yi's worries completely disappeared. Because he saw a large number of snow worshippers coming on foot from the snowy fields in the distance. There are thousands of them densely packed. So I, don't waste bullets on them. Zhang Yi shook his head. He should have thought that the snow worship church would drive its devout followers to die. Chapter 410 Battle of the Five Armies Following Chao Yu Base and Yang Sheng Base, people from the snow cult also arrived near the battlefield. Compared to the other three companies, their advantage lies in their strength in numbers. Although the combat effectiveness of those believers is not high, due to the brainwashing of the snow worship cult, they are not afraid of death. Some people even firmly believe that as long as they die for the holy war, their souls can go to the kingdom of God full of flowers and delicious food. But this time, there were even more than a thousand believers led by Zhang Yixian, the high priest of the snow worship sect. They were the closest to Yulu Manor. But since there was no transportation, they arrived the latest. Zhang Yi did not choose to attack them at the first time. First of all, 
There is no point in killing these ordinary believers. Secondly, both parties had an unreliable agreement that they would become Zhang Yi's helpers when necessary. Zhang Yi reminded everyone in the communication channel that humanity, people from the snow cult also came. Now except Chi Pei Base. The other three companies are all present. Lian Yu looked eager to try. After knowing that the people from Yansheng Base were nearby, she could hardly contain the murderous intent in her eyes. She desperately hopes to kill the people in Yansheng Base to avenge her dead students. Only in this way can she vent her inner pain and self-blame. But Uncle Yu asked rationally, Didn't I say before that the people from the Snow Worship sect and the Qingui base were helpers? If they also charge at that time, will we kill them? Zhang Yi replied that as long as he gets close to the defense line, he will be killed without mercy. What kind of helpers are they just wolves who choose people to eat? Once Zhang Yi and the others show signs of decline, those guys will immediately join in the attack on the shelter. So there is no need to be too polite to them. Okay. I get it. It's much simpler this way. Uncle Yu's expression became much more relaxed. He lowered his head and lifted up an oilcloth in front of him. Underneath was a large amount of ammunition and two Gatling cannons. This large caliber machine gun can penetrate armored vehicles. If used to hit someone, it only takes one bullet to turn them into powder. After the people who worship the snow cult arrived at their destination, they found no one from other forces coming. And they also noticed something strange. They immediately contacted several other forces. Xiao Hong and Wei Dinghai wished they could kill more people in order to consume the shelter's defense power. So the two of them pretended that they hadn't arrived yet and asked Zheng Yixian to wait near Yunk Manor first. Zheng Yixian noticed something was wrong. However, he just perfunctorily did not move forward because they came here to take advantage of the situation. But they had no intention of really risking their lives with Zhang Yi. If Zhang Yi and the others can block a few waves of attacks and consume the remaining three families' effective strength, we will give them a hard blow from behind. If Zhang Yi cannot stop their attack, then we will have no choice but to break our promise and join in their plunder, Zhang Yixian said with a smile. There are no eternal friends and enemies, only eternal interests. Not long after they arrived near the shelter, people from the Green Creeper base also arrived. Their means of transportation are equally backward, but they raise a large number of majestic sled dogs. The leader Xing Tian and his goddaughter Zhou Lingling rode huge mutant demon dogs, followed by more than 500 strong men wearing white combat uniforms with strong auras. In addition to guns and ammunition, their sleds also prepared some very special cold weapons. Huge battle axes, hammers, machetes, and even shields made of fine steel. Suddenly, I felt like I was back in the cold weapon era. Xing Tian picked up the telescope from a distance and stared at the shelter. He said to his subordinates that without my order, no one is allowed to attack Zhang Yi's shelter at will. Today we mainly came here to watch the show. The four forces arrived one after another, and it was time for them to attack together as agreed upon. As the initiator of this encirclement, Xiao Honglian opened a multi-person call and called the heads of the other three companies over. Xiao Honglian. Everyone is already nearby. Right? Then according to our original plan, we will attack the shelter from four directions. Xing Tian immediately said that we planned a sneak attack from behind the shelter. Wei Dinghai said doubtfully that the shelter is backed by a low mountain. Do you want to climb over it? Although the mountain range is not high, only more than 100 meters, it is difficult to climb over it in the wind and snow, not to mention launching an offensive from a condescending position. Xing Tianqin said that I came here to watch the show. If you go around to the back, you won't notice that I am fishing. It is precisely because of this that we can catch them by surprise. I'll leave the front to you, and we'll fight in the back. Naturally, the other companies don't have any opinions. And even if they do, they may not have any effect. After all, the four families are fighting on their own. And no one can command others. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai never imagined that Xing Tian had secretly made an agreement with Zhang Yi. After all, in their view, this is a conquest in which they have no chance of failure. Wei Dinghai said, Okay, let the three of us handle the frontal attack. Xiao Honglian suddenly said that's right. When we came we found that they had a very strong sniper. You'd better be careful. In addition, there are aliens among them who can deflect artillery attacks. So it's best to think carefully when using large firearms. Otherwise we will only cause harm to ourselves. Wei Dihai also said, I also want to remind everyone about this. We also suffered a lot in this regard. The two of them thought that the Snow Worship Sect and Qingwei Base had also been sniped by Zhang Yi. I spoke out at this time to avoid affecting myself during the melee. Oh, I see. Xing Tian and Zheng Yixian's reactions were relatively average. 
they were just here to paddle. So they would not actually fight. At most, they would just watch the fire from the other side and bluff. However, they couldn't help but be a little surprised when they learned that Zhang Yi had extremely rare space powers and could rebound flying weapon attacks. Because that means that their heavy firearms have ways to use them. Otherwise, with their number, it is unknown how many people would die at the SH. LS were bounced back. Okay, let's agree on a time. At half past two. And we'll launch an attack together from four directions. Yang Sheng and the people at Chaoyu base coincided with each other and chose to approach Yunk Manor from the direction of Shijia Town. There are one of the few shelters around Yunk Manor. And in order to deal with Zhang Yi's sniping methods, they thought of a way during the rest and recuperation process. Without exception, the heavy tanks with the strongest defenses models equipped with thick steel plates are placed at the front. Other cars with weaker defenses followed closely behind. In this way, it can be prevented from being consumed by Zhang Yi from a distance. And during the process of advancing, they used snow fog or smoke bombs to interfere with Zhang Yi's sight. Because they were afraid of Zhang Yi's space rebound ability, they were unable to use artillery to attack the defense line from a distance, and could only break through closer. When Zhang Yi discovered all this, he was not in a hurry, because he had expected this unfolding. The other party is not a fool, and it is impossible for him to rush up and let him shoot one by one. However, if the opponent wants to attack, they will definitely get out of the car. At that time, someone will still have to be exposed to his gun. There is no need to rush. Good hunters need to have good patience. But at this moment, Yang Xinxin's voice sounded in Zhang Yi's ears. Brother Zhang Yi, an enemy has appeared in the direction of the back mountain. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. Yang Xinxin sits in the control room and can use surveillance to deliver information to everyone. She was sitting on the mechanical wheelchair built by Lu Karen, moving very fast in the control room. She passed the image of the back mountain to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi felt relaxed after seeing the shadowy figures appearing in the mountains behind. It turned out to be them. Don't worry about these guys. They are probably planning to run over and catch fish. The terrain in the back mountain is relatively bad, making it difficult to launch an effective charge. If they wanted to rush down a steep slope of more than 100 meters with a slope of 70 to 80 degrees, they would be covered in injuries if Zhang Yi didn't take action. Xing Tian appeared here, and his intention was clear at a glance. They are just here to fish. Chapter 411 Unexpected Firepower Intensity Zhang Yi was not particularly worried about Xing Tian and others appearing in the back mountain. When building the defense line, he had already considered the issue of the back mountain. The place was easy to defend but difficult to attack. And he had planted many trigger mines on the mountainside. If you make an emergency landing from that place, there is no good way to clear the mines. And you will have to be blown up alive. The enemy has appeared and is ready to fight. Zhang Yi shouted in a deep voice on the communication channel. Everyone in the shelter was extremely focused at this time. This battle can determine life and death. Boom! The chariot teams from Yangsheng and Chaoyu bases have already advanced towards the outer perimeter of the shelter. All the soldiers were fully armed, wearing combat uniforms and holding modern weapons and equipment in their hands. It could be said that they were armed to the teeth. There are powerful strangers secretly ready to take action at any time. No matter how they look at it, they all feel that they will win this battle. The followers of the Snow Worship sect approached from the other direction step by step with primitive weapons, such as firearms, and even broadswords and spears. The distance was getting closer and closer. When the front row of tanks reached 300 meters away from the defense line, Zhang Yi suddenly shouted, Go! On the console side, Yang Xinxin decisively pressed the button in her hand, facing the direction of Yansheng base and Chaoyu base. Cracks suddenly appeared on the snow wall and the ice was pushed open by huge gun barrels and muzzles. Suddenly, the deafening sound of gunfire resounded throughout the entire front line. Even vehicles loaded with heavy armor couldn't withstand the bombardment of large caliber artillery and tank main guns, and were sent flying backwards, slamming into the cars behind them. Boom! 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 The deafening explosion shocked all the forces. Artillery! Tanks! And machine guns! Oh my god! Where did they get these weapons? Immortal Zhang Yixian was stunned. Fortunately, his men moved slowly and did not get close to the defense line. Otherwise, facing such fierce firepower, everyone would become a target. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai were also shocked and couldn't believe their eyes. These heavy firearms are only held by Shishan base in the entire Tianhai city. Could it be that? Did they loot the weapons depot at Shishan base? How is this done? The firepower of Shishan base exceeds the entire Tianhai city. However, 
because heavy firearms are difficult to transport. It is difficult to actually apply them on the battlefield. However, today, they turned out to be the first batch of people to test the cannon, spread out immediately and fight back. At this time, they had no time to be shocked. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai hurriedly ordered their men to spread out and fight back. But they were caught off guard in the first wave. Many people were beaten to pieces. And the tanks were blown up. This line of defense is nothing more than an ice wall. You can kill it by smashing it. As long as we can get close to that shelter. We win, Xiao Honglian said with cold eyes. Although she was caught off guard. She didn't panic. Because Wu Huiren told her that this shelter did not have a weapon system. It was just a solid SH. L. So as long as they break the outer defense line, their chances of winning are infinite. The soldiers on the chariot were afraid of being blamed. So they quickly jumped out of the chariot with their weapons in hand. But as soon as they left the chariot, they immediately became Zhang Yi's targets. Zhang Yi stood calmly in the attic, protected the window with a dimensional door, and then started sniping. The process of sniping enemies is a bit boring. Just aim, pull the trigger, and reload. Each time this action was repeated, a soldier's life was taken away. Since the end of the world, Zhang Yi has become proficient in using sniper rifles to the point of instinct. On average, he kills an ordinary soldier every three seconds. As for Yang Sheng base and Chao Yu base, because they did not predict that Zhang Yi had a large number of heavy firearms, the losses were extremely heavy. Their modified tanks could not withstand artillery fire. Even the artillery carried on the vehicle for sieging the city was destroyed directly on the trailer before it could even be towed off. On the back mountainside, Sheng Tian, who had originally planned to sit back and watch, couldn't help but swallowed. I have always wondered why Zhang Yi dared to confront so many forces at the same time. It turned out that he had hidden such a skill. He was secretly glad that he had the wit to go to the back of the shelter to fish. But he still said to his subordinates, Guys, shoot! Make the noise louder. But be careful not to point it at others. A bald man next to him scratched his head. Is there anyone around here? Xing Tian gave him a slap on the head and told you to shoot. There was so much nonsense. Anyway, don't hurt anyone. I, Xing Tian, am a strong-willed man. And I keep my word. We have to do our best when we take other people's things. Unless Zhang Yi is defeated. We will not add insult to injury. As a result, intensive gunfire rang out from the back mountain. And those who didn't know thought they were launching an urgent attack. But on the front line, the fighting was really fierce. The two major bases were caught off guard by Zhang Yi, causing heavy casualties. Zhang Yixian was worried that he would be suspected if he did not take action. So he directly ordered a group of believers to attack the defense line. Even though there were hundreds of believers armed with various cold weapons and crude firearms, they roared and rushed toward the defense line. In front of the shelter was a flat clearing with no cover at all. They rushed over. But before they got even 100 meters closer to the defense line, they were beaten into pieces by machine guns. Zhang Yixian frowned. He didn't expect Zhang Yi to be so ruthless and not give him any face. But considering that acting requires a complete performance, he had no choice but to hold back his emotions. We can't go on like this. We must judge the firepower configuration of this shelter. Xiao Honglian gritted his teeth and looked at the many soldiers who were killed by the bombing. And he began to regret it. If they had known that Zhang Yi had such strong firepower, they would have come back better prepared. But who would have thought that a team temporarily formed by a warehouse manager in the apocalypse would have the firepower that a militarized army can possess? At this moment, Wei Dinghai's voice came to her ears. We must work together to break through this outer line of defense. Most of their firepower should be here. And they don't have enough manpower. As long as they break through the defense line, they will be at a comprehensive disadvantage. You cover me with firepower. I'll take care of it. Xiao Honglian immediately said yes. Wei Dinghai's. Ice Lord. It can work wonders at times like this. She immediately ordered everyone to carry out fire suppression and cooperate with Chao Yu base to attack the ice and snow defense line. The snow worship sect and Qingwei base also received their requests. Zhang Yixian kept a cold face and continued to ask his followers to die. But Xing Tian just laughed and asked everyone to point their guns at the sky and fire. On the position of Chao Yu base, Wei Dinghai was covered by a layer of crystal armor of ice and snow. And then his whole body slowly merged into the ice and snow of the earth like mercury pouring down the ground. On the defense line outside the shelter, guns and cannons were still spewing tongues of fire, wreaking havoc on the three forces in front. But suddenly, a sudden change occurred. Without any warning, a wall of ice and snow exploded. It exploded with a loud sound. 
sharp pieces of snow flew around like flying knives. And an artillery piece behind, it was also directly overturned. Um, Zhang Yi and others also noticed the changes here. There was no warning. Why did it happen suddenly? While the ice and snow were flying, Zhang Yi saw a figure covered in thick ice and snow armor. There was a hint of sarcasm in the corner of Waiting Eye's mouth. In the world of ice and snow, I am the king. Machine guns and artillery are okay against ordinary people. But they are meaningless against powerful ice and snow aliens like him. Because the distance was too far. Zhang Yi was unable to activate his divine power. However, after Wei Dehai opened a gap in the defense line, the coalition forces had become excited and rushed towards this side with roars. Within a few moments, thousands of soldiers would cross the ice and snow defense line and rush into the shelter. Wei Dinghai continued to attack. After pressing his right hand on the wall, his supernatural power was activated. The huge ice and snow barrier exploded like paper. The steel frame in the middle lost its support and collapsed. Even Zhang Yi couldn't help but shrink his pupils when he saw this ability. Wei Dinghai's ability is many times stronger than Fatty Su's. Chapter 412 Battle Get started. Zhang Yi said to everyone calmly. He was not surprised that the defense line would be breached. After all, it was just a barrier made of ice and snow and it was not capable of withstanding all attacks. He just didn't expect that the opponent would have such a powerful ice and snow ability user, tearing his barriers apart like wallpaper. However, he was not unprepared. After the defense line, the second line of defense is Uncle Yu, Liang Yu and others. Wei Dinghai laughed and destroyed the ice and snow defense line with ease, and soon opened a huge hole. But at this moment, a fierce murderous intention locked onto him. Wei Dinghai's eyes narrowed and a piercing cold light flashed past behind him. Click! The thick frost armor around Wei Dinghai's neck shattered, and blue ice crystals flew. Regardless of his appearance, Wei Dinghai rolled on the ground and escaped the fatal blow. He saw clearly the image of the person coming. She was a woman holding a long and narrow sword with murderous intent in her eyes. It can actually chop my frost armor into pieces. Wei Dinghai couldn't help but become vigilant. His frost armor was made of ice crystals and its defensive power was comparable to high-grade synthetic metals. Unexpectedly, I almost had my neck chopped off just now. Hey! Wei Dinghai had no intention of continuing the fight. He instantly melted into the ice and snow underground. In the ice and snow environment, his combat effectiveness is the most powerful. Liang Yu frowned and shouted Fatty Su. At this time, Fatty Su also arrived. He didn't expect that he would meet another ice and snow alien and it seemed that the other person was much better than him. But fortunately, he has many older brothers, so he doesn't need to fight in person. Without saying a word, Fatty Su lifted up a large piece of snow on the ground. The snow layer around the shelter is relatively thin, which is related to the terrain and the previous long-term battle. So Fatty Su easily stirred up large chunks of ice and snow. Wei Ding Hai, who was hiding in the ice and snow, saw that the situation was not good and could only run out from inside and Liang Yu had been waiting for him to show up. As soon as Wei Ding Hai appeared, she slashed his body with a knife filled with murderous intent. Click! The sword was one meter and three meters long, but its light was three meters long, and it directly chopped into pieces the light blue ice armor on his chest. Wei Ding Hai only felt a pain in his chest, and a bloodline appeared on his chest, and bright red blood seeped out. Wei Ding Hai endured the severe pain and quickly used his superpower to condense the ice armor again to cover his chest temporarily containing the wound. He didn't expect that there would be such a powerful melee master in Zhang Yi's shelter. But his goal has been achieved, which is to tear open the defense line. Liang Yi drew his sword and wanted to attack. But Wei Ding Hai retreated from the gap very wisely. When Liang Yi wanted to chase after her, countless base soldiers appeared in front of her, holding weapons to kill them. Bullets poured in like a shower. Liang Yi took a deep breath. Then she drew her sword resolutely and rushed towards the dense crowd. Fatty Su was shocked when he saw this scene. Teacher Liang, don't be impulsive. Zhang Yi said to them. That's all. Just hold the gap and let her go. Liang Yi needs to vent. And only letting her have a good killing can release her pressure. Zhang Yi had no reason to stop the path she chose. The big one is yet to come. So be careful. Their stranger is coming too. When the battle reaches this point, the influence of ordinary people is getting smaller and smaller. And the aliens are the most troublesome. Sure enough. After the defense line was broken, loopholes appeared in the firepower network, and the pressure on the coalition forces was suddenly relieved a lot. Xiao Honglian jumped on the front of an armored vehicle. She picked up the wine bottle and poured a large mouthful of high-purity alcohol into her mouth. 
Then she opened her mouth and spit out a long fire dragon towards the ice and snow defense line. The solid ice and snow defense line melted instantly. The firearms inside were also affected and could no longer exert their due power. The morale of the coalition troops was high for a while. And they rushed forward with roars. Their field of vision was wide. And they could clearly see that everything behind the ice and snow defense line was empty. Except for a shelter standing behind. Victory is right in front of you. Go for it. The mad dog Lucien howled excitedly. Then used all four limbs together and rushed towards the gap in the defense line like lightning. But at this moment, there was heavy wind and snow around the defense line. And Fatty Sue summoned the heavy snow, forming an obstacle in the gap. The enlarged Wawa stood in front of the gap, looked at the soldiers attacking here, opened her mouth and let out a deafening roar. Hundreds of soldiers were shocked to the point where their eardrums hurt, and some even had blood flowing from their ears. All of them became dizzy and temporarily lost consciousness. Boom! 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 Heavy footsteps came. Uncle Yu transformed into a two-meter-tall giant, with his upper body naked and his body covered with bullet belts. He stood in front of the gap with two Gatling cannons on his hands. Ah! Uncle Yu let out an angry roar and then grabbed the trigger. The coalition forces whose sight was blocked by the wind and snow, were still looking for direction in a hurry. When they saw tongues of fire penetrating the snow in fog, and at the same time shattering the bodies of one soldier after another. Puff! 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 The blood-colored mist filled the air, showing bodies shattered by high-energy bullets. The coalition forces fell like wheat being harvested. Although the combat uniforms, they were are very bulletproof. They cannot withstand the indiscriminate bombardment of Gatling cannons within a few hundred meters. On another battlefield, Yan Yu was already killing people like crazy. Her superpowers are very simple. Similar to Ling Feng's strengthening abilities. She can improve her body's comprehensive abilities. Speed. Power. Reflexes. Even intuition. But Liang Yu's talent is too high. As a martial arts master. She is even more powerful after acquiring these powers. She crisscrossed the battlefield. All bullets avoided her. And with every stab she struck. A soldier would be killed. And Liang Yu's goal is also very clear. It was Xiao Honglian, the leader of Yansheng base, who stood high up with flames all over his body. The enemy was extremely jealous when they met. Lian Yu was about to kill him with a knife. But a sharp cold light struck her neck from the side. Clang! Long Ming blocked this fatal blow. The rabid dog Lu Xian stopped not far from Lian Yu, staring at her with the eyes of scrutinizing prey. Is it inappropriate to treat my people like vegetables? Xiao Honglian in the distance just glanced down at Lian Yu and stopped paying attention. As the commander-in-chief, she had no extra thoughts to focus on a soldier. A strange blood color appeared in Lian Yu's pupils. And a strange aura enveloped her at this time. It was a terrifying appearance that Zhang Yi, Yang Xinxin, and others had never seen before. Lu Xian also noticed how extraordinary this enemy was. He stuck out his scarlet tongue and sneered. Interesting! He leaned down. And his figure began to gradually grow larger. And his sharp claws were extended a lot. Like a sharp long knife. Liang Yu's eyes never left Lu Xian. She slowly sheathed her long sword and lowered her body. As a top martial arts expert, she is proficient in martial arts from all over the world. And the I.I. Slash is also her most proficient swordsmanship move to kill. Lu Xian's pupils flashed with bloodthirsty fervor. And he roared angrily. And his figure suddenly became illusory. His body flew through the air, leaving behind an afterimage. No one could see his movements clearly. The orc-type aliens will gain the ability to transform into beasts physically. Mad Dog Lucien. His beast form is a gray wolf. With terrifying assault speed and impact. He can even stop sniper rifle bullets. A gust of wind swept across the battlefield. And Liang Yu's eyes were unable to capture Lucien's figure. And in this situation, she actually chose to slowly close her eyes. Tin sword lights passed by in midair. And Lucien's iron claws stabbed her soft and white neck from behind. Just when the iron claw was about to pierce the skin, Liang Yu's knife was pulled out like lightning. One knife cut off Lu Xian's arms, and another knife cut across his neck. Lu Xian's body still maintained his forward posture, passing by Liang Yu. But the body ran a long way on the ground. And then the head and arm slowly fell to the ground. On the other side of the gap, the battle also entered a fierce stage. Wawa Fatty Su and Uncle Yu tried their best to defend and killed countless soldiers. But after the strangers from the three parties joined, the battle situation instantly became different. There are many experts in Chaoyu base and Yansheng base. After breaking through the defense line, it is time for Eren to show off. 
Wei Dinghai was injured and temporarily retreated. But five more strangers came to kill him. Uncle Yu is still carrying two Gatling weapons to kill ordinary soldiers. A white shadow flashed past his side. The next moment, Wei Dinghai's adjutant Qin Jingwan appeared on Uncle Yu. That's right. It's on your body. Like a boneless snake, he wrapped directly around Uncle Yu's torso and then began to strangle with all his strength. Uncle Yu was taken aback and then began to burst out with strength, trying to break away from Qin Jingwan. Qin Jingwan said coldly that even a sniper rifle can't penetrate my body. Do you still want to break free? He was like a big white python, tightly wrapping around Uncle Yu and then tightening it inside. Although Uncle Yu is very strong, Qin Jingwan's special power is the rubber man, which is the most powerful tank that can restrain him. Fortunately, after Hua Hua saw the scene, she roared directly at Qin Jingwan's head. Roar! Hua Hua's roar made Qin Jingwan dizzy and almost lost consciousness. Uncle Yu's resistance was relatively strong. After feeling that Qin Jingwan's restraint was lost, he immediately tore him off. Uncle Yu pulled hard a few times. But this person was like a piece of candy. He kept pulling it no matter what. At the same time, other aliens rushed over and besieged them. Zhang Yi frowned slightly, knowing that there was no point in holding on any longer. He didn't want Uncle Yu and others to die in battle. After all, he had few friends. Everyone, retreat and return to the shelter. Lian Yu, the same goes for you. You can't take revenge on your own. So be sensible. After everyone received Zhang Yi's order, they immediately chose to fight and retreat. As for Liang Yu, she looked at the dog head in her hand, and a strange color flashed in her eyes. Then she wiped the blood on her face expressionlessly and chose to follow Zhang Yi's call and return to the shelter. After all, after killing for a long time, her power consumption was also very strong. If it weren't for the food made by Yang Yi, she wouldn't be able to survive until now. But this time, she gained a lot. There was no point in continuing the fight. She couldn't get close to the commander of Yangsheng base. Chapter 413 Backstab Liang Yi returned to the defense line, and Zhang Yi was relieved after seeing her figure. Fortunately, she was not stupid and really ran over to die. Everyone retreated while fighting. With the cover of Zhang Yi's sniper rifle and the dimensional gate, they successfully retreated to the entrance of the shelter. Zhang Yi let them enter the shelter, but looked at the snow worshippers in the distance, who were still working hard. Still watching? He <laughs> he. Zhang Yi decided to give them a little punishment to let them know that watching a movie is not that good. Xin Xin, aim all the remaining firepower at the snow worship cult and fire a volley. The damage to the defense line in the direction of the snow worship cult was not serious. Firstly, the Baishu sect didn't try their best in attacking. And secondly, Zhang Yi didn't really kill them at the beginning. But now that they are still waiting and watching, Zhang Yi will not be polite. He would not allow anyone to pick the fruit. Yang Xinxin understands. She tapped the keyboard with her fingers flexibly. And Su, the fire net in the direction of the snow worship cult was also activated. Zhang Yixian originally planned to wait for the right time and then wait for the price to sell. Whoever wins, who they help. However, the sudden gun attack directly caused heavy casualties to these snow worshippers who lacked defensive equipment. Zhang Yi, Yu, Zhang Yixian quickly retreated to the rear of the team feeling angry at Zhang Yi's attack on him. But he also understood that Zhang Yi was angry at their delay in taking action. At this time, Zhang Yi's people retreated to the shelter, and the soldiers from Chaoyang Yangxing's two bases rushed over with shouts. And they all gathered in the space in front of the shelter. Zhang Yixian took a deep breath. It's almost time to take action. It would do them no good if Zhang Yi lost. The major Al-Qaeda organizations are their most hated enemies. He immediately ordered a group of snow worshippers to come out in larger numbers and then set off in the direction of the shelter. At this time, the shelter was surrounded. Someone threw smoke bombs around the shelter, which greatly interfered with Zhang Yi's sniping methods. Zhang Yi did not turn on the infrared function to prevent the other party from damaging his eyes with grenades and other explosives. Liang Yu and the others looked at the dense crowd of soldiers outside and felt very nervous. Zhang Yi, what should we do now? Do we abandon the two-story buildings on the surface and hide underground? Uncle Yu asked Zhang Yi for his opinion. Why are you anxious? The shelter's defense is not that easy to break. As soon as Zhang Yi finished speaking, he suddenly heard a rumbling sound. Then through the smoke, he vaguely saw the crowd dispersing in the distance. And a huge engineering vehicle slowly drove over. Zhang Yi frowned, feeling something was wrong. Then he opened the alien space and took out entire boxes of grenades and explosives. 
The dimensional door protected the window. And Zhang Yi began to throw the grenades and explosives out of the window. Before those people had time to be happy, violent explosions and flames rang out from the crowd. Suddenly, seven or eight people were blown away, with blood and limbs flying everywhere. The grenades and explosives thrown out of the window were not stopped. Zhang Yi, who emptied out the warehouse at Shishan base, has never been short of weapons and ammunition. You really think you're guaranteed to win if you break the first layer of defense, don't you? How stupid! Zhang Yi sneered and threw out a large bundle of explosives. Shelter is my biggest support. Explosions sounded one after another, quickly killing hundreds of people. The remaining soldiers fled in panic, their livers and gallbladders splitting with fear. But faced with Zhang Yi's abnormal abilities, they had no way to fight back. Someone tried. But in the end, all the ammunition fired into the dimensional gate fell on their own people. The shock wave of the explosion dispersed the smoke. And only then did Zhang Yi see clearly that the person driving the engineering vehicle looked familiar. After thinking carefully, he recalled that this person was Wu Huiren from Zhanlong Security Company. Old friends. I never thought they had such skills. No wonder they were so confident in attacking my sanctuary. Zhang Yi's tone was a bit unkind. And he immediately picked up the grenade and threw it over there. But that engineering vehicle was the top priority of this operation. And it was naturally well protected. Watching Zhang Yi throw the grenade, a figure suddenly flashed in midair, caught the grenade like brown paper, and threw it aside. This is Qin Jing Wan, the adjutant of Chao Yu base. His ability is rubber man. As long as the kinetic energy does not exceed the threshold, he can catch almost all physical attacks. Wu Huiren took the opportunity to drive a construction vehicle to the side of the shelter. A long robotic arm stretched out from the engineering vehicle, then pointed at a certain position on the wall, sprayed out a slender blue flame, and started cutting. Xiao Honglian calmly ordered to spread out and attack from the side. Cover his sight. Thick mist rose from all around, covering the surrounding area of the shelter. They had no way to counterattack Zhang Yi's sniping methods, but they had ways to limit them. Sure enough, this caused Zhang Yi a lot of trouble. At this moment, Zhang Yi suddenly heard Xiao Ai calling the police. Warning! Warning! The walls of the shelter are continuing to withstand high temperature cutting, and the damage degree is 0.001%. Continuous cutting? Zhang Yi immediately realized what happened. Wu Huiren can drive construction vehicles to destroy his shelter. This shelter was built by Wu Huiren's previous company. And he knew exactly where to start to make the incision easier. How long will it take for it to be breached? Zhang Yi asked calmly. Xiao Ai replied that at the current speed, it would take 1 hour and 29 minutes for complete breakdown. Zhang Yi felt a lot more at ease. It would take that long just to break through. And it would probably take a whole day to open a hole that allows people to enter. This day is enough for him to kill many people. He said that if these people really risk their lives with him, then they will fight to the death. Even if they are breached, they can still move underground. But these forces also suffered broken bones and broken muscles, resulting in heavy casualties. Zhang Yi simply ignored the construction vehicle. He lowered his head and used the sniper rifle and grenades in his hands to kill as many of the enemy's active forces as possible. Affected by smoke bombs, the efficiency of sniping has also been reduced a lot. But as long as one hits, the other party will definitely die. Uncle Yu and the others were on the first floor. They couldn't see what was going on outside. But they could hear the sound of cutting coming from the wall. And he couldn't help but feel worried. Boss, shall we withdraw? Fatty Su asked worriedly. Don't worry. Just wait. Zhang Yi said in a calm voice. Less than 20 minutes into the war, they were trapped. Judging from the scene, they were at a disadvantage and could only be beaten passively. However, facing several of the strongest forces in Tianhai City at the same time, they were able to kill hundreds of people with zero casualties. It is difficult to say that Zhang Yi and the others suffered a loss. However, with the emergence of Wu Huiren, if the fight continues, the shelter will still not be able to hold. Zhang Yi is waiting. People who worship the snow cult have been fishing in troubled waters. Since each force is responsible for attacking in different directions, the two bases Chao Yu and Yan Sheng have not been discovered so far. Today, the two bases are suffering heavy casualties. Would Bai Xiu at church give up such a good opportunity? Of course not. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai were sitting at the back, looking at the shelter close at hand. They both felt that the situation had been decided. They all felt a sense of relief. At first, no one expected that this small shelter would be so difficult to find. At the moment, they have lost a lot of soldiers to take control of the shelter. But fortunately, 
ordinary soldiers can still get compensation after they die in battle. As long as we can get a lot of supplies from Johnny. This battle will be successful. What's more, they can also divide the resources of Shishan District and Lujiang District in the future. At this time, the followers of the Snow Worship sect came into the crowd one by one. The people around him didn't notice anything unusual. Although the relationship between several major forces and the Snow Worship sect was very poor in the past. But this time, the Snow Worship sect was on their side. When hundreds of Snow Worshippers arrived among the crowd and spread out to every corner, they all had bright smiles on their faces. Some people even walked over, hugged two base strength soldiers, smiled and chatted with them, and then stretched out their hands to activate the explosives on their bodies. Chapter 414 One battle will determine the outcome. The two major bases, Chao Yu and Yan Sheng, both believed that victory was imminent, but no one expected that such a violent explosion would suddenly occur among their soldiers. At this time all the soldiers were gathered around the shelter in great density. The snow worshippers detonate their own explosives and take away a large group of people immediately. Although it is a very ordinary explosive, it can kill people as long as it is heavy enough. Flames shot into the sky, and violent explosions covered all areas around the shelter. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai's eyes almost popped out. What's going on? Where did the explosion come from? During their attack, in order to prevent Zhang Yi from planting landmines, they had already carried out explosive disposal. So where did these explosives come from? Some soldiers reported nervously that they were those lunatics from the Snow Worship sect. They all have explosives on them. And they came to find us and die together. What? Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai were shocked. Those damn bastards actually dared to take advantage of the opportunity to attack us. By the time, they realized something was wrong. It was already too late. Zhang Yixian commanded the fearless followers of the Snow sect to attack the troops from the two bases. The two bases suffered heavy casualties at this time with battle losses exceeding 70%, and the combined number of soldiers was less than 200. The Snow Worship sect has always maintained a large amount of vitality. At this time, they attacked from behind and immediately caused a huge impact on the two defenseless bases. Although their weapons were crude and they did not have good armor, each of them shouted fanatical slogans and came to fight with red eyes. The enemy who is not afraid of death is the most fearful. There was a hint of madness in Zheng Yixian's cold eyes. He raised his hands and controlled two huge chariots, slamming them against Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai's cars from high altitude. Yakuza, you plotted against us. Wei Dinghai and Xiao Honglian saw Zheng Yixian from a distance, with cannibalistic looks in their eyes. If looks could kill, then Zheng Yixian would have died 10,000 times. Wei Dinghai controlled a large amount of ice and snow to block the chariot. But Xiao Honglian had a fiery personality and rushed out directly through the roof of the car. With just one punch, the tank flew away. Zhang Yixian stood in midair with a maniacal sneer on his lips. Ha 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 ha. Xiao Honglian. Wei Ding Hai. You two damn guys. Today is the same. The Snow Worship sect has endured this for too long. In every dispute, they had to pay a heavy price and compromise with several major bases in order to gain space for survival. When Zhang Yixian got the chance to feel proud, he naturally laughed wildly and vented his inner anguish. You all go to H.L. From now on, Tianhai City is no longer a place where you can show off your power. Zhang Yixian led his men and launched a crazy attack. The actions of the Snow Worship cult also exposed the soldiers who attacked the shelter from both sides. Zhang Yi raised the corner of his mouth. We can close the door and beat the dog. The Snow Worshippers were in front. And they were behind. People in the two bases had no way to escape. The door of the shelter opened. Liang Yu and others had already eaten the supernatural food made by Yang Ni and recovered. They rushed out and started killing the soldiers and aliens in the two bases from behind. The situation on the field changed so fast that no one could predict this development. Even Xing Tian, who was showing off in the back, was stunned. Why did the Snow Worship cult suddenly rebel? He frowned and thought for a while, and suddenly felt a chill on his back. Only then did he understand that it turned out that the Shui Bai sect and Zhang Yi had already reached an agreement. If today, he was also the one attacking Zhang Yi, then he would face the same situation as Yan Sheng Chao Yu base. Although they may not necessarily lose, they will definitely suffer heavy casualties. Fortunately, fortunately, Xing Tian patted his chest, extremely grateful for his original choice. Now I'm making a lot of money without doing anything. Suddenly, he thought of something, and the smile on his lips widened. If they fight like this, then won't the most powerful one in Tianhai City be our Chi Pei base? Ha ha ha. 
the situation on the battlefield has reversed. The sudden attack by the Snow Worship cult was too much for the coalition forces from the two bases, which had already suffered heavy casualties. What's more, there were no casualties on Zhang Yi's team. Zhang Yi opened the door and released a group of wild beasts. Another naked killing. Uncle Yu carried two Gatling guns and was covered with bullet belts. He roared and started shooting. Liang Yu cuts each person like a tiger into a flock of sheep, chopping melons and vegetables with one knife, which can save a life. Zhang Yi's gun was even more ruthless, harvesting at a rate of one head every two seconds. Even in this chaotic battle, he started to attack the aliens from the two bases. Within a distance of 300 meters, the sniping ability of Shen Wei is extremely terrifying because it can lock the head. What's more, there is a chaotic battle at this time and no one will pay full attention to his ability, which is most suitable for him to sneak attack. An alien was thinking about breaking out or turning around to deal with Liang Yu and others behind him. Suddenly, he felt a huge force pulling on the space around his neck. Then, his neck was twisted and his head flew out of the skull. Until the moment of death, he did not know how he died. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai just panicked at this time. They hurriedly tried to find a way to contact Xing Tian, hoping that Xing Tian would bring his legion to come to the rescue. But this time, they couldn't contact Xing Tian's people. This damn bastard. Him. He must have betrayed us too. Wei Dinghai felt a chill running down his spine. Ho Shan's previous attack was so powerful that he thought Xing Tian had already led his men to attack. But until they surrounded the shelter, they didn't see a single member of the Qingui base. No matter how stupid Wei Dinghai is, he still understands what this means. Escape. The three of them have colluded together behind the scenes. And it will be too late if they don't leave. Wei Dinghai did not hesitate and immediately called on his defeated soldiers to retreat. Xiao Honglian was shocked and angry. She couldn't understand why the Baishu was sect and the Qingpei base stabbed them in the back. But now, anger is of no use. If they continue to fight, they may have a slight chance of winning. But the possibility of their entire army being annihilated is greater. As the leader, there is no way she can continue to fight. The entire army retreats. Xiao Honglian drank a large mouthful of pure alcohol and spit out a blazing fire dragon towards the Shui worshippers at the rear. Dozens of people screamed and were burned to charcoal. Green smoke was rising all over her body and her whole body seemed to be on fire, with red magma-like markings flowing on her body. Xiao Honglian jumped up high, and then forced his way into the crowd of snow worshippers in front of him. Zheng Yixian didn't dare to resist when he saw this. The top combat capabilities of the four major bases are all transcendent, and it is impossible for ordinary soldiers or strangers to stop them. All he wanted was to weaken the combat power of the two bases as much as possible, and he had no illusions about annihilating them in this battle. Otherwise, everything will really be lost. And their followers will also be wiped out. Chao Yu and Yang Sheng base teamed up to fight their way through the crowd. The aliens from the two bases worked together to open a path. Although the snow worship sect had many people, it was like a snowman encountering a soldering iron. And a path was quickly cut. The engineering vehicle driven by Wu Huiren had given up cutting and wanted to run away. But Zhang Yi has long been eyeing this person who can threaten the safety of the shelter. Just one bullet smashed his head, completely eliminating any future troubles in the shelter. In the end, less than a hundred soldiers from the two bases escaped the siege. They left countless corpses and chariots and weapons and headed east in confusion. Neither Zhang Yi nor the people from the Shui cult pursued him. People who worship the snow cult are not capable of chasing cars. Zhang Yi, on the other hand, did not want to provoke the mad beast and cause casualties to his own personnel. Zhang Yixian looked at the direction in which they were going raising his fist high in victory. The congregants behind him cheered excitedly. All of them looked excited, and even hugged each other excitedly. This is the first time in their history that the snow worshippers have won a victory over Al-Qaeda. Although more than 500 people died in this battle, it was still a beautiful turnaround for the snow worship cult. After all, most of their casualties were ordinary members of the congregation. Who could make up for it? Those killed in the two major bases were elites and they couldn't be trained without spending a certain amount of time. After this battle, the vitality of these two bases was severely damaged. In the future, it will be difficult to have enough energy to launch an invasion of the Shishan Lujiang area, let alone harass the Snow Worship cult's sphere of influence. Chapter 415 Empty SH L. Chao Yu Base and Yan Sheng Base were defeated and fled. In this battle, Zhang Yi and the Snow Sect won the final victory. Zhang Yi silently put away his sniper rifle, looked at the remnants of the two bases escaping, and then looked at the snow worshippers who were cheering there. 
for a moment. He had the urge to fight with these people again. The three parties suffered the greatest losses in this battle. While Zhang Yi's men were almost unscathed. Of course, this is related to Zhang Yi's full preparation in advance. However, as a price, except for the shelter, other surrounding buildings were almost completely destroyed. Among them was the villa where Uncle Yu and Fatty Su lived. The ice and snow defense line they spent several days building was also destroyed by 70%. This battle was particularly dangerous, and it also made Zhang Yi realize the horror of large-scale war. The fearless fighting style displayed by the snow worship cult made Zhang Yi deeply fearful. He even felt that this religious organization was more terrifying than Al-Qaeda. However, after thinking about it for a while, Zhang Yi gave up his plan to attack them. The snow worship cult is a group of fanatical believers who are not afraid of death. It is definitely not worth losing one of your team members just to kill them. What's more, the people who worship the snow sect the most are people. Unless they kill their strangers. No matter how many ordinary members kill, they can quickly make up for it. Zhang Yi put away his gun and went downstairs. He looked towards the back hill. Sure enough, Xing Tian abided by his agreement and did not attack them. He just watched from the sidelines. This made Zhang Yi couldn't help but look at Xing Tian. This guy still keeps his word. Of course, this is also related to the strength displayed by Zhang Yi and the others. Credibility must also be based on strength. Zhang Yi took out his mobile phone and sent a message to Xing Tian. You can come and pick up the remaining food? Xing Tian quickly replied. Wait a moment. We have other things to deal with. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. Something else? He vaguely guessed something. But that matter had little to do with him. So Zhang Yi smiled lightly and didn't pay much attention. He walked out of the shelter. At this time, Uncle Liang Yu Yu and Hua Hua were all covered in blood. And Fatty Su was panting from exhaustion. Fortunately, everyone prepared supernatural food made from Yang Mi, which quickly restored the supernatural energy in the body. Otherwise, with such high-intensity continuous fighting, they would not be able to persist until now. Okay. Everyone. We won. Zhang Yi walked over and patted everyone on the shoulder. When he patted Liang Yu's shoulder, he felt that her shoulder was as hard as steel. It's okay. The fight is over. And you also avenge your students. Zhang Yi comforted him. Liang Yu's iceberg-like eyes filled with murderous intent suddenly melted at this moment. And he leaned against Zhang Yi a little weakly. Only then did Zhang Yi discover that there was a deep wound on her neck. Although the blood had solidified, it was still terrifying. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. And he quickly picked up Liang Yu and returned to the shelter. Just now, this crazy woman rushed into the opponent's battle formation alone. Chopped up the coalition soldiers like food. And attracted a lot of firepower. It can only be said that she is lucky to be alive. Zhang Yi sent Liang Yu to the infirmary. Zhou Kier was shocked by Liang Yu's wound before he could celebrate his victory. She quickly prepared medical equipment and medicine and performed hemostasis and suturing operations on Liang Yu. The next step is to do the post-war finishing work with the Snow Worship Cult and the Chipei base. More than half of the Snow Worshippers suffered casualties. And even strangers were killed. But for them, this battle was completely worth it. Paying such a heavy price gave the Snow Worship sect a long period of development space in the future. And they were happy to make this exchange. Zhang Yi still remained wary of them. He walked over and told Zheng Yixian from a distance that the battle was over and you can leave. From now on, the territory of Shishan base belongs to me. Zhang Yi, no one of you is allowed to come near without my permission. After this battle, Zheng Yixian also saw the terrifying strength of Zhang Yi's team. He bowed and said, Okay, to Zhang Yi to thank you for helping us win this war. According to the agreement, except for missionaries, no one who worships the snow cult will come near this land. Zhang Yixian understood that it was Zhang Yi and others who held back the main force of the coalition forces and killed the effective forces of the coalition forces. Otherwise, it would be impossible for them to challenge the two major bases alone. He wanted to understand one more thing. That is, Zhang Yi had already reached cooperation with the people at Qinpei base. In other words, even if they don't side with Zhang Yi this time, it will be difficult for them to gain much benefit. I hope that in the future our snow-worshipping sect and your excellency can coexist peacefully and respect each other. Zhang Yixian said to Zhang Yi with a smile. Zhang Yi narrowed his eyes. Ah, of course. After all, I am a pacifist. There was no grudge between Zhang Yi and the snow sect. And both sides had their own concerns at this time. So no conflict broke out. Zhang Yixian led the worshippers of the snow sect chanted sacred prayers, and drifted away, above the snowfield. Their prayers echoed. 
There is white snow in the sky and everything on the ground. Our bodies are born on the earth. Our souls come from heaven. The sun and moon illuminate our bodies. The pure white snow washes our souls. Give this body to the cold wind blowing across the earth. Thank God for blessing the land where snow God's people live with miracles. May our souls stay healthy forever. I wish to share the joy with all my compatriots. I wish I could share my sorrow with them. Please always praise the people of Snow Worship Sect. Let us bear witness with our souls and bodies. Looking at their retreating figures, Zhang Yi's narrowed eyes flashed with a vigilant look. This time, it was not them who gained the most, but the Snow Worshipping Sect. Zhang Yi's team proved their strength and made other Al-Qaeda organizations afraid to invade their territory again. But the Snow Worshipping Sect got some room to survive and breathe with their religion's strong ability to attract followers. They will soon become even stronger. Moreover, there is Yuan Konya, the leader of the Snow Worship Cult. Bless. Ability. The number of their aliens will also grow rapidly. Exactly like locusts. They were unable to develop rapidly at the beginning because of the constraints of several major bases. And now that they have lost their restraints, to what extent will they expand? When the day comes that he is so powerful that no one can restrain him, will he become Zhang Yisen's enemy? All this is unknown. But it is certainly possible. Zhang Yi realized the initial fear and fear of several major bases. Maybe I unleashed a monster. But now I have no choice. Zhang Yi whispered to himself. No matter what other forces are like. Now, he only cooperates with forces that are in line with his own interests. As for the future, let's leave it to the future. After all, the expansion of the snow worship cult's strength was just a guess on his part. Zhang Yi silently walked to the battlefield and gathered all the useful supplies. The coalition forces are all elite. And their weapons and equipment are very valuable. Which can just make up for Zhang Yi's losses this time. In addition, many strangers died in this battle. Seven of the strangers Zhang Yi observed were killed. Based on the principle of not wasting. He wanted to absorb all the superpowers of these people. But when he found those strangers, he unexpectedly discovered that three of them had turned into empty SH. LS. Um, what's the situation? Could it be that he was absorbed by someone else? Zhang Yi found this phenomenon very strange. After all, no one should have the energy to do such a thing during the battle. But there was no other way to explain it at the moment. So he didn't delve into it. After cleaning the battlefield, Zhang Yi turned around and said to his old friends with a smile, Come on, let's go back. It's time to have a good rest. Meow. Hua Hua jumped on Zhang Yi and rubbed his neck, immediately leaving a large pool of blood marks on his body. During this battle, it transformed into a chariot and crushed countless enemies to death. Zhang Yi touched its head tenderly, then hugged Uncle Yu with his left hand and Fatty Su with his right hand. The three of them walked back to the shelter arm in arm with a smile. Chapter 416 Eat Both Sides On the snowfield in the distance, Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai led the remaining defeated soldiers and fled here with difficulty. They were in great embarrassment. As magnificent as they were when they came, they were just as miserable when they fled. Combined, the two families had less than a hundred remaining soldiers. And even the powerful alien captain lost five. In this battle, the armed forces of their respective bases were almost cut in half. Wei Dinghai himself was stabbed by Liang Yu. And his injuries were serious. Coupled with his anger, his injuries tended to worsen. Snow Worship Cult. Shang Tian. These bastards actually betrayed us. Wei Dinghai smashed the car hard. And the violent sound expressed his inner anger. But anger has no effect. Failure is failure. They lost because they underestimated their opponents. They think Zhang Yi only has a small team and a small shelter. So they didn't take people like Zhang Yi seriously. But when the fight started, they realized that they were completely wrong. In terms of firepower defense and alien level alone, Zhang Yi's team is definitely no less than the original Shishan base. In addition, as a defensive side, they have the advantage of geographical location. And they can fight vigorously even if they are one against two. Chao Yu base and Yan Sheng base were defeated because they underestimated the enemy and made judgments based on their own common sense before obtaining enough information. So it's not a loss for them to lose. If they had known this was the case, they might have brought all the combat power of the entire base over. Or they could choose to negotiate with Zhang Yi and carve up the territory left by the Shishan base in a more gentle manner. It's a pity that there is no regret medicine in this world. And they must swallow the bitter pill of underestimating the enemy. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai were sitting in the same carriage. In the emergency retreat, their tanks were basically destroyed. And now only four of them have been driven out. Hearing Wei Dinghai's complaints, 
Xiao Honglian gritted his teeth with hatred. She was not surprised that Bai Xu at church turned against him. But why would Qi Pei Bei's help Zhang Yi? This is what she can't figure out the most. If the Xinkan Legion from Qingwei Base joins the battle group, the situation on the battlefield will definitely not be so difficult. After all, what that force is best at is large-scale wars. Xing Tian, how much benefit did Zhang Yi give you to make you choose to betray us? The more Xiao Honglian thought about it, the angrier she became. She took out her satellite phone and wanted to contact Xing Tian to question him. But Wei Dinghai suddenly stopped her. Don't be impulsive. Um? Xiao Honglian stared at him, not understanding what he meant. Wei Dinghai said faintly that Xing Tian and the others did not launch an attack on us. These guys are just grassroots and have never really joined the battle group. So I guess they took some of Zhang Yi's benefits and then just stood by and didn't help anyone. He gritted his teeth and cursed that these guys had always acted prudently and were unwilling to take risks. If they could get benefits without fighting, they would be happy. The major forces were all old friends and rivals who had dealt with each other before. And Wei Dinghai knew Xing Tian's character very well. Xiao Hongyan said angrily. What about the agreement between us? He betrayed his trust and caused us heavy losses. What can I say about this? Wei Dinghai sighed. Now that our two major forces have suffered heavy losses, do you think it is possible to go to Xing Tian to settle the matter? Just ask him not to add insult to injury and come over to attack us. But not long after he finished speaking, there was a roaring sound in his ears. It was like an avalanche and like thousands of troops rushing over. Wei Dinghai and Xiao Hongyan's expressions changed at the same time. They had heard this news before. Xing Tian Legion. On the vast snowfield. For cars were filled with people. And they were not moving very fast at all. Xing Tian led more than 500 of his men to attack and block their way. Ha 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 ha. Xing Tian sat on the back of the demon dog and laughed loudly. Xiao Hongyan. Wei Dinghai. Why are you in such a hurry? Xiao Hongyan and Wei Dinghai had to come out and face the Xing Tian army in its heyday. At this time, the morale of the entire Xing Tian army was high. They didn't participate in the battle just now. They had been watching on the sidelines. And they had long been eager to try and plan to fight. So at this time, they gave Xiao Hong the feeling of training Wei Dinghai. Just like a pack of howling wild wolves. Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai couldn't help but feel their hearts sink. If another conflict breaks out between them at this time, it is very likely that they will die here. Xing Tian, you didn't abide by our agreement to attack Shang Yi's shelter. What do you want to do now, when you come here again? Xiao Hong's sword-raising eyebrows were raised. She pointed at Xing Tian and shouted loudly. Xing Tian's mouth twisted and he sneered. Don't you know what I want to do here? Both of you are rich and wealthy. So it's not too much for me to collect some tolls. Right? Faced with Xing Tian's blatant robbery. The people in the two bases were extremely angry. But they were helpless. After all, they were all scarred and couldn't afford another large-scale war. Wei Dinghai said to Xing Tian, Xing Tian, I don't understand. As long as you join forces with us to take down Zhang Yi's shelter, then we can share the world in the entire Shishan district and Lujiang district. But why do you choose not to help each other? Have you known about Zhang Yi and the others for a long time? R. This is the doubt in Wei Dinghai's heart. He must ask it. Even if he loses, he must lose clearly. Xiao Honglian also stared at Xing Tian. And she didn't know the reason why Xing Tian did this. Xing Tian crossed his arms and said lightly that the reason was simple. Qi Pei Base does not have as many vehicles and energy sources as you. So it does not have the ability to have long-arm jurisdiction. Even if I win this battle, I am no match for your two bases when it comes to dividing the territory. Therefore, Zhang Yi promised to give me 10 tons of food. And I happily agreed. He spread his hands and gave me 10 tons of food so that I didn't have to do anything. You painted a big pie for me, and asked me to beat myself to death. You say, how should I choose? Wei Dinghai and Xiao Honglian didn't know how to refute Xing Tian's words. In fact, they do have such a plan. Once Zhang Yi's shelter is captured, they will immediately use their high mobility to seize the best territory and resource points. In this regard, the snow-worshipping sect and the Qi Pei base cannot compete with him. But they didn't expect that Xing Tian would think of contacting Zhang Yi. Xing Tian was too lazy to waste time with him. Okay, now let's talk about tolls. His smile became more and more abnormal. How much supplies are you going to spend to buy the road? Xiao Honglian and Wei Dinghai had no choice but to spend a large amount of supplies in exchange for Xing Tian's release. Xing Tianla was in full bloom. And they didn't make any moves from beginning to end of this battle. As a result, we made a lot of money in terms of supplies. 
and with the decline of the two major bases, they will be promoted to the top power in Tianhai City from now on. Everyone thought that I, Xing Tian, was a fool. But now look, who is the real fool? Xing Tian smiled happily. Chapter 417 Devourer After the war, Zhang Yi asked Zhou Ke to treat Liang Yu. Others were resting in the living room to recover their strength. Inside the warm and bright shelter, you can always feel infinite warmth, especially after experiencing a war. Being able to enjoy soft sofas and freshly ground coffee in this luxurious villa is even more satisfying. But soon, restless sounds came from outside. Xing Tian left and came back to ask for the food Zhang Yi had promised. At this time, Zhang Yi and others had expended a lot of physical strength and abilities. However, it is absolutely impossible to break through the shelter with only the Qingwei base. So Zhang Yi took the people out calmly and handed the remaining food to Xing Tian. Seeing the almost unstoppable smile on Xing Tian's face, Zhang Yi knew that he had made a profit this time. From now on, your Qi Pei base will be the strongest in Tianhai City. Congratulations. Zhang Yi said to Xing Tian, an old classmate. Xing Tian laughed. No matter where you are, you have demonstrated your prestige. No one will dare to provoke you in the future. I really didn't expect that you are so powerful now. Zhang Yi, I really have you. Xing Tian's emotion was not polite. Being able to block the joint attack of the two bases with just a few people, consuming nearly half of their troops. This kind of strength made Xing Tian deeply fearful. From now on, you will inherit the territory of Shishan base. After this battle, Yansheng base and Chaoyu base were severely damaged and may never return to their heyday. When Xing Tian said this, he smiled and said, Of course, we are old classmates. And I don't want to conflict with you. He didn't want to make the same mistake as the Shishan base. Zhang Yi smiled and nodded. Being able to live in peace is naturally the best outcome. Xing Tian was about to leave. But when he was leaving, he suddenly said to Zhang Yi, By the way, there is one more thing I have to remind you. Um? Zhang Yi looked at him curiously, wondering what Xing Tian was going to say. Xing Tian's face was a little cautious. You're a very powerful guy. You even cooperated with the Snow Worship cult without telling me. But you have to be careful with those guys. In troubled times, there will always be some religions that are good at deceiving people. In the future, they will have no restrictions. And who knows how far it will develop. Zhang Yi felt a little apprehensive when he thought about the believers who were shouting the name of Snow God and charging forward. If there are too many people who are not afraid of death, it will indeed become a big problem. Although Zhang Yi has a shelter and doesn't need to worry about this, the thought of being cared about by these people can't help but send chills down his spine. I understand. Thank you for reminding me. After Xing Tian finished speaking, he rode the devil dog and led the legion from Qi Pei base to leave the battlefield. Zhang Yi looked at the devastation outside the shelter and fell into deep thought. Too many people died in this battle. Corpses were everywhere. Blood dyed all the surrounding land red. And there was almost no pure white snow. The ice and snow defense line that cost them a lot of energy and invested a lot of firearms was also destroyed by more than 70%. The cruelty of war is evident. Let's clean it up slowly later. Looking at the densely packed corpses on the ground. Zhang Yi sighed lightly. He had no time to clean them now. He turned around and returned to the shelter. Announcing to everyone that the war was over. It wasn't until Zhang Yi said these words himself that relief showed on everyone's faces. Lu Karen pushed Yang Xinxin. And the two of them looked at each other. Their excitement palpable. Yang Yi was also very tired at this time. Because she had been using her powers to make food. Zhang Yi did not let her cook but took out a large amount of food from the different space and filled a large table. Fresh food and a variety of high-end wines were all brought out. After the battle, the joy of victory and the joy of surviving the disaster made everyone's appetite grow a lot. Even people who usually don't drink well now picked up the wine glass and poured it down their throats. Zhang Yi took two beef burgers and a cup of hot coffee and came to the infirmary. Zhou Kier had just completed surgery on Liang Yu. Liang Yu suffered serious injuries on his neck, which looked shocking. Zhou Kier was shocked when he untied her clothes. She simply couldn't believe that Liang Yu could fight for a long time in this state. Zhang Yi can understand Liang Yu. Her fight on the battlefield was maintained solely by her desire for revenge. So after the fight, she fell down immediately. Zhang Yi walked over and handed the food to Zhou Kier. How about it? Is Liang Yu's injury a serious problem? Zhou Kier took a sip of coffee and told Zhang Yi that the wound was deep. But I had already stitched it up. She is an enhanced alien. Her body functions are better than ordinary people. And her recovery speed is very fast. 
so it won't be a big deal. Speaking of this, she glanced at Zhang Yi faintly and said with a hint of jealousy, Strangers are so good. All conveniences. Zhou Kier. Zhang Yi smiled. He knew that Zhou Kier was still thinking about the eye soul in his hand. However, Zhang Yi still couldn't completely rest assured when he thought of all the mysteries of the snow worship sect. Isn't your medical skill more useful than your supernatural powers? Zhang Yi hugged her and smiled and said that we can lack a stranger among us. But we cannot lack a doctor. Don't underestimate yourself. You are important to us. Zhou Kier raised the corner of her mouth and was very happy to receive Zhang Yi's affirmation. After fighting this battle, will we live in peace in the future? Zhou Kier asked. Zhang Yi thought for a while and said that peace would be maintained for a while at least. But how long it will last? No one can say. The vitality of Yansheng base and Chaoyu base was severely damaged. Next, they must regain their strength first. And it is impossible to come to fight with Zhang Yi again. To be honest, what they need to worry about most now is not Zhang Yi, but the other two major forces in Tianhai City. Chi Pei base made a profit this time. Not only did it not lose any troops, it also benefited both sides. The Snow Worship cult has a large number of casualties. It can be seen from the appeal of their religion that as long as they are not suppressed by other forces, they can attract followers very quickly. So the next step is the game between these forces. Zhang Yi's team, which has the smallest number of people, will be feared by them, but will not be listed as their main competitor. Because the small number of people means that too many resources are not needed. Zhou Kier rested her head on Zhang Yi's shoulder. But after thinking about it, she stood up again and came behind Zhang Yi to massage him. She only had a minor operation. But Zhang Yi fought a big battle. Zhang Yi was not polite and just lay lazily on the bed and asked her to give him a full massage. Just when Zhang Yi was drowsy, Lian Yu, who was still receiving an intravenous drip on the hospital bed, slowly opened his eyes. The recovery speed of the strengthened aliens is really surprising. When she saw Zhou Kier massaging Zhang Yi, she couldn't help but be speechless. You two should pay attention to the next situation. I'm still lying seriously injured. Seeing Lian Yu awake, Zhou Kier felt a little embarrassed and patted Zhang Yi on the back to remind him. Zhang Yi skillfully turned over and continued. That. Teacher Lian is awake. Zhou Kier indicated with his eyes. Oh. So fast? Zhang Yi sat up. Lian Yu's face was a little pale at this time. And his neck was tightly wrapped with a bandage. Zhang Yi. I have something to tell you. This was the first thing Lian Yu said to Zhang Yi. Seeing this, Zhou Kier smiled and said, You guys talk first. I'll go have a drink with him. When Zhou Kier left the ward, Zhang Yi asked, What do you want to say? Lian Yu said to Zhang Yi that during the battle, I killed a stranger. Then, I absorbed his power. Since we are companions, I feel it is necessary to let you know this matter, because I think this information may be important. Liang Yu had heard this matter from strangers at Shishan base before. But this was her first time trying it. The feeling of making herself stronger was wonderful. And she didn't want to hide anything from Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi's brows raised. Oh! So that's it. The ability to code of our is not possessed by every alien. He has already confirmed this. Uncle Yu and Fatty Su didn't have such ability. But he and Hua Wa Lingfeng did. To this day, he has figured out some of its meanings. Perhaps this has something to do with the potential of the Inhumans. Whether it is him or Hua Hua Lingfeng, their abilities are obviously stronger than those of Uncle Yu and Fatty Su. So Liang Yu also has this ability, which makes Zhang Yi very happy. This shows that Liang Yu has huge room for growth in the future. Congratulations. This is a good thing. Zhang Yi smiled and said to her that we have lived and died together, and we will be the closest partners from now on. It's a good thing for us that you can get stronger. Zhang Yi patted his thigh. There was another thing he was more concerned about. You killed so many people in Yangsheng base, which is considered as revenge for your students. Is your heart open now? Liang Yu's eyes were looking at the ceiling. She slowly closed her eyes and did not answer Zhang Yi's question. Zhang Yi smiled. No answer is the best answer. Maybe Liang Yu can't forget this incident for the time being. But there is nothing that time cannot erase. Whether it is the love that we have pledged to each other or the friendship that is impregnable. As time goes by, it gradually fades away and is forgotten. People always have to live in the present. Chapter 418 The Disappearing Corpse Snow Worship Cult Headquarters Yuan Kongya led a group of believers in the wind and snow, waiting for the triumphant return of the expedition. The white holy robe wrapped around her whole body. Her young face looked a little weak, but her eyes were extremely determined. This battle blocked the future of the snow worship sect. Only by teaming up with Zhang Yi to deal a heavy blow to the other major forces, 
will the snow-worshipping sect gain room for development in the future. But if Zhang Yi had not resisted the coalition's attack, they would have taken a sip of soup. Whether it's a small profit or a big win, it matters a lot to them. In the distant wind and snow, the figure of the returnee appeared. Zhang Yixian returned here with the remaining half of the soldiers. Seeing that their number had been reduced by half, the congregation felt a little nervous. This doesn't look like a victory. But when Zhang Yixian came before everyone, all of them had proud smiles on their faces. Zhang Yixian bowed to Yuan Kongya and saluted the leader. Fortunately, he lived up to his command. Under the blessing of the snow god, we achieved a great victory. The gangsters in Chao Yu base and Yan Sheng base were severely injured by us, which greatly damaged their vitality. From now on, they will no longer be able to pose a threat to our snow worship sect. As soon as these words came out, there was a burst of excited cheers from the scene. I don't know how many people had tears in their eyes and hugged each other excitedly. Worshipping the snow sect has been a long time of suffering at several major bases. Finally, they won once. This was a historic moment. A flash of light also appeared in Yuan Kongya's eyes. She stepped forward and helped Zheng Yixian up. Thank you for your hard work. High priest. God will not forget your achievements. Zheng Yixian looked up at her and said in a deep voice. But we also lost many devout believers. Including two priests. Lin Fei and Meng Ziyuan. Lin Fei and Mincius were originally strangers in the snow worship cult. And they served as priests second only to the priests in the snow worship cult. In this battle, they unfortunately died. A soft smile appeared on Yuan Kongya's lips. She held her chest with both hands, like a mother hugging her child. They didn't leave. They were back here. I can feel their presence. Zhang Yixian quickly said, May every deceased be with the Lord. A faint light flashed in Yuan Kongya's eyes, like an undercurrent of tide. Now, nothing can stop our expansion. I want the glory of the snow god to fill every corner of Tianhai City. Then, there is the whole country. And even the world. Let the snow god become the only true god, and let the snow worship cult shine forever. All believers place their right hands devoutly on their chests, and look up to the sky. The glory of snow worship sect will last forever. That look of faith, like sunshine, seems to be able to dispel the cold of the doomsday. And they want to spread their faith to the entire land. After the battle of the five armies, the power structure of the entire Tianhai city has undergone tremendous changes. Chao Yu base and Yan Sheng base are equivalent to backstabbing the snow worshipping sect in Chi Pei base, which will severely damage their vitality. Fortunately, their headquarters base still retains half of its combat power, as well as the basic resources. This prevents them from being destroyed, but it also takes a lot of time to restore their own vitality. The most critical point is to recover from injuries and retrain a group of elite warriors. But the loss of a large number of strangers was their most tragic pain because ordinary soldiers can make up for it. But the appearance of strangers can only depend on God's favor. So they had to shrink their sphere of influence. All the troops are concentrated in the headquarters, not to mention external expansion. And even the scope of their own territory cannot be fully controlled. The house leaked and it rained all night. In this case, more and more of their slaves began to escape. The propaganda of snow worship cult is very good. In the context of religion, it gives an illusion to those who have difficulty making a living in the last days. They will willingly fall into the arms of the snow worship cult. However, Zhang Yixian is not a fool. He was not so reckless that he dared to go to Chipei base and Zhang Yi's territory to recruit people. Instead, they bullied the weak and feared the strong, and went to the territory of the two major bases first to give them a decisive blow. The power structure in Tianhai City is like this for the time being. Zhang Yi showed great authority in the first battle and no one dared to underestimate them again. This also ushered in a period of peace for the sanctuary. After a period of recuperation, everyone has recovered quite well. Several frontline combatants were more or less injured and are now fine. Even Liang Yu can come out wearing a bandage and move normally. Everyone can feel that Liang Yu has changed since the Battle of the Five Armies. Her indecisiveness disappeared, replaced by a peaceful indifference. He is a man of few words, but has a sense of looking down upon life. Zhang Yi is no stranger to this. He was also like this after his rebirth. People will grow rapidly after experiencing great joys and great sorrows. After the battle, all the villas around the shelter were completely destroyed by artillery fire. Zhang Yi also formally invited Uncle Yu and Fatty Su to live in his shelter. We have experienced many life and death battles and have established a certain level of trust. When one loses, both suffer. And when one gains, both prosper. In addition, no one can guarantee that the war will not happen again. 
so it is safer for them all to live in a shelter. Jo Jaime is undoubtedly the happiest. As an aunt in her forties, although she still looks young and beautiful when dressed up. Like all older women, she likes to be busy and can't sit still. Now that everyone lives together, she can cook with Yongmi every day and invite a few girls to play cards together. There is always the sound of playing mahjong in the living room. It was a bit noisy, but it sounded very comfortable. The shelter is filled with a warm and pleasant atmosphere. Yi and Uncle Su Fatty you played poker or video games together. There is plenty of energy in the shelter, and the dark sky outside does not reflect it. There are bright lights in the room every day. The lighting system, worth tens of millions, is adjusted to a warm, warm yellow color. When they are hungry, they can enjoy fresh food in the space. If you're thirsty, the constant temperature wine cabinet contains high-end red wine, authentic Prussian dark beer, and Joe Kier's hand-ground cat poop coffee. Rather than saying that they are surviving in the apocalypse, it is better to say that they are on vacation here. The outside world is full of suffering. But here is a peaceful and peaceful paradise. Everyone is enjoying the hard-won happy life. But they have also become a little lazy. So much so that they didn't even bother to clean up the mostly damaged ice and snow defense line outside. They didn't bother to take care of the large number of corpses left behind by the great warriors. What's there to be anxious about? The most powerful forces in Tianhai City have been beaten away. Who else will dare to attack without a long-sighted mind? But just a few days later, one morning, Zhongyi came to the window to look at the snow scene, wearing blue silk pajamas and slippers. Suddenly, he noticed something strange in the scenery in front of him. The heavy snow outside covered everything, and the snowflakes were still falling in pieces sometimes big and sometimes small. Is there something missing? Two. Clean? Zhang Yi frowned and thought for a while, and suddenly realized something was wrong. Corpse. Why are the bodies missing? The Battle of the Five Armies left thousands of corpses. But now not even a single one can be seen. Chapter 419, They Left on Their Own. Zhang Yi felt horrified. Why did more than a thousand corpses suddenly disappear? He remembered that he was still there yesterday afternoon. Could it be that they took care of it? Zhang Yi was not too nervous, but picked up the binoculars and searched carefully to avoid being dazzled by himself. But he searched carefully and finally confirmed that it was not his eyesight, nor that the body was buried in ice and snow. Those corpses really disappeared. Zhang Yi's heart tightened for no reason. There are many strange things in the last days that cannot be explained. Even living things can mutate. Will corpses also mutate? Zhang Yi took a deep breath to calm himself down. He put on his combat uniform prepared his weapons, opened the door, and walked downstairs. Yang Mi and Zhou Haime are already preparing breakfast. The two of them were talking and laughing, and there was nothing unusual about them. Apparently they didn't notice what happened outside. From the ingredients in front of them, Zhang Yi judged that what they planned to make was soy milk and xilong bao, as well as exquisite side dishes. Standard Chinese breakfast. Zhang Yi walked over and said H, low to them. Yang Mi looked at Zhang Yi in surprise. Why did you get up so early today? Normally, unless there are special circumstances, Zhang Yi would not get up until 90 o'clock. Of course, it's not that he slept in. It was mainly because he was usually busy with important things the night before. Hey, are you going out? Zhou Haime looked at Zhang Yi and noticed that his clothes were very formal. And she was a little surprised what he was going to do. It's nothing. There are some changes outside. I'll go take a look. Zhang Yi looked out the window and walked out of the door silently. The two women didn't know what was going on, and looked weird. But Zhang Yi's expression made them a little nervous. Zhang Yi came outside, holding a gun in his hand, and walked step by step towards the original battlefield. The densely packed corpses here had disappeared. The heavy snow overnight covered many things, but it could not completely cover up all traces. Thousands of corpses disappear at the same time, leaving clues behind. When Zhang Yi came closer, he finally discovered something was wrong. Around here, under the snow, he could vaguely see many footprints of different shades. There were so many footprints. It was like a large army was passing by. And the footprints are not those of coming, only those of leaving. Zhang Yi's back trembled, as if something cold and cold was staring at him from behind. And the hairs on his hair stood up, because he realized that these corpses were not stolen by anyone, but stood up and walked away step by step from here. Uh-huh. Zhang Yi turned around sharply. But there was nothing behind him. His heart was beating fast. And he felt a little relieved after patting it twice with his hands. Even Zhang Yi, who has killed countless people and experienced life and death, still feels creepy and even scared because of such weird things. 
he took a deep breath and said to himself, What is there to be afraid of? I have killed so many living people. Even if there are dirty things, what can they do to me? Zhang Yi took courage and walked forward along the vague footprints on the snow. He found that these footprints were heading east. He couldn't see the end at a glance. And he didn't know where the bodies went. Zhang Yi still had some taboos in his heart and did not dare to follow him alone. He returned to the shelter, took off his helmet, and gasped for air. Yang Mi and Zhou Haime were a little nervous and quickly asked Zhang Yi what he had discovered. Zhang Yi did not tell them directly, but asked them to call everyone over. The two followed the instructions and called everyone. Everyone was sitting around the sofa in the living room wearing lighter clothes. Seeing Zhang Yi in combat uniform, they felt a little strange. Zhang Yi said, Don't be afraid of what I'm going to say next. Take a deep breath first to calm down. When he said this, everyone couldn't help but become nervous. So they followed his instructions and took a few deep breaths. Then, Zhang Yi spoke slowly and said in as calm a tone as possible that more than a thousand corpses outside the shelter disappeared last night. I've looked at the footprints on the ground and they probably walk by themselves. Zhang Yi's tone was very calm. But after finishing these words, the air in the entire room seemed to have dropped several degrees. Especially the women at home. Their eyes widened and they subconsciously cuddled together. Zhang Yi, you don't make such a joke. It's so scary. Zhou Kier's face turned a little pale. She hugged his arm and said, As a doctor, she is a staunch materialist and does not believe in anything magical. Zhang Yi shook his head. I didn't want to believe it at first. But the facts are before my eyes. You can go and see for yourself. When everyone got up in the morning, no one paid attention to the bodies outside. At this time, everyone hurriedly gathered around the window. As a result, there really wasn't even a body in sight. This, how can this be? Zhou Kier's eyes shook in shock, and her brain was in confusion. Fatty Su swallowed his saliva and said to Zhang Yi, Boss, did you collect all the corpses and then deliberately make fun of us? Everyone looked at Zhang Yi, hoping that this was just a prank by Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi rolled his eyes. Am I that boring? His denial made everyone feel even more scared. What exactly is going on? If only one or two were missing, how could thousands of corpses disappear overnight? Since all the peripheral cameras were destroyed after the First World War, no one can view what happened through replays. But if it was really done by a certain force, transportation would be needed to move so many corpses. So it would be impossible to do it so quietly. While everyone was panicking, Zhang Yi became calmer and calmer. He woke up from his initial confusion. Now that this is an era full of mutant creatures, all weird things are no longer so abnormal. It was most likely done by aliens or mutated creatures. As the backbone of the shelter, he needs to find out the truth and avoid missing any important information. Everyone finished their meal first. And then everyone who could fight followed me out to see what was going on. I discovered where their footprints went. As long as I follow them, I will be able to find clues. Everyone was curious and scared at the same time. And they desperately wanted answers. Therefore, everyone agreed with Zhang Yi's proposal. Today, Shishan District and Lujiang District are their territory. Any suspicious incidents should be clarified to avoid causing big trouble in the future. So everyone finished their breakfast quickly. And then Zhang Yi called several major combat forces, changed their equipment together, and chased in the direction of the footprints. Chapter 420 Underground The sudden change made everyone dare not be careless at all. They are not afraid of human forces. But they remain in awe of the unknown. Since the end of the world, more and more things have become invisible to people. This even reminded Zhang Yi of a statement in the history books. In years of disaster, demons and monsters will appear. The group did not drive, but followed the dense footprints and moved forward cautiously. The wind and snow were very strong, and everyone was very nervous. Perhaps now, they are all worried about seeing those corpses walking forward in human form. Everyone walked along, and they didn't know how long it took. But they didn't notice that the footprints on the ground disappeared. But they didn't see any bodies appear. This further convinced them that the corpses had walked here on two feet. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and drove over. It looked like they had traveled a long way this night. Although everyone is wearing combat uniforms, they still feel uncomfortable after staying in the ice and snow for a long time. So Zhang Yi got into the car and slowly followed the direction of the footprints. After driving for dozens of minutes, the car finally arrived at the place where the footprints disappeared. Zhang Yi and others got out of the car and hurriedly walked forward. Then, they saw a huge and deep cave on the snow. The dark snow pit is bottomless, and there is no light inside. But there is a kind of terror that wants to choose people and devour them. 
Good. Zhang Yi couldn't help but swallowed. And then silently took a few steps back. What the H? L is this? Why did those corpses come to this place? Could it be that there is a stranger who can control corpses? Liang Yu couldn't help but said. But it would be too scary to have such a strange person who could control thousands of corpses to travel such a distance. The scene fell into silence again. After the arrival of the Ice Age, more than 10 million people have died in Tianhai City. If someone can really control so many corpses, then he can easily destroy any force. Fatty Su's lips trembled and he asked whether it would be possible. Is a zombie crisis breaking out? He had watched many zombie-themed movies and was deeply impressed by the scenes of the zombie siege. Zhang Yi shook his head. I hope that's the case. He glanced at Fatty Su and said with a smile. You don't think there are real zombies and how much of a threat they can pose to us now. Do you? He can kill living people. If there were a large group of slow-moving zombies that would die if their brains were knocked out, they would be no threat to Zhang Yi and the others. And this is not scientific. Under such a temperature, the body has already been frozen. How could they possibly walk like normal people? Judging from how messy the footprints are, they are not jumping forward. Fatty Su nodded. Yes, in such a cold weather, it would be really cool if there were still a group of zombies that could jump forward. Everyone was discussing next to the cave, and no one knew what the situation was. The unknown is always scary. Now Zhang Yi hopes they are zombies or zombies or something like that, rather than some mysterious things that cannot be figured out using common sense. While several people were discussing, Uncle Yu looked around and suddenly said that this area seemed familiar to me. Like, is a sight. Um, what sight? Everyone looked at him curiously. Uncle Yu looked around and slowly confirmed his inference through the few high-rise buildings. I know where this is. I have already stayed in this community, called Sikajewen. And the place under our feet is the Tsitsu subway station. When everyone heard this, they looked at their feet. In an instant, Zhang Yi figured it out. I understand. In other words, these dead people actually passed through the station and entered the subway tunnel. Right? The subway itself is underground. And now it is buried under heavy snow. So the straight line distance from Zhang Yi and the others is 20 or 30 meters. No wonder it looks like a deep cave. Liang Yi frowned. If so, is there something controlling these corpses in the subway tunnel? Zhang Yi touched his chin and made no conclusion. After the end of the world, everyone is struggling to survive. Zhang Yi would not be surprised if there were living people anywhere. Tianhai City's subway system is very developed, with many stations in each area. It can even be said that there is a dark city underground in Tianhai City. After the end of the world, there will definitely be people hiding in the subway. Or some people were in the subway when the blizzard came and did not escape later. It wouldn't be a surprise if some of them were still alive today. Zhang Yi is certain. There must be someone or a strange creature causing trouble in it. But Zhang Yi didn't understand what the other party was going to do with so many corpses. Zhang Yi. What should we do with this place? Uncle Yu looked at Zhang Yi and asked. If someone can really control dead corpses, then he definitely has more than a thousand corpses under his control. And the number may be unimaginable. If such a person becomes our opponent, it will be very difficult. Fatty Su asked. Do you want to blow up this place? Prevent them from coming out of the ground and attacking us? Uncle Yu said speechlessly. Fatty, are you stupid? Do you know how huge the subway network in Tianhai City is? Can you blow up the entire subway network? Just blow up one exit, and there will be a new one a few kilometers away. Doing so will easily alert the enemy. Fatty Su said with a worried look. But when I think about there being so many living dead underground a few kilometers away from us, I'm quite scared. Zhang Yi spoke at this time. Leave them alone for now. We have no conflict with them. So we should not take the initiative to have contact with them. From now on, stay far away from this place and don't let anyone get close to it. Zhang Yi said as he motioned for everyone to retreat. There may be great dangers hidden deep in the subway. Zhang Yi would not take anyone in to investigate if it was not necessary. That. Just keep this unknown thing? Liang Yu asked with a frown. A strange smile appeared at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth. Just keep it. Anyway. Even if something goes wrong one day, I won't be the one who has the biggest headache. As Uncle Yu said, Tianhai City subway system extends in all directions and covers the entire city. Yunk Manor is located on the edge of the city, with only the Songzhuang Tsitsu subway line nearby. If something goes wrong one day, just destroy it. But in the territories of other forces, the subway lines are much more complicated and there are more people. If something weird really breaks out, they will be the first to suffer. Let's go! Leave it alone. 
Zhang Yi slowly backed away and was four or five meters away from the cave entrance of the subway before slowly turning around and getting on the train. Although the others had a bit of worry in their eyes, they did not dare to take the risk to investigate, so they had no choice but to go back with Zhang Yi. After everyone returned to the shelter, they explained to everyone and comforted them again. No need to worry. We will live well inside the shelter from now on. Even if there are zombies or something like that, we can easily take care of them. We are not even afraid of people. Why should we be afraid of corpses? The combat power here in their shelter is off the charts. With so many strangers, even if a zombie crisis breaks out, we can easily deal with it. Everyone felt at ease. Although they would not forget this incident for a while, they were not so nervous anymore. However, Zhang Yi still asked everyone to erect the peripheral defense line again. Most of the weapon system has been lost in the previous battle. But there is still some left. It is very necessary to erect a line of defense as a buffer zone in the face of sudden conflicts in the future. Chapter 421 The Expansion of the Snow Worship Cult Life here in the shelter has entered a routine of stability. However, several other forces were caught in a tense situation. The snow worship sect spread its religion aggressively within the territories of Chaoyu and Yangsheng bases, attracting more survivors to join the religion. Those who join my snow worship cult will have enough food, a stable life without danger, and everyone is equal. Those who join my snow cult will not enter reincarnation or fall into H. L. After death, they will enter the kingdom of God and enjoy bliss. Those who join my snow worship cult can wash away all their sins and be reborn. In the last days, people need nothing more than two things. The first is material satisfaction. The second is spiritual satisfaction. The banner of the snow worship cult just satisfies these two needs. Therefore, more and more survivors are inspired to join their team. The scale of the snow worship cult is rapidly growing at a rate of disorderly expansion. On this day, Yuelu community welcomed a group of ascetics wearing gray and white robes. General Zhao Jianhua appeared in the wind and snow with a cane in his hand. There are only 18 people left alive in Yuelu community, relying on the dead body and passing through Li Jian's. Dedication? The food cultivated by their abilities allowed them to survive until now. The price for obtaining the eye soul to awaken superpowers is for all members to join the snow worship cult. When the big decree came here, Li Jian immediately brought the residents of the entire building to greet him. I have seen the respected great decree, Li Jian said excitedly, his eyes full of piety. Behind him, his wife and 16-year-old son looked at the ascetics of the snow worship sect with curious eyes. Last time this group of people came, they only had contact with Li Jian. After giving Li Jian the eye soul, they left in a hurry. At that time, this was still the territory of Shishan base. They did not dare to stay for too long. And they had to preach secretly. But now that the three base forces have been eliminated or attacked, they can only shrink back. The snow worship sect no longer needs to be secretive in order to preach. Dafa looked at Li Jian and said with a gentle smile, Li Jian, it seems that you can already use the ability given to you by the snow god very well. Li Jian bowed and said, Praise the snow god! Praise the almighty leader! Thank you, Dafa, for allowing me to receive the blessing of the leader. Now we have been able to survive. Dafa smiled and nodded. He looked past Li Jian and stayed on Li Jian's sunly kale for a moment before taking it back. Now I have good news for you. You have received permission from the leader to follow us to Tianfeng district. Live with the leader and all the believers. After hearing the words of Dafa, Li Jian and others looked confused. Tianfeng district? Tianfeng district is not very far from here. But everyone is already used to living in Yuelu district. Since I can survive, I don't want to change my current living situation easily. In the apocalypse, everything unknown is scary. Dafa smiled and said, Don't be afraid. It was a paradise in the end of the world. All members of our snow worship cult are there to help each other and build a home together. In the near future, it will become a utopia that is not affected by the apocalypse. You have been chosen to live there. Dafa looked at Li Jian with a smile in his eyes. And I mentioned you to the leader. Li Jian. She appreciates your ability very much and thinks that your ability is indispensable to my snow worship cult. So as long as you go over, you and your family will receive special care. Li Jian opened his mouth in surprise. He couldn't believe his ears. What an honor it is that a person like him can be named by the leader himself. Nowadays, the entire 18-year-old people yearn for the snow worship cult and think it is a holy land. After all, they have survived until now because of the blessing of the leader, who allowed Li Jian to awaken his superpowers. So Li Jian immediately knelt down at the feet of the edict in excitement. Praise the great snow god. 
praise the leader. I, Li Jian, am willing to dedicate my modest efforts to the snow worship sect. Da Ling was very satisfied with Li Jian's attitude. Arise, my child, bring your family and daily necessities, and follow me to the camp of the snow worship cult. A group of people happily packed up all the clothes and food. Then more than 50 people who were still alive in one building followed the great decree and went to the snow worship sect with great expectations. It's a long way from Yuelu community to the cathedral in Tianfeng district. Fortunately, they all have dreams of a better future in their hearts, which supports them to come here despite the wind and snow. The snow worship sect was unprecedentedly prosperous at this time, and more and more people joined the sect. Priests and priests maintained order, distribute food and clothing to new members, and teach them the teachings of the snow worship cult. After Li Jian and others arrived here, they saw many people holding a red fruit and gnawing on it. It was a fruit he had never seen before. It was bigger than an adult's fist. Crystal clear, but exuding a strange blood-red color. But Li Jian didn't think much about it. At this time he and his family were immersed in the joy of joining Utopia. After everyone arrived, nuns came immediately to receive them. Dafa said to Li Jian, Li Jian, come with me. The leader wants to see you in person. Li Jiansheng was horrified. But he did not forget his wife and children beside him. Then my wife and son. Dafa smiled and said, Don't worry. They will naturally have someone to take care of you. Only then did Li Jian feel relieved. Even his wife Zhang Jianfang encouraged her to say that it was an honor to be personally summoned by the leader. You go over there. We're waiting for you here. Li Jian nodded. And with the envious eyes of everyone around him, he followed the decree and walked towards the huge church. As for the others, they were led elsewhere by the nuns with a smile, pushing open the door of the church. Li Jian looked inside with a pilgrim heart. Although it was a cloudy sky outside, the inside of the church seemed to be shrouded in a holy light. The light was dim, but the area around the altar remained bright. He saw a woman wearing a white monk's robe standing there. Her back turned to him, with a pious look on her face. But what is somewhat funny is that what she worships is Jesus Christ on the cross. As if seeing his doubts, Dafa coughed and said that God is everywhere and ever-changing, and his image depends on the hearts of believers. So don't worry about such details. Li Jian quickly said yes. I understand. Of course he understands. This is St. John's Cathedral, the center of the Christian church in Tianhai City. The snow worship sect occupies this place as its headquarters and has no time to build new statues of gods. It can only say that the theological sect and Christianity come from the same sect. But Li Jian is a smart man and he will not expose these things. What he is grateful for is the kindness of the snow worship cult which does not mean that he believes in gods. But there are some things that you just know in your heart. And it's okay. And you don't need to say them out loud. Chapter 422 means a good harvest. Yuan Kong yet prayed devoutly in front of the cross. As the leader of the snow worship sect, she has an unprecedented obsession with gods. She believes more than anyone else that there are gods in the world. Jesus Christ, Gautama Buddha, Zeus, Yuan Shi Tianzuan, Odin. They are all just human imagination of the Creator. If there is no God, how to explain the miracle that happened to her? So she prays devoutly to the gods every day. And she is the most devout apostle. There is white snow in the sky and everything on the ground. Our bodies are born on the earth. Our souls come from heaven. The sun and moon illuminate our bodies. The pure white snow washes our souls. Give this body to the cold wind blowing across the earth. Thank God for blessing the land where snow gods people live with miracles. May our souls stay healthy forever. I wish to share the joy with all my compatriots. I wish I could share my sorrow with them. Please always praise the people of Snow Worship Sect. Let us bear witness with our souls and bodies. Yuan Kong sang distant prayers at night. Da Ling and Li Jian were waiting for the end of this sacred ceremony in the distance. After a long time, Yuan Kong Ye ended his prayer. She turned around slowly, her cold eyes falling on Li Jian. Li Jian was also a little surprised when he saw Yuan Kong Ye. The person who created the first sect of the apocalypse turned out to be a girl who was only about 20 years old. He quickly lowered his head to see the leader. I am Li Jian, and I have survived until now thanks to your grace. Yuan Kongye walked towards Li Jian step by step. I've heard about you. The great decree tells me that you are the hope of life and have been given the power of harvest by God. Yuan Kongye's voice has magical power. After Li Jian heard this, he felt that he had an uncontrollable impulse and wanted to worship her. Li Jian, Raise your head. Li Jian raised his head unexpectedly. He saw Yuan Kongye's eyes, and then felt that everything else in his sight disappeared. There was only those pair of eyes of Yuan Kongye in the whole world. 
which made him feel worshipped and immersed, unable to extricate himself. Every word Yuan Kong Ye said would be deeply imprinted in his mind. From now on, you will be the priest of the Snow Worship Sect. Your arrival means a good harvest. It was the gods who guided you here. And you also have your own mission to achieve. Li Jian felt that the blood all over his body was boiling. He turned out to be the one chosen by the gods. He actually has a special mission. I am willing to give everything for the Snow Worship Cult. Li Jian shouted loudly. Yuan Kong Ye nodded with satisfaction. Okay. You come with me. After saying that, Yuan Kong Ye turned around and walked toward the back of the church. Li Jian didn't know what he was doing. There was only Yuan Kong Ye in his eyes. And he knew he had to follow that one. The two people left the church and walked towards an abandoned building not far away. After Li Jian regained some self-consciousness, his eyes were filled with blood. He stood inside the building. Rather than saying it was a building, it looked more like a deep valley. An extremely huge plant stood in front of it. Five or six meters thick. It was covered with black bark. But a color redder than blood was revealed in the gaps. The tree trunks expand and contract gently from time to time. As if a person is breathing. The whole building is full of branches and vines. And the leaves are curled up in a strange way. Like a butterfly's cocoon. As if something is wrapped inside. Li Jian was stunned. He had never seen such a weird and huge plant. Yuan Kongya stood in front of the plant and said to him that this is the sacred tree of my snow worship sect. It can take root hundreds of meters deep into the ground to absorb nutrients and then bear fruit. Its fruit is our most important food, Yuan Kongya said, slowly raising his hand. There was a vine hanging down from the top of the tree trunk, and a red fruit fell off and fell into her hand. This plant seems to be intelligent. Only then did Li Jian understand where the red fruits he saw before came from. Yuan Kongya walked up to him and handed him the fruit. She smiled slightly. This is our hope for survival. Do you want to try it? Li Jian nodded and took the fruit. Immediately, he smelled a magical fragrance that he had never smelled in his life, making him unable to control his body. Li Jian grabbed the fruit and swallowed it in big mouthfuls. A viscous liquid like blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. But after eating this fruit, he actually felt that his body was full of strength. And his hunger and cold feelings dissipated. Yuan Kong Ye said to Li Jian, Father Li, your mission is to use your ability to cultivate this holy tree. Let it grow more vigorously. Only in this way can we support more believers. Li Jian nodded vigorously. Yes, I will obey your instructions. Your Excellency, the leader? He walked to the tree, took out a self-defense dagger from his body, and cut his fingers. It was just a shallow wound, but his blood fell like water. The holy tree greedily absorbed every drop of his blood, and the strange red light on the tree became even more blazing. Yuan Kongye did not let him continue to bleed, but walked over and used the gifted ability to help him stop the bleeding. From now on, you must feed the sacred tree with blood every day. This is your glorious mission. Li Jian nodded, with a noble look in his eyes, as if this matter had really become the meaning of his life. Half a month passed in a flash. Zhang Yi's shelter rebuilt the ice and snow defense line. As each day passed, no new enemies appeared, and everyone began to enjoy life. There was plenty of food, a pleasant temperature, and plenty of ways to relax and entertain, making everyone very happy. However, Zhang Yi never forgot what kind of environment he was in. He would spend several hours every day learning Kung Fu with Liang Yu. Liang Yu is much more mature than before, less reticent, and even teaches Zhang Yi a lesson with a straight face during training. It's just that the two people occasionally have some physical contact, but her face still turns red unconsciously. As for the outside world, it is much more exciting than here in the shelter. The power of the two major bases, Chao Yu and Yan Sheng, was greatly reduced. Not to mention that it was impossible to stop the Snow Worship Cult's missionary behavior. Even some small armed forces in their territory began to show up. Tomorrow, Tianhai City is controlled by five major forces. But no one can completely control everyone within their sphere of influence. There are still many underground small armed groups. As long as the forces above show signs of fatigue, they will unstoppably try to take a bite. After all, the best resource points in each region are all in the hands of the big forces. As a last resort, Yansheng base and Chaoyu base had no choice but to resolve the unrest in their own territories first. The five major forces also reached a certain tacit understanding and recognized their respective jurisdiction over the territory. No one is willing to have another major conflict if it is not necessary. Chapter 423 Corpse Zhang Yiju's attitude of being prepared for danger in times of crisis made everyone in the shelter dare not neglect him. 
Uncle Yu practices fighting and shooting at home every day. Yang Mi has also been making supernatural food. And then asked Zhang Yi to store it in the supernatural space. Even Fatty Su, who was usually the laziest, had to be pulled by Zhang Yi to go out and practice his skills. Everyone's abilities are different. The abilities may be relatively monotonous at the beginning. But there is a lot of room for development later. Take Zhang Yi for example. He now has many skills derived from different dimensions. Moreover, Zhang Yi is still stretching, striving to maximize his spatial abilities. Fatty Su began to feel a sense of crisis, especially during the Battle of the Five Armies. He saw people with ice and snow abilities that were more powerful than him. Ice Lord, Wei Dinghai's fighting style. He desperately hopes to improve his strength to prevent the sanctuary from being held back. After all, Zhang Yi is not a kind-hearted person who cares for disabled people. There was another thing that made Fatty Su feel most uneasy. That was after he learned that Liang Yu also had the ability to swallow other people together. In the past, only Zhang Yi and Hua Hua had such power in the shelter. Neither he nor Uncle Yu felt anything unusual. Now there is another Liang Yu who also has this ability. This also means that there are high and low levels of talent among aliens. And he and Uncle Yu are the lower ones. So Fatty Su practiced desperately, hoping to improve his combat effectiveness. But no matter how hard he practiced, the effect he achieved was not very great. What he did was nothing more than ice spikes, ice walls, snowstorm attacks and other means. If the field control also interferes, the effect is indeed good. But for strangers, it is difficult to cause much harm. If it were a one-on-one -on -one fight, he couldn't think of anyone he could defeat. Alas, we can't go on like this. Otherwise, every time I fight, I will be cramming and cramming. Zhang Yi saw Fatty Su working hard. So he walked over and told him his experience in exercising. The more you use your superpowers, the more proficient you become. And the more you use them, the more powerful you become. But the most important thing is to have a brain. He pointed to his head. If we regard superpower as a weapon, in addition to improving the strength of the weapon, we must also have the brains to control the weapon. The pebbles thrown by the master are more powerful than the shurikens thrown by ordinary people. Zhang Yi's explanation made Fatty Su suddenly realize. I was too obsessed with the strength of my abilities. But when the boss killed Ling Feng, he didn't rely on his strength, but his intelligence and brains. I can't swallow the superpowers of other aliens. So the upper limit is limited. But if I can develop my ability to the maximum extent, it may not be powerful enough. After his thoughts changed, Fatty Su's vision suddenly became clearer. Time flies to March. It was supposed to be a time for all things to revive. But the weather was still cold. But because the blue star is slowly approaching its perihelion, the temperature has increased. However, this negligible recovery cannot make people ignore the cold outside. Zhang Yi and Fatty Su have passed countless AAA masterpieces with H. Lish difficulty levels. The Mahjong table at home has been repaired several times due to overuse. Fortunately, with the mechanical expert Lu Karen here, this problem can be easily solved. Everything seemed so harmonious as if the days would pass by quietly and forever. But the most interesting thing about life is that you never know which surprise or accident will come first. The ruins of the Shishan base. It is impossible for any living people to exist in the dusty old land. The supplies inside were also looted by Zhang Yi. After the Battle of the Five Armies, no other force dared to get close to search. So it became a place of death. But on this day, the thick dark green iron door of the fourth life warehouse suddenly shook violently. It seemed as if some huge and mysterious force was shaking it. Just a few dull and fierce collisions. And the heavy door bolt was directly broken. In the dark space, rays of green light lit up. And at the same time, a disgusting rotten smell emitted. From the gate, a group of corpses covered in tatters, and with dull eyes slowly poured out. It was like opening a can of herrings that was years past its expiration date. Zombies appeared in dense numbers, and quickly filled the entire passage as if they were inspired by something. They slowly walked toward the exit of the Shishan base. It didn't take long for them to clean up the entrance that was filled with debris. The wind and snow outside were very strong. And zombies came out from the West Mountain base in dense numbers. Thousands of them. And walked toward the southeast. At this time, Zhang Yi was sitting on the sofa in the shelter, drinking coffee and chatting with Yang Xinxin. Yang Xinxin had a computer on her lap, and slowly reported to Zhang Yi the current status of the other four forces. Yes, in the past month or so, she has hacked into the networks of these forces. He lurked quietly and observed their movements. Unlike the Shishan base, their network security level is even lower, even only at the level of domestic small 
and medium-sized companies in the past. Among them, the Chipei Base and the Snow Worship Sect have the lowest level. They don't even have personnel dedicated to maintaining network security. The means of communication relies on mobile phones and satellite phones. Facing these laymen, it was easy for Yang Xinxin to hack into their network. However, there is no way to completely break through the internet used in the core network areas of Chaoyu Base and Yansheng Base. But even so, it was enough for Zhang Yi to learn about their current movements. Judging from the current situation, Chipei Base still chooses to maintain its status safely. They have no intention of foreign aggression and enjoy their current territory. After Chaoyu Base lost in the Battle of Five Armies, its leader Wei Dinghai was seriously injured. So he was the most conservative and kept shrinking the defense line. It even led to the emergence of other armed forces in the territory. Yangsheng Base's dominance is still stable, and it has suppressed several waves of rebellions in the territory. As for the Snow Worship Sect, this force can be said to be the biggest beneficiary of that war. Their membership is increasing rapidly, possibly reaching tens of thousands of members. Zhang Yi was leaning on the sofa and sitting cross-legged. He was wearing pure cotton pajamas and lazily listened to Yang Xinxin's report. Everything was not a big surprise. It was just the last one about the Snow Worship cult that made him very curious. They are recruiting followers like crazy. But how do they support their survival? There are old and young male and female among the ordinary members of the congregation. And not everyone can become a useful warrior or labor force. Having more people is not necessarily useful, and may even become a burden. Even several other Al-Qaeda organizations still need to maintain their population despite relatively abundant supplies. Zhang Yi frowned slightly, not understanding the significance of this approach. Is it possible that Yuan Kongye really regards himself as his savior? Yang Xinxin looked at Zhang Yi and said lightly that actually, there is another possibility. Um, talk about it carefully. Zhang Yi held his cheek, looking curious. Yang Xinxin calmly explained that today is the end of the world, which is more difficult than the troubled times. It is often at this time that the order of the world changes dramatically. Brother Zhang Yi, you have no ambitions. You just want to live a stable life. But it doesn't mean that other powerful people think the same way. Yang Xinxin paused and then said, Brother Zhang Yi, you should know about the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. Right? Zhang Yi nodded. Of course he knew this. After all, the commotion was so big back then. Yang Xinxin laughed and said that the original Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, under the guise of a ridiculous God-worshipping religion, was able to separate half of the country and establish the Heavenly Kingdom for more than ten years. It was nothing more than taking advantage of the chaos of that era and the suffering of the people. The Snow Worship cult may have the same idea. In this way, they can quickly become the largest force in Tianhai City without even using force. Wait until their followers are large enough and their teachings spread widely enough. At that time, even the three major bases, or some of us, may be assimilated. Finally, Yang Xinxin concluded that someone in the Snow Worship cult wanted to become a god. Zhang Yi rolled his eyes and smiled disapprovingly, saying that this idea sounded a bit funny. Yang Xinxin said to him seriously, Believe me, brother, this matter is definitely not a joke. In desperate situations, people will try to seize every opportunity to survive. Even if the average education level of residents in Tianhai City is relatively high, they will obediently offer their knees in the face of life and death. Zhang Yi smiled faintly. He put his hands on his hands and looked out the window, saying disapprovingly that I accept what you said. But times have changed. Sheer numbers do not rule everything. Even if they really have more than 10,000 followers, they still cannot gain an absolute advantage over other major forces with modern weapons. Yang Xinxin tilted her head and asked, If they use Yuan Kong, yes. Bless. What about the ability to awaken a large number of aliens? Zhang Yi frowned slightly. This issue is worthy of his careful consideration. But soon, he still gave his answer. The aliens are just stronger humans. There is no need to overdo the mythology. Moreover, I have met many aliens. And only a few of them are truly powerful enough to be feared. Zhang Yi said it calmly. But Yang Xinxin looked at him with an adoring smile and said, Brother, the reason why you say that is just because you are already very powerful now. Zhang Yi possesses the ability to swallow many powerful aliens one after another, including Ling Feng, the number one combat force in the Xishan base. At this time, no one dares to make a conclusion on how powerful Zhang Yi's powers are. But Zhang Yi himself knows it. During the last battle of the five armies, he did not even exert half of his strength without being forced into a desperate situation. Worship the snow cult. Zhang Yi patted his thigh and whispered the name softly. 
looking out the window faintly. You need to be more careful with this sect. While he was talking, Zhang Yi's eyes suddenly froze. In the wind and snow, outside the shelter, many figures appeared from the end of the horizon, slowly walking towards here. Chapter 424 Erosion Looking at the scene in front of him, Zhang Yi was stunned for a second. For a moment, he felt that he was dazzled. Because in such a cold external environment, how could so many people appear at the same time? So much so that as far as the eye can see, there are people everywhere. Even in the last battle of the five armies, there were not that many soldiers gathered here. But when he looked carefully, he found that it was not his imagination. It's really a large group of shadowy people moving this way. Zhang Yi suddenly jumped up from the sofa, shouted to Xiao Yi, notified everyone in the shelter to gather in the living room immediately and put on their equipment. As he spoke, Zhang Yi took off his pajamas and quickly put on his combat uniform. Xiao Yi immediately sounded the alarm and warned everyone in the shelter. Although everyone was used to being comfortable, after hearing the alarm, they immediately changed their clothes according to Zhang Yi's instructions and rushed to the living room in unison. Yang Xinxi was a little surprised. Brother, what's wrong? Zhang Yi put on his combat uniform, held the golden sand eagle in his hand, and stared out the window. Take a closer look outside and see if something appears. Yang Xinxin controlled the wheelchair to lean against the window. She squinted her eyes and looked carefully, and finally noticed the densely packed, shadowy heads on the horizon. Yang Xinxin's face suddenly turned pale. This? Why are so many people showing up? Could it be that several other forces joined forces to attack? Everyone also rushed to the living room one after another. Uncle Yu came over and asked Zhang Yi, What is the situation? Is there an enemy attack? Zhang Yi picked up the telescope and looked over there. This sight sent a chill down his spine. The shadowy figure turned out not to be a human being, but a large group of corpses slowly walking towards this side. Their clothes were thin and shabby. Their bodies were covered in purple body spots. And some of their faces showed signs of ulceration. However, due to the protection of the extremely cold temperature, they were not completely rotted into skeletons. Zombies. It really happened. Zhang Yi took a breath of cold air and muttered to himself. Everyone was surprised and quickly came over to watch with binoculars. In the shot, the zombies slowly squirming towards the shelter are unmistakable. They are indeed all corpses. Suddenly, Liang Yu said these corpses unexpectedly. Couldn't they all climb out of the Shishan base? Zhang Yi was a little surprised. How did you see it? Liang Yu came to Zhang Yi and pointed out to him that if you look carefully, there are some zombies wearing the clothes of Shishan base soldiers. Following the direction pointed by Liang Yu, Zhang Yi looked over. Sure enough, if you look carefully, you can really see some zombies wearing that kind of military uniform. They should all be from the Shishan base, especially the civilians in the fourth life warehouse. Liang Yu said in a deep voice. Zhang Yi put down the telescope in his hand. Although he was surprised, he gradually calmed down. Quite weird, isn't it? It was such a cold ice age. But the body was not frozen and could still move. Zhou Kier calmly explained that some kind of virus might have been released. Zhang Yi nodded. Fortunately, they are just some corpses, which look a bit scary. But it is understood that they are vectors parasitized by the virus. He put on his helmet, then took out a rifle from another dimension and held it on his shoulder. Let's go and kill these guys who don't even want to live in death. Remember to hit the zombies in the head to be effective. When everyone came back to their senses, they suddenly realized that yes, they were just zombies and there was no need to be afraid. Not to mention that they have powerful combat capabilities and complete weapons and equipment. Just take Zhang Yi and the others. Killing some zombies is as easy as chopping melons and vegetables. There is no danger anywhere. It's just a game of fighting zombies. Even Lu Karen couldn't help but run over and act coquettishly to Zhang Yi. Give me a gun and ask me to shoot him twice too. Zhang Yi thought for a while and handed her a rifle. Stay next to me honestly. And be sure to be steady when shooting. So as not to accidentally injure friendly forces. Great. This is really Tai cool. Lu Karen happily put on a combat uniform. Then went out with Zhang Yi and others holding his gun. As for Hua Hua. Zhang Yi can just let her stay at home. The main reason is that I am afraid that if it eats randomly. It will ruin its stomach. Zhou Kier and the others were still a little afraid of zombies. And they were afraid of splattering their own blood. So they didn't follow them out. Everyone moved a small bench over. Ready to eat melon seeds while watching Zhang Yi and the others fight zombies. Zhang Yi and others walked out of the door with relatively relaxed expressions on their faces. They have been practicing hard recently. But they have no way to test their practice results. 
Now is the time to find some live targets to vent your anger on. Uncle Yu transformed into a giant, picked up a huge engineering shovel, and rushed over. Zhang Yi shouted to Uncle Yu. It's more direct to use a gun. Uncle Yu laughed loudly and said that there is no need for it. So we should save some bullets. Liang Yu also had fighting spirit in his eyes. And he drew out his Tang Dao and rushed over. The three more steady people were at the back, choosing to snipe with guns. Zhang Yi was steady, while Fatty Su and Liu Karen were simply practicing marksmanship. Zhang Yi raised his hand and shot it with a single shot. He did not attach any special powers, but only used the ability of precise shooting. Immediately, a zombie was hit in the head and fell down. When Liu Karen and Fatty Su saw this, they quickly raised their guns. Liu Karen smiled enthusiastically and said, Brother Su, let's see who can kill more zombies. Shall we? Fatty Su chuckled. I must win. I touched a gun a month earlier than you. The two men raised their guns and started shooting. But suddenly, Johnny noticed something was wrong. The zombie that he had obviously shot in the head slowly got up again. Wasn't it because it was too hard to penetrate? It's impossible. Even if they are zombies, they are made of flesh and blood after all. And it is impossible for them to be invulnerable to bullets. When Zhang Yijing was confused, the zombie stood up. There was a deep black hole on its head, but not a drop of blood flowed out. It looked in the direction of the shelter, and Uncle Yu and Liang Yu quickly rushed over. At this moment, the group of zombies that originally seemed dull and numb suddenly experienced a huge change. Ouch! They howled loudly from their throats much like wild dogs that grew up eating human flesh in mass graves. The next moment, thousands of zombies on the snowfield let out the same roar and launched a crazy charge towards Liang Yu and Uncle Yu. The original sluggishness disappeared, and their running speed was even comparable to that of hounds. There seemed to be countless ants crawling in the scarlet eyes, which was extremely penetrating. Chapter 425 Weird No one expected that those seemingly dull and numb zombies would suddenly change. They unexpectedly burst out with astonishing speed one by one, surrounding Uncle Yu and Liang Yu in an instant. Zhang Yi didn't even react. These zombies had already swamped the two of them. Three levels inside, and three levels outside. The roaring sound made people tremble in their bones. Damn it! Uncle Yu's shocked and angry voice came. With a wave of the engineer shovel in his hand, he directly swept away more than a dozen zombies, and even cut off three zombies at the waist. These zombies are already stiff, and their bodies are extremely hard. They are not as easy to destroy as the rotting zombies on TV. Fortunately, Uncle Yu and Leon Yu are both enhanced aliens with very strong melee combat capabilities. Even if they are surrounded by thousands of zombies, they can still fight back effectively. Leon Yu held the tank sword in his hand, and the light of the sword flashed through the air like the cold moonlight. The zombie body, which was comparable to steel, was cut off cleanly, but the efficiency of this kind of killing is too low and the number of zombies is too many. If this continues, once they run out of energy, they will definitely be eaten alive by zombies. No one expected it to unfold like this. Until a few seconds ago, Zhang Yi and the other's impressions of zombies were still in TV series. The kind of zombie that moves slowly and has a body as fragile as mud that can kill even a child with a branch is obviously completely different from what they have encountered so far. They are stronger, more vicious, faster, and harder to kill. How to kill a thing that won't die even if its head is shot? Zhang Yi looked at the body broken into several pieces on the ground, still struggling to crawl towards Uncle Yu and Liang Yu, and his scalp began to feel numb. What kind of ghost is this, and why can't it be killed? Fatty Su and Liu Karen were also frightened and turned pale. They quickly fired to kill a few more zombies and rescue Uncle Yu and Liang Yu. But instead of killing the zombies, this approach attracted their attention. The huge group of corpses separated into a wave and roared towards Zhang Yi and the three of them. Zhang Yi didn't change his expression. Since headshots couldn't kill these zombies, guns were of little use. He put away his pistol and drew a quadrilateral in the air with his hands. A huge dimensional door stood in front of the three of them. The impact speed of that group of zombies was extremely fast. In the past, they would have been at the level of sprint champions. But without getting close to Zhang Yi, they fell into the dimensional gate one by one. Fatty Su and Liu Karen breathed a sigh of relief. Great. Fortunately, there is the boss's dimensional gate. Use this to get rid of all these brainless zombies. But as soon as Fatty Sue finished speaking, the zombies that were rushing forward suddenly stopped in front of the dimensional gate. Um? John Yi frowned and realized that things were not simple. Zombies are mutated corpses and should not be intelligent. But they can sense danger and stop. Which is completely illogical. 
there are only two possibilities. First, they are not dead creatures, but another kind of intelligent creature. Second, someone is secretly controlling these zombies. Obviously, the second option is the most likely. Is there someone who can control zombies? Just like the time before, the bodies of the soldiers disappeared for no reason. If this is the case, then everything is explained. In this case, as long as the controller among the zombies is killed, the crisis can be resolved. However, seeing thousands of zombies densely packed in front of him, Zhang Yi couldn't help but have a headache. Asking him to find the controller among so many zombies was like finding a needle in a haystack. Therefore, Zhang Yi decided to use a more relaxed method to deal with this matter. With a move of his right hand, a heavy tank suddenly appeared on the snow, denting the snow's surface. Uncle Yu, Lian Yu, listen to my command. When you count to three, you all try your best to jump into the sky. As Zhang Yi spoke, he got into the tank and started loading SH. LS at the same time. He was not very good at driving this thing. But he had asked Uncle Yu for advice on how to fire it. Uncle Yu and Liang Yu immediately understood what Zhang Yi was going to do. Good. Zhang Yi loaded the SH. LS and started counting down. 321. Just after counting one. Uncle Yu and Liang Yu had already fought hard to kill all the zombies around them. And then jumped into the sky with all their strength. Both of them are strengthened aliens with very strong physical abilities. They jumped out more than 10 meters high with all their strength. And the tank's muzzle also made a deafening roar. Boom! A cannonball exploded among the corpses. Instantly like a flower blooming in the center. Blowing hundreds of zombies away. Leaving limbs and arms flying everywhere. The group of corpses were blown apart. And Uncle Liang Yu Yu and his wife got a chance to breathe and quickly retreated towards the shelter. The swarm of corpses were in hot pursuit. Their speed was too terrifying and they were about to rush forward. However, out of the instinct of preying on living animals, they gathered together. Just in front of the muzzle, Zhang Yi loaded the cannonball and fired another cannonball. This cannon blasted away hundreds of zombies again. However, many remaining zombies still pounced from the side. Liu Karen was so frightened that his legs went weak. Fortunately, Liang Yu and Uncle Yu stood in front and dealt with all the scattered zombies. Just cutting off their heads doesn't stop them from moving. So the two of them also found a way to either directly destroy the torso or cut off their legs. Zhang Yi opened the door of the tank and walked out. He silently took out a strange looking piece of equipment from another space. Two large metal cans, connected by pipes to the long pipe in front. It looks like a machine used to spray pesticides. This thing is called a flamethrower. And Zhang Yi has never used it since he seized it from Shishan base. Because this thing has a relatively short range and is a bit troublesome to carry. But facing these unkillable zombies, it is very useful. Zhang Yi lay on the ground, fixed the flame gun, and then a fire dragon more than 10 meters long sprayed out. Even in such cold temperatures, the temperature of the flamethrower made these zombies feel hot. Their clothes were set alight, and their bodies burst into flames. Because they are all gathered together, the effect of this flame burning is also outstanding. Zhang Yi was a little worried at first that these zombies would pounce after being set ablaze. But I didn't expect that after they caught fire. They seemed to be a little out of control. And their limbs were twisting crazily. Weird howls came from their throats. And their bodies crackled like boiling lard. Just when everyone was about to fight with all their strength. Those zombies turned their heads and ran away. Chapter 426 Unknown Thousands of zombies turned their heads and ran in the opposite direction of the shelter. This scene left Zhang Yi and others dumbfounded. This is the first time I heard that zombies can still feel fear and retreat strategically. Zhang Yi got up from the ground. He cautiously looked at the zombies retreating figures. His eyes full of fear. Now one thing is certain. These zombies must be secretly controlled by someone. When he found that it was already difficult to kill us. He chose to run away in order to keep these zombies. Liang Yi frowned. And after thinking for a while. He shook his head. I really can't imagine how humans can control thousands of zombies at the same time. Moreover. These corpses are all frozen. And cannot be killed even if they are beheaded. With such a powerful ability. He can definitely become king in Tianhai City. After all, the most common people outside now are corpses. Zhang Yi looked at a pile of broken and burnt corpses on the ground. Some of which were even still moving. They only have stumps and broken arms. And they still have terrible vitality. Just like an earthworm that has been cut into many segments. It doesn't know how to kill it. Even Zhang Yi's head ached when he thought about the possibility of facing more such things in the future. We have to figure out what these things are. And who controls them and how. Otherwise, Tianhai City may never have peace in the future. 
Zhang Yi walked over and tried to put some of the zombie fragments into his own alien space. It went smoothly, which also shows that they are indeed dead bodies and do not have biological characteristics. But they are still moving, which is incredible. Could it be said that there are really some corpse control methods similar to those in Xiangqi? Is it because I am short-sighted that I don't want to believe in the existence of metaphysics? Zhang Yi felt increasingly troubled. He threw the flamethrower to Fatty Su and burned all these things clean. At least now, we know they can still be burned to death. This is true for everyone. No one can explain what happened today. Perhaps since that day, when thousands of corpses disappeared on the battlefield, a mysterious suspense has been lingering in everyone's heart. And with the emergence of today's zombie crisis, everyone can no longer choose to ignore it. Although they successfully repelled these zombies, everyone's faces were full of confusion. After returning to the shelter, Zhou Kier, Yang Mi, and others were also frightened. From their pale little faces, it could be seen that they were also frightened. After all, who has seen such a zombie that is more ferocious than a dog? Or a horde of zombies? If Zhang Yi and the others were not here today, even the fully armed soldiers would be torn to pieces. Is there really a ghost? Yang Mi patted her chest in fear. Her eyes filled with fear. The elder Aunt Zhou Haime frowned slightly. It's hard to say. She always prefers to believe that such things exist rather than believe that they don't exist. Staying in awe is the best. As a veteran actress who has been in the entertainment industry for many years, Zhou Haine has always believed in Kanye numerology. It is said that she was not popular when she was young. Later, she found a famous master in the industry to change her name. And then she became famous. There are some things that cannot be explained clearly by the current level of human science. But they do exist. Johnny did not speak but sat on the sofa and began to think about the strange things that had happened recently. These thousands of zombies came from the Shishan base. However, when he and Uncle Su, Fatty Yu, went to Shishan base to skin goods, they actually felt something strange around them. But at that time, he only regarded it as his own psychological effect and didn't pay too much attention to it. Before leaving, he sealed the entrance to the Shishan base. In fact, it was also for peace of mind. In addition, a while ago, the corpses of those soldiers disappeared on their own and entered the Tsitsu subway station. Behind all the signs, there must be some big secret hidden. Someone must be controlling those corpses. When several women were chattering there, discussing whether there was a supernatural incident, Zhang Yi made a decisive conclusion. Those zombies know how to avoid my dimensional door and how to escape. This is a sign of intelligent creatures. Therefore, there must be someone who can control corpses and is secretly attacking us. Zhang Yi's words made sense. And everyone couldn't help but nod. But Zhou Kier expressed confusion again. But why did he come and attack us? We have never offended anyone. Recently, only Chao Yu base and Yan Sheng base have had grudges against us. But if they had such powerful power, wouldn't they have used it in that battle? Why wait until now? Zhang Yi shook his head. It happened so suddenly, and it was so easy to figure out. In short, let's stay inside the shelter and don't go out. It's very safe here, and the zombies alone can't break through. Let's wait and see what happens. Speaking of this, Zhang Yi suddenly thought of something. Looked at Yang Xinxin and said Xinxin. Pay attention to other forces in recent days. Let's see if this phenomenon is only encountered by us. Or is it common in Tianhai City? Yang Xinxin nodded. Okay, leave this matter to me. Zhang Yi said to Uncle Yu and Lian Yu again. Uncle Yu. Lian Yu. You need to check your body carefully prevent getting scratched by those things. If there really is a zombie virus, we need to be careful. As soon as Zhang Yi finished speaking, everyone silently kept a certain distance from Uncle Yu Lian Yu. After all, zombie movies have similar plots. And people who are bitten and scratched by zombies will also be infected with zombie viruses. Uncle Yu and Lian Yu were a little speechless. But they also understood that Zhang Yi's caution was reasonable. Okay, we will cooperate with the inspection. Zhang Yi smiled and spread his hands to relax. Not to doubt you, but just to be on the safe side. In fact, they all wore bulletproof combat uniforms, so the zombies were unlikely to bite them. Zhang Yi was just being cautious. He and Zhou Kier took Uncle Yu Liang Yu to check up on his body. No wounds were found. So I was relieved. Okay, nothing happened. You two can leave now. Zhang Yi said to Uncle Yu and Liang Yu with a smile. After sending away the two people, only Zhang Yi and Zhou Kier were left in the infirmary. Zhang Yi looked at Zhou Kier and his tone became cautious. Kier, there is one thing I need you to do. Zhou Kier immediately realized what Zhang Yi wanted her to do. 
You want me to study zombies? Zhang Yi nodded. I have to confirm whether these things really have viruses in their bodies, or whether they are controlled by aliens with supernatural powers. If it is the former, it will become a disaster covering the entire Tianhai city. No, it will even spread to the whole country and even the world. But if it's the latter, Zhang Yi's expression became more and more serious. He took a deep breath and said slowly, That means that there is another extremely terrifying existence in Tianhai City that we didn't know about in the past. Zhou Ku looked worried and walked over to hug Zhang Yi gently from behind. No matter what the outcome is, it's very scary. Zhang Yi held her hand and smiled lightly and said, You don't have to think so much. We don't have that much thought to care about the outside world. What we have to do is to protect ourselves first. As long as this shelter can exist safely and soundly, we can continue to live well. Zhou Kier nodded. She felt that what Zhang Yi said made sense. Thinking too much will only bring you deeper despair. Zhang Yi took out a piece of flesh and blood from another space and placed it on the workbench. After it appeared, its flesh was still squirming, like a half-cut earthworm limb. Although the body has signs of freezing, it still exudes the vitality of life. Even Zhou Kier, a well-informed doctor, was dumbfounded. What a miracle. Zhang Yi warned you to be careful. It is not yet certain whether it is a virus or how contagious it is. Liang Yu smiled lightly. Don't worry. Don't forget what I do. She skillfully picked up the tweezers, put the piece of meat into the tray, and then covered it with a glass cover. I need some time to research it. It doesn't matter. We still have plenty of time. If it were just a crisis of this magnitude, we could easily resolve it. Zhou Kier sighed and said, Yes. After all, our armed force is second to none in Tianhai City. However, if this kind of zombie crisis breaks out among other forces, especially organizations like the Snow Worship Cult, it will definitely be very scary. Chapter 427 Surprising Changes in Tianhai City Just as Zhang Yi thought, this time the zombie crisis is not aimed at them. Instead, it broke out on a large scale throughout Tianhai City. Yansheng Base Chaoyu Base and Qingwei base were all attacked by a large number of zombies that appeared from nowhere. The soldiers have no experience in dealing with this kind of zombie thing. At first, they thought that just smashing their heads would be enough. But who would have thought that even if their heads are smashed, zombies can still pounce on them and pluck off their heads with their sharp claws. These zombies are not the slow ones on TV. They are much faster and stronger than ordinary people. The zombie hordes rushed in overwhelmingly. And the first line of defense of the human defenders was almost unable to resist and was quickly breached head-on. There are too many zombies, and they are extremely difficult to kill. For a time, several major bases suffered heavy losses, and many people were killed by this perverted thing. However, the three major bases had strong firepower. After a period of panic, the leaders of their respective bases and the alien captains immediately organized a counterattack. At Yangshan base, Xiao Honglian immediately discovered their fear of flames. She jumped onto a tall tower furnace, and used high-purity alcohol to spurt out a fire dragon that swept through the zombies. It was like an insecticide killing insects, quickly burning those zombies into charcoal. But looking around, there were too many zombies around. Compared with the thousands of zombies encountered by Zhang Yi's shelter, the bases located at the core of each region faced a much larger group of zombies. Xiao Hong's eyebrows stood up while practicing her sword. Her ability was Infernal Forge, taken to the extreme. A man carrying a heavy iron box came to her side. The iron box is filled with the highest purity alcohol. Xiao Honglian swallowed the alcohol into his belly, and then sprayed out streams of flames like a giant dragon, splitting the earth into ravines like a sickle. After they fought hard and killed countless zombies, they were able to block this wave of terrifying attacks. What the H, L are these things? They are definitely not zombies in the ordinary sense. Go find out how they appeared, and whether there is anyone behind them. Seeing that the oil refinery he had worked so hard to run was in a mess. With corpses everywhere. Xiao Honglian was furious. Not only Xiao Honglian. But also Qingwei base. Xing Tian activated his own abilities. And led the 500 most elite soldiers around him to charge face to face with the zombies. With the blessing of his abilities. These warriors have all become powerful warriors integrating offense and defense. They didn't even need to use weapons like firearms. But relied on huge battle axes and war hammers to fight hand-to-hand -hand with the corpses. Obviously, this method of fighting is more effective than firearms. Even the frozen corpse was smashed into pieces by these brothers. Here at Chaoyu Base, the main guns of the ships parked in the deep sea were even used to bombard the corpses. Although the attack of the zombie swarm is very powerful, 
they alone cannot cause too heavy a blow to the major forces. After all, the major forces have fierce firepower. And there are also many powerful aliens. Where do these things come from? Could it be cultivated by some other force in Tianhai City? Or, are there underground forces that we have never discovered in the past? Wei Dinghai frowned and expressed his concern. Zhang Yi and the three major bases solved the current troubles relatively smoothly. Although there was some loss, it was still within the tolerable range. But things are going to be miserable for the snow-worshipping sect. They have absorbed members too quickly in the past month. And the size of the sect has expanded rapidly. In the core area of the snow worship sect in Tianfeng district, there are tens of thousands of believers gathered. Among this group of people, more than 70% do not have strong combat effectiveness. And they do not even have weapons. It was this huge crowd that attracted a large number of zombies underground. That night, the members of the snow worship sect finished their prayers and returned to their tents to rest. In order to keep warm, they all lived together in several closed buildings. In the evening, they lit a fire and ate together the canned food collected and the red holy fruits picked from the holy tree. Among these people were the residents of Yuelu community who came with Li Jian. Li Jian suddenly Kale was very happy after arriving at the snow worship sect camp. He could finally make new friends. In just these few days, he met Su Bebe, a girl of the same age next door. As the end of the world approaches, people's desire for emotions is still strong. They were both adolescent boys and girls and they quickly developed a liking for each other. In this apocalyptic world, two people fell in love with each other for the first time. In addition, they live relatively close together, and there is nothing else to do except pray. So the two of them stay together every day. Likael took out his treasured books. Su Bebe also brought the oil paintings she picked up to share with him. At the most innocent age, the relationship between the two was also very pure. Likael secretly made up his mind that after the end of the world, he would marry Su Bebe and stay together for the rest of his life. No one noticed that in the dark area. Pairs of green eyes were already staring at this place. The soldiers watching at night noticed shadowy figures appearing around them. But it was too dark and they couldn't see clearly what was strange about these zombies. The night watchmen thought they were survivors who had come to seek refuge. So they stepped forward to ask, Where did you come from? Do you need our help? As a result, when they took a closer look, they found that something was obviously wrong. The purple skin the blank eyes, and the horrific wounds on his body were obviously not a living person. Ah! Weird, weird, weird. Monster! The soldiers on the night watch were frightened and screamed. At this time, the zombies also took action. Wherever there is fire, there are living people. And the zombies are like moths flying into the flames. Only this time, they did not bring about their own destruction, but brought death to the unprepared living people in the camp. The soldiers on guard at night hurriedly attacked. Gunshots rang out. But these zombies are not afraid of these weapons at all. Even if their heads are beaten into seas, they can still pounce on and bite living people. Ah! Save me! Save me! The shrill screams came one after another, resounding from every corner around the camp, which was extremely penetrating. This sound echoed around the entire snow worship cult camp, finally alarming everyone. But when they realized that the enemy was attacking, the guards, who were not afraid of death, could not cause any harm to the zombies. Believers of the Snow Worship sect are not afraid of death for their faith. But not only are these zombies not afraid of death, they are also extremely difficult to kill. They even have attack power that is much higher than that of ordinary people. After all, without the limitations of the brain, they can liberate their physical strength at will. In the darkness, a dense army of zombies surrounded the entire Snow Worship cult camp and launched a terrifying attack. Soon hundreds of congregants were killed by zombies. Some guards realized that these were legendary zombies and aimed their guns at their heads in horror. However, this attack could not hinder its progress at all. Instead, the loud sound attracted more zombies, threw him to the ground, and tore him into pieces alive. There was a cry of despair from the snow worship cult camp. The guards were easily killed, and the remaining ordinary believers were still resting, unable to form an effective defense. After those powerful zombies rushed in, they were like gangsters, who had been hungry for three days entering the cafeteria. At this moment, just like the canteen is open for dinner. Chapter 428 New Storm The Snow Worship sect has been expanding so fast in the past few months. And its membership has suddenly expanded to tens of thousands. They all live in a building near St. John's Cathedral. For the convenience of heating, dozens of people can often live in one room, resulting in extremely high population density. Therefore, under such a population density, they were attacked by zombies, 
leaving them no room to escape. Zombies also swarmed up on the floor where Lee Kale and Sue Bebe were. They can feel the presence of living people through the dim corridors. Even if they can't see anything. Boom. Boom. A door was knocked open. And zombies rushed in and started killing. The congregants were so frightened that they screamed loudly. And some were so frightened that they fainted. But they still could not avoid the fate of being eaten. Some jumped from tall buildings to escape. But there were more zombies waiting for them outside with their mouths open. Hey. Meat pies are falling from the sky. Lee Kale was pale with fright at this time. But looking at Tsubebe, whose legs were weak from fright, he mustered up great courage, took her hand and ran upstairs. Zombies have no brains and just instinctively kill the living. So running to the top is the best thing to do at this time. Let's go. Find my parents first. Lee Kale pulled Tsubebe out of the door and saw his parents hurriedly looking for him. Lee Jian and Zhang Jiafang felt relieved when they saw that their son was fine. When the two saw Lee Kale holding Su Bebe's hand tightly, they didn't say much. Even in the end of the world, they respect their son's pursuit of love. That is human instinct and the hope for the continuation of civilization. Go. Run up. Lee Jian and Zhang Jianfan protected them both and started running upstairs. A large number of zombies chased after him with strange and soul-stirring screams from their throats. But suddenly two people blocked their way. These are two strangers who were personally ordered by Zhang Yixian to protect the safety of Li Jian's family. An alien looked at the zombies in front of him, punched the wall next to him without saying a word, and then pulled hard, breaking the entire wall. The gravel blocked the way in front of them, and the zombies could not move forward. So they had to turn around and kill other living people. Flesh and blood were flying everywhere. The zombies didn't get much advantage at other places. So here they were finally able to enjoy a big meal. There were screams and blood everywhere. There are scenes of zombies tearing flesh and bones everywhere and there are sounds of gnawing bones everywhere. The snow worship sex camp had now become A-H-L on Earth. However, the top leaders of the snow worship sect also responded quickly. Around St. John's Cathedral, zombies have gathered. There are also a large number of believers gathered inside the church, especially the core of the snow worship cult. Zombies that smell the smell of strangers are like sharks that smell blood. Their eyes are red, and they want to rush in and choose people to eat. At this moment, the church door suddenly opened. An invisible huge force suddenly hit, knocking dozens of zombies in front of them away from the distance. The high priest Zheng Yixian walked out of the church, and behind him were a dozen strangers. The tragic situation in front of them made everyone's pupils shrink, facing this unknown thing. No one is not shocked. Zombies were originally only seen in movies and TV series in peaceful times. Now that it appears next to him, how can he keep others calm? A trace of fluctuation flashed across Zheng Yixian's eyes, but he quickly regained his composure and began to direct everyone to counterattack. Tong Zhan Gung Lei, you guys are staying inside the church and are not allowed to come out under any circumstances. Protect the leader and the believers in the church. Others follow me and kill these zombies. Under the leadership of Zheng Yixian, the snow worship sect finally began to restore some order and launched a counterattack against the zombie hordes. With the addition of these powerful strangers, the battle situation finally turned. The congregants who were originally beaten and dazed also regained their senses and began to pick up all the weapons at hand to fight back. Swish. 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 A dozen cold lights flashed in the air. Immediately, a dozen zombie heads fell to the ground. Han Chong activated his animal form, which was a small animal with a line of white hair from head to back. Fangs and sharp claws. Han Chang's animal form is the honey badger. The legendary flathead brother. Following the common sense he learned on TV, he cut off the heads of more than a dozen zombies. He originally thought that would be the end of it, but he didn't expect that the zombies just swayed for a moment and moved a little slowly, but still rushed towards him. Um, isn't this even dead? Han Chan was shocked. But as a flat-headed brother, he was fearless. Then you will be completely destroyed. Not long after, a cold light flashed around them, and all the zombies were cut into seven or eight pieces falling to the ground with a clatter. And they were still squirming. How disgusting. What the H, L is this? Han Chan looked disgusted. The attack power of these zombies is stronger than that of ordinary people. But it is far from enough for an alien like him. But they can't be killed with one blow. And with this overwhelming number, they are really going to be surrounded. And the aliens will have to answer. This defense battle was very difficult. There are too many zombies. And there are tens of thousands of Shui worshippers. And it is impossible for just a dozen strangers to protect them all. Therefore, most of the time, 
the aliens can only rush to the place with the most zombies to kill them. Ordinary church members still have to rely on their own strength to protect themselves and their families. It was a tough battle for more than half an hour. The ground was dripping with blood. Flesh and blood flying everywhere. Leaving an unknown number of corpses behind. No one knows how many of them are zombies, and how many are snow worshippers. It was only when the zombies slowly retreated from the darkness that everyone breathed a sigh of relief. However, that feeling of fear lingered in my heart and was difficult to dissipate. Those things. What the H, L is this? Han Chong put his hands in his pockets and looked at the H, lish scene of flesh and blood around him. With depression written all over his face. He heard the cry of the believers. In this battle, I don't know how many people died and how many people lost their families. When they first came here, they all thought that the snow worship cult could protect them and that it was a utopia in the end of the world. Han Chang's heart ached faintly, and he walked up to Zhang Yixian with an unhappy face. At this time, the aliens were all gathered together. After fighting for so long, everyone was very tired. Zhang Yixian's face still had the same expression as an iceberg that lasted 10,000 years, and he methodically directed the survivors to clear the battlefield. Move all the bodies to the abandoned building. Also check if there are any injured. These zombies are too weird, and may be some kind of biochemical virus. They must be observed separately for a while without contact with other people. In addition, security was strengthened at night, and strong adult men were organized to patrol around the camp. The zombie horde is likely to leave and never return. Although the others were tired, they also understood that it was not the time to relax yet. So they took action. Han Chong walked up to Zhang Yixian, frowned and said that these things were too outrageous and could not be killed. And they also know how to retreat. This is definitely not the mindless zombie on TV. Zhang Yixian glanced at Han Chong and frowned as well. We must investigate this matter carefully in the future. Otherwise, with the huge population density of our snow worship cult, we will definitely be attacked again in the future. I just don't know if this matter is related to other forces. Han Chang's face was full of depression. And he gritted his teeth and said if it was really those bastards who did it, I will definitely not let them go. Nowadays, the snow worship sect's strength has expanded many times. The number of believers and strangers has greatly increased, and they will no longer be afraid of a certain Al-Qaeda organization. Han Chan is also eager to find an opportunity to destroy the forces that bullied them before. But Zheng Yixian patted him on the shoulder. Calm down first. This is just my guess. What matters now is protecting the remaining people. Han Chan lowered his head and pondered for a moment, then nodded slowly and said, You are right. He turned around and left to help others deal with post-war affairs. Zhang Yixian stood in the center of the battlefield, looking into the distance. In the darkness, he didn't know if there was a powerful enemy watching in the dark. His eyes were a little solemn and deep. Is a new storm about to emerge? Inside a building where believers live. After the tide of corpses receded, Li Jian carefully looked down from upstairs. After confirming that it was safe, he let out a long breath. It's finally okay. Zhang Jiafang came over, and the couple hugged each other tightly. Not far away. Li Kale kept holding Su Bebe's hand and refused to let go. The two looked at each other, with love filling their eyes. When Zhang Jianfang and Li Jian saw their son, they had different looks in their eyes. Zhang Jianfang said with a happy smile that his son has grown up. I also began to pursue my own happiness. For Su Bebe, the couple is quite satisfied. Nowadays, no one cares about family background. What matters most is the ability to survive. Su Bebe's family all died in the apocalypse. And she was the only one left alive. So this girl's survival skills were maxed out. If she really wants her to join the Li family, Zhang Jianfang has no objection. But deep in Li Jian's eyes, a worried look flashed. I just hope this matter won't have a bad impact. He whispered, not wanting to be heard by his son and Su Bebe. Zhang Jianfang looked up at him curiously. Why did he say that? Li Jin pondered for a moment and said, Do you know that if you are an underage boy who joined the snow worship sect before, you will be punished? That. Zhang Jianfang's body was shocked. Of course she knew about this. At the beginning, she was particularly worried that Li Kale would be treated the same way. Fortunately, Li Jin possesses special powers. And judging from the attitudes of Yuan Kongya and other church leaders, they also think highly of Li Jin. This allowed Li Kale to make an exception. However, what is the significance of that ceremony? And whether Li Kale can completely escape that fate is still an indelible haze in the hearts of the couple. Looking at her worried husband, Zhang Jianfang had no choice but to hug him tightly, rest her head on his chest and comfort her, saying it would be okay. 
We are a family of three living together and living well. Chapter 429, they are here again. In just one day, the strongest existing forces in Tianhai City were all attacked by zombie swarms. Zhang Yi was least affected. There were no casualties. After all, they are relatively small in number and do not need to protect ordinary team members. And with a powerful firepower in his hands, killing those zombies is not a problem at all. Other forces are not so lucky. Some of their members were more or less dead, especially the Snow Worship Cult. According to subsequent statistics, more than a thousand people were killed by zombies in this wave alone. There were more than 800 people bitten and scratched by zombies. Those people were imprisoned together. The cell doors were locked. And there were two powerful strangers in charge of guarding them. They are just afraid that they will mutate into zombies. The next day, the several uneasy forces also started to communicate with each other. Zhang Yi called his old classmate Xing Tian to inquire about the situation. What? Your side was also attacked by zombies? MD. We also encountered one here yesterday and more than a hundred of our people died. Where did these damn things come from? It couldn't be a biohazard. Right? Hearing that the Chi Pei base had also been attacked by zombies, Zhang Yi felt much more at ease. At least it can be confirmed that this is not an attack launched against them. No one can say for sure about this matter. Those zombies are very strange. They can't be killed even if their heads are cut off. And it seems like someone is manipulating them behind the scenes. Zhang Yi frowned and said with some confusion. But when I heard what you said, I felt that the problem was a bit troublesome. There is a distance of more than 100 kilometers between our two families. But both of them were attacked by zombies. If there is really someone who can secretly command the zombies, it's definitely not just one person. Sheng Tian's brows furrowed deeply. And he pinched his eyebrows hard. Do you mean that there is still a terrifying force in Tianhai City that can control the corpses? But, if that's the case, wouldn't that force be invincible? More than 10 million people died in Tianhai City. We would be beaten to death just by relying on corpses. Take your shelter as an example. No matter how strong it is, it cannot withstand people smashing it every day. What Xing Tian said was exactly what Zhang Yi was worried about. The unknown enemy is always the most terrifying. Zhang Yi still knows nothing about those zombies and the possible controllers behind them. Take one step at a time. Also contact several other companies to see if they have encountered the same situation. In fact, there is no need for Zhang Yi and Xing Tian to take the initiative. The other three companies also had the same idea. They even suspected that other forces were behind this wave of corpses. Several companies exchanged information with each other. And only then did they learn that everyone had encountered the same situation. Considering that if anyone could really control such a large-scale zombie tide, the situation in the Battle of Five Armies would not be like that. Everyone has reached a consensus the tide of corpses all over Tianhai City is definitely caused by the six party forces existing underground. It's definitely not a simple biohazard. After confirming that this matter is not led by any of the five companies, everyone can only rely on themselves. After all, the relationship between the five companies is not that of a partnership. And there is even a lot of hatred. Even if they cooperate, it doesn't make much sense. First of all, we don't have much information at the moment. Secondly, even if someone has information about the zombie tide, they are unwilling to share it with others. Everyone now hopes to protect themselves from the zombie wave. Then, it's best if all the other families are wiped out by zombies. The most leisurely one is naturally Zhang Yi. They face the least pressure. And the shelter is strong enough not to be afraid of zombie attacks. But people at the shelter share one concern. This time, thousands of zombies attack together. What about next time? Could it be tens of thousands? The death toll in Tianhai City exceeds 10 million. Approaching 20 million. If they all turn into zombies, even if they have shelter, Zhang Yi and others will not be able to withstand it. At this point, we can only take one step at a time. Zhang Yi thought so in his heart. However, it was only the next day that a wave of corpses appeared outside the shelter again. Zhang Yi sighed. Let's go! He, Uncle Yu, Fatty Su and others put on combat uniforms and left the shelter to prepare for the battle. Hua Hua was also brought along this time. However, Zhang Yichian warned one that you must not bite those zombies with your mouth to avoid poisoning and infection. Hua Hua nodded very humanely. Four people and one beast came out of the shelter and began to clean up the wave of zombies. With the experience from the last time, Uncle Yu and Liang Yu did not rush in impulsively this time. Liang Yu and Hua Hua were responsible for cleaning up the approaching zombies. Fatty Su used ice and snow to restrict the zombies' movements. Zhang Yi and Uncle Yu used flamethrowers to attack the corpses. Babuki. Fatty Su raised his hands high. 
and a large ice and snow storm suddenly covered thousands of zombies. Although there is no real damage, the coverage area is huge. After the previous chat with Zhang Yi, Fatty Su understood the correct way to use his powers. His ability is not strong enough. So he has to use his brains to make up for it. In many cases, his key role is to play support. Sure enough, after being shrouded in the blizzard, the zombies' movements slowed down, and they even felt a little disoriented. Zhang Yi's eyes tightened. As I expected, there are controllers among these zombies. After covering his sight, these zombies lost their direction of action. Uncle Yu is already holding a flamethrower and starting a constant temperature barbecue. A fire dragon more than 10 meters long covered a group of zombies and quickly turned them into Zebo skewers. Zhang Yi came to the side and barbecued with Uncle Yu in a crisscross manner. The effect of this interweaving of firepower was very obvious. And soon a monstrous flame was set off among the zombies. After being burned by the flames, the zombies let out strange screams from their throats and quickly lost their mobility. Behind the glass of the shelter, Joe Kier held a notebook in his hand and recorded carefully. It looks like what I guessed. Inside the zombies are viruses that like cold and are afraid of heat. After being burned by high temperature, it will lose its activity and lose its mobility. Today, this wave of corpses began to retreat after losing half of them. Zhang Yi and the others took advantage of the victory and pursued a wave. But the zombies' escape route was very clever. And they escaped in various directions in a scattered form, coupled with their extremely fast speed. Even if they catch up and kill hundreds of them, many will still be able to escape. Therefore, today we repeated the results of yesterday, killing some and escaping some. I always feel that something is not quite right. Zhang Yi frowned. And a very uneasy feeling slowly emerged in his heart. Although today we didn't put in much effort to deal with the zombie tide. But every time some zombies will escape. There was something very subtle in this that he had not thought about. Chapter 430 Wisdom After Zhang Yi and others returned to the shelter, they sat in the living room and rested. The women at home thoughtfully served hot drinks and food to help them replenish their energy. Zhou Kier stood behind Zhang Yi and gently massaged him to release the pressure. But this time, although he successfully repelled the zombie tide, Zhang Yi didn't look relaxed at all. Instead, a cloud of doubt enveloped his mind, making him look worried. Such an expression made Fatty Sue who was laughing and bragging with Uncle Yu. Feel strange. Boss, why don't you look very happy? Everyone noticed something was wrong with Zhang Yi's expression and cast concerned glances. Yeah. What are you thinking? He looks so serious. If you have any questions, we can discuss them together. Zhang Yi looked up at everyone, took a deep breath and explained. We eliminated more than half of yesterday's corpse group. But in the zombie wave that came today, the number of zombies was only a lot more than yesterday. This shows that the zombie virus spreads very quickly, and those who may die have turned into zombies. If this is the case, sooner or later the entire Tianhai city will be completely occupied by zombies. I can't imagine how we would have to live at that time. Zhang Yi's words made everyone's smiles disappear. Everyone lowered their heads and thought, with worried looks on their faces. Yang Xinxin sat in a wheelchair, took a sip of cappuccino slowly, and then said, But at present, this tendency is not obvious yet. Otherwise, the other side wouldn't just mobilize thousands of zombies to attack us every time. However, when she changed the topic, her expression was rare and serious. If we can't figure out the truth about the appearance of these zombies, they will definitely become a big trouble in the future. Lu Karen let out a long sigh. If only it were summer. All those zombies will rot and turn into skeletons. Zhang Yi said that the most terrifying thing is not their number, but that they seem to have controllers. So they are not brainless monsters. In addition, they are difficult to kill and can only be burned or dismembered. This adds to the hassle of resolving them, Yang Xinxin said. So the most important thing is to solve the manipulator behind them? Zhang Yixia put it simply. Where can I find it? Every time we were halfway through the kill, they would run away. I can't even tell if there is a manipulator among the corpses. After all, there is such a thing as superpowers. Zhang Yi spread his hands, full of uncertainty, and it was difficult for anyone to use common sense to deduce. They are even less likely to easily go deep into the subway to investigate. Because there must be more zombies hiding there. Even though their fighting power is extremely powerful. Zhang Yi will not leave the protection range of the shelter unless necessary. Just when everyone was having different opinions. Zhou Kier, who was standing behind Zhang Yi, spoke softly. Actually, I have a guess. Zhang Yi subconsciously raised his neck and tried to look behind him. But his sight was blocked by two curves 
and he could not see Joe Kier's face. Oh! Zhang Yi signaled Joe Kier to continue. Normally, as a doctor, Joe Kier is not directly involved in the battle plan. But this time, her professionalism as a doctor came through. She knew the virus better than anyone at the shelter. So her speech is of great reference value. Joe Kier got encouragement from Zhang Yi and said, I've been studying the bodies of zombies in the past two days, and I did find a very weird virus-like thing. It can withstand extreme cold, and can even survive at minus 100 degrees Celsius. It can invade the nerves of living things and control the body. But? Joe Kier frowned slightly. It does not conform to the modern biological definition of viruses. Its structure should be somewhere between a virus and a cell. More like a cell. But it can invade the host's body for control and reproduction like a virus. As a scumbag who threw away his knowledge after graduation. Zhang Yi was confused. Kur. Can you make it simpler? There are only a handful of people in this house who can understand Zhou Kier's words. At least the three men were confused. Zhou Kier smiled sheepishly. After the apocalypse, biology has been redefined due to the influence of gamma rays. Let's call it a zombie virus for now. Simply put, it reflects the habits of some bacterial colonies and even social animals. When zombies are among the zombies, their actions are consistent and even reflect a certain degree of wisdom. However, in the corpses studied in the laboratory, even the reproductive instinct is weakening, and the stress resistance is also getting worse. So I suspect that this virus may be controlled in a way similar to biological populations, with the mother virus controlling them in some way. Zhang Yi sat up straight from the sofa. Remote control? Zhou Kier quickly waved her hand. Of course, it didn't mean that she was far away. For example, animals can communicate through smell, and this mutated virus must have its own way of conveying messages. Zhang Yi said, do you mean that as long as the mother body is killed, these infected zombies will also die? Joe Kier shook his head. It's hard to say. At least it won't be what it is now. Able to act on a large scale, and with a certain amount of wisdom. Wisdom. These two words sounded like thunder in Zhang Yi's mind. R. His eyes lit up. And he finally discovered the reason for that sense of dissonance. I seem to understand something. He put his hands in and explained to everyone. Have you noticed that the attacks of the zombie tide in the past two days seem to be fierce, but also seem to have a certain degree of intelligence? But in fact, the zombie swarm's play style is quite naive, and they always choose to retreat after the death of some zombies. It feels like a two- or three-year-old child slowly learning to speak. You can only take your time word by word. When Zhang Yi said this, everyone thought it was very reasonable. The group of corpses still looked stupid. Even if they were attacked by flamethrowers, they would not choose to spread out and attack. But he also knew how to avoid Zhang Yi's dimensional door and chose to run away when he sensed that the situation was not good. There is wisdom, but not much really. Wait a minute. Zhang Yi, I seem to understand somewhat what you are talking about. The person who spoke was Liang Yu. She crossed her arms, her eyes full of caution. What you mean is that our opponents may be intelligent zombies. It may be that it mutates after human death. Or it may be that the mutated virus takes over the human body and becomes the mother body. In short, it has just gained wisdom and is still learning the way humans fight. Johnny thought this guess was very possible. That kind of fighting method is not like that of a human being with a normal IQ. But it is not completely brainless. If there really is such a thing, it should be an existence that can be called the corpse king. After all, we have confirmed two conditions for obtaining superpowers. One is on the verge of death and the other is the stimulation of external objects like eye soul. Then, it is not impossible to obtain superpowers after death. There was a brief flashback in Zhang Yi's mind, but he did not tell anyone the secret. Chapter 431 Infinite Evolution After two battles, Zhang Yi and his party also obtained certain information about this mysterious tide of corpses. They move quickly, are as powerful as wild beasts, and can't be completely killed with just a headshot. He even showed some intellectual ability. But so far, they are only speculating on whether there is a corpse king commanding behind the corpse group. And they cannot yet determine. Zhang Yi supported his chin with his hands, his eyes shining with calmness. He said in a low tone that if the corpse really mutated and gained wisdom, then the next attack would continue. We have the opportunity to gather more intelligence. You must pay attention to every detail of their actions to find ways to deal with them. However, first we must clear out the zombie tide in the surrounding area as soon as possible. Their existence is a huge security risk. If the hordes of corpses are not eliminated, they will continue to come to harass them. It is difficult to guarantee that there will be no surprises. If the enemy is a human being, 
Zhang Yi is not afraid. People are in awe. If they know they can't beat Zhang Yi, they won't harass him again. But these zombies who are not afraid of death, won't they disgust you if they can't kill you? Zhang Yi was unwilling to keep this danger by his side. So he decided to solve the problem as soon as possible. Of course, it's just the trouble in the area around him. However, there is another problem. Liang Yu put the long and narrow Tang Dao in his hand and leaned on the sofa with his arms folded. If the corpse mutates and produces intelligence, it becomes a monster that can control a large number of zombies. So how did it cause riots in various areas of Tianhai City at the same time? Zhang Yi smiled very bachelorly. I have no idea. Yang Xinxin, who had been silent all this time, said something about the subway in an understatement. These two words brought a light to everyone's eyes. None of them had ever entered the ground dozens of meters deep. But it can be judged that the temperature underground is higher than that on the surface. And transportation is convenient. Yang Xinxin raised her head. Her amber eyes shining with wisdom. She analyzed in a cold tone. We know that the nearest zombie activity area to us is Cixiu Subway Station. The subway in Tianhai City extends in all directions and can lead to any area. Therefore, zombies also move to various areas through the subway. As for whether this was intentional or accidental, we will have to make a judgment later. Zhang Yi held his chin in one hand and nodded thoughtfully. This can also explain why the group of corpses we face is the smallest. The location of Yunk Manor is relatively remote, and only Tsitsu subway line passes through it. With that said, Zhang Yi said to Yang Xinxin, Xinxin, and continued to observe the conditions of several other forces. I need to know what the zombie situation is like there. Sooner or later we have to find a way to fix these things once and for all. Yang Xinxin smiled and nodded. Of course. However, life is not easy for them right now. The three major bases all have underground shelters. But they also have important facilities on the ground. For example, steel mills and oil refineries. Or port bases on the coast. These are the foundations of several major bases. It is absolutely impossible to let it out easily to be destroyed by zombies. They will definitely defend it. In this case, it is inevitable to keep fighting zombies. It's even worse for the snow worship cult. Not only does the living environment look good, but the battles with zombies also cause particularly heavy casualties. After all, they don't even have any defenses that can stop the zombie horde. John E. chuckled and said disapprovingly, These problems are not something we can worry about. If they are reluctant to cut off the strength of a strong man, then they can keep fighting zombies, especially the snow worship cult. The number of their followers is increasing, which already makes me feel a bit threatened. It is not a bad thing for us, that they have lost some of their staff during this crisis. Everyone's imagination was running wild. And they were discussing how other forces would deal with the zombie tide. Human beings' joys and sorrows are not the same. In particular, Zhang Yi's team does not have a good relationship with other forces. So seeing them being overwhelmed by the zombie tide made Zhang Yi feel good. In the afternoon, Zhang Yi and Uncle Yu came to the front door of the shelter. They poured a lot of gasoline on the ground. Now that we know that the zombie's body is some kind of mutated virus, it's easier to deal with it. Use fire to deactivate it. And you can easily eliminate a large number of zombies. The third round of zombie attack came faster than expected. This time, it was midnight. Fortunately, Zhang Yi and the others were well prepared and did not dare to sleep too much. They also arranged for someone to keep watch at night. Therefore, after the zombie wave struck, they immediately geared up and went out to fight. Did you move the attack tonight? Is it because we realize that it is easier for us to perform during daytime battles? Or is it a coincidence? Zhang Yi put the flamethrower on his back and went downstairs cautiously. But this time, they clearly felt that the zombie's attack route had changed. They no longer surrounded us in groups like the previous two times, but were scattered on the snowfield, approaching the shelter like a swarm of locusts. Like, they really learned smart. Uncle Yu sighed with a cigarette in his mouth. In this way, the effect of the gasoline positions they had arranged in advance would not be that great. It's a bad thing. But it's also a good thing. At least our guess was right. Zhang Yi looked coldly at the tide of corpses on the snowy field. He determined that there must be a corpse king behind the zombie tide controlling everything. Every time they fight, the opponent will change their fighting style according to their fighting style. Although they look extremely clumsy at first, both zombie kings and zombies will continue to grow. When one day, they master all the fighting methods of Zhang Yi and others. Then Zhang Yi and others will have no choice but to hide in the shelter. And it will be difficult to even take a step out. These days, even zombies have learned to collect intelligence. Zhang Yi exhaled a puff of white smoke 
and then put on the mask of his helmet. So next, I have to verify one more thing. He told Liang Yu and others to kill all the zombies this time and leave no one behind. After he finished speaking, he jumped on Hua's back. Let's go outflank the corpse group's retreat. A rifle appeared in Zhang Yi's hand. Faced with this kind of zombie that cannot be killed, it is best to use a spray gun to blast it to pieces. Uncle Yu laughed and said okay. Then let's kill them all today. Fatty Su curled his lips and said. What fun is there in killing a bunch of corpses? Uncle Yu wasn't angry either. Instead, he said to Fatty Su. Xiao Su, there are so many live targets. Just use them to practice your skills. Fatty Su didn't answer, but started to take action. Summoning a large-scale snowstorm in front of the shelter. Roar. The zombies let out an ear-piercing cry from their throats. After discovering Zhang Yi and the others, they suddenly ran towards them desperately. Several people have already experienced dealing with them, and no longer panic at this time. Fatty Su created a blizzard to temporarily cause the zombies to lose their targets and slow down their movements. Then, Uncle Yu started to use a flamethrower to burn the rows of zombies like an insecticide. Liang Yu held the tank sword in his hand, and the dark blue sword light extended from the sword body for three meters, shuttling around the corpses like a blue lightning. No matter how fast a zombie is, it can't be faster than an enhanced alien. As long as they are not surrounded like last time, they can't do anything to Liang Yu. And Liang Yu's knife opened and closed widely, splitting them all in half from head to crotch. Make sure they can't get up and attack again. As for Zhang Yi, he rode Hua Hua and went around the group of corpses from another direction. The spray gun in my hand does not hit the head or the body. It only targets the lower three directions. With the rifle blessed with supernatural powers, the attack power at close range is very terrifying, and it can easily smash their lower bodies to pieces. Meow. Huawa raised her head and winked at Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi understood and jumped down from it. Huawa's black hair turned into hard steel needles. And then the whole cat formed into a huge black ball and crashed into the middle of the group of corpses. This was comparable to a giant tank running over a group of corpses. And the black hair turned into knives, cutting the zombies into pieces. Chapter 432 Backhand if we say that before, Zhang Yi and others were still a little afraid of the zombie wave and did not dare to give it a try. Well this time, they basically figured out the true strength of these zombies. They possess greater speed and strength than ordinary people, but are ultimately far inferior to the aliens. Zhang Yi and the others are the top alien team in Tianhai City. If they really want to fight, dealing with thousands of zombies will not be a problem at all. For people and one beast use guerrilla warfare to surround the tide of corpses like sheepdogs herding sheep, and then eliminated them. However, these zombies did not realize the intentions of Zhang Yi and others, and still followed their offensive instinct and pounced on them. The result was a large-scale extermination. Zhang Yi holds a spray gun in his hand and can destroy five or six zombies with one shot from a distance. With eight times the acceleration, it is impossible for him to be caught up by these zombies. Hua Hua and Liang Yi were on the outside, harvesting the zombies as quickly as they cut flesh. On the front, Uncle Yu and Fatty Su are both ice and fire, with both field control and large-scale AoE effects. Zhang Yi was killing zombies while observing the status of the zombies. He wanted to confirm whether the corpse king was among the corpses, or is it able to control the corpse swarms from further away? Because theoretically speaking, the corpse king has a higher level of wisdom. Once it realizes that it is in danger of death, it will choose to run away. Sure enough, after half of the zombies were killed, the zombies suddenly began to riot. They turned around and ran towards the Tsitsu subway station the way they came. You've already come. Why are you in such a hurry to leave? Zhang Yi said with a sneer. The escape route has long been cut off by him and Hua Hua. It's not that easy for these zombies to escape. One man and one cat blocked the retreat of the corpses and began to slaughter them crazily. Hua Hua transformed into a black blade chariot, which was very effective against these unkillable things, cutting them into pieces directly. And Zhang Yi's use of a rifle with superpowers to destroy zombies is particularly effective. Coupled with the constraints of Fatty Su's ice and snow's storm, it was difficult for the corpse tide to move. After half an hour of fighting, this group of zombies was almost wiped out by them. Zhang Yi deliberately left a zombie behind, only cutting off its hands and cutting off its lower jaw. Now the zombie's lower jaw has been completely removed, and the teeth on the upper jaw have also been shaved off, making it completely unable to harm people. Boss, what's the plan? Fatty Su and others came over, wondering what Zhang Yi's next plan was. Zhang Yi took out an infrared camera from his body and stuck it directly into the zombie's eyeball. 
after this wave of testing. I can basically conclude that the corpse king is not among the corpse tide. But he can still control the movements of the corpse tide. The main purpose of these zombies is not to destroy us, but to collect our information and then pass it back to the corpse king. Each time they were beaten halfway. And then the surviving zombies pass the information back. As time goes on, they get to know us better and better. Once we have completely mastered our combat skills, I'm afraid the real large army will come. There was a sneer on Zhang Yi's lips, and his eyes were full of frost. So we must take the initiative to do things and not follow their rhythm. Let this guy help us investigate what is deep in the subway. Several people around understood what Zhang Yi meant. Liang Yi then asked, Do you mean to investigate the situation deep in the subway and then find an opportunity to destroy the zombie's lair? Zhang Yi replied without hesitation that if there is a suitable opportunity, we must do it. After all, we have seen that the zombies' attack methods are improving little by little. I can't guarantee that one day, they won't adapt to the way we fight. That would be extremely dangerous for us. The best defense is offense, and we need to strike first. After Zhang Yi finished speaking, he kicked the zombie away. It quickly climbed up from the snow and ran towards CCU subway station without looking back. Next, let's see how much good news this little brother can bring us. Zhang Yi smiled and watched the zombie carrying the infrared probe go away. After a while, he turned around and returned to the shelter. Liang Yu lowered her head and thought about something, and followed Zhang Yi back. In fact, so far, these zombies have not posed any threat to them. According to Liang Yu's past personality, he might have chosen to go deep into the subway and kill all the zombies. After all, the combat effectiveness they displayed was not that powerful. But Zhang Yi taught her a good lesson. Even if you have strong strength, you must go all out and remain vigilant when facing unknown opponents. Only in this way can we survive in this unknown world. When everyone returned to the house, Zhang Yi immediately turned on the TV and then checked the picture received by the infrared probe. The zombie rushed all the way and arrived at the entrance of CCU subway station after more than 10 minutes. It jumped down along the deep hole, and after several seconds, the camera returned to a stable picture. Late at night, everything is so blurry. Infrared probes can detect the thermal energy reactions of living and non-living things. But once no living things appear, the field of vision is still dark. So for a long time, all Zhang Yi and others saw was a dark scene. I don't know how long it took before a red light appeared in my sight. Humanoid light. One, two, three. A group of zombies appeared densely in the underground space. Soon everyone's vision was filled with red light. And they couldn't even see the human form. Because everything in front of them was dark red. Different from the bright red color of normal humans. These are the corpses of dead people. But due to being invaded by weird zombie viruses, they reflect part of the energy representation of living bodies. For the next period of time, the entire field of view on the screen was occupied by this dark red color. You can feel your eyes moving. But after a long time, the surrounding light does not weaken, but intensifies. These are all zombies hiding in the subway tunnels. How many zombies are there underground? Fatty Sue couldn't help but speak. Just imagine how many people died in Tianhai City, and you will understand. Uncle Yu replied, Will all the dead people in Tianhai City become zombies? That. What about us? Fatty Sue hugged his body tightly in fear. Like a delicate 200-pound girl. That look made people want to beat him. Yang Xinxin explained from the side that it is not possible to make such a judgment yet. To turn a corpse into a zombie. A virus also needs to be parasitic. However, if time passes long enough, I believe this day will not be too far away. Zhang Yi smiled helplessly. Indeed, there are too many dead people in Tianhai City. Even if we recover various corpses in advance, it is impossible to recover all the more than 10 million corpses. Then, they may become zombies. So let's solve it from the source now. Killing the mother corpse king will save us a lot of trouble. Just as Zhang Yi was talking, a heat source with obviously larger proportions suddenly appeared in the picture. Similar to a humanoid, but taller and more slender. Based on the proportions of the zombies next to it, it was almost 3 meters tall and as thin as a large stick insect. Everyone subconsciously held their breath and looked at the camera carefully. Suddenly, a big pale face suddenly appeared in the camera, with an extremely weird smile on the corner of his mouth. Chapter 433 Take the Initiative Everyone was startled by the sudden appearance of the strange face, especially the timid woman, who couldn't help but scream. Zhou Kier and Yang Mi hugged Zhang Yi tightly and leaned against him desperately, because this is not a horror movie, but real zombies. The video also ended abruptly, leaving only a large snowflake on the screen. Everyone was shocked. 
including Zhang Yi. But it wasn't because he was afraid. It was simply because he didn't expect something like that to suddenly appear. Found. Zhang Yi said. But soon. He suddenly laughed. But this also showed that our judgment was correct. There are indeed intelligent creatures down there. The corpse king is there. I've found it. That big pale face is most likely the corpse king. If it is not killed. The crisis facing the shelter will not stop. Fatty Sue quickly asked. How can we kill that corpse king? There are too many zombies underground. We are fully armed and go in to clean them up. We don't know how long it will take to clean them up. Yang Xinxin also mentioned that the subway tunnels extend in all directions. And the corpse king has wisdom and will run away when he finds something is wrong. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and said in a deep voice that if he wants to do it, he must do it once and for all. Although there are many zombies, their combat effectiveness is limited. As long as we want to kill them, no matter how many they are, it won't be a problem. But they must be prevented from escaping. So we have to start with the subway. Liang Yu suggested that we could start from Song Zhuang and blow up the tunnel there. This also blocked the retreat of the corpse group. Our goal is just to kill the zombie king. If it can't run away, it's okay. As for other zombies, we have many ways to eliminate them. Uncle Yu crossed his arms and said to Zhang Yi with a smile. Zhang Yi, it's up to you to come up with an idea on what to do specifically. Anyway, there is no way to avoid this battle. Yes, this battle is unavoidable. If they don't take the initiative to fight, sooner or later those zombies will become more and more intelligent. After the zombies understand all their weaknesses, they will launch attacks tirelessly. Sooner or later, even this shelter, which is stronger than steel, will be breached. If there are too many ants, they can kill an elephant. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and leaned on the soft sofa, thinking about the feasibility of this approach. After a while, he said, Get ready. We will take action tomorrow. Night after night, the corpse king might become stronger. It's better to take the initiative to attack it before it grows up. This time the operation is still their main five-man group. All kinds of equipment are ready-made, including weapons, ammunition, gas masks, and supernatural food that Yang Mi makes every day. These things were enough to support them in a week-long continuous battle underground. Everyone nodded without any comments. They also don't want to waste time and effort cleaning up zombies every day. But Fatty Su looked at Zhang Yi and said worriedly, Boss, are you in such a hurry? This, it's not like your style. In the past, Zhang Yi was extremely steady no matter what he did. This time Zhang Yi's approach made Fatty Su feel a little rash. They don't know anything about the situation underground. So is it really appropriate to just dive in like this? What if something happens underground? I mean, we actually don't know much about what's going on underground. Maybe we underestimated the fighting power of the zombie swarm? Fatty Su, who was most afraid of death, was also the most cautious. He is even more cautious than Zhang Yi most of the time. But this is also his biggest weakness. Zhang Yi is a coward and Fatty Su is a coward. So Fatty Su will miss many opportunities. Zhang Yi smiled mysteriously, walked over and patted Fatty Su on the shoulder, giving him a confident smile. Don't worry. I won't make fun of everyone's life safety. I'm fully prepared. And you'll understand when the time comes. Fatty Sue saw Zhang Yi's eyes. It was as gentle as Jade and full of confidence. Fatty Sue's heart calmed down. And he asked the boss with a smile. Why is it so mysterious? Can't you tell us directly? Zhang Yi smiled and said. All you need to know is that I can help you escape even if you encounter the most dangerous situation. It's not convenient for him to talk about the specific aspects yet. Liang Yu tilted her head and looked at Zhang Yi. And suddenly seemed to understand something. I understand. If this is the case then we have nothing to worry about. Right? Yang Mi sat up from the sofa, smiled and said, I'll prepare some food for you. Zhang Yi nodded. Okay. The more, the merrier. Zhang Yi also slowly figured out Yang Mi's abilities. The superpower is poured into food, which can help strangers recover their superpowers. And the effect of helping ordinary people recover their physical strength is also very significant. However, if it is stored for up to a week, the superpower will disappear from the food. But after being placed in Zhang Yi's different space, this problem was perfectly solved. So until now, Zhang Yi asked Yang Mi to use up all his superpowers to make super food every day. He didn't know how much super food was stored in his super space. This is one of the reasons why he dared to take people and fight deep into the subway tunnels. On Zhang Yi's side, things are developing in a good direction. At least they even basically grasped the movement patterns of the zombies and confirmed the existence of such a thing as the Corpse King. 
But there are two sides to the story. The other forces are in dire straits. Due to the existence of the Corpse King, the Corpse Group has a very high ability to learn and evolve. With each round of attacks, their combat effectiveness is increasing. And they will adjust their fighting methods specifically according to the conditions of each force. Unlike Zhang Yi and others, the four major forces have a small number of people and follow the route of an elite team. They have too many surface buildings to defend and a large number of soldiers and labor slaves. On the contrary, they have no good way to deal with the constantly evolving zombies. The method you used to fight off zombies for the first time was no longer so useful the second time you used it. But the zombies are like locusts. They can't be killed no matter how hard they are killed. I spent a lot of energy to fight off a wave of attacks today. But when I opened my tired eyes the next day, they were coming again. Xiao Honglian and Xingtian Wei Dinghai were both distressed. They cannot give up their oil refineries and steel plants and seaport bases. Otherwise, abandon them and go to the underground base. Once the door is closed, the zombies will not be able to attack. But the problem is, those resources are their lifeblood. If they really give up, they will completely lose their qualifications to compete for supremacy in Tianhai City in the future. It is precisely because of this that they would rather bear the attacks of zombies every day than fight desperately. However, facing the zombies that can continue to evolve, their defense methods began to become weak. The fence allows zombies to learn to climb the wall, and the barbed wire will not cause much harm to the frozen zombies. Firearms are essentially useless and can only be destroyed with blunt objects and heavy firearms. Later, I basically relied on heavy firearms and the powerful combat power of aliens to destroy zombies. Gradually, Xiao Honglian and others also realized that something was wrong. These zombies are weird. Not like walking zombies, but like an organized and disciplined swarm of insects. Chapter 434 Heading to the Crypt The leaders of several major forces are not fools. Of course they know that what they encountered this time is not a brainless zombie. However, although they knew this situation, they were at a loss what to do. After all, just dealing with the attacks of the zombie hordes every day has already consumed a lot of their troops. Then separate some elites to investigate the nest of the corpses, not to mention how dangerous it is. Just by dividing the troops at this time, it would be difficult to deal with the base camp if it was attacked. Therefore, even if Xing Tian and Wei Dinghai knew that this was not a long-term solution, they did not dare to send troops to investigate rashly. But Xiao Hong dared to practice. She has always been fiery and daring to fight. When she was still working at the Tianhai City Police Department, she relied on this and her father as a high-level leader to get promoted. We cannot sit still and wait for death. If this continues, in less than a month, we will have to abandon the refinery and go underground to avoid the tide of corpses. Xiao Honglian was sitting on a steel pipe, covered in blood. They had just repelled a wave of zombie attacks. Relying on her powerful purgatory furnace ability and Yang Sheng Base's huge energy bank, they were able to eliminate the zombies faster than other forces. But this kind of continuous harassment and the increasingly smart zombies made her feel deeply uneasy just like Shang Yi. She is also afraid that the zombies will become smarter and smarter. Until one day, they will be unable to deal with it. Even at that time, hiding underground could not avoid the fate of being killed by the zombies. Shuga Qingting walked over. His white combat uniform was also dripping with blood. However, he still stood upright and saluted Xiao Honglian with a standard military salute. Leader, all the zombies have been cleaned up. If these things are burned, they will die completely. However, we also lost 67 warriors and slaves. Xiao Honglian raised his head and glanced at him, his fiery red eyes exuding a sharp light, which was the lingering aftertaste of her ability. We have to change our approach. You can't be passive defensive all the time. Xu Ve Qingting's pupil shrank. What do you mean? Should we take the initiative to go to the zombie's lair? Xiao Honglian nodded. It was obvious that someone was controlling the zombie's actions. Maybe it's a stranger. Or some other intelligent creature. In short, we must obtain enough intelligence to know how to completely resolve this crisis. Xu Ve Qingting frowned. But it was too dangerous to do so. We have no idea how big the horde is. If you rush to investigate, your entire army may be wiped out. The situation of other companies is not optimistic either. We might as well wait and see for a while. Maybe they can find a way to solve this problem. Xiao Honglian sneered. Look at the scale of this zombie tide. I don't think they will be too relaxed. Especially the snow worship cult. Those idiots actually gathered tens of thousands of people. Just collecting lunch for the zombies. We can't rely on anyone. They just want us to die. If you want to rely on it, you have to rely on yourself. Xu Ting could not refute Xiao Honglian's words. 
It is obviously irrational to place our hopes on hostile forces. This is what Xiao Hong decided to do when she grew taller. Let Dong Hu take two strangers and thirty elite soldiers to investigate the zombies' lair. The snow-worshipping sect is actually having the most uneventful life here. They have too many followers, most of whom are ordinary people, although they can survive until now in the apocalypse. They all have a certain ability to save their lives, but their little fighting power is not enough when facing creatures like zombies. They may not be afraid of death, but they don't want to die. How could a person with this kind of mentality possibly defeat a dead monster? Even though Zheng Yixian organized everyone to be on guard, every time the zombies came, a large number of believers would die in the mouths of the zombies. Slowly, the congregation began to feel dissatisfied. Priest Wu Huan found Zheng Yixian and told him about some rhythms he had heard recently. Now the number of dead members of the congregation has reached more than 1,000. Those infected congregants may also mutate. This severely shaken the faith of the new arrivals. If this continues, something will happen. After hearing this, Zheng Yixian's face didn't show any emotion. He put his hands behind his back and said calmly that it didn't matter. They just had some complaints and didn't dare to take any substantive actions. In the past few days, you have arranged for some of our people to spread news among the congregation. Just tell them that almost all the survivors in the outside world have been killed by zombies. Without the protection of the snow worship cult, they had no chance to fight back when the zombies attacked. Moreover, other forces were retreating steadily in the face of the zombie tide. With more casualties. Even close to the edge of collapse. Um, let's just say that more than half of the people from other forces have died. Wu Huan's eyes lit up after listening to Zhang Yixian's words. This is wonderful. There is no harm without contrast. As long as they think that there are corpses everywhere outside, they will feel that their current life is not bad. Then, there will be no complaints against our snow worship cult. Zhang Yixian glanced at him with a faint smile on his lips. The reason why they still complain is because they are not pious enough to the snow worship cult. Their education must also be accelerated to make them devout believers. In this way, they will understand that they should be secretly happy to join the snow worship cult at this time. Wu Huan clapped his hands excitedly. It has to be you. Hi, priest. I understand. I will arrange for someone to do it right away. Among the new believers, they arrange some old believers to be responsible for teaching them doctrines and brainwashing them. For religion, this is an essential procedure. On the other side, Zhang Yi brought the most powerful combat force in the entire shelter and was ready to enter the subway passage to find the mysterious corpse king. For people and one cat, all armed to the teeth. Now all their equipment has been upgraded. The combat uniforms everyone wears are versions modified by Liu Karen. It has extremely strong defensive capabilities and can even withstand bullets from small sniper rifles. Not to mention the zombie's bite which is not even a tickle for it. In order to cope with a long battle, everyone also carries a large amount of supernatural food. As for other supplies, there is no need to carry them, because they have always stayed in Zhang Yi's different space. They can be easily taken out at any time if they want to use them. Having a space-based teammate beside you is particularly convenient at any time. For people, and one cat took a vehicle to the entrance of CCU subway station. Looking at the dark cave entrance in front of him, Zhang Yi once again stated the battle plan to several people before setting off. Killing the corpse king is our primary goal this time. As long as I can find it, I'm 100% sure to kill it. In a narrow space like an underground tunnel, within 300 meters, divine power can destroy everything. But all this must be based on our personal safety. Don't go overboard and fight the zombies. No matter how many people you kill, there's no point in killing them. Everyone nodded, indicating that they understood very well. Then Zhang Yi took out a fluorescent stick from his waist, pulled off the cover, and threw it to the entrance of the cave. Soon, the blue glow stick fell to the ground, reflecting the black blood-stained ground around it. Uncle Yu, go down first, Zhang Yi said to Uncle Yu. As the tank with the strongest defense in the team, it is safest for Uncle Yu to go down. Uncle Yu slid down the cave without saying a word. After a few seconds, he landed on the ground and looked around cautiously. Through the tactical eyepiece, he did not see any biological reaction, and then informed Zhang Yi through the communication device that it was safe below and he could come over. Only then did Zhang Yi and the others slide down the cave. After everyone landed on the ground, they observed the surrounding scene. They haven't arrived in the subway yet. This is just the entrance to the subway. Through the night vision function of the tactical goggles, the underground scenes are clearly presented in front of everyone. Although they had experienced many big scenes, the scene in front of them still made them feel a little creepy. 
There were black blood stains everywhere on the wall. And there were even internal organs stuck to the wall. The feet were sticky, with torn internal organs and black blood, mixed with soil, exuding an extremely fishy smell. Fortunately, they were wearing tactical helmets that filtered out the bad smell. Let's go! Zhang Yi took a deep breath and said in a deep voice, The second canal is the terminal station. As long as you go forward along here, you can find traces of the corpses. The corpse king's wisdom is not very high, and he is still growing. So he won't hide it too deeply, and should be able to find it. As they move forward, a large number of mutilated skeletons gradually appeared in the dark subway. The stumps and broken arms had no flesh and blood on them, and were covered with fine tooth marks. They should be bones that have been chewed by zombies. Everyone walked past the corpses, and Fatty Sue said in a broken voice, I'm very curious. If they ate these corpses, why didn't they choose to infect them into zombies as well? Zhang Yi held the rifle in his hand, carefully observed the surroundings, and replied, The instinct of zombies is just to eat. While infection is a passive ability, I think they were probably too hungry. So they ate more. You can't expect corpses that have been chewed into bones to mutate. Right, Fatty Sue said. It can be seen that they have a big appetite. After all, judging from the way they move, they must need to eat a lot. He suddenly asked out of curiosity. What do you guys think? There are more dead people than living people in Tianhai City. If there are more than 10 million zombies, wouldn't there be nothing to eat? Zhang Yi's footsteps paused. And Liang Yu and Uncle Yu also looked at each other. They had not considered this issue before. After all, they were all focusing on their own one-third of an acre of land. Yes, what will those zombies do if they don't get enough food? Will it spread from Tianhai City to other cities? Chapter 435 Shurat Zhang Yi picked up his steps again and walked forward. It's none of our business. Anyway, now we just need to make sure there are no zombies around the shelter. In the last days, there is no time to care about others. Fatty Su nodded and said so. A few people moved forward leisurely. Since they set off from the departure station, they don't need to worry about zombie attacks behind them. Just move forward step by step. And sooner or later you will be able to find the location of the corpses. They walked for a long time and saw densely packed corpses on the road. They were all withered bones and not even a trace of flesh and blood could be seen. Their teeth are so good. Even if you are chewing bones, you can't chew them so cleanly. Fatty Sue's talkative personality showed up again. Maybe everyone was silent, and the atmosphere was a bit tense. He wanted to liven up the atmosphere. Look at these bones. The meat between the bones has been chewed clean. Hey! No food is wasted at all. Uncle Yu replied casually that maybe it was rotten. Fatty Sue said, Uncle, how can meat rot in such a cold weather? Have you never eaten zombie meat? It can be frozen in a cold storage for a year or two. And then it can be sold. Damn. That's really disgusting. After Fatty Sue made such a joke, the atmosphere among the few people became less tense. Wawa walked in the front with her tail hanging down. The sense of smell of cats is much stronger than that of humans. So it is the main force in searching for corpses. A few people were walking when suddenly the flowery eyes in front of them widened like bells. And they began to whimper in a low voice. Vigilantly. Notice. Johnny immediately raised the gun in his hand. There was a dark shadow in front of him. Before Zhang Yi could shoot, Liang Yu suddenly pulled out a short knife from his waist and threw it with his backhand. The knife struck a black shadow like lightning and nailed it to the ground. Zhang Yi put down his gun and tried his best not to fire at this time, so as not to alert the enemy. Several people walked over cautiously, and when they saw what the thing looked like clearly, everyone gasped. The thing stuck by Liang Yu with a short knife was a gray rodent. It is gray all over and looks like a puppy at first glance. But when they saw its slender tail and long mouth, everyone recognized that it was a huge rat. What a rat! This is bigger than a cat! Fatty Sue was so frightened that he wanted to eat his hand. Yes, this mouse is twice as big as Hua Hua. Zhang Yi took a deep breath. Mutant rat. Not surprisingly. Normal mice can grow to the size of a cat if they have enough food. But the mouse in front of me was obviously too big. And it must have mutated. Zhang Yi thought of the corpses he saw along the way and suddenly realized that the corpses we saw before were all eaten by rats. Fatty Sue recalled it and murmured that with so many corpses, there must be a group of rats here. As soon as these words came out, a layer of gloom appeared in everyone's hearts. Especially Liang Yu. The expression on his face was a bit wrong. Although she is a martial arts master with a strong personality, girls still instinctively hate things like mice. What if a group of rats really showed up? At this moment, Hua Hua suddenly stretched her neck 
and let out a shrill cry. Meow. The deep voice was full of intimidation. A voice that would only be made when encountering a strong enemy. At the same time, in the long and narrow tunnel, squeaking sounds came from every corner, echoing continuously in the tunnel. Now we have really entered a rat's nest, Johnny said helplessly. From every corner, a large number of giant rats emerged like water. They are as small as normal size, and as big as kittens and puppies. Among the gray rats, there are even white rats as huge as piglets. Disgusting. Leon you couldn't help shouting, and the hair on her body stood up. Johnny noticed, however, that the eyes of the mice were filled with a strange red color. It is said that these are the eyes of a beast that has eaten human flesh. You don't need to think about it to know what these gloomy sewer creatures feed on to survive to this day. Well, what kept making threatening whining sounds, and the hair all over her body exploded. Although cats are the natural enemies of mice, if the numbers are completely unequal, this deterrent effect will be difficult to have a substantial effect. Johnny said, Clean them up first. Although I came to kill the corpse king, it is obvious that I can't avoid this situation. So let's kill him. Uncle Yu and Fatty Sue each had a flamethrower and opened fire one after the other. Killing zombies is killing. Killing mice is killing. Fortunately, although these mice have mutated, they are not as scary as zombies. After the flames burned thousands of rats to death, the rats that followed were immediately frightened and retreated outside the range of the flames. But this vicious creature did not leave, but stared at Zhang Yi and the others in the shadows. As soon as the flame goes out, they will rush over immediately. In the darkness, there were shadows of mice everywhere, so densely packed that I don't know how many there were. If this continues, I don't know when they will be resolved. Not to mention looking for the Rat King. Zhang Yi frowned and told Fatty Su and Uncle Yu to put away the flamethrower. When the two heard this, although they didn't know what Zhang Yi was planning to do, they still stopped immediately. As soon as the flames were extinguished, the rats made a piercing cry and immediately rushed in like two gray rivers. Zhang Yi stood in the middle of the tunnel, spreading his hands forward and back. Double doors. The next moment, two huge dimensional gates stood directly on both sides of the tunnel, blocking the entire tunnel. The rats poured into the different space one after another, and none of them could rush to several people. Liang Yi breathed a sigh of relief and patted his strong chest hard. However, several of them looked at Zhang Yi curiously. Your dimensional door. Upgraded? Zhang Yi said that I have been studying the use of dimensional gates. After the last war, I have been able to use two dimensional gates at the same time. It's quite convenient. Leon Yu said. Being able to unfold two doors gives you two invincible directions for defense. Although it still cannot reach absolute defense. In a big melee, the improvement can be far more than doubled. For example, under the current terrain, it is an absolute defense. The rats swarmed into the extra-dimensional space crazily. This cunning creature looked at the disappearing kind in front of it and slowly discovered the smell of danger. However, the group of rats in front wanted to stop, but they were forced forward by the group of rats behind them and squeezed into a different space. In this way, they made a miserable wailing sound to alert the others behind them. After paying the price of who knows how many mice, the subsequent mice also sensed the crisis and stopped moving forward. They looked at Zhang Yi and others in the center of the tunnel with fear, like a gray river cut off in the middle. Among the rats, a giant rat covered in white hair screamed rapidly. Then all the giant rats quickly turned around and began to retreat. After a while, the mouse in the shadow completely disappeared. They also knew that they had encountered a powerful enemy and did not dare to attack again. Chapter 436 Peeping After repelling the rats, several people walked forward as usual. It's just that some rats that look relatively big may be a bit of a threat to ordinary people. But among the group of people who came today, which one is not a powerful stranger? Therefore, Zhang Yi and others were not affected much. It's just that Zhang Yi is a little worried about whether the zombies will be alert if these rats make such a fuss. Liang Yi frowned. These rats and zombies were all located underground. What kind of relationship was there? Who knows? Keep going. Zhang Yi doesn't have time to think too much now. The underground space didn't feel good, and he didn't want to stay there any longer. Several people move forward and move faster. It's just that they can always feel that there are countless pairs of eyes peering at them in the dark. These dark underground creatures have not given up completely and are waiting for an opportunity to attack them. Zhang Yi had no intention of paying attention to them. It wasn't until he found the torn and shattered combat uniform in a corner of the tunnel that he felt a little scared. Their teeth are so powerful that they can bite through ordinary combat uniforms. It's better to keep some distance from them. Fatty Su asked worriedly, Will this rat hold a grudge? 
If they follow us out then, we will be in trouble. Probably not for the time being. It's damp and warm underground. But it's freezing cold outside. These rats are not arctic lemmings. Even if they can tolerate the cold, they are not stupid enough to come several kilometers away to cause trouble for us. In the subway tunnel outside Yangsheng base, Dong who came here with a group of elite soldiers to investigate intelligence. But not long after they advanced, they were attacked by rats. Crazy rats surrounded them from all sides, rushing toward them with red eyes and roars. The sharp teeth were like knives, piercing their protective clothing. Ah! These rats are monsters. Be careful not to get bitten by them. They can bite through our protective clothing. The soldiers screamed one after another and had to use flamethrowers and rifles to kill the rats frantically. The three strangers headed by Dong who did not dare to hold back and roared to activate their abilities. Dong whose ability is Flame Fist. His fists can release raging flames in a way that releases high temperature flames that can instantly burn a group of rats to ashes. After more than 10 minutes of fighting, they finally managed to repel the rats. But eight of his soldiers had already died under the sharp teeth of the mutated giant rat. Many soldiers were seriously injured. Dong whose face was full of gloom. Not long after they entered the underground tunnel, they were beaten to such a miserable state by the mutated giant rats before they could find the group of corpses. A soldier opened the giant rat's mouth and couldn't help but gasp when he saw the huge rodent glowing with cold light. There is such a monster underground. If they also ran to the base, they would probably be more difficult to deal with than zombies. Dong who had a gloomy face. And after a moment of silence, he said, Let's move on! Our goal is to find the corpses and gain information about them. Until then, we have to overcome whatever difficulties we encounter. Even if he is allowed to go back now, he has no shame to see Xiao Honglian. Zhang Yi sighed. After finishing dealing with the rats, several people walked along for a long time and passed two more stations. Finally, when they arrived at the third subway station, they discovered a group of corpses. They did not hide, nor did they attack a few people. Instead, they lay densely packed together in the tunnel like people who had died in their sleep. Looking around, the depths of the long and narrow tunnel are full of zombies. They are sleeping. Uncle Yu lowered his voice and said, This makes sense. Zhang Yi said in a low voice that even as the host of the virus, actions require energy. So when they don't get orders, they lurk and rest in the dark. How about Uncle Yu raising the flamethrower in his hand? Do you want to burn them all? Zhang Yi looked at the densely packed sleeping zombies and recalled what Joe Kier said. These zombies retain part of their biological nature. Strictly speaking, they are more like a swarm of insects. In this case, they also need to rest and fall into a deep sleep. If they can fall into a deep sleep and never wake up, there is no need to wake them. Zhang Yi's thoughts are beautiful, but the reality is always very cruel. Not long after they appeared here, a sleeping zombie suddenly opened its eyes. More and more zombies climbed up from the ground, their twisted bodies standing upright in a strange posture. When they saw a living person in front of them, they roared hoarsely and swarmed around like crazy. Sure enough, it's not that easy. Now there is some trouble. Zhang Yi frowned. And instead of letting Uncle, you use the flamethrower. He opened the dimensional gate to block the way. Although this can clean up these ordinary zombies. But it will definitely attract the attention of the Corpse King deep in the tunnel. If you want to kill the Corpse King again, the difficulty will undoubtedly become even greater. A large group of zombies rushed into the dimensional gate one after another. When Liang Yu and others saw the scene, their eyes were full of envy. In terms of defense alone, Zhang Yi's attribute points are almost maxed out. And this ability is almost impossible to solve except by using excessive energy attacks to forcibly break it. The tide of corpses continued to pour in. But suddenly, they all stopped as if they had received some kind of order. It's so neat that it makes people feel as if someone suddenly pressed the pause button. Then, the zombie group actually stopped outside the scope of the dimensional gate and let out disgusting and unpleasant screams towards Zhang Yi and others. The corpse king has discovered us, Zhang Yi said in a deep voice. In this case, there is no need to keep it. Burn them. Uncle Yu and Fatty Su came over and pointed their flamethrowers directly at the group of corpses. In a long and narrow tunnel, the flamethrower can exert its maximum power. Two fire dragons more than 10 meters long covered dozens of zombies in front. And the flame suddenly burned. After the zombies were burned, their bodies suddenly twisted and made crackling sounds. The flames began to spread toward the rear. And soon hundreds of zombies were covered by the fire. The zombies that followed actually began to slowly retreat, leaving the range covered by the flames. Zhang Yi's eyes were full of caution. And he said in a deep voice that the corpse king is not far from here. 
chase after him. He put away the dimensional gate and led a few people to chase deep into the depths. The road ahead has been completely blocked by a dense group of corpses. They made disgusting howls. But they did not dare to rush over and attack Shang-Yi and others. Instead, they slowly retreated. Since there are so many zombies, using the flamethrower is particularly refreshing. Just like making a barbecue. There is no way. Zhang Yi's space ability is too abnormal. It completely restrains the ability of the zombie swarm, making it completely impossible for the zombies that attack by biting to take advantage of their group combat advantages. This even gives people the illusion that these zombies are very weak. However, no one would have such an idea again if they had witnessed the scenes of them wreaking havoc among the four major forces. Chapter 437 Shadow Call Call The flamethrower continued to spray out raging flames lighting up the tunnel and burning the zombies in front of it into ashes. The corpses retreated in fear. Faced with Zhang Yi's perverted ability, they were completely powerless to fight back. But the expression on Zhang Yi's face didn't show much joy. For him, there is no sense of accomplishment in killing these ordinary zombies. What he wants to kill is the corpse king who secretly controls the corpses. If the zombie king is not dead, it can continuously create such zombies. However, the movement here was obviously discovered by the corpse king it will be even more difficult to find its location. But here comes the time. Johnny has to try it no matter what. Relying on the bug-level defense capabilities of the dimensional gate, Johnny led several people to fight through it. Wawa and Leon Yu didn't even have a chance to take action. However, Leon Yu looked behind him from time to time. She reminded Johnny Dao that those giant rats were still staring at us from behind. The rats in the damn sewers can hide in the cracks of all kinds of corners. There are probably more of them than zombies and they can't be killed all. Zhang Yi said in a deep voice not to worry about them for the time being. We must find the location of the corpse king as soon as possible and kill it to avoid future troubles. Leon Yu said, but the advancement speed is still too slow. There are too many zombies in the passage. At a glance, the end of the tunnel is densely packed with surging heads. At this rate, I don't know if it will be burned until the year of the monkey. Zhang Yi said it doesn't matter. We just keep moving forward. This time, Supplies and supernatural food are well prepared. And we can fight a tug of war with them. Liang Yu couldn't help but widen her beautiful eyes. Only then did she realize that Zhang Yi had already been prepared for a protracted war. And she hadn't considered this situation at all at first. Playing the long game in the tunnel? This. Liang Yu felt that Zhang Yi's approach was a bit risky. This is very inconsistent with Zhang Yi's usual style of doing things. Because the deeper you go, the harder it will be to escape if you encounter a crisis later. But Zhang Yi's confident look made Liang Yu swallow the words in her throat again. She cautiously held the Tang Dao and stood on the left side of Zhang Yi. As a top martial arts master, with her around, it would be impossible for any enemy to surprise Zhang Yi from secret. Another half hour passed, and the group killed countless zombies. Those zombies were only meant to be slaughtered and had no way of fighting back. Zhang Yi's maintenance of the dimensional gate is cost free, and he doesn't even need to take supernatural food to replenish his powers. Gradually, they discovered that the zombies were escaping faster. As if realizing that there was no way to kill the invading enemy, the corpse king began to gather his troops. The number of zombies is low, so we can speed up a bit. Uncle Yu said to Zhang Yi. Fatty Su was a little excited. Maybe the corpse king had escaped along the subway. In that case, we only need to blow up the subway and we can avoid future troubles forever. Zhang Yi doesn't think so. You think too wonderfully. The subway is not closed. There are many subway entrances at regular intervals. If you want to completely block this place, you must blow up the entire subway tunnel. Do you think it's possible? Fatty Sue looked a little embarrassed. It was indeed not realistic. The length of the subcanal line is more than 20 kilometers. I don't know how much explosives it will take to blow it up. It would be more practical to kill all the zombies here. On the Yangsheng Bay Survey Corps side, they are currently inside the Rongchang Line subway tunnel. After experiencing the attack of the rats, they lost some of their soldiers, and then moved forward with difficulty. Finally, they found the corpses sleeping in the subway. Dong whose pupils shrank sharply. Retreat. Retreat quickly. When the zombies smelled the scent of living people, they opened their eyes one by one and stood up from their deep sleep. It was so densely packed that it seemed like there were zombies everywhere from this side of the subway to the end. Maybe tens of thousands. Or maybe hundreds of thousands. It even gives people the feeling that all the dead people in Tianhai City were dragged to the subway by the corpse king and turned into such terrifying zombies. Run quickly and don't look back. Dong who punched out hard. 
and the raging flames ignited a dozen zombies in front of him. But behind them, a large number of zombies pushed away the zombies in front, and then rushed over like crazy. All flamethrowers and grenade sprayers were used. The Survey Corps knew that zombies were afraid of fire. So when they arrived, all members were equipped with these weapons, relying on the power of their weapons. They slowed down the attack of the zombies. We can only retreat first. This scale is more than ten times larger than the group of corpses that attacked us a few days ago. There is no need to fight. Dong Hu and other scalps were numb. And the number of zombies in front of them exceeded their imagination. Although they were mentally prepared in advance. They were still shocked when they actually encountered it. Retreat quickly, and our firearms can delay them for a while. Escape from the nearest subway entrance. Quickly. Quick. Quick. Dong who commanded loudly and calmly. They are not here to die, but to collect intelligence. Therefore, when encountering a horde of corpses that is impossible to defeat, you must flee decisively. But at this moment, a soldier using a flamethrower suddenly opened his eyes. He pointed at the huge shadow that appeared in front of him. What is this? Not only him, but everyone in the survey corps saw the huge figure behind the wall of fire. It actually stepped across the raging flames in one step, revealing a ferocious head that was three times the size of a normal human being. Roar. The soldiers at the front were torn apart in an instant. Even Dong Hu and other strangers fell into deep despair when they saw it. This is bad? Zhang Yi and his party chased the corpses all the way. And the entire tunnel was filled with flames. They wore special combat uniforms and walked through the flames and burning corpses without being affected in any way. The zombie groups are also retreating rapidly. And their numbers are slowly decreasing. Zhang Yi and others passed through the tunnel and suddenly came to an open place. Arrived at a new site again. Only then did Johnny understand why the zombies dissipated so quickly. This is a transfer station. And zombies can quickly disperse to other passages. Now there is some trouble. Without a transfer station. We can't figure out the exact location of the corpse king. So. How do we determine where to go? Fatty Sue looked around helplessly. Like a headless fly. But I have a feeling. Johnny suddenly spoke. His eyes were like knives scanning the surrounding sharply. That thing is not far away from us. Just as he finished speaking, there was a sudden sound of heavy footsteps coming from the surrounding tunnel. Click, click, click. Boom. 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 As if stepping on corpses. He walked towards them heavily and slowly. The sound echoed in the dark tunnel. As if coming from all directions at the same time. Making people wonder what exactly was approaching and how many there were. Here they come. Chapter 438 Bronze Armored Corpse Boom, 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 deep in the subway. A dull sound suddenly sounded from all around. Zhang Yi and others looked a little grim. The sound sounded like some terrible monster breaking out of its cage. Careful, the big one is coming. Zhang Yi reminded everyone. Fatty Su couldn't help but swallowed. Then picked up the flamethrower in his hand and looked around cautiously. Could it be that the corpse tide that they had defeated steadily just now was making a comeback? It's fine, Uncle Yu said. No matter how many of those things come. We can kill them all. They have already seen the fighting power of the zombie swarm. Although he is much stronger than ordinary people. He is not good enough compared with top aliens like them. Besides. They were well prepared. Whether it is weapons. Ammunition or supernatural food. They are enough to deal with large scale corpse groups. But at this moment. Wawa suddenly howled. Meow. The voice was full of caution. It was as if he had encountered some terrible enemy. Wawa's combat power is very powerful. Especially when she becomes gigantic. Her combat power is still higher than that of Uncle Yu. When it is so alert, it means that the opponent it encounters is very dangerous. Zhang Yi's eyes were solemn. He whispered to himself, Could it be that the Corpse King has appeared? Corpse King. These two words bring huge pressure to everyone. Although no one has seen it. A terrifying existence that can control thousands or even tens of thousands of zombies is definitely an extremely difficult and ruthless character. No one knows how powerful it is. What kind of abilities will it have? I don't even know if it is a human mutation or an extremely powerful zombie. At this time, at the end of the corridor ahead, the dull sound was getting closer and closer. A dark shadow slowly appeared. It captured everyone's attention as soon as it appeared. In the darkness, a tall and thin creature that looked like a giant stick insect was slowly walking towards the crowd. After Zhang Yi saw its appearance clearly, his pupils couldn't help but shrink sharply. What he saw was not a human figure. Instead, it is a monster with a humanoid form and covered with bronze-colored hard skin. In the dark shadow, it was at least three meters tall. 
with two long arms hanging down to the ground. There is not a trace of excess fat on the body. It is all disgusting and ugly dark red muscles, wrapped in bronze hard skin. A triangular head with a pair of huge ears. The mouth is filled with gleaming fangs. The ferocious eyes have a pair of brown vertical pupils. The scary thing is that it actually has eight eyes. In addition to the head, there are six eyes on the arms and chest, which are constantly moving around. Although it has come to the end of the world, but no one has ever seen such a terrifying monster. For a while, they couldn't tell whether it was a mutated corpse or a mutated form of some special creature. But from the muscles all over its body and its huge size, it can be seen that it must be very difficult to mess with. Uncle, you couldn't help but asked, could this be the corpse king? No one else had a chance to answer his question. Three more identical monsters appeared from the other three directions. These four things are almost like quadruplets, except for slight differences in body size. They look almost identical. This thing, is it mass produced? There is absolutely no way it was born naturally. Zhang Yi's heart was beating wildly, and he immediately realized that there must be some huge conspiracy hidden in this. The birth of the zombie swarm is definitely not an accident. There must be human factors in it. And just behind these four monsters, the corpse group reappeared. They gathered around the four bronze armored corpses and stared at the crowd with faint eyes. Zombies are surrounded from all directions. And there is no way to escape. They are so densely packed that I can't even count how many there are. That horrible sense of oppression. They are people who have experienced hundreds of battles. I also felt a bit of pressure. Fatty Su's face turned pale. These things don't look like ordinary zombies. Zhang Yi's eyebrows stood up. He said coldly, I understand. It turns out these guys have been leading us this way. Their purpose is to surround us and annihilate us. Even though he had known for a long time that the Corpse King was wise. But Zhang Yi never expected that it would actually use tricks. Zhang Yi's evaluation of the Corpse King was a little higher. This kind of thing can control a large number of corpses and has high enough intelligence. If it is allowed to continue to grow, it will definitely be a nightmare for the entire Tianhai city. No. It will definitely be a nightmare for all mankind. Zhang Yi. What should I do? Uncle Lu asked. Zhang Yi sneered and said what else can he do now? I can only fight. Because it is in an open area. Zhang Yi's double doors cannot play their maximum role at this time. But even without the ability to double doors. They are all good fighters themselves. Uncle Yu and Fatty Su held up flamethrowers and sprayed them at the surrounding zombies. Liang Yi pulled out her long sword. At this time. She finally had a place to use it. Zhang Yi said cautiously. Leon Yu Hua You two stay by my side and don't stay too far away. There are too few of us now and we need to stay together. Leon Yu nodded. She knew that Zhang Yi was not particularly strong in close combat and needed someone to protect him. Needless to say, Hua has always followed Zhang Yi closely. In the shelter, the person closest to Hua is always Zhang Yi. At this time, the four huge monsters were approaching step by step. They are protected by armor-like skin. It exudes a dark yellow light. Seeing them, Zhang Yi couldn't help but think that there was such a saying in the movies he had seen before. Among the zombies is a particularly powerful bronze-armored zombie. Its whole body is like steel and iron bones. And even swords and guns cannot break its defense. These special monsters in front of you may be mutated corpses. Or they may be the product of some other method. But seeing that they can command other zombies, you know that they must be very powerful. Capture the thief first and capture the king. Zhang Yi said to everyone. Get rid of the four bronze armored corpses first. And the other zombies will be easy to deal with later. Clear. Everyone said. At this time. The corpse group also started to move. The four bronze armored corpses let out a menacing roar. Causing the entire underground passage to tremble. The zombies behind them also followed them. Raising their heads and letting out a deafening roar. Roar. The group of corpses suddenly began to rush over charging towards Zhang Yi and the others in a very decisive manner. Even at this time, the giant rats that had been lurking in the dark for a long time began their actions. These giant rats with red eyes wanted to devour Zhang Yi and others. And the group of corpses rushed towards Zhang Yi and others as if they didn't even care about their lives. They have no intelligence at all. And all their actions are under the command of the corpse king. At this time, the corpse king planned to use their bodies to cause trouble for Zhang Yi and others. I'm afraid the real trump card is the four huge bronze armored corpses. But at this time, Zhang Yi and others had no other choice. They had been tricked by the corpse king into this open area. So Zhang Yi's double doors were unable to function perfectly. Now all the passages around them are blocked. And they can only fight here. 
Zhang Yi fought such a battle for the first time since the end of the world, putting himself in a desperate situation without any means of escape. But there was no fear in his eyes at this time. He has never encountered more difficult situations than this. And every time he was able to save the day. Roar! The group of corpses rushed forward. The dense numbers and the giant rats running at the feet of the corpses made people even more uneasy. Uncle Lu and Fatty Sue both had tense faces. They were very nervous. But the flamethrower in their hands also sprayed out raging flames, burning towards the zombies and giant rats. But this time, the corpses no longer retreated, but ran toward them like moss to a flame. Even if they die, they will die on the way to Zhang Yi and everyone. This is the order given to them by the corpse king. Just as Zhang Yi thought, zombies have no fear and are not afraid of death. The reason why they retreated when things went wrong was because the corpse king was behind them. But now the corpse king needs to use them to create chaos, break the formation of Zhang Yi and others, and create opportunities for the bronze armored corpse. But everyone present is a top-notch alien. They won't sit still and wait for death. In the darkness, the samurai sword in Liang Yu's hand flew as quickly as the moonlight. After absorbing Mad Dog's superpower, her strength has also been greatly improved. Sun Han's sword glowed with blue light, and the sword glow spread out to be more than three meters long. The sword light intertwined into a network in the air, cutting up the zombies in all directions and turning them into broken corpses. The flamethrowers of Uncle Yu and Fatty Sue also formed two powerful firepower nets, surrounding the zombies. Hua Hua and Zhang Yi have not made any big moves for the time being. Although Hua Hua is also very powerful in combat, now it must protect Zhang Yi's safety. Zhang Yi was not in a hurry to take action, because his ability was mainly defensive, and it was not easy to use it in such a situation. In addition to his divine power, his only means of attack are the rifles and explosives in his hands. Therefore, he could only pick up the rifle in his hand and attack the zombie's legs violently. The rifle bullets powered by supernatural power shattered the legs of the zombies into pieces, hindering their movements. Although there is no way to effectively kill them, you could also make them incapacitated and unable to get close to you. As for those rats that were as big as kittens and puppies, they were immediately turned into meat, be it zombies or giant rats. None of them can pose a real threat to powerful aliens such as Zhang Yi. So not long after, the four powerful bronze armored corpses also joined the battle group. A bronze armored corpse picked up the two zombies at hand and smashed them on the heads of Zhang Yi and others. Chapter 439 The Power of Divine Power A bronze armored corpse opened its huge palms, picked up the zombies next to it, and threw them at Zhang Yi and the others like bricks. Several other bronze armored zombies followed suit and threw the zombies over Zhang Yi and the others' heads. This attack from above makes things a bit tricky for others. Zhang Yi calmly opened the dimensional gate directly above his head. All the zombies fell into the different space one after another, without hitting anyone. The four bronze armored corpses were stunned for a moment when they saw this. But soon, they ran over from the zombies with their legs spread out and attacked Zhang Yi and the others. Fatty Su turned pale with fright. He could not use his powers underground now, and could only rely on the flamethrower in his hand to maintain his fighting power. In his direction, a bronze armored corpse more than three meters high ran towards him. Fatty Su looked at the huge and tough body of the bronze armored corpse. He felt that the bronze armored corpse could tear him to pieces with just one claw. Ah! Fatty Su roared and fired the flame gun to its maximum firepower, spraying wildly at the bronze armored corpse. However, a scene that shocked everyone occurred. The intense heat from the flamethrower sprayed onto the bronze armored corpse. But it didn't even ignite the bronze armored corpse. It didn't even leave any trace on its bronze skin. The bronze armored corpse was holding the flames. But its movements were slightly slowed down. It opened its big hands impatiently. Picked up a few zombies from the side and threw them at Fatty Su. At this time, the bronze armored corpse was already very close. Fatty Su was startled. And there was a delay in the movements of his hands. Seeing the bronze armored corpse approaching, Zhang Yi opened his arms and finally used his secret defense technique double doors. Two extremely huge dimensional doors directly blocked the front and rear of the passage, making it impossible for zombies from these two directions to attack them. But as a result, Zhang Yi's dimensional gatekeeper had no way to deal with other attacks. In this open place, there are still a large number of zombies and two huge bronze armored corpses in other directions around it. There seemed to be a pair of eyes staring at Zhang Yi and the others. The moment John Yi opened the double doors, the zombies in the two directions quickly stopped their movements. The zombies in other directions accelerated their pace, roaring and rushing towards John Yi and the others. Damn it. There must be a corpse king commanding behind this. Unfortunately, we can't kill these zombies now. 
So how can we kill the corpse king? Uncle Yu said with an angry look. At this moment, Zhang Yi's calm voice sounded in his ears. Don't be anxious. At times like this, you need to be calm and observe carefully. We can definitely find the corpse king. It's nearby. I can feel it. Although the current situation seems very dangerous, Zhang Yi understands that as long as he can kill the corpse king, all problems will be solved. Most of the zombies that attacked were blocked by him with double doors. And Liang Yu and others should be able to deal with the remaining half. Sure enough, at this time, the two remaining bronze armored corpses, along with a large number of zombies and giant rats, rushed towards Zhang Yi and the others. Uncle Yu and Fatty Su had to put down the flamethrowers in their hands. If they used the flamethrowers at this time, it would be easy to hurt themselves. Dry. Uncle Yu activated his skills and transformed into a strong man more than two meters tall. He rushed over and collided with a rushing bronze armored corpse. Boom! The bronze armored corpse is even bigger than Uncle Yu. After the two people collided, their strength was indistinguishable for a moment. Like two Yokozuna level sumo wrestlers wrestling. When I looked carefully, I realized that the bronze armored corpse was even larger in strength and size. But its skills are a bit clumsy. And it only knows some simple fighting postures. In comparison, Uncle Yu, who has been practicing martial arts for many years in the army, is far ahead of him in terms of combat skills. Relying on this advantage, Uncle Yu and the bronze armored corpse fought together. The other bronze armored corpse was blocked by Liang Yu holding a long knife. Liang Yu's sword emitted a blue light and flashed directly in the air. The bronze armored corpse didn't react. And a long knife mark suddenly appeared on his chest. Poof! A deep crack appeared in the bronze armor. And then a blue viscous liquid slowly seeped out. The bronze armored corpse took two steps back. And Liang Yu also took five steps back. There was a hint of surprise in the eyes of both parties. Liang Yu did not expect that his full blow did not cut the zombie into two pieces but only broke its surface skin. You know, now she can split even a chariot with a single blow of her full strength. The bronze armored corpse, whose metal like solid sh. I was cut open and viscous body fluids leaked out. Also let out an angry roar. It looked at Liang Yu with some fear, but still rushed forward without hesitation. Two huge claws were spread out, and the long claws were like ten sharp knives, exuding a cold light. This thing is really hard to deal with. As Liang Yu spoke, he rushed toward the bronze armored corpse again with his knife. But the opponents they need to face now are not just bronze armored corpses. There are also countless dense zombies and giant rats coming from all directions in the passage. Even if Liang Yu and Uncle Yu could fight back and forth with the bronze armored corpse, they might even gain the upper hand. But they couldn't deal with this massive amount of zombies and giant rats at the same time. At this critical moment, Zhang Yi said to Huawa, Huawa, go help Uncle Yu. After getting Zhang Yi's order, Wawa ran over decisively and joined the battle group. With its help, the group of corpses in Uncle Yu's direction were quickly cleared. Wawa, who transformed into a chariot, struck in this long and narrow passage, killing the corpses at a speed that could be described as terrifying. He had been told by Zhang Yi not to bite those zombies with his mouth to prevent poisoning. But as long as Wawa in the form of a chariot rolls inside the tunnel, it can crush the rats and zombies to pieces. And then, the only ones left are the zombies on Liang Yu's side. Zhang Yi's eyes looked there, and a white light in his right eye flickered slowly, condensed, and finally became solid. Liang Yu gets out of the way. Zhang Yi shouted at Liang Yu. Liang Yu seemed to have noticed something, and jumped back from the spot to make way for Zhang Yi. Divine power. Zhang Yi gave a low drink. The next moment, the space in front of him was distorted. Very unexpectedly, a large space in front exploded like popcorn with large pieces of flesh and blood exploding. Just a moment later, a cylindrical passage appeared within 300 meters in front of him. All zombies within 300 meters were crushed into powder, including the bronze armored corpse with terrifying defense. His upper body was almost completely shattered, leaving only two legs standing on the ground. This is Zhang Yi's strongest attack skill now Shui. Chapter 440 Jump Seeing this horrific scene, even Liang Yu couldn't help but gasp. This was the first time she had seen the power of divine power at such a close distance. Zhang Yi had used it once on the battlefield before. But that time, he was specifically used to kill an alien in an instant. And this time, including the bronze armored zombies, at least four to five hundred zombies were instantly killed by this move. After the bronze armored corpse was killed, only some ordinary zombies and giant rats were left in Liang Yu's direction. Fatty Su was stunned for a moment, then laughed arrogantly. Ha ha ha. It's just you guys. 
Let's see if I don't burn you to death. He walked up directly with a flamethrower in hand, and then triumphantly opened fire for a constant temperature barbecue. On the other hand, Uncle Yu successfully gained the upper hand with the addition of Hua Hua, although the huge bronze armored corpse was not directly eliminated. The giant rats and zombies behind him were basically cleaned up, after Hua Hua dealt with the ordinary zombies and giant rats. She also turned to help Uncle Yu deal with the bronze armored corpse. The other two passages were all blocked by Zhang Yi using dimensional gates. Therefore, the group of corpses behind the door could only watch Zhang Yi kill their kind. But they had no way to come to help. The situation on the field reversed. And Zhang Yi and the others won a great victory. Even Lian Yu, who now has a cold temperament, couldn't help but say to Zhang Yi, Your current strength is simply terrifying. I think looking at the entire Tianhai city at this time, I am afraid that no one can catch your mighty blow without defense. Zhang Yi just smiled faintly. What's the matter? It's just basic operation for me. But then he looked around cautiously. It's a bit too early to relax now. I think our real opponent should be nearby. And I'm still waiting for him to show up. Although these bronze armored zombies seem to have some intelligence and are more powerful than ordinary zombies. They absolutely cannot be the zombie kings. If the corpse king cannot be found today, then this operation will not be considered a complete victory. Because no matter how many zombies are killed, even this powerful bronze armored zombie can't stop the corpse king from creating more subordinates. As if in response to Zhang Yi's voice. At this time, a group of zombies slowly gathered in the two unblocked passages. From the deepest part of the tunnel, familiar heavy footsteps sounded. In two directions, three more bronze armored corpses appeared. They stood there, staring at Zhang Yi and others with their cold eyes. The slender body resembles a giant stick insect. Twisted and disgusting. Making it terrifying. That feeling was despairing and made everyone's hearts almost hit rock bottom. How so? How many such monsters are there? Zhang Yi's divine power is a power that consumes a lot of energy and is terrifyingly powerful. With his current supernatural energy, he can use it five times in a row. But every time it is used, there must be a certain amount of time to cool down. If these six bronze armored corpses continue to charge next, it will be difficult for them to resist with their current combat power. Fatty Su was so frightened that his legs almost went weak. It's over. What should we do now? Zombies don't give them time to think. The next moment, six bronze armored corpses rushed over again with a lot of zombies and giant rats. Are we going to die here? Fatty Su was so frightened that he screamed. And Zhang Yi's eyes became more solemn. He sighed softly. It seems that this time the zombie crisis is more serious than we imagined. And the existence behind it is also more terrifying. Even I can't end it easily seeing everyone being surrounded by an even more terrifying tide of corpses. At this moment, Zhang Yi shouted to Uncle and Hua Hua, Come back quickly. The bronze armored corpse over there had been beaten to pieces by Hua Hua and Uncle Yu. After this kind of thing is beaten to death, its limbs no longer move, which is different from other zombies. Zhang Yi noticed this. It seems that the bronze armored corpse is a real creature and not a host parasitized by a virus. One person and one cat heard Zhang Yi's call, and ran back to Zhang Yi's side. At this time, Zhang Yi put away his double door. At this time, the passage was in all directions, and the zombies in all directions were no longer restricted, roaring and rushing towards Zhang Yi and others. But Zhang Yi calmly opened a door in front of him, and then said to everyone, Follow me! With that said, Zhang Yi walked into the door first. Several others were stunned for a moment, but soon followed Zhang Yi into the dimensional gate. When the zombies rushed here, they were all over the place. They don't understand why the enemy they were trying to kill just now suddenly disappeared out of thin air. Deep in the tunnel, their unwilling and penetrating roars echoed. The next moment, he was dozens of meters above the tunnel. Zhang Yi and others just disappeared from the tunnel. Then he appeared in the snow above the subway tunnel. Wow, I was really scared to death. Zhang Yi patted his chest and said with lingering fear. He took off his helmet and took a breath of cold air. Although he knew in his heart that the scene he had just experienced was not too dangerous. It was like watching a 3D horror movie. And he still felt scared inside. In the scene like that just now, if the person who came was not him, but someone else, it would definitely lead to death. Then Uncle Yu and Leon Yu also walked out of the dimensional gate. When they saw the scene outside, they were stunned for a moment. And then what did they want to understand? John Yi, is this your new ability? John Yi said calmly, it's not a new ability but I have some new understanding of the application of the dimensional gate. In the past, Zhang Yi's use of dimensional gates was relatively ordinary, and he could only open one door. 
But now his ability is getting stronger and stronger. And he can finally open the second door. Since the two doors are connected to a space. Sean thought of a new usage. It is to turn two doors into a kind of passage through space. So far. He has been able to complete space travel within 300 meters. This is why he had the courage to venture into the unfathomable subway tunnel this time. Fatty Sue was so frightened that he almost peed. At this moment. He fell to the ground and gasped for air. He said happily. Boss. If you have this ability. You should have told me earlier. Do you know? I was almost scared to death just now. Zhang Yi smiled humorously and said. I just want to leave you a surprise. Zhang Yi has always been reluctant to expose his own abilities. Even if it's his own teammates. This was not because he doubted them. But out of caution. He avoided doing anything that might reveal his true identity. Preventing the slightest change is the way to survive. Then the expression on his face began to become serious. But at the beginning. I didn't think of the opportunity to really use this ability. This time the zombie crisis breaks out. It is more complicated and terrifying than we imagined. To this day. I don't know what will happen in the end. Chapter 441 How to Deal with the Corpse Horde As soon as these words were spoken. Everyone at the scene fell silent. If Zhang Yi hadn't mastered the new ability. Just like that scene. Even if they had three times. Five times or even ten times more people. They may all be buried there. Because judging from the previous scenes. The number of corpses was beyond their imagination. Tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. Who knows? So what do we do next? Uncle Yu's voice was a little confused. If these zombies cannot be eliminated once and for all. Then they will face endless attacks from the zombie swarms. And they also saw that there were a lot of zombies in the subway tunnels. There was even a bronze armored corpse that they would be a little afraid of after seeing it. If all these zombies rush out and attack their shelter. How long can they hold off? Not to mention these zombies also have strong learning abilities. They will become stronger again and again. Even if they can stop it the first time. What about the next one? Moreover. They also have an opponent they fear the most. Which is the corpse king who they have never come into contact with secretly. What kind of thing is that? What capabilities does it have? No one knows. The more unknown something is. The more terrifying it is. Zhang Yi also fell into silence. He raised his head and looked at the distant sky. Although the world on the ground is not very bright. It is already brighter than underground. There were white snowflakes everywhere. Although it was cold. It didn't give people that desperate sense of danger. Zhang Yi took out a pack of cigarettes from a space. Lit one. And then stuffed it into his mouth. He took a deep breath. The people around him didn't bother him. And everyone knew that he felt uncomfortable. After thinking for a long time. Zhang Yi came to his senses and handed one to Uncle Yu. Fatty Su doesn't smoke. And neither does Liang Yu. So there were only two gentlemen there. And they started smoking one by one. But gradually, Fatty Su's expression became a little weird. In fact, just when the corpses were about to approach him, he actually peed some. So now his underwear is all wet. Because it was in front of everyone. And the woman Liang Yu was present. He was embarrassed to say it. At this time, he had no choice but to clamp his legs and pretend that nothing happened. After a long time, Zhang Yi slowly said, no matter what. We must solve this problem. And solve it as soon as possible. We can no longer give these zombies room to grow. They made me feel scared. So what can you do? Liang Yu asked with a puzzled look on her face. Feeling very pessimistic in her heart. Zhang Yi slowly narrowed his eyes and looked toward the southeast. Where there used to be a vast ocean. But now the offshore area should have been covered by ice. So it should be more difficult to see the sea view again unless you go further. If our goal is to get rid of these zombies. It is actually not as difficult as imagined. Amidst the doubtful gazes of everyone. Zhang Yi suddenly raised his head with a smile. Now I am more and more aware of my abilities. Which are actually quite useful. It's not particularly useful except in fights. But it's really useful in other ways. Zhang Yi didn't show off. And gave his own thoughts before anyone asked. I now have a plan. The subway line in our area is not complicated. And there is only one subcanal line passing through it. These zombies usually sleep in tunnels. It can be seen that although viruses are very cold resistant, they will not stay in such low temperatures outside. Therefore, when the zombies are sleeping, it can be concluded that they are all in the tunnel. We don't have enough explosives to blow up the entire subway line. But there is one thing. It's definitely more useful than explosives at times like this. Several people looked at Zhang Yi and hurriedly asked what was that. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and looked to the southeast. That's sea water. The freshwater rivers have all been frozen at this time making it impossible to obtain a sufficient amount of water. 
but the seawater contains high salt content. And the seawater in the deep sea area is not completely frozen at this time. What Zhang Yi has to do is go to the deep sea area and use his space powers to extract a large amount of seawater. Then the entire subway tunnel will be irrigated. Hearing Zhang Yi say this, several people's eyes immediately lit up. A rare smile appeared on Liang Yu's face. She clapped her hands and exclaimed, How wonderful! This move is so wonderful. The subway line is a one-way line. As long as we block the subway station at the end, it will be like an alley block from front to back. And if your space can hold enough sea water, you can completely submerge this tunnel. The underground tunnel is so deep, the rats and zombies inside should be submerged by the water by then. At least it can solve most of them. If the corpse king was really alive, he would probably be drowned to death. Even in the worst case scenario, there is no way they can continue to survive in the tunnel. Liang Yu's explanation made Uncle Yu and Fatty Su become excited. This is like grabbing a life-saving straw in a desperate situation, allowing them to solve the crisis they are facing. Fatty Su got up from the ground and said happily, he has to be the boss. His superpower is so buggy that it just becomes the best weapon to deal with zombies at this time. Uncle Lu said with a smile, I think the most powerful thing is Zhang Yi's mind. Although each of us has superpowers, Zhang Yi is the one who uses his superpowers to their fullest potential. Meow. Hua Hua yelled next to her in agreement. Zhang Yi just smiled faintly. This plan just came to my mind at once. But its specific execution still requires a lot of preparation. And there is a very critical issue. I need to go back and ask the professional technicians at home for advice. Zhang Yi took out the snowmobile from the different space. Come on. Let's go back first. The sooner this plan is implemented, the better. We must speed up and not give those zombies a chance to continue to grow. Chapter 442 Feasibility Study Yangsheng Base Xiao Honglian sat at his desk with his hands folded under his chin. At this time, her face looked extremely ugly. Xu Ting on the side also remained silent, with a gloomy look on his face. Because just now, the search team they sent out to investigate the corpses had all been killed. There was a communication device in front of Liang Yu, and the video said by Dong who before his death came from it. Through the communication equipment, Liang Yu saw the terrifying number of corpses deep in the subway, and those rats as big as puppies. What frightened her the most was the strange bronze armored corpse that was as huge as a stick insect. Their fighting power is no less than that of aliens. I didn't expect such a monster to exist underground. If they all rush out, even if our current base is fully armed, there will be no way to stop them, Zhu Ting said. Should you consider moving underground? This suggestion also means that they must abandon everything above the surface including the huge oil refinery. Xiao Honglian frowned. This is absolutely impossible. If we lose the refinery, we will lose the foundation on which we depend. No matter how high the price is, the refinery must be saved, Zhu Ting said. But if they really all come to kill us, can we still stop them? A fierce look flashed in Xiao Honglian's eyes. Then dump the oil in storage and dump it around the refinery. As long as those zombies come over, we will light the oil and burn them all. The cost of doing so is undoubtedly huge, but it is also equivalent to abandoning the army to save the commander. As long as the refinery can be saved, the remaining crude oil can sustain their survival for a long time. This way of a strongman cutting off his wrist made Zhuge Qingting fall into silence. But right now, they have no better defense. After all, they still couldn't make up their mind to completely abandon all the buildings above the surface and hide in the underground shelter, Zhuge Qingting said. If that's the case, then we might as well let the soldiers' families go underground first. So that even if we have any problems, there will be someone down there to take care of them. Xiao Honglian leaned on the chair and let out a long breath. Just do as you are told. Zhang Yi and others returned to the shelter. When Zhou Kier and others came to greet them, they found that there was not much excitement on their faces. The women at home suddenly realized that Zhang Yi and the others' actions were not particularly smooth this time. What happened? Are you in trouble? Zhou Kier asked gently. Thaddy Su and Uncle, you looked at each other with wry smiles on their faces. Only Zhang Yi still smiled softly. It is true that we encountered a little trouble. But it won't be a big problem. Foreign expeditions are the business of these combatants. Zhang Yi doesn't want to put pressure on the women at home. Whether Zhou Kier or Yang Mi. They are all logistics personnel. And they have done everything they should do. The battle was left to Zhang Yi and the others to resolve. At least when he returns home. Zhang Yi doesn't want to bring too many negative emotions. Family is their important harbor today. After everyone returned to the house, they first changed into their daily clothes. Yang Mi brought hot drinks. Several people finished their drinks 
and warmed up their bodies. Then Zhang Yi said to Yang Mi, Go and call Xinxin and Karen over. I have something to ask them. Okay. Just wait a moment. Yang Mi ran to the back and called the two people at the console and the studio over. Yang Xinxin came to the scene in a wheelchair and immediately noticed the weirdness of the scene. Although the expression on Zhang Yi's face was gentle, there was a depth in his eyes. Obviously something bad happened. As for the expressions on Uncle Judah and Fatty Sue's faces, it was clear that their actions today were not going well. Liang Yu's face still had that cold look. Nothing could be seen. Yang Xinxin came to Zhang Yi with a smile. Brother, how was this operation? Although she knew there might be something wrong with this operation, Yang Xinxin still had to ask about the situation so that she could contribute. Zhang Yi raised his head, smiled, and waved to Yang Jinxin and Lu Karen. Come here. Now I have a very important question to ask you. Yang Xinxin and Lu Karen looked at each other with some surprise in their eyes. There are actually relatively few times when Zhang Yi can come to ask them for advice. The two came to Zhang Yi. Yang Xinxin smiled and said, Brother, if you have any questions, just ask. Zhang Yi said that's what happened. I have an idea that I need you to help me implement. He spread his hands and said with a serious expression, I needed a way to quickly freeze seawater and a very, very large amount of it. Do you have any good ideas? What Zhang Yi has to do is not just pour seawater into the subway. Because just submerging the subway with seawater, it is very likely that a large number of zombies and giant rats will not die. Instead, he ran out of the subway. At that time, a large number of giant rats and zombies may become a bigger trouble. So the best way is to collect seawater into a different space first. Then find a way to make the seawater freeze quickly. After he poured seawater into the subway, he let the seawater freeze. In this case, the entire subway channel will become a huge ice lump. Freeze all the zombies and rats inside. The depth of 10 meters underground is frozen like that. And it is probably impossible for ordinary zombies to escape except for those bronze armored zombies and the zombie king. Zhang Yi's design is basically like this. It's just that the idea is wonderful. But whether it can be realized or not depends on what the technical aspects say. Chemical materials are Lu Karen's strength. Lu Karen thought for a while and asked. There are naturally methods. You only need to prepare some chemical materials to freeze seawater quickly. The only thing is, brother, how much seawater do you need to freeze? Zhang Yi couldn't help but laugh. Very, very, very large amount. Let's put it this way. I need to freeze an entire subway line. More than 20 kilometers long. Hearing these words, the faces of the women in the family all showed shocked expressions. If that's the case, the amount of seawater required can simply be described as terrifying. However, there was no surprise on the faces of Uncle Lu and Fatty Su Liang Yu. They looked at Lu Karen and Yang Xinxin expectantly, hoping to get a positive answer from them. Lu Karen held his chin and thought for a while. She replied that actually this kind of thing is not difficult to do. It would be easier if you have enough time to prepare. Chapter 443 The Long Lost Ocean After getting a positive answer from Lu Karen, Zhang Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. As long as you can do that. That's great. In terms of time, we are actually not in a hurry. Although he saw the horror of the corpse horde, Zhang Yi did not intend to eliminate all the corpse hordes immediately. As long as this can be done before the corpse group fully grows and poses a threat to the sanctuary, it is enough. Lu Karen laughed after hearing this. This would be easy to handle. In fact, there is a relatively simple way to allow seawater to freeze quickly, which is to precipitate seawater and precipitate the salt in it. This only requires some very simple chemical materials. But in order to speed up the condensation of seawater, I will prepare a large quantity of coagulant just for you. Anyway, there are still a lot of unused materials that we found from the chemical factory before. And it just so happens that they can be put to use this time. For Lu Karen, this is just a trivial matter. After all, condensation of water cannot even be analyzed from a chemical perspective. But it's just a very common physical phenomenon. Zhang Yi slapped his thigh happily. Well, in that case, you should prepare now. Let's not wait any longer. Let's take action this afternoon and go get seawater together. It's not too late, and time waits for no one. The sooner these problems are solved, the safer Zhang Yi and the others will feel. Zhou Kier said that you have just come back. Why not take a good rest? I see you are quite tired too. Zhang Yi shook his head. It doesn't matter. As long as we eat some superpower food made from Yang Yi, we can restore our physical strength and superpowers. Time waits for no one. This matter has been left unaddressed here. And I feel like I can't even eat well. Zhang Yi has such a character. 
he couldn't let go of anything in his heart. And there was always a deep sense of worry buried in his heart. It is this kind of character that makes him like to be well prepared no matter what he does. Only by being overly thorough can you feel completely safe. Zhou Kier understood Zhang Yi's character. So he didn't persuade him anymore. She had no choice but to say, Go back quickly! So Zhang Yi stood up, looked at everyone who had not had enough rest, and said, Let's go to the beach. Going to the beach shouldn't be too dangerous. Therefore, no one raised any objections. So everyone who had not yet settled down stood up from the sofa and rearmed themselves. After that, Everyone drove the snowmobile nonstop towards the beach of the East China Sea. The beach on the East China Sea was once a famous tourist attraction. But now the world has fallen into an ice age. That place should also be covered in ice. Zhang Yi has not passed for a long time. But he heard that Chao Yu base can sail in the deep sea, fish, and even go to other places. He was still somewhat curious in his heart. And even looked forward to going to the beach to take a look. When setting off, Fatty Su still had some lingering fears and asked, we won't meet anyone from Chao Yu base. Right? The fight with them was so fierce at the beginning. If they find out, they might have to fight again. Johnny laughed and said that Chao Yu base is probably very busy now. And dealing with those zombies is already enough trouble for them. Where do you have time to come and deal with me? If they really discovered our past, they should be the ones who are afraid. Fatty Su nodded, feeling that what Johnny said made sense. When fighting for territory, there is naked hatred between people. But now, there are creatures other than humans, which will threaten the safety of all of them. At this time, everyone's conflicts will be alleviated. Maybe there will be opportunities to collaborate in the future. Zhang Yi filled up the oil in the snowmobile, then started the car and drove towards the long-lost edge of the East China Sea. Everyone was inexplicably excited because they hadn't seen the sea for a long time. What will the vast ocean look like now? In the depths of the sea, could some magical creatures mutate and turn into terrifying monsters? For example, a monster like Godzilla. The mysterious and vast ocean makes people feel awe from the heart. It's just that Zhang Yi and others are only going to the offshore sea on the edge of ice. So there shouldn't be any too scary monsters, according to the current situation. Even if there are mutated monsters in the ocean, they will only be in the deep sea, because they can't get enough food offshore. The group of people drove towards the edge of the East China Sea. After driving for a long time, we finally reached the edge of the coast. The car stopped at the spot where the beach used to be. Everyone got out of the car and looked at the endless white ice in front of them. Falling into deep thought, the vast and great scene deeply shocked them. If it weren't for the fact that they were in the end of the world, they would even want to take some photos here and praise the beauty of nature. Looking around the vast sea, all the sea surface is covered with ice. The edge of the offshore sea is like a natural mirror. So smooth and smooth. So beautiful. Is this the miraculous work of nature? Liang you couldn't help but praise. Uncle you couldn't help but say. Compared with here, the eye surface in Mo in winter pales into insignificance. Zhang Yi told everyone that there was no time to limit now. We had to drive over to see where we could get water. Everyone got back into the car and drove towards the edge of the coastline. Above the vast sea, the car driven by a few people on the ice looked like a tiny ant. When people face the great nature, they must always maintain a sense of awe. It makes people clearly realize how small they are. The snowmobile kept going for who knows how long. A large area of the offshore area is covered by ice. Maybe they have to rush to a place close to the deep sea before they can see the sea surface that is not completely frozen. There is a feeling of loneliness in driving like this. Although Zhang Yi is not a poet. At this time, he wants to tell some beautiful poems. But there is nothing I can do. I just hate that I am uneducated in this life and can travel the world with just one word. The car drove for more than two hours. Being on the ice means they drove more than 200 kilometers. Only this kind of high-end snowmobile has such ability. Otherwise, if it was a broken car like the one modified by Yangsheng Base, it might have broken down on the road long ago. Finally, at the end of the sea and sky, they saw a wave of waves. Boss, water, I see water. Fatty Soup pointed forward excitedly and shouted. At this time, they were already far away from Tianhai City. The longer they drove, they even felt a little panicked. Seeing the water at this time, everyone let out a sigh of relief. Come over quickly, and we'll leave after collecting the water. Zhang Yi said to everyone, in such a vast place, the feeling of awe in his heart became deeper and deeper. At the same time, I am also a little afraid that something will happen suddenly in such an environment. Even though he is now the leading stranger in Tianhai City, if something happens to him in the sea, he may not be able to escape. 
how many people drove their cars near the ice. Finally ahead, they saw the deep blue sea. The waves sway leisurely on the edge of the seawater and the ice surface. And you can still see the condensing water spray and the spreading ice layer. Even at ultra-low temperatures of tens of degrees below zero, it is still impossible to freeze the deep sea because the salt content of seawater is too high. Constantly moving ocean currents and volcanic activity beneath the ocean prevent the water temperature from reaching the freezing point at which seawater condenses. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and carefully walked closer to the water. Then, he opened his own alien space. He dedicated a large portion of his space to his own. Used to store the seawater. Double doors. Two huge dimensional gates appeared above the seawater. And then began to pump a large amount of seawater into the different space, like a water pump. After all, the amount of seawater they need is extremely large. At least tens of millions of cubic meters. Zhang Yi is right at the edge of the ocean. Constantly pumping out seawater. This process was a bit dull and boring. Zhang Yi simply sat on the edge of the sea and looked at the sea with a few other people. They haven't seen this kind of living water for a long time. So they will feel a little novel. And uncle rubbed his hands. He said with some regret, If I had known I would bring a fishing rod here. Fishing in this place would be a beautiful thing. The uncle is not the only one who feels this way. Even Zhang Yi wants to have a good fishing here and feel the natural scenery. Again, everything that seemed normal at first seems to be extraordinarily precious now. Zhang Yi smiled and said, now that you say it like this, I have an idea. Let's build a fish pond at home. And then we can put some marine fish in it. What do you think? Just when the seawater was being collected, some sea fish were actually taken in. These fish can then be kept and stocked in the fish pond. It's not for eating. They are mainly for fishing and fun. Uncle Lou and Fatty Sue applauded in unison. No man can resist the joy of being a fisherman. Facts have proved that fish in the deep sea still live well even in extremely low temperatures. After all, the range that low temperature can cover is only the surface of the ocean. And the depth of the sea will not be greatly affected. In this way, Zhang Yi collected it here for a long time before finally collecting enough for his use. For the sake of safety, the part of the area he left in the different space happened to be a part of the space that was 25 kilometers long and 10 meters wide and high. It wasn't until this different space was filled that Zhang Yi stopped the collection process. Chapter 444 Rat Pack After collecting almost all the seawater, Johnny stopped. He told a few people to leave. The preliminary preparations were almost complete. After we return, we will find ways to precipitate the seawater to make its salt content even lower. Alas, here we go. Fatty Sue and Uncle Yu stood up reluctantly. Even Leong Yu's eyes flashed with reluctance at this time. They haven't seen this kind of natural scenery for a long time. If one day the temperature becomes colder and the climate becomes more severe, perhaps the ocean will become the only place on the planet where life can exist. Fatty Sue even said, Boss, why don't we consider building a sea view house here in the future? Zhang Yi thought about it and felt that this proposal was indeed a good one. However, if this idea is to be realized, at least it will have to wait until he can ensure his own safety. Maybe Chao Yu base will be directly destroyed by the zombies by then. When the time comes, we occupy their base and seize their ship, and we can go out to sea for a long journey. Zhang Yi said with a smile. The hearty laughter spreads far across the ice field. When everyone heard this plan, their eyes lit up, with blazing fire burning in their pupils. If you go on a long trip to the sea, you can drift in the huge ocean. It's more comfortable than being stuck in a shelter all day. For them now, this temptation is very huge. Zhang Yi smiled and spread his hands when he saw their appearance. Now let's consider how to solve the current problem first. However, the ocean-going ships at Chaoyu Base are indeed something I am very coveted. Zhang Yi's idea has a profound meaning and is for longer-term development. Because in the future, if the temperature warms up and the glaciers melt, coastal cities will definitely be submerged. To prepare for the future, he must need a large ship that can withstand wind and waves. Several people left the beach talking and laughing, and then left in a car. None of them noticed that just where they had stopped, there was a huge black shadow swimming slowly under the ice. It was so huge that no one noticed it. No one knows how many terrifying existences there are in the vast ocean. And in this era of global mutation, it is even more unimaginable how terrifying those monsters will become. Small human beings should always maintain enough respect for nature. When Zhang Yi and the others returned to the shelter, it was already very late. But Zhang Yi didn't delay at all. He didn't even have time to eat dinner. So he went directly to find Lu Karen. I have collected the seawater. And the next step is to let it settle. Are your materials ready? Lu Karen nodded. It's not a very special material. 
it's easy to prepare. As she spoke, she showed Zhang Yi hundreds of plastic buckets in a corner of her studio. These are precipitants. When you put them into seawater, they can quickly precipitate salt from the seawater. If you want to freeze seawater quickly, well, the most critical step is to first process a large amount of salt in it. Only when the salt content is relatively low can they freeze faster at low temperatures. Then when you take action, I will also give you some coagulant, which can make the seawater freeze faster. Zhang Yi nodded. Then, how many days will it take for the seawater to settle? Lu Karen thought for a while and said it would take at least two days. Zhang Yi said that's good. We can still afford to wait for only two days. Over the next two days, the zombie attacks became more and more frenzied. It seemed that Zhang Yi's previous active attack made the corpse king angry. But this time, the bronze armored corpse did not appear. There are still a large number of zombies appearing around Zhang Yi's shelter. Zhang Yi judged from this that the number of bronze armored corpses was relatively rare. The corpse king also understood that these bronze armored corpses could not be used as consumables like ordinary zombies. But for Zhang Yi and the others, it wasn't the corpses that really caused trouble. Instead, a huge swarm of rats suddenly appeared from the depths of the subway. This morning, Zhang Yi was awakened from his sleep. Shall I? The shelter's intelligence system sent an urgent reminder to Zhang Yi. Alarm. Alarm. Sanctuary is under attack. Sanctuary is under attack. The current damage level is 0.00001%. The attack is ongoing. Please resolve the damage in time. What? Under constant attack. Could it be that those zombies are here again? Zhang Yi didn't pay too much attention to those zombies. Because with the attack methods of those zombies, it is impossible to cause any harm to the shelter. He stood up from the bed and walked quickly to the window. At this moment, he saw dense claws scratching on the shelter. The floor-to-ceiling windows in front of me have been completely covered. Zhang Yi looked carefully and realized what these things were. It turned out to be those giant rats deep in the subway. They had never appeared before. But this time it seemed that Zhang Yi and the others had killed too many of their kind. So they became angry and joined the attack of the zombie wave. Click. 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 Zhang Yi's ears were filled with such chirping sounds. Which made his ears hurt. Giant rats have no other specialties. But their teeth are extremely sharp and can even bite through the base's combat uniforms. Therefore, when the sanctuary is surrounded by giant rats, they also have a certain impact on the defense of the sanctuary. Zhang Yi's scalp was numb. According to the number of these giant rats, although their attack would not allow the shelter to be breached in a short time, but if the water drips through the rocks over the years, they will definitely eat a big hole in the shelter, even if it can't be chewed through. The outer wall will be riddled with holes. Damn it. These mice even came over. Now through the camera outside. He has seen how many rats have surrounded the shelter. Now it is difficult for him to open the door and go out. It's not just Zhang Yi who has a headache. There was a sudden knock on his door. Women like Zhou Kier were so frightened by the giant rat that they screamed. There are few women who would not be frightened to death by the sight of such a big rat. At this moment, Hua Hua, who had just woken up, stretched out and suddenly transformed into a giant form. It squinted its eyes and stared at the countless giant rats outside the house. Suddenly, it opened its mouth and let out a deafening roar. Roar! Huawa's roar is very different from the past. It is no longer the cute sound of a cat. Like the king of beasts, his roar penetrated the glass, causing the rats outside to drop like dumplings. Soon, all the rats lying on a large wall were shaken off, and large areas fell to the ground. Zhang Yi looked at Huawa with some relief. Your ability to clear out miscellaneous soldiers is really useful. Hua Hua's eyes flashed with pride. And she proudly raised her tail high. Although these mice are more troublesome, they are not insurmountable. Zhang Yi immediately called Fatty Su, Uncle Lu and Liang Yu, and took them out to deal with the rats. Chapter 445 Infusion The size of the zombie swarm and rat swarm that attacked this time was obviously several times larger than before. The corpse king was really angry. This should be a warning to Zhang Yi and the others and it was also a deeper temptation. As long as the number of corpses is large enough, they will not be wiped out by Zhang Yi and others at once. In this case, there will always be zombies who can come back alive and convey Zhang Yi's fighting methods to the corpse king. If things go on like this, the zombie king will become smarter and smarter, and his zombies will become stronger and stronger. Zhang Yi couldn't care less at this time. If they want to learn, let them learn, and he will take the initiative before long anyway. For people, and a cat began to clean up the corpses and rats on a large scale. In Zhang Yi's own territory, 
and facing only ordinary zombies and giant rats. Zhang Yi and the others still didn't feel any pressure. Half an hour later the rat swarm was almost wiped out. Most of the corpses were killed. And the rest scattered and fled from all directions back to the CTU subway station. Have to wait two more days, Zhang Yi said coldly. When facing the zombies this time, he could clearly feel that the zombies were becoming more and more accustomed to their fighting skills. In addition to no longer gathering in large groups to prevent them from burning too many zombies with flamethrowers. They will also deliberately avoid Zhang Yi's double doors. And according to each person's ability, they began to use different means to launch attacks. For example, when facing Zhang Yi and Fatty Su, they used a large number of zombies to kill them. Because neither Zhang Yi nor Fatty Su are capable users who are good at close combat. When facing Lian Yu and Uncle Yu Huawa, they drove a large number of giant rats to attack from the ground. In this way, it is difficult for the two of them to fully display their martial arts and strength. This is the performance of intelligent creatures. Zhang Yi felt a little gloomy. Such a huge group of corpses. Such a smart and evolving corpse king. In the entire Tianhai city, he is not the only one with this. I don't know how many of these exist in various places. How on earth were they born? And how many corpse kings are there? These are all unknowns. But right now, Zhang Yi can only solve his own problems first. As for the crises faced by other forces, let them face them themselves. For Zhang Yi, the ideal situation is that while other base forces are eliminated, the zombie groups are also eliminated by them. Zhang Yi is most happy to see such a lose-lose situation. After clearing away the corpses and rats, Zhang Yi turned back and came to the edge of the shelter. He reached out and touched the hard black metal wall of the shelter. You can actually feel scratches of varying depths appearing on it. The deepest point actually reaches a depth of 0.1 millimeters. Zhang Yi couldn't help but said, if these giant rats continue to be allowed to attack the sanctuary, I'm afraid that within two years at most, the outer walls of the shelter will be breached by them. Fortunately, Zhang Yi did not hesitate at first. After noticing something was wrong with the corpses, he decisively led everyone to the depths of the subway. Although the trial was a bit dangerous, after seeing the power of the corpses and rats deep in the subway, they can quickly think of ways to solve problems. It will not be eaten away step by step by the other party's method of boiling a frog in warm water. Come on. Let's go back and get ready. All this should come to an end. Zhang Yi said to everyone. The situation on Zhang Yi's side is considered good. There were no casualties and no substantial damage to the shelter. However, the casualties suffered by other forces were relatively heavy. At first, no one took these sudden zombies seriously. But later everyone gradually discovered that their actions were becoming more and more regular. And they even became as disciplined as the army. They launched a very fierce attack on the weak parts of each force. Faced with the powerful defense links of various forces. These zombies will cleverly avoid them. The losses of several major forces were very heavy. Chao Yu base even had to abandon their base at the port. And hid in the giant ship at sea. Use this to avoid the attack of the zombies. The port is just a temporary landing place for them. Although abandoning the port will lose the supplies in the large number of containers above. But by keeping the giant wheel, they can achieve long-term development. However, Yangsheng Base and Qingwei Base do not have this innate advantage. Whether it is a steel mill or an oil refinery on the surface, it is the foundation for their survival. Therefore, they can only strengthen their defense lines to fight the zombies. But the most tragic one is still the Snow Worship Cult. They don't even have a strong enough defense to withstand the zombie attack. The only option was to gather the crowd and put most of the believers inside the building. Then arrange some basic defense lines on the outside to counterattack. Stone cars and horses made of wood and barbed wire. The biggest effect of these things may not be to deal with zombies, but to give people a little more comfort. Because when faced with a huge tide of corpses, their effect is actually very limited. Every day they lose a large number of their followers. Fortunately, their population base was relatively large. Although many people died, the remaining believers were enough to maintain a certain scale. However, a blessing in disguise is a blessing in disguise. For the snow worship cult, the invasion of giant rats and zombie swarms also brought another huge benefit. They have been lacking in food in the past. But these mice, which are as huge as kittens and puppies, can feed a person for several days after killing them. At this time, they didn't care that the giant rats might carry viruses. When the situation was precarious, a full meal was all they needed. The words were divided into two parts. And the two days passed quickly. In Zhang Yi's different space, the huge amount of seawater has completed basic precipitation. A large amount of white salt precipitated. Zhang Yi extracted these salts full of impurities. At this time, 
The salt content in these seawaters is relatively low, although it is still far from fresh water. It is already relatively easy to freeze. Now Zhang Yi can implement his plan. He found Lu Karen, who had dozens of barrels of coagulant prepared for him. In addition to these, there are also large quantities of explosives. Zhang Yi took the combat team and left the shelter on a snowmobile. They did not go directly to Cici Station, but first followed the subway to the terminal. Song Zhuang. In order to completely freeze these zombies, and rats to death in the subway. We must first block all their escape routes. Therefore, the first step they have to take is to completely blow up Song Zhuang Station. Just blowing up a subway station doesn't require much explosives. Several people planted the explosives, ran to the side from a distance, and then detonated them. All I heard was boom. A sound. The ground collapsed quickly. The ice, snow and mud above the ground buried the subway station deeply. Fatty Su asked boss, if you do this, what if the corpse king discovers the danger in advance and runs away? Zhang Yi shook his head, his expression unconcerned. It would be best if it ran away. My goal from the beginning was not to kill the corpse king. I just want there to be no more threats to us around the sanctuary. As long as it's not near a shelter, it doesn't matter to me whether it's dead or alive. Liang Yi frowned and said with some worry. But if other human forces are wiped out, then the entire Tianhai city will be occupied by zombies and rats. Then can we be alone? As a teacher, Liang Yu's thinking is always more out of the box and advanced. Zhang Yi smiled. You seem to be thinking too much. And our ability is only able to protect ourselves. The deeper you think about your fear, the worse it becomes. If you say it this way, maybe one day the entire blue star will be destroyed by the virus. In that case, what can we do? Don't think too far ahead. Just think about the environment in which you live. As for other things, we can only leave it to fate. We don't have that much power to think about everything at a higher level. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and said lightly, If you are virtuous, you can help the world. And if you are poor, you can be alone. What I care about most now is the latter. Chapter 446 Beat up the drowned corpse Liang Yi stopped arguing. She knew what Zhang Yi said made sense. After all, with their abilities, it is not easy to protect a group of people of their own. As for considering other people's conditions, that's not Zhang Yi's character. Several people have blocked all exits of the subway tunnel. Then Zhang Yi came to the entrance of Sisu Station. He opened the dimensional door and poured a huge amount of seawater down the subway entrance. Wow! Huge amounts of seawater poured out. They rushed forward crazily along the long and narrow tunnel. At this rate, it will only take three hours to completely release the seawater and flood the entire tunnel. Rats in the subway may be able to sense danger and flee in advance. But most of them will definitely be submerged in the water or even freeze to death inside. As for those dormant zombies, unless they encounter a living person or are commanded by the corpse king, they will not wake up no matter what the situation is. All Zhang Yi had to do was to get rid of most of the corpses and rats. Even if some fish slip through the net, as long as the number is small enough, they will not pose any threat to Zhang Yi and the others. Wow! Boom! In the subway tunnel, the raging floods kept scouring the subway tunnel. The water was getting bigger and bigger like a big river rushing during the flood season. The flood gradually submerged the rats hiding in the gaps in the tunnel. It also drowned the zombies dormant deep in the damp and muddy tunnels. Squeak! Squeak! The giant rats screamed in terror, and then hurried towards the areas not covered by the flood. But how could they run as fast as the flood? Soon the rats were overwhelmed. A small number of rats ran away in time and crawled out along the entrance of the tunnel. But without the environment they depend on for survival. These mice cannot survive in an environment of minus 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. They must find their right environment again. But in this apocalyptic environment, it is difficult to provide them with such an environment and sufficient food. Rats and zombies have a symbiotic relationship. Rats can provide fighting power for the zombie horde. In a sense, the corpse king was deliberately raising these rats. The food of these rats is actually some zombies. Without these carcasses as their food, they would never have grown to such a huge size. So after being forced out of the subway tunnels, they will soon lose the soil they rely on for survival and die quickly. Even if a few giant rats can survive, it will be difficult to reproduce on a large scale. Therefore, within a short period of time, they are unlikely to pose any threat to Zhang Yi's sanctuary. Deep in the subway, the zombies seem to have received some kind of guidance and began to wake up. However, even if zombies have stronger physical fitness than humans, they cannot maintain a stable body shape in the tide. It was soon washed away, swaying here and there, 
and drifted away with the waves like broken logs. The flood is getting bigger and bigger, and the entire tunnel is slowly being submerged. Then John he started to open the coagulant Lucarin made for him. Many white barrels. After opening it, a clear liquid pours out. After the coagulant is poured into the water, the purified seawater begins to condense into ice at a speed visible to the naked eye. The ice spreads rapidly toward the depths of the water. The zombies and giant rats that were still struggling in the water were quickly frozen solid. Half a day passed by in a flash. The entire subchannel line is now completely frozen. Zhang Yi clapped his hands. Now our problem is solved. It doesn't matter even if some zombies and giant rats escape. It doesn't matter even if the corpse king is not killed. It doesn't matter even if the bronze armored corpses survive. Whether zombies or rats. The reason why they pose a threat to Zhang Yi and the others is because there are too many of them. Taken out alone. Even the combat power of the bronze armored corpse is not enough to make Zhang Yi feel intimidated. As long as most of the zombies and giant rats are killed. Zhang Yi and the others can easily kill them even if the remaining ones are all elites. We should be at ease for a while. As for the troubles of the corpse swarm and the rat swarm. Let other forces have a headache. Zhang Yi said to everyone with a smile. Uncle Lu. Liang Yu and Fatty Su looked at each other with a relaxed smile on their faces. This huge trouble was unexpectedly solved by Zhang Yi in such a simple way. Several people couldn't help but sigh in their hearts. The space power is really perverted. Fatty Su complained that the internet is honest and does not bully me. In the realm of superpowers, time is revered. Space is king. Fate remains. And cause and effect is king. Our boss has the power of space. And he is unrivaled in the entire Tianhai city. Hearing what Fatty Su said, Zhang Yi couldn't help but ask where did you learn these things? One said after another, Fatty Su chuckled, rubbed his head and said, This is common knowledge on the internet. Zhang Yi lowered his eyes. This was not the first time he heard Fatty Su's words. In fact, Zhang Yi also had some insights in his heart. His space ability seems to be mostly auxiliary function in battle. But in fact, in many ways, its convenience is monstrous. But now, as he has developed more and more skills, this ability has become more and more abnormal. Zhang Yi shook his head. He is not a competitive person. And he doesn't bother to compete with others about whose abilities are more powerful. All he wants is to protect himself. And if he has extra ability, take care of the people around him. That's all. Liang Yu asked. What should we do next? What to do? Zhang Yi sneered. What else can be done? Of course, I beat up the drowned dog. He is always cautious in doing things, and will not leave any chance to the other party. Although the entire subway tunnel has been blocked by ice, there must be some defeated soldiers who will run out of the subway. Among those who can escape, except for some who are lucky, the rest are definitely those with relatively strong vitality. Whether it's zombies or mice, these things are very threatening to us. You've come here. You can't go empty-handed. It's always good to kill more. Zhang Yi took out a spray gun and loaded the gun with a click. He raised his gun and said to everyone, Walk. We can kill as many as we can. And finally clean up again. Then call it a day. No one had any objections. This time it was Zhang Yi who was mainly doing the action. While they watched from the side. So now they have a lot of physical strength and energy. Seeing Zhang Yi killing so many zombies and giant rats. They felt itchy and wanted to clean up some zombies and giant rats. So a few people got on snowmobiles and walked along the entire subcanal line again. As expected, many dying giant rats and zombies lying motionless on the ground were found around the subway entrance. Not surprisingly, they smashed the stuff into pieces. Chapter 447 Shocking Jiangnan Outside the subway lines, seven or eight huge bronze armored corpses crawled out of the subway. And among them was a short humanoid creature covered with white fur. No one can imagine that this thing that looks unattractive and has no fighting ability can actually be the zombie king commanding the entire group of zombies in the subway tunnel. At this time, the white corpse king looked at the subway tunnel that was completely submerged in ice water. There was a trace of confusion in its eyes. Because the order it received was to continuously cultivate a group of corpses in this place. Then it grows in size. And finally kills all the humans in the shelter in the southwest. But now, the entire subway tunnel has been completely destroyed. The zombie army it worked so hard to cultivate was almost wiped out. The remaining zombies are simply unable to form a large-scale swarm let alone attack human sanctuaries. At this time, it doesn't know what it should do next. Eight huge bronze armored corpses surrounded the corpse king in the middle. They lowered their heads, waiting for the corpse king's orders. Most of the time, they will not act unless they receive orders from the corpse king. 
unless they have a stressful reaction when encountering a living person. After a long, long time, the corpse king's brain seemed to be suddenly restarted. It made a decision to turn around and walk step by step towards the far north. The eight bronze armored corpses followed closely behind, heading north step by step, walking slowly against the ice and snow. Zhang Yi used the flooding method to finally eliminate all the zombies in the secondary canal line. Since then, there have been no zombies around the shelter. This also proves that Zhang Yi's approach has achieved great success. Without the soil on which they depend for survival, neither the zombie king nor other zombies can continue to stay in the subway. Except for subway tunnels, there is no such large underground space elsewhere. It can provide enough comfortable soil to provide a place for rats and zombies to survive. Obviously, the mutated virus in the zombie body cannot remain active in an environment of minus 60 degrees Celsius. It's like humans can live in extreme temperatures for a period of time. But they can't survive in extreme temperatures all the time. These are two different concepts. There are only two things Zhang Yi has to do next. First, enjoy your current comfortable life. The second is to observe the situation of other forces being attacked by zombies. So as to maintain vigilance against the zombie hordes. Yang Xinxin has real-time monitoring of networks everywhere. Through their internal communication information. We can know the extent of their current battle with the zombie horde. Among these major forces. The snow worship sect suffered the greatest losses. So far. They are afraid that more than 3,000 people have died. They were all directly bitten to death by zombies during the battle. Some of the people bitten by zombies also developed symptoms similar to mutations. But before they turned into zombies, they were killed directly by the snow worshippers. In their words, this is called returning to the divine kingdom of snow god. As for Yangsheng base and Chaoyu base, the number of personnel they lost was also relatively serious. The number of soldiers killed in the battle reached 5 to 600. Chaoyu base even abandoned the seaport and hid at sea to escape this zombie disaster. Although Waiting Hai's body ached, he had a wishful thinking in mind. He hoped that the zombie tide could wipe out all the people in Tianhai City. At that time, they can come back and become the largest force in Tianhai City. After all, zombies cannot survive forever. They use humans as food. And once all the living people in Tianhai City are killed, these things will quickly disappear. At the Yanshan base, Xiao Hong practiced hard. She ordered people to dig deep trenches around the base and then dump a large amount of crude oil into them. Whenever a swarm of corpses or rats attacks, just light the crude oil in the trench. Immediately, a 4 to 5 meter high wall of fire will appear covering the entire refinery. The raging fire burned many corpses and rats to death. Fire is the most effective attack method against zombies and rats. It's just that fuel itself is extremely scarce nowadays. Xiao Honglian did this very extravagantly. But who has more oil resources in their hands? Therefore, they can fully withstand this kind of consumption. As for Zhang Yi's old friend Xing Tian, the situation is also not ideal. With the blessing of Xing Tian's ability, these lumberjacks in the steel mill have become warriors who can fight one against ten, relying on heavy weapons such as tomahawks, sledgehammers, and iron rods in their hands. They began to engage in, all right, team battles with the zombies. There is a clear gap between the number of people and the number of zombies. After one battle and two battles, they can still withstand such a battle. However, they had to fight countless zombies every day, and their strength was extremely depleted. So that later on, Xing Tian had to lead his remaining men and began to hide deep in the shelter. It doesn't matter if they leave the steel mill equipment to the zombies for the time being. Zombies don't know how to use equipment or destroy them. These living dead are only interested in human flesh. Xing Tian's idea was to hide first, and then come out of the ground after the zombies disappeared. The security level of the underground shelter is very high. Zhang Yi has tried it before. Only with large yield ground penetrating missiles can it pose a certain threat. Even if these zombie swarms number in the hundreds of thousands, let alone tens of thousands, it will probably take a very long time to dig out the shelter. Therefore, in a short period of time, Chi Pei Base, which was the first to give in, should not have any major problems. But as time goes by, no one can tell what the outcome of this zombie crisis will be. Zhang Yi agreed very much with Xing Tian's approach. Although this person's IQ is not particularly high, he knows his own trade well. He gave in promptly and did not fight the zombies blindly. Only in this way did the vitality of Chi Pei base be preserved. In the blink of an eye, seven days passed. On Zhang Yi's side, everyone drinks tea and reads books at home every day, and their life is quite pleasant. It was as if the zombie tide and rats that appeared before had nothing to do with them. However, 
the other factions are in dire straits. They have been tortured by the zombie swarm and the rat swarm until they almost collapse. The corpse king, who was beaten away by Zhang Yi, took eight bronze armored corpses to the north. There they built new nests. In Tianhai City, it is not very difficult for them to find a warm and comfortable underground nest. The densely crisscross subway lines are the best place for them to live. But they still need food. And the source of this food is the current remaining population of less than one million in Tianhai City. And places where humans gather are the best places for these zombies to go. Even from a very long distance, they could smell the scent of living people and slowly moved in that direction. There are more and more zombies in Tianhai City. But the amount of meat they can eat is very limited. In addition to the five major forces, there are also some other remaining small forces, which were almost eaten up by zombies. Out of the instinct to find food, slowly, some zombies on the edge of Tianhai City began to spread towards the surrounding cities. The zombie tide in the last days began to evolve from Tianhai City to a larger scale. This situation finally aroused the vigilance of surrounding cities. It even alarmed the largest force in the entire Jiangnan region Jiangnan region. Chapter 448 Team of 7 Beichun District Tianhai City This is the northern boundary of Tianhai City. If you go further north, you will reach Nebula City next door. At this time, hundreds of zombie corpses were lying on the snow. It may not be strict to use corpses to describe them, because these are dead things themselves. They just follow their instinct and gather where there is food. Among the zombies, there were several people walking around, collecting some blood, flesh and other biological samples from the zombies. On a hill not far away, a man in black was staring intently at the exit of the subway station in the distance. His outfit is a little weird. In such an environment, he was actually wearing pure black clothes and even wore a pair of huge black toad glasses on his eyes. The stern face was a little sickly pale, and the thin face looked as if it had been carefully shaved with a saber. It was this tall, thin, sickly middle-aged man who exuded an aura that kept strangers away from him. Not only was he dressed in black, the other six people around him were also dressed in black. White is the best camouflage color in the eyes and snow. And there are only two types of people wearing black clothes. Or he is extremely confident in his own strength. Or they are extremely confident in their identity, and they know that no one dares to attack them. Perhaps there is another situation. That is, both of the above. These people are not the aborigines of Tianai City. They are from the Jiangnan region headquarters. There is a blizzard city that has stood since the beginning of the end of the world and has hundreds of thousands of residents. And they are a special operations team sent by Zhu Zheng, the supreme commander of Blizzard City. Zombies have been raging in Tianhai City for a long time. And due to their huge scale, they have begun to spread towards surrounding cities. This phenomenon caused panic in surrounding cities and attracted the attention of Jiangnan region. Because the new zombies that appear here are not the kind that are slow and can be killed casually. This is a monster with extremely strong mobility, great strength, and very difficult to kill. These things are quite difficult to deal with, let alone ordinary people, even for well-armed elite soldiers. Based on this premise, Jiangnan region has to take it seriously, because everyone knows that Tianhai city has a permanent population of 20 million. If most of the dead people here turn into zombies, they will slowly spread across the country and cause an unimaginable disaster. The team headed by Bian Junhua, a man in sunglasses, is the special operations team specially designed to deal with this zombie crisis. Several members of the investigation team collected the biological information of the zombies, and then returned to Bian Junwu. Captain, we have collected the information on these zombies. Meng Siyu, a medical and biology expert with long black hair and a dashing appearance, said to Bian Junwu. Bian Junwu retracted his gaze from the distance. The way he wears sunglasses at all times always makes people feel a little strange, he said slowly. No thermal energy reaction was found. There was only a small group of zombies here. And there was no alien control. Go back and study it carefully to see if someone is controlling this thing, or if it is a virus. The superiors take this stuff very seriously. After finishing speaking, Bian Jun was suddenly covered his mouth and coughed violently several times. The movement seemed to make him cough out his lungs. The deputy captain behind him, Bailey Chongqing, said worriedly, Captain, are you okay? This is a tall, muscular man with short hair and a slight build. Although he looks very intimidating, he always has a gentle smile on his face. Bian Junwa waved his hand disapprovingly. It's okay. It's an old problem. A look of worry flashed in the eyes of several team members. Their old captain's health has never been very good. But if you think he is a sick man and therefore despise him, 
you are totally wrong. Even if you look at the entire Jiangnan region, Bian Junwu is a well-known strongman. Judging from their action patterns, it seems that the virus is controlling their actions. However, Mu Siyu paused slightly, then said hesitantly, I feel a little weird. There was no expression on Bian Junwu's face, and his thin white face looked like a sharp knife. It is too slow for us to do research alone. This matter must be dealt with as soon as possible to prevent the zombie tide from spreading to the surrounding areas. After all, we still need local forces to assist us in the investigation. The strong man behind him, Bailey Chan Ching, scratched his head. Since the end of the world, there has been no connection between Jin Ling and Tian Ai City. It is said that all the shelters on their side have been destroyed, and the leaders have changed several times. Bian Jun was said coldly. No matter who is the leader of the major forces in Tian Ai City now, when faced with such a problem, they must fully cooperate with us. In the whole world, there is nothing but the king's soil and the shore of the land. And it is not the king's ministers. The entire Jiangnan area must be under the jurisdiction of the Jiangnan region. In the past, it was enough to let them regulate freely. But now that there is such a big problem, they must take responsibility for the zombie crisis in Tianhai City. At this moment, a smart and capable young man walked over not far away, while putting a laptop into his backpack. He said to Bian Junwu, According to your instructions, I have contacted the leaders of the major forces in Tianhai City in the name of Jiangnan region. Ask them to come and meet this afternoon. Among them, Zhang Yi was specially mentioned by you. Yi Jikong asked with some confusion. According to our intelligence, Zhang Yi only has a team of less than 10 people. What we need is the assistance of large forces. They have too few manpower. Is it necessary to call them? Bian Jun was said calmly that according to our intelligence, the zombie problem in their area is minimal. And judging from previous news, although they are small in number, each one of them is an elite. Now in order to solve the zombie problem in Tianhai City, any force that can be united must be used. After hearing what Bian Jun was said, Yi Jikong stopped saying anything. You are the boss. You have the final say. He shrugged, his expression a bit bohemian. Bian Junwu was also used to his personality. Who can be a capable person without some personality? Not to mention their special operations team. All of whom are top aliens in Blizzard City. Well, let's go to the central building first. The central building he called was the former official office address of Tianhai City. It is located in the center of Tianhai City, which also represents the peak of Tianhai City's power. There is nothing special about choosing this location. I just want to tell all the forces in Tianhai City that no matter what time it is now, Jiangnan region still controls everything. On the other hand, the geographical location here is also in the center of various forces, making it convenient for them to travel. Vice Captain Bailey Chongqing suddenly laughed. Although we are here on behalf of Jiangnan region, I don't know if the forces below will obey us. Among the team, Qi Guangming, a sharpshooter, smiled coldly, not convinced. Then it's okay to conquer them as lower level forces. If they disobey the commander-in-chief of Jiangnan region, their combined strength is not enough to crush them to death with just one little finger of Jiangnan region. Everyone was talking and laughing. But in their words, they did not take the existing major forces in Tianhai City seriously. After all, for them, even a force as large as Shishan base can only be wiped out with a few more missiles. Regardless of the four major bases, the Snow Worship sect, or Zhang Yi's team, they are too small compared to the truly huge military region-level force. Seven people got on a large snowmobile. Wu Di, who has long shawl hair and looks somewhat enchanting, drives the vehicle. After positioning the car, the car drove towards the central building. What's more interesting is that in the past, no one in Tianhai City could use satellite positioning to achieve accurate navigation. But this matter doesn't seem to be a problem at all for the seven-member team. Chapter 449 An Email On this day, Zhang Yi and the others lived a simple and boring life as usual. After taking care of the zombies and giant rats in the subway, nothing can threaten them anymore. But on this morning, a piece of news quietly broke the tranquility of their lives. Zhang Yi was eating breakfast leisurely in the living room. He was wearing blue cotton pajamas and sitting barefoot on the sofa. The temperature inside the villa is maintained at the optimal feeling temperature of 22 degrees all year round. So you won't feel hot or cold at all. In the morning, Zhang Yi ate Xiao Long Bao made by Yang Mi herself and soy milk ground by hand. The buns are his favorite stuffed with beef vermicelli and tofu and scallions. Spicy and salty. Refreshing and appetizing. The women at home were sitting at the dining table, eating breakfast and chatting. 
talking and laughing with each other. As for Uncle Zhang Yio and Fatty Su, the three of them got together without incident. In addition to bragging, I just want to discuss the current miserable situation of other bases. They are the only ones in the entire Tianhai city who can enjoy this comfort. The other forces didn't know what kind of miserable situation they were forced into by the zombie swarm and rat swarm. Those forces are not yet clear. But their network has been closely monitored by Yang Xinxin. So Zhang Yi can receive information about them every day. He knew exactly how many people were killed every day and how many resources were lost every day. Zhang Yi has always treated these news as the spice of life. People. Sometimes, they always need to be exposed to some gossip from the outside world in order to live a carefree life. At the same time, they also collect information about the corpse group to prevent another corpse group from appearing near the shelter one day, so that they will not be caught off guard. Intelligence will always be one of the most important strategic resources in the apocalypse. At this moment, Yang Xinxin suddenly drove a wheelchair from the control room to the living room. Her face looked a little solemn. When she came to Zhang Yi, she said to Zhang Yi, Brother Zhang Yi, there is a very important email here that you need to read. When Zhang Yi saw Yang Xinxin's heavy expression, he knew something special had happened. It was obviously not an ordinary situation for this talented girl to show such a serious expression. Oh, what happened? Let me take a look. Yang Xinxin came next to Zhang Yi and then showed Zhang Yi the computer in her hand. Zhang Yi took a closer look and saw an email on his computer. The content of the email is Special dispatch personnel from Jiangnan region have arrived in Tianhai City. Please be sure to arrive at the Tianhai City Central Building on time at 2.30 this afternoon. The invitation list has Green Creeping Shelter Xing Wainan Xiao Honglian lives in Yansheng Refuge Xiao Yu Shelter Wei Ding Hai Yuan Kongye The leader of Snow Worship Cult and Zhang Yi who has no title. The signature below is Jiangnan Military Region. When he saw this email, Zhang Yi's eyes couldn't help but widen. Jiangnan Military Region. Is it one of the five major military regions of China that is headquartered in Jinling? For all Chinese people, this is already basic common sense. China's five major military regions represent China's top military power. In peaceful times, they are the foundation of the country. After the end of the world, they are still the cornerstone of China's stability. As for how powerful the Jiangnan region is, there is no need to question it. You know, the last time Zhang Yi was able to defeat the strong and destroy the Xishan base. A very important reason was that the Jiangnan region launched a missile. If the Jiangnan region is willing, the entire Tianhai city can disappear from the map in a snap. How could Zhang Yi not be in awe of this level of power? Yang Xinxin nodded. Yes, I think it must be them. Zhang Yi frowned slightly. How to make sure this email is genuine and not a conspiracy or a hoax by some people? Yang Xinxin shook her head. Brother Zhang Yi, I can tell you for sure that this must be a message from someone from Jiangnan region. Because our network system has been equipped with a very powerful protective wall. Anyone who wants to contact us must apply. If I don't allow it, their message won't get through. But this email went directly past my superficial protective wall and was sent directly to our mailbox. There are only two types of people who can do this. The first is the hacker above me. And the second is the official organization that has higher authority on the internet level. Of course. It is impossible for anyone in China to break into our network in such a short period of time without Xinxin discovering it. So I can conclude that the other party must be from the Jiangnan region. I just don't know what their purpose is for suddenly coming to Tianhai City this time. I wonder if it has something to do with the zombie issue. Yang Xinxin expressed her guess. Zhang Yi's eyes narrowed. How could they do this? Doesn't that mean that our network is no longer safe? Yang Xinxin smiled disapprovingly and said that the real core of the shelter is the internal network which uses an independent server and has no connection with the outside world. They cannot break it. Zhang Yi breathed a sigh of relief. However, he still feels that this problem has become a bit difficult now. With the addition of external forces and the addition of behemoths whose strength completely overwhelmed the five major forces in Tianhai City, the situation became uncontrollable. I think their coming this time is probably related to the current wave of corpses. After all, the scale of the zombie tide is too huge and its origin is too mysterious. If it is allowed to develop, the nearly 20 million dead bodies in Tianhai City may turn into a huge tide of corpses. Not to mention the terrifying giant rats mixed in with the zombie tide. Once the zombie tide and rat swarm spread to other cities, it will turn into an uncontrollable catastrophe. Zhang Yi spread his hands and said humorously, Isn't this how the Resident Evil crisis came about? Yang Xinxin nodded. It can be seen from this email, that they are fully aware of all the conditions in Tianhai City. 
Therefore, during the roll call, the leaders of each force were accurately named. I think we should go there. There is no need to offend a higher-ranking military region at this time. Zhang Yi held the back of his head and leaned on the sofa. Thinking for a while, he slowly said that judging from the computer capabilities of other companies in Tianhai City, it was unlikely that it was a trap set by them. However, for safety reasons, I still go with as strong an armed force as possible. This is the safest way. Regarding safety, Zhang Yi has no particular worries. Now, except for their family, the power of all other families in Tianhai City has been greatly weakened. As long as Zhang Yi takes his elite team out, even if he encounters any force, there will not be much danger. Even if the opponent is too strong and cannot be defeated, there is still no problem in escaping. So Zhang Yi called everyone to the living room and told them about the matter. After hearing that people from Jiangnan region came to Tianhai City, everyone had different expressions on their faces. Some people were happy, while others were worried. Fatty Su is the more sad one. With a bitter look on his face, he said to Zhang Yi and others, Our current life is relatively stable. If other forces enter Tianhai City, I'm afraid it will change everyone's current living environment. Zhang Yi shook his head disapprovingly when he heard Fatty Su's words. Although Tianhai City is a port city, it has relatively rich supplies. But compared to the Jiangnan region, the things I have in my hands are simply not of interest to them. That's right. Even if Zhang Yi emptied the entire Walmart supermarket warehouse, his few supplies were nothing to the Jiangnan region. After all, Jiangnan has been the most prosperous area for commerce and trade since ancient times. Jiangnan region controls the entire free shipping area. They will definitely not be short of supplies. For ordinary people, affected by extremely cold weather, there may be various travel inconveniences and material shortages. But for such a large area with huge energy, these problems can be easily solved. Chapter 450 Rally After getting Zhang Yi's explanation, Fatty Su felt a little relieved. That would naturally be the best. I just think everyone is living a pretty good life now, and I am afraid of changes. People who live a comfortable life always do not want any factors to change the status quo. Zhang Yi also understands this. It's just that Zhang Yi doesn't think it's a bad thing when people from the Jiangnan area come down. It is impossible for Zhang Yi himself to help other forces solve the large number of zombies and rats that appear in Tianhai City. But he also knows that it is particularly difficult for other companies to solve this problem on their own. If this continues, the situation will inevitably worsen. If people from the region can help them deal with this problem, then the living environment of Tianhai City will become better in the future. At least Zhang Yi doesn't need to worry. After the zombies destroy other forces, they will attack their shelters. Considering the problem from this perspective, Zhang Yi is optimistic about the arrival of people from the region. Except for Fatty Su. A pessimist. Most people think so too. Uncle Yu, who was a soldier, even crossed his arms and said with confidence, I think we should trust them. As the leader of the region, Jiangnan region must not want to see a large-scale zombie unrest in a city with a large population like Tianhai City. Liang Yu nodded. I think so too. Under the zombie siege, everyone hopes for a higher level of power to help them solve the problems they are facing. Although the shelter has not been greatly affected now, but living in such a city, no one can guarantee what will happen in the future. If the zombie problem can be completely solved, that would be great. Zhang Yi nodded and said, Well, since the news has been sent to us, we have to go and take a look anyway. As he spoke, he looked at Yang Xinxin again. Xinxin, you are responsible for monitoring the network. Although it can be basically concluded that this email was sent by someone from the Jiangnan region, we still have to be just in case to avoid a trap set by others using some unknown means. Although this probability is low, it is not completely impossible. Out of caution, Zhang Yi warned Yang Xinxin carefully. Yang Xinxin curled her lips. As the world's top hacker, there is no one who can completely deceive her. But she still answered honestly. Okay, brother. Xinxin will definitely protect the network security of the shelter. Zhang Yi looked at Yang Xinxin's playful appearance, smiled fondly, and reached out to rub her cute head. Okay, let's have a good lunch today. And then we'll set off to the central building together in the afternoon. Remember, you must be extremely cautious and be ready for battle at any time. In today's environment, you never know what emergencies will happen. Everyone nodded in agreement. After getting along for a long time, they have recognized Zhang Yi's leadership ability. Perhaps in terms of IQ, Zhang Yi is not the highest among several people. But from a rational point of view, Zhang Yi is definitely the calmest and most stable person. Follow his plan 
and be careful not to make a big mistake. This cautious and steady character is an extremely important ability to survive in the apocalypse. Of course, Zhang Yi and his family cannot be the only ones who receive this email. At the same time, all large-scale forces in Tianhai City received emails from the Jiangnan Region Investigation Team. This email is almost a life-saving straw for them. Today, they have long been tortured by zombies and rats. The Chipei base was forced to move underground on a large scale and did not dare to directly conflict with the zombie swarms and rat swarms. The Yangqing base lost troops and generals and consumed a large amount of crude oil, so it could barely maintain its current situation. Chaoyu base even hit at sea and even gave up the port. You know, there are still a lot of goods stored in the ports they control, which are important resources. Abandoning them also made Wei Di Hai very painful. As for the plight of the snow worshippers, there are no words to describe their misery, except for St. John's Cathedral. The surrounding areas of the snow worship cult's camp have turned into a H, L on earth. Zombies and rats are killing the living. The living people, on the other hand, are scrambling to kill the rats as their source of protein. After a week of fighting, the number of people in the snow worship cult was only half of what it was at its peak. So at this time, after receiving the email from the personnel dispatched by Jianan region, the leaders of various forces were very excited. Some may wonder if this is a trap. But under the current situation, even if this is a trap, they have to jump in and take a look. Therefore, each family also unanimously brought their people and headed to the central building. Go and meet the legendary envoy sent by Jiangnan region. Perhaps this is their biggest and last hope to eliminate zombies and rats. Tianhai City. Tianfeng District. Central Building. The vehicles of the Jiangnan Region Investigation Team arrived here. I saw that most of the once majestic central building was now buried in ice and snow. The exposed half was also covered with thick snow. If the positioning is not accurate enough, it may be difficult to find this direction. Bian Junwu and the others got out of the car. And the snowmobile, which was obviously specially made for their mission, was parked outside the building, looking at the central building that was almost buried in the heavy snow in front of him. Vice Captain Bailey Chan Ching scratched his thick neck. Oops. I didn't expect this place to be like this. That's too bad. They should have a lot of people coming by then. And this mess is not good. At this moment, Wu Di walked out next to him with a relaxed smile on his face. It doesn't matter. I'll just clean it up. As he spoke, he opened his right hand and pointed it at the central building in the distance. A ball of white light slowly emerged in his palm. And then boom! Rushing forward with a roar. Wherever the white light ball passed, large snowdrifts were directly blown away. An instant later, all the snow was cleared in front of everyone, and a circular passage appeared. After doing all this, with a smile on his face, Wu Di walked to Bian Junwu and made a gesture of invitation. Captain, please! There was no expression on Bian Junwu's face. He just put his hands in the pockets of his black coat and took the lead towards the central building. Bailey Chanqing followed closely, and the others followed in turn. From the order of several people's footsteps, you can see their status in the team. The first is Captain Bian Junwu, followed by Deputy Captain Bailey Chan Qing. Rank third is Wu Di. Later, virus experts Ming Siyu and Qi Guangming work together. Finally, there are top special forces sharpshooter Qi Guangming and mixed martial arts expert Kong Sheng. Anyone in the investigation team who is pulled out has the top level of combat power among all the major forces, especially the two captains and Wu Di. Their abilities are at least at the level of base leaders or even above. After everyone arrived at the central building, they briefly cleared the snow inside and then found a conference hall that was still intact. Bian Jun was sat on a soft black sofa, quietly waiting for the representatives of the major forces to arrive. As for the other people in the team, although they still have a relaxed look on their faces, they still habitually come to every corner of the central building and observe everything around them.